Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 267 Yi Xiao Tian is a quiet person who doesn't like to move. What he fears most is dealing with people. Now that he heard that dozens or even hundreds of people from the Han family were waiting for his reception, he suddenly felt his scalp tingling. No need, let Uncle Han refuse directly. It's okay for me to kill the monster, but it's too tiring for me to face those people. Yi Xiaotian said. Han Xuyao knows Yi Xiaotian, and naturally knows that he hates these things of welcoming and sending off the most. This is also because Yi Xiaotian rose too fast. There is no accumulation of foundation, and no growth of his own character. It is inevitable to lack this process. But Yi Xiaotian should adapt to this process. But Han Xuyao didn't want to embarrass Yi Xiaotian, so he said, Okay, don't meet if you don't want to, but Brother Tian, you are destined to become a big man in the future. These social interactions are also inevitable. So I think you have to learn and get used to this kind of thing. Yi Xiaotian said, Weak countries have no diplomacy. As long as I become stronger, even if I don't care, what can outsiders say? Domineering. Han Xuyao thought about it, and it seemed to be true. As long as Yi Xiaotian can achieve the position of the supreme strongman. Even if he closes the door all day and doesn't see anyone, no one dares to look down on him. Like the current Lord Sword God, there are only a handful of people in the country who can see him directly. But with a population of hundreds of millions in the entire Xia country, who doesn't know his name? Who can ignore the existence of the Supreme Sword God? After understanding this, Han Xuyao said, I understand Brother Tian, after all, the biggest reliance of us Awakeners is our own strength. That's right, if you have absolute strength, even if you don't have an ally, no one dares to attack you. But if you are weak, even if you have allies everywhere, you can't get their respect, and you can only become someone else's follower. Yi Xiaotian said. Then where should we go now? It's not a problem to stay in this hotel all the time. Han Xuyao completely threw this question aside. After calling her father back and telling them that they didn't see each other, she discussed where to go with Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said, Why don't we go out of the city? There are people looking for me everywhere in the city now. It's not fun at all. It's better to go out of the city. Go out of the city. Hunting strange beasts? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, That's fine. We can go sightseeing, see the scenery, kill strange beasts, and go on a picnic. Yes, why didn't I think of it? It's not fun in the city. We can go on a picnic. Yi Xiaotian's words completely opened Han Xuyao's eyes. In the past, they were bound and felt that it was not safe outside the city. But for them, it was safer outside the city. And outside the vast wilderness, no one can find them. Even if someone knows their whereabouts, they have ways to prevent them from finding them. I'll ask Bing Yan and Sun Yao if they will go. Han Xuyao said happily. Mu Bing Yan and Sun Yao were immediately interested when they heard it. It was too cramped in this hotel. It would be great to go out of the city. Young people are active. Now only Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are left. Han Xuyao immediately contacted them. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi had just bought gifts and were ready to visit. Hearing this, he was very entangled. Of course they wanted to leave the city, but this was the first time Wang Hao officially visited as Chang Xiaoxi's boyfriend. This is also a very important matter. Fortunately, it is not so easy and fast for Yi Xiaotian and others to leave the city now. So they were asked to visit first, and then come back early and leave the city together. Chang's family. Chang Qin was very happy. Although Wang Hao was born in a low family, he was lucky and had a good brother, so all his shortcomings became advantages. He was naturally very happy that his daughter could succeed with him. In this way, the Chang family was completely tied to Yi Xiaotian, and the relationship was further improved. Who would dare to look down on the Chang family in the future? As long as Yi Xiaotian can grow up smoothly, the Chang family can at least be rich for hundreds of years in the future. Although it can't be compared with the Han family, 
how many families in the world can compare with the Han family? Be content, very content. The Chang family was originally just a small family in a small base city. But now, it has the opportunity to become the top awakening family in Xia country, or even the world. Chang Qin felt that the ancestral tomb of the Chang family must be smoking. It's just a bit strange. Why did Wang Hao, this kid, come to the door for the first time and look like he was in a hurry to leave is he not satisfied with the Chang family? Chang Qin felt a little uncomfortable in his heart. Even if you, Wang Hao, are Yi Xiaotian's brother, my Chang family's daughter is also the treasure of the family. Chang Xiaosi took a look and whispered a few words to his father's ear. After listening, Chang Qin's face immediately returned to a smile and said, Okay, since you have made an appointment, go, and be careful. At the same time, he admired Yi Xiaotian's decision very much. At this time, instead of staying in the city to enjoy, go out of the city, good. What? Are they going out for a picnic? Nonsense. In this world, at this time, do you dare to go out for a picnic? It's so beautiful. Not to mention the sea beasts that have come ashore all over the mountains outside the city, even if there are land beasts that have stayed here before, people in the city dare not leave the city casually. So in Chang Qing's opinion, what they called going out of town for a picnic was actually going out of town to hunt exotic animals. It is natural for awakened people to hunt exotic animals and improve their strength. This is the practice of awakened people. Yi Xiaotian and his friends are so young, and they have suddenly reached a high position, and they can still maintain a pure heart. It is really rare. Is it not for nothing that they can grow so fast? In addition to talent, hard work is also indispensable for the strength of awakened people. Yi Xiaotian and his friends can have such achievements at such an age. The hardships and efforts during the period are unimaginable for ordinary people. It can definitely be said that they have fought their way out of the mountains of corpses and seas of blood. Alas, it's not easy. Chang Qing sighed, these children are all good. From the perspective of outsiders, Yi Xiaotian and his friends are naturally glorious. After all, at such a young age, they have already achieved such achievements. I don't know if there will be more people to come, but it is certain that there are no predecessors. But they did not lose their way. Instead, they continued to work hard and strive to move forward. This is precious. Originally, Chang Qin was thinking about whether to find an opportunity to discuss with Han Jing, the bastard, whether to give these young people some advice. Now it seems that it is not necessary. Of course, more importantly, he does not want to see Han Jing. This bastard actually called to ridicule him, what a bastard, they are still friends for many years. But now it is good, my daughter is also in love, as long as this news spreads, the family should be quiet. Chapter 268 Outside Jiangcheng, there is a beautiful valley. It's such a waste that no one can appreciate this kind of scenery. Yi Xiaotian said with emotion. In the previous life, such a beautiful scenery had already been developed into a scenic spot, and it was absolutely overcrowded. But when we got here, it became a barren valley. There is no way, ordinary people dare not go out of the city. The awakened people go out to the city just to hunt strange beasts and improve their strength. How can they have the time and thought to see the scenery? After all, no matter how good the scenery is, it is not as realistic as the strength. Han Xuyao said, there is nothing to waste. These days, you are lucky to be alive. Yi Xiaotian said, yes. However. At this point, Yi Xiaotian paused for a moment before continuing, after this war, the alien race and the sea race should be honest for a while, and it will allow the people in the city to come out and breathe. Some people have stayed in the city all their lives and have no idea what it is like outside the city. A few words can only be seen on TV and the internet. But no matter how good the picture is, it is just a picture. Without being in it personally, you cannot appreciate the fun of it. Looking at the situation here, there should be no strange beasts coming to cause trouble on weekdays, otherwise there wouldn't be such a beautiful scenery. Without strange beasts, there would be no awakened ones coming to hunt. What kind of luck do we have? We found such a good place just by looking in a random direction. 
Yi Xiao Tian said with emotion. Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, we have never been out of Jiangqing before, and we don't know where there are strange beasts in Jiangqing. If we want to know where there are strange beasts to hunt outside Jiangqing, I'm afraid we can only use those old hunters. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, Forget it, we came out of this trip to get some fresh air. Staying in the city is too depressing. If we encounter them, we will kill them. If we don't encounter them, we will just play. It seems that there are many interesting places outside the city, and you can also harvest a lot of medicinal materials. Kill two birds with one stone. Han Xuyao looked at Huang Jia, who was in charge of the barbecue, and said, Brother Tian, how about we take a look around first? Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay, I didn't have the chance before, so I'll walk with you today. Han Xuyao's eyes lit up. It was a rare day for this idiot to realize that he knew these things between lovers. Speaking of which, the two of them are probably the simplest couple, and they don't even have a chance to date. Either he is hunting alien beasts, or he is on the way to hunt alien beasts. When I was in Magic City, I finally went out to school and was assassinated by a heretical organization. I hope there is nothing wrong with you today. Han Xuyao thought to herself, holding Yi Xiaotian's hand and walking deeper into the valley. Wang Hao, Chang Xiaosi and Sun Yao are all helping with the barbecue. Only Mu Bingyan stood aside, her eyes twinkling when she saw Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao going to be alone. Although she had made up her mind and prepared to forget the person in her heart, it was not that easy. The girl is pregnant with spring. This was the first time in Mu Bingyan's life that she was tempted. They say first love is the most beautiful and the most unforgettable. This is a fact. These days, Mu Bingyan has deliberately kept a distance from Yi Xiaotian, deliberately not thinking about the figure in her heart. But there are some things that become more profound the less you think about them. The more she wanted to forget that figure in her heart, the more she became clearer and clearer. Mu Bingyan was in pain. It's just that she is a person with a cold personality and doesn't show it, so others don't notice anything. But inadvertently, Mu Bingyan would still show some strangeness. However, the barbecue quartet's attention was not focused on her, and no one noticed. Yi Xiaotian, on the other hand, suddenly looked back while walking. Mu Bingyan was startled and immediately looked away. What's wrong? Han Xuyao asked immediately after seeing his actions. Yi Xiaotian said, It's nothing. He felt eyes on him just now, and thought he was being targeted by the enemy again. When he found out it was Mu Bingyan, he was relieved. He knew Mu Bingyan's friendship for him. However, Yi Xiaotian's character is actually relatively passive. This is true for Han Xuyao, and even more so for others. If Han Xuyao didn't take the initiative, it is estimated that their relationship would still be that of ordinary classmates. Before Hao Tian's identity was exposed, Yi Xiaotian already knew Mu Bingyan's thoughts. But at that time, only he knew the secret. Now the identity has been revealed. Everyone knows that Hao Tian and Yi Xiaotian are actually the same person. Mu Bingyan's thoughts shifted from Hao Tian to Yi Xiaotian. What surprised Yi Xiaotian was that Mu Bingyan never showed any other expression, but would stare at him from time to time. It made him quite helpless. You can't stop people from watching it, right? But if this matter is not resolved, he is always worried. I'm afraid that if I come to a Shura field one day, I'll be in trouble. And if a girl doesn't take the initiative to say something like this, it's even harder for him to say it. So I can only drag it on like this. He received Mu Binyan's look just now, and he was wondering if he should find a chance to talk things over with Mu Binyan. Although Yi Xiaotian is a time traveler, to be honest, he was from an ordinary background in his previous life and was single. Without money, I don't even have the right to talk to my girlfriend. So he has no experience in how to deal with this kind of thing. Brother Tian, what's wrong with you? You're distracted. Han Xuyao asked in a strange way. Yi Xiao Tian smiled awkwardly and said, nothing. Maybe I haven't experienced this kind of life rhythm for a long time, so I'm a little uncomfortable. Han Xuyao didn't doubt it when she heard it, but said, Yes, we have lived in the city since we were young and have never been out. Some time ago, even if we went out of the city, we were hunting exotic beasts. 
we are really not used to this kind of picnic rhythm. Now, we all come out and don't know what to do. Han Shuyao was very emotional. Most of the young people nowadays can't leave the city until they become adults. Not to mention going out of the city for fun. This kind of luxurious life, even the sons of big families, probably can't enjoy it often. After a long time, everyone is very unfamiliar with the life outside the city. Brother Tian, do you think we can take back the land outside the city? Han Shuyao said with a little yearning. Now on Blue Star, the land outside the city still belongs to the alien race. Although the alien army was driven back to the alien space plane. But there are also many alien races left in the native Blue Star. There are also alien beasts in the native Blue Star. The strength of these alien beasts, even the lowest level, is not comparable to that of ordinary people. So it is impossible to imagine that the outside of the city can be completely safe and ordinary people can live safely outside the city. But all the human races on Blue Star have a wish or dream. The dream is that one day, the humans of Blue Star can regain control of the land outside the city, allowing the people of Blue Star to travel freely in the wild. Chapter 269 Yi Xiaotian thought of the earth in his previous life, where the people could freely go in and out of the wild. There were even hikers in and out of some deep mountains and old forests. If this world could be restored to the state of the previous life, it would be great. It was really uncomfortable to be stuck in the base city. Even if they didn't consider themselves, they had to consider future generations. Although some regions and countries were not peaceful in the previous life, compared with here, it was completely a paradise on earth. This was especially true for the country where he was born and grew up. Yi Xiaotian thought that when his descendants were born, they should enjoy such a prosperous age. And what he had to do was to create such a prosperous age for his descendants. Instead of staying in the city all their lives. Even staying in the city didn't have much peace. Yes, in the future, our blue star people can walk out of the city freely, travel freely outside the city, and live freely. Yi Xiaotian replied solemnly. Han Xuyao said with a longing look, Is it the heyday before the arrival of the Samsara Tower? Yi Xiaotian said, Yes. Han Xuyao was silent for a while, and smiled, I also believe that there will be such a day. Obviously, she felt that this matter was difficult. Too difficult. The overall strength of the alien race is much stronger than that of the human race on Blue Star, plus the native sea race on Blue Star. Not to mention taking back the control of the land of Blue Star, it is already very difficult to hold on to the current basic base. She grew up in the Han family and is also one of the insiders. She knew that the reason why the alien coalition was driven back to the alien space plane was just because of the internal fighting of the alien race. It was not because the human race on Blue Star was strong. Now, the internal fighting of the alien race has temporarily stopped, and the alien race has made a comeback. Perhaps this catastrophe will be even more massive than the last time. Only one of the five supreme masters of the human race is left to sit in Blue Star. It can be imagined how serious the situation on the alien battlefield is. She knew all this and could imagine a lot of things. But she didn't want to say anything that would disappoint or shock Yi Xiaotian. The wilderness, the valley, the camp of the heretic organization. Lu Jingdao personally visited the giant spider crab. Unfortunately, those who could cultivate to the S level were not fools. Even if the giant spider crab was just a mutation of an ordinary spider crab in the sea. At this moment, its IQ was no weaker than any human. So it was not so easy to trick it into working for Lu Jingdao. Lu Jingdao returned with disappointment. He was depressed. Since the sea beasts could not be counted on, he could only wait for more saint church masters to come. Although the merit was good, he had to live. After deducing that Yi Xiaotian was protected by at least three awakened masters above the S level, he gave up the idea of facing it alone. He joined the saint church to achieve a career, not to really work for the saint church at all costs. That was all to fool the believers below. As a high-ranking official of the Holy Church, how could he have such a naive idea? But it was still very depressing. He was heartbroken to see the great merit slip through his fingers. 
At this time, the black-robed man came in again and said, Pavilion Master, there is news. What news? Lu Jingdao glanced at him and asked casually. He had not yet recovered from his heartache. The black-robed man said, Pavilion Master, news just came from Jiangqing that Yi Xiaotian and his party were not in the Jiangqing Hotel, but ran out of the city. Lu Jingdao was shocked and sat up straight, saying, What? How is it possible? He didn't quite believe that Yi Xiaotian would take his team out of the city at this time. What was he trying to do? He found that he couldn't see through the young man Yi Xiaotian. Even if you have masters protecting you, you can't do this. After all, the wilderness of Blue Star is still the world of exotic beasts. Is he so confident? He would not doubt the information of the black robed man. What the heretic organization is best at is spying. This is probably the biggest role that the heretic organization plays on the alien race. Do you know where they went? Lu Jingdao asked. The black robed man said, It's not clear yet, but I have asked people to mobilize all the alien beasts around to get information. Lu Jingdao nodded with satisfaction and said, Report immediately as soon as there is news. The best source of information for the heretic organization is the mutant beasts native to Blue Star. There are mutant beasts outside the city, and naturally there are also mutant beasts inside the city. For example, rats. There are many rats, and they are everywhere in the ditches. If it was before the arrival of the Samsara Tower, it would be a thing that everyone wanted to kill, and a dose of rat poison could send it to the west. But since the arrival of the Samsara Tower, animals and beasts have mutated, and it's different. Ordinary rats have also become powerful. And they also follow the rules of nature. Facing powerful alien races, the mutant beasts native to Blue Star have no resistance at all and completely surrender. So the heretic organization can mobilize the mutant rats in the city to find out the situation, and can also mobilize various mutant creatures outside the city to find out information. Even most of the awakened families in Jiangcheng were unaware of Yi Xiaotian's departure from the city. But the heretic organization got the news so quickly. And soon, they will be able to find out where Yi Xiaotian has been. There are too many advantages that can be used outside this wilderness. Ants, caterpillars, flying butterflies and other creatures that could be easily stepped on before, although they have basically no combat power after mutation, are good helpers for finding out information. Yi Xiaotian didn't know this at all, and didn't know that the spies of the heretic organization had already lurked around him. In fact, even the experienced awakeners may not be able to find it, let alone him as a rookie. Yes, although Yi Xiaotian is already an A-level awakener, his actual combat power has even touched the edge of SS level. But in the final analysis, he awakened too short a time. Only a few months. He still lacks a lot of experience. These are not quick. They can only be accumulated slowly as time goes by. He simply felt that he was bored in the city and was too lazy to waste his brain power to deal with those people and things. Go out of the city to walk and relax. In other words, he knew that he would definitely encounter danger if he left the city, but he was confident that he could survive it. Two hours later, Lu Jingdao had received the message from the black robed man. You mean, they are in a valley 30 miles away from us? Lu Jingdao was really shocked. Is it such a coincidence? They are so close. Then, he asked again, besides Yi Xiaotian and his team members, are there any other people? The black robed man replied, No, pavilion master, even if there are lurkers, those inferior alien creatures can't find out. Chapter 270 Yes, those who inquire about information cannot even be called alien beasts, they can only be called alien creatures. The strength is too weak. But when it comes to inquiring about information, it is irreplaceable. Even if the human race has the best defense methods, it is still impossible to prevent it. So they found out the information about Yi Xiaotian easily. This is also why heretical organizations are so sensitive in spying on information, but they hide it very well. The heretical organization is hiding under the eyes of the human race, but they can't catch them. The best opportunity to fight against heretical organizations is when they jump out on their own. But at this time, it often means that the human race itself is damaged. 
many human geniuses have fallen like this. So when Houtian's voice sounded in the world of reincarnation, the top management of the human race would issue an order not to investigate. Don't find Houtian, just let him hide in the darkness. This will better ensure Houtian's safety. It is true that the heretical organization's intelligence capabilities are truly all-pervasive. Ah, what a beautiful butterfly. In the valley, Han Shuyao shouted happily. Scenes like this have probably only been seen in documentaries. Unexpectedly, one day, she would be able to experience it for herself. Butterflies are flying in the beautiful valley. This kind of scene can be said to be very easy before the reincarnation calendar. But after the reincarnation calendar, it will be extremely difficult. Many people have never seen a butterfly with their own eyes. Han Shuyao stretched out her hand, hoping to let the butterfly fall on her hand. Yi Xiao Tian pulled Han Shuyao's hand back. What's wrong? Han Shuyao looked confused. Yi Xiao Tian looked solemn and said, It's weird. Just now, he felt that there were fluctuations in spiritual power on these butterflies. Although he wasn't sure why, he had to be cautious. After all, the world is undergoing a sudden change, and the Tower of Reincarnation has arrived. In the past, ant-like creatures on the earth may have awakened extraordinary talents. Butterflies seem beautiful, but the more beautiful things are, the more likely they are to kill people. So he stopped Han Shuyao very simply. What's weird? Han Shuyao was puzzled. It was just a small butterfly, how could it hurt her? Yi Xiaotian said, I don't know yet, but there is nothing wrong with being careful. There are different types of butterflies. Some butterflies are highly poisonous. After mutation, they can even kill people. Ah! Han Shuyao was startled and took two steps back before regaining his footing. Brother Tian, are you saying these butterflies are highly poisonous? How could such a beautiful butterfly be poisonous? Han Shuyao asked in confusion. Yi Xiao Tian said, the more beautiful some things are, the more terrifying they are. When Han Shuyao heard this, his face turned a little pale and said, that's okay, or let's go back. Yi Xiao Tian stared at the group of butterflies flying not far from them, the expression on his face changed, and then he said, okay, let's go back. Although these butterflies may be highly poisonous, even if Yi Xiao Tian was beaten to death, he would not have thought that these butterflies would be sent by a heretical organization to find out information. This completely subverted his understanding. Little did they know that beneath their feet were the eyes and ears of the heretical organization. Of course, if these alien creatures want to become spies who can find out information, they also need training. It's not something that happens after a natural mutation. Just because the heretical organization has the support of the alien race, so the training of these alien creatures will naturally be done by the alien race. After training, they will be handed over to the hands of the heretical organization for them to drive. Brother Tian, come here quickly, the meat is already roasted. What was roasted was the meat of the ice rabbit. The meat of this exotic beast is delicious, and Yi Xiao Tian and the others once obtained a large amount of ice rabbit meat in the secret realm. Originally, Yi Xiao Tian was still thinking of selling some to make money. But then he thought about it and realized that he was not short of money, so he stopped selling it and kept it for himself. It will always remain in the reincarnation space. Anyway, in the reincarnation space, there is no concept of time, and there is no need to worry about corruption. Such delicious food made even Mu Bingyan, a cold-tempered person, feel a bit confused after eating it. It's delicious and can improve your strength, so why not do it? In fact, eating the meat of many exotic animals can increase physical attribute points. It's just that the meat of some exotic animals is really hard to swallow. Therefore, most awakened people will sell the corpses of strange beasts to specialized merchants to refine various auxiliary medicines and various secret treasures. There is movement. Suddenly, Yi Xiao Tian stood up and asked everyone to be careful. The others immediately put away the meat in their hands and were ready to fight in just a few breaths. This is how important it is to be experienced in combat. When you know the enemy is coming, you don't panic first, but you can already join the battle in a very short period of time. 
Yi Xiaotian waved his staff and gave everyone the boosting skills. Then he said solemnly, I'll go take a look first. You guys wait here. He felt something was wrong before, but now he finally understood. There are enemies. It's a sea monster. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Is it just a sea monster attacking? Although there were many sea beasts outside Jiangqing, they were all scattered, so Yi Xiaotian ignored them. Unexpectedly, these sea beasts actually gathered here. There is something strange about this matter. Huang Jie said immediately after hearing it. Yi Xiaotian said, I also think it is strange, but I can't explain it. Huang Jie said, according to what you said, Brother Tian, these sea beasts have been dispersed. Even if they gather again, how do they know we are here? Yes, our leaving the city is also a very confidential matter. How did the sea beasts know so quickly? Yi Xiaotian said. They haven't finished their barbecue yet. It can't be that the smell of barbecue attracted these sea beasts, right? They won't believe such things. After all, before entering the valley, Yi Xiaotian had already checked, and there was no trace of sea beasts around. These sea beasts just came here. Then there is no need to guess. The sea beasts have always been united with the alien race, and the alien army has not yet entered the Blue Star. There is only their spokesperson, the heretic organization. Han Xuyao speculated. Huang Jie said, I have only heard that the intelligence capabilities of the heretic organizations are very terrifying before, but now I have finally experienced it myself. Why? Yi Xiaotian asked. Huang Jie briefly talked about some rumors he had heard before about the intelligence gathering capabilities of the heretic organizations. There is such a thing. Yi Xiaotian was really enlightened. But now the heretic organizations have pushed the sea beasts to the front, and they are hiding behind them. We have to be careful. Huang Jie said again. Chapter 271 Kill these sea beasts, I don't believe the pagans behind won't come out. Wang Hao said directly. Yi Xiaotian laughed dumbly and said, What Hao Zi said makes sense. No matter who is behind, as long as these cannon fodders are killed, they will naturally show up. Then fight. Han Xuyao said, then raised the staff, and a large-scale transfer technique began to prepare. Mu Bingyan didn't waste any words, raised the staff and began to perform the technique. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi both activated their innate skills, took up their weapons and rushed towards the sea beasts. When they rushed to the front of the sea beasts, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan's techniques had already fallen. Boom! Under the coverage of the two large techniques, dozens of sea beasts were hit and died. Today, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan are serious B-level awakeners. With the blessing of Yi Xiaotian's amplification skills, their attack power is very considerable. Sea beasts below B-level can basically only be killed instantly. Yi Xiaotian did not take action, but just stood on the side on guard. His thoughts spread out, paying attention to the movements around him. He did not fly up rashly, as that would make him a target. After thinking for a while, Yi Xiaotian waved his staff, and then a vague figure appeared beside him, and then completely disappeared. He summoned the second soul, and then used illusion to hide his figure, escaped into the shadows, and went out of the valley to check the situation. He did not believe that he could not catch the other party. Yi Xiaotian was in charge in the valley. With the second soul watching outside the valley, he did not believe that the people of the heretic organization could really emerge from the ground. When he thought of this, Yi Xiaotian was shocked. Yes. Emerged from the ground. Damn, this is not the previous life, not that ordinary world. This is the world of the awakened. All kinds of magical talents can be awakened here. Burying underground is just a very ordinary talent. The time Yi Xiaotian traveled here was too short, and the time he became an awakener was too short. Therefore, his understanding of this world is not deep enough. Even, many times, he would use the thinking of his previous life to think about the things in this world. This is the inherent influence of thinking, which can only be corrected slowly over a long period of time, and it is impossible to completely change it all at once. So he quickly shifted his attention to the ground again. 
Now that the second soul has gone outside to patrol, it is impossible for enemies to suddenly appear in front, behind, left, right, and in the sky. Just guard the ground. Yi Xiaotian's eyes were fixed on the ground around him, and he would strike with thunder if there was any movement. As for the sea beasts rushing over, it was enough to leave them to Han Shuyao and the others. These sea beasts were the ones he had killed before, and the number was not too large, and they did not pose a threat to Han Shuyao and the others. But soon, Yi Xiaotian found that he was wrong. The enemies coming were not just a small number of sea beasts, because there were a large number of sea beasts coming behind. Yi Xiaotian frowned, thinking to himself, is it really true that the enemy attacking this time is just the sea clan? Yi Xiaotian didn't believe that things were really that simple. But he had no better way now, so he could only passively defend. When the enemy comes, the general will stop him when the water comes, the earth will cover it. The strategy he had formulated before would not change until there was no enemy with a greater threat. Outside the valley, Lu Jingdao personally led people to check the hundreds of miles around the valley where Yi Xiaotian was. The final conclusion was. There was no ambush. In this valley, only Yi Xiaotian and his men were there. What was going on? Lu Jingdao was confused. Didn't Yi Xiaotian bring his guards out? Is this reasonable? It was reasonable. After all, Yi Xiaotian and his men were out for a picnic and barbecue, so it was normal not to bring bodyguards. No one knew that the heretic organization would emerge at this time. So Yi Xiaotian was too arrogant. Lu Jingdao trusted his intuition very much. So he ordered the attack without hesitation. The giant spider crab had already fulfilled its promise and sent a large army to serve as cannon fodder for him to help him test the truth. He naturally had to keep his promise. You cowards are finally here. Lu Jingdao thought he had the whole situation under control, but they didn't know that their cautious actions were seen by the second soul. After Yi Xiaotian received the information from the second soul, he immediately called Chang Xiaoxi back and ordered, You protect them here, and let Haozi hold the front. Brother Tian, where are you going? When Han Xuyao and the others heard this, Yi Xiaotian wanted to act alone again. Yi Xiaotian said, A few rats came outside, I'll go clean them up. Don't put the battlefield in the valley, this is the best protection for Han Xuyao and the others. They just need to kill sea beasts here. He will deal with those heretics outside. Brother Tian, is it dangerous? Han Xuyao didn't say much nonsense, just asked a question. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Don't worry, it's much safer than the last time I went out of the city alone. With this sentence, Han Xuyao and the others were relieved. Yi Xiaotian was not bragging. The truth was that among the heretic organization that came this time, only Lu Jingdao was worth a try. The others were no match for him. Lu Jingdao believed that he had seen all of Yi Xiaotian's details, but he didn't know that what he saw was just a small part of what Yi Xiaotian had exposed. If he knew how his colleague Huang Bing died on the East Coast, he probably wouldn't have thought of coming here to make great contributions. Because Huang Bing's army was annihilated. So there was no more information at all. The heretic organization speculated that Huang Bing and other holy church elites of the Demon City branch died under the conspiracy of Wang Ju and He Shi. So they didn't even think that this was all done by Yi Xiaotian. They now have only one thought in their minds, that is, this is the best opportunity. Yi Xiaotian left the city, and his bodyguards did not follow him out. Such a great opportunity was seized by only Lu Jingdao. He rushed into the valley with a group of masters under his command. Then, he rushed into the valley and saw Yi Xiaotian and his team struggling to support the siege of the Sea Beast Army. Seeing this, Lu Jingdao sneered. Sure enough, now is the best opportunity to kill Yi Xiaotian. Kill! Lu Jingdao shouted, and rushed towards Yi Xiaotian first. He wanted to chop off Yi Xiaotian's head himself, and then bring it to the alien leader to receive the reward. After this time, he will definitely be promoted to SS level Awakener, and then he can work in the headquarters of the Holy Church. As for the masters sent by branches of other countries, they can only follow behind him and eat dust. Lu Jingdao was dreaming of his own sweet dream, and soon, 
his knife would chop Yi Xiaotian's body. Puff. Chapter, 272. Lu Jingdao watched himself chop off Yi Xiaotian's head with a knife, and his heart was suddenly ecstatic. This great achievement was just in his hands. So easy. No. Not easy. He had been planning for so long, and he also united with the sea tribe and promised the giant spider crab a lot of benefits, only to get this result now. So it was not easy. But the good thing is that Yi Xiaotian was finally killed. This peerless genius who was hanging over the head of the alien race was finally removed. Looking around it was good, Yi Xiaotian's accomplices were all dead. But soon, a trace of doubt flashed in Lu Jingdao's eyes. What happened? In his eyes, a large group of human awakeners rushed towards them. Yes, they rushed in from outside the valley. What do those sea beasts eat? Why did so many human masters rush in? Kill. No matter how these human awakening masters came, they had to be killed, so Lu Jingdao led his men to kill without any hesitation. As long as he rushed out of the valley, the sky would be high for birds to fly and the sea would be wide for fish to jump. A beautiful future was waiting for him, Lu Jingdao. His men followed him to kill and kill until the sky was dark. He didn't know how long he had been killing, and Lu Jingdao was a little tired. But looking at the human awakeners who kept rushing in, he suddenly found something wrong. Something was very wrong. He had been killing for so long, and if he hadn't killed a hundred enemies, he had killed eighty. There were so many of them, and now the enemies they had killed should add up to thousands. But what about the bodies? Not to mention the bodies of the human awakeners, even the bodies of Yi Xiaotian and his comrades disappeared. Or, the bodies of the human awakeners they killed would disappear after a while. I didn't think so before, after all, new bodies would appear soon. But now I calm down and think about it, it's very wrong. Damn, this is an illusion. Lu Jingdao was horrified. They were actually in an illusion without knowing it, and they thought they had really completed the mission, and these were real enemies. The funny thing is that they have been killing for so long, but they are not the real enemies. But how long have they been trapped in this illusion? How can they get out? Lu Jingdao is numb. How the hell did this illusion come from? I have never heard that anyone in Yi Xiaotian's team has the talent of illusion. Thinking of this, Lu Jingdao suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. He finally understood now. Why didn't he find Yi Xiaotian's guards around before? The guard sent by the Supreme Sword God must have been hidden by the illusion. It's funny that he still thinks this is a great opportunity. It's really careless. This is not his appointment. This is a pit dug by others, and then he jumped in in a hurry. He didn't even need others to push him, he jumped in by himself and even covered it with soil. What the hell? Lu Jingdao was so angry that he almost vomited blood. I think Huan Bing from the Demon City Branch Pavilion was also killed like this, right? At this time, Lu Jingdao didn't have the heart to laugh at Huang Bing. As the biggest competitor, Lu Jingdao used to criticize Huang Bing from time to time. He laughed at Huang Bing for being a fool who actually fell into the enemy's trap. Now, he has also fallen into the enemy's trap. It's the same as the other, neither is better than the other. This is all a trap set by the damned sword god, this is to trap the holy church to death. Damn it! The supreme sword god actually set up such a trap in person, which is completely disregarding his status. He absolutely does not believe that all this was done by Yi Xiaotian. He believes that only the supreme sword god can set up such a big trap. Include all the masters of the holy church in the world and catch them all in one net. Too vicious. But this is an open conspiracy. With Yi Xiaotian as the bait, how many people can bear it? As far as he knows, masters of the holy church have rushed to the branches of various countries in the world, just to exchange Yi Xiaotian's head for a big reward. The so-called brave man under a big reward is this truth. The alien race is willing to offer a huge reward, and the people of the heretic organization dare to risk their lives. Then the Supreme Sword God dug a century-long pit in this inconspicuous little place, Jiangcheng. Lu Jingdao's back was sweating, and soon his clothes were wet. 
he thought he had seen it all clearly. Brothers, kill it. Lu Jingdao fought for his last chance of survival. But they couldn't kill it. Not to mention that they are tired now, even when they are in full swing, it is impossible to kill it. The reason why Yi Xiaotian used illusions and illusions to deal with Lu Jingdao was just because he didn't know what tricks Lu Jingdao had behind him, so he used the simplest way to solve them. Using illusions and illusions to let them kill each other, this is the best way. The picture changed, and all the scenery in front of Lu Jingdao changed. The valley disappeared, all the enemies disappeared, and the brothers he brought disappeared. And the ground was full of corpses, all of which were the corpses of his brothers. Lu Jingdao was stunned. What happened? Looking at the scars on these people, they were all caused by the weapons in his hands. But wasn't he just killing the awakened people? Why were all the dead his own men? And just now these men of his were on a killing spree. Damn illusion. Lu Jingdao spurted out a mouthful of blood and became sluggish. Who is it? Who are you? If you have the ability, come out and do these intrigues and calculations. How can you be a hero? Lu Jingdao yelled. At this moment, Lu Jingdao no longer had the same grace as before. He knew that this time he was dead. But he was unwilling to do so. Before he died, he must know what was going on. The Supreme Sword God would not use such means when he takes action. Heroes and heroes, you scumbags still dare to call yourself heroes and heroes. If you don't want to be a good person, you have to become a monster that is neither human nor beast. Yi Xiaotian's voice rang in his ears. Lu Jingdao didn't care about monsters at this time. He just wanted to know who this guy was who played with him. Who are you? Who are you? He really regrets it now. You said that even the giant Hai Xiaoyuo snake died here. What can he do? Thinking that they are incomparable in wisdom and scheming, thinking that everything is under their control. But reality slapped him hard in the face. He is just a fool. All his self-confidence is self-righteousness. Don't you want to kill me? Why don't you even know who I am? Yi Xiaotian said. Lu Jingdao was startled, then said, Are you Yi Xiaotian? Wrong. You are not Yi Xiaotian, you cannot be Yi Xiaotian. Lu Jingdao was hysterical. He could admit that he was defeated at the hands of the Supreme Sword God, but he would never be willing to lose at the hands of Yi Xiaotian. Chapter, 273 Lu Jingdao's emotions completely collapsed. He always felt that he was arm-wrestling with the Supreme Sword God. Even if this was a bit of self-promotion, at least he should be fighting with the strong men under the Sword God, right? But in the end, he found out that he was actually playing against a young boy. What made him most upset was that he, who thought he was smart, was actually played around by others. He killed all his men with his own hands. Now he is the only one left. Moreover, he was seriously exhausted, and his strength was only 20% left. Now he is the meat on the chopping board, at the mercy of others. Yi Xiaotian's figure appeared in the illusion and appeared in front of Lu Jingdao. He put his hands behind his back, as if he was not here to fight, but to go on a picnic. In Yi Xiaotian's eyes, Lu Jingdao is now a lamb to be slaughtered. He can even kill the giant sea serpent, so Lu Jingdao is not worth mentioning. This guy may be stronger than Huang Bing of the Demon City branch, but it is also very limited. The two have the same awakening level, and it is estimated that their talent grades are similar. The difference is just that they are in different branches. And how bad can Demon City be compared to Beijing? As the two most powerful base cities in Xia country, there is indeed not much difference in terms of the branches of the heretic organization. Yi Xiaotian can play Huang Bing in the palm of his hand, and Lu Jingdao can't make any waves. He was worried before whether the Sea Clan would have any other arrangements. After all, a giant Sea Sarah snake came before. But now it seems that the Sea Clan seems to have given up. Otherwise, their masters will definitely act with the heretic organization. Yi Xiaotian walked in front of Lu Jingdao and said, You are really stupid. Lu Jingdao's face was distorted and very angry. Aren't you stupid? Knowing that Huang Bing died in my hands, he actually sent him to me again. 
If you are not stupid, who is stupid? Yi Xiao Tian asked again. Lu Jingdao gnashed his teeth and said, How could Huang Bing die in your hands? Do you think I will believe it? I killed Huang Bing myself. He is similar to you. Oh, no, he died under my fire magic. Yi Xiao Tian said. Lu Jingdao didn't believe it even more. He knew Huang Bing. He had SS level fire talent. He had strong resistance to fire magic. Ordinary flames had no killing power on him at all. If Yi Xiao Tian changed his statement, he might believe it more. Yi Xiao Tian ignored him and continued, I use true flame bombs. That kind of flame is called Samadhi True Flame. I don't know if you have heard of it. Hearing the name of Samadhi True Flame, Lu Jingdao's pupils shrank suddenly. This is impossible. The name of Samadhi True Flame is in the Samsara Mall, but the price is really sad and tearful. Huang Bing also wanted it, but unfortunately he couldn't afford it. As Huang Bing's biggest competitor, the two of them are definitely the people who know each other best. So he didn't believe Yi Xiaotian's words. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian said, Don't believe it. Let me show you. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian flicked his hand and a flame shot towards Lu Jingdao. Lu Jingdao was shocked. He was talking well, but he suddenly started to fight. He didn't follow the ethics of martial arts. However, he didn't lose his sense of proportion. He swung his palm and the powerful force blew a strong wind. In his opinion, this strong wind was enough to extinguish the flame. But the flame didn't mean to go out at all, but floated straight towards him. Lu Jingdao couldn't sit still now. This Nima, it can't really be Samadhi True Flame. He quickly dodged. No matter whether it was Samadhi True Flame or not, it couldn't really burn him. The True Flame fell on the ground and burned a big pit directly. Silently, without any trace of burning. Lu Jingdao was shocked. Isn't this the description of Samadhi True Flame? Really, really. At this moment, Lu Jingdao was going crazy. He was really wrong. Very wrong. No one could imagine that Yi Xiao Tian, at such a young age, had grown to such a level after only a few months of awakening. He was deceived, everyone was deceived. This was Lu Jingdao's last thought, and then he died, and died in ashes. When Lu Jingdao died, the sea beasts outside were almost cleaned up. Yi Xiao Tian checked the harvest this time. Hey, there is actually a talent skill, F level spirit planting technique. When seeing the grade of this talent skill, Yi Xiao Tian curled his lips. Such a rubbish grade is probably not a good skill. However, after reading the introduction, Yi Xiao Tian felt much better. Spirit planting technique, an F level talent skill, can plant spirits for creatures of the same level as the talent skill. What is spirit planting? It is to plant a spirit spell in the opponent's soul and control the opponent's life and death. In other words, now this spirit planting technique can allow Yi Xiao Tian to control F level creatures. It's just an F level creature, so it's really useless. It can be said that this talent skill is useless to anyone. But in Yi Xiao Tian's hands, it can play a big role. After all, Yi Xiao Tian can use life essence to strengthen his talent skills. Yi Xiao Tian took a look at his life essence, and there were more than 15 million. So he didn't hesitate at all and directly strengthened the F level spirit seeding technique to S level, consuming more than 11 million life essences. There were still about 4 million left. Looking at the S level spirit seeding technique, Yi Xiao Tian became more and more satisfied. He directly withdrew the illusion, and then said to Han Xuyao and the others, Everyone, let's go to the sea with me. Brother Tian, are you going to take the initiative to attack the sea people? Wang Hao said with interest. It's really not fun to always be beaten passively like this. It's better to kill directly in the sea. Anyway, they have been to the sea before. Yi Xiao Tian said, You can also say that this time, I want to completely solve the hidden dangers of Jiangcheng. Han Xuyao frowned and said, Brother Tian, there are countless sea beasts. It may not be easy to solve them completely. She was reminding Yi Xiao Tian not to think too well, otherwise he would be hurt when he was disappointed. 
Before the spirit seating technique, it was naturally like this, but now, it is different. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, I know what I am doing. I never do anything I am not sure of. When Han Xuyao and the others heard this, they knew that Yi Xiaotian must have come up with a good idea again. Yes, anyway, whatever Yi Xiaotian does, they just need to cooperate. The group hurriedly rushed to the sea. Soon, they arrived at the coast, and Yi Xiaotian went into the sea first. The group had taken the elixir and could move and breathe freely underwater. Except for not being used to it, the rest was almost the same as on land. Brother Tian, what should we do next? Wang Hao waved the weapon in his hand and said excitedly. Yi Xiaotian said, first, go find the leader of the Sea Clan in this sea area. Chapter, 274 Yi Xiaotian soon found out who the boss of this sea area was. Giant Spider Crab That sea sorrow giant snake was indeed one of the big guys in this sea area. Now, there was still one big guy missing to solve the crisis in Jiangcheng. Of course, Yi Xiaotian didn't plan to kill this big guy. It was too wasteful. Directly control this giant spider crab and let him protect the safety of Jiangcheng, which can completely solve the crisis in Jiangcheng. And they can continue to fight without worries. Yi Xiaotian led his team all the way to the door of the giant spider crab. The giant spider crab was furious, and one leg hit Yi Xiaotian directly from a hundred meters away. Yi Xiaotian dodged. The giant spider crab was already in front of him. Human, you are looking for death. The giant spider crab was furious. Humans actually dared to kill at his doorstep. It was really too much. Boom! Yi Xiaotian threw the body of the sea sorrow giant snake in front of the giant spider crab. The giant spider crab, which had just been angry, suddenly lost its temper. Yi Xiaotian said, Do you have anything else to say? The giant spider crab said, Do you think you can scare me like this? This is the sea, not the land. The meaning is very clear. The reason why the sea serpent died is because it went ashore. If it was in the sea, it would be impossible. Yi Xiaotian didn't waste time talking to it, and waved his staff repeatedly. Illusions, illusions, and illusions fell around the giant spider crab. Then there were various other talents and skills. It directly stunned the giant spider crab. Most of the alien beasts have well-developed limbs and simple minds. So the spiritual talents and skills are accurate. One skill after another, the giant spider crab's strength was more than half destroyed. The giant spider crab is not a fool, and immediately understood why its good brother, the sea serpent, died on the shore. Damn humans, cunning humans, really despicable and shameless. Never fight you head on, always throw a bunch of despicable means at you. But that's not right. Yi Xiaotian is alone, and his companions are still fighting outside. Are these skills really released by him alone? Damn, how can one person have so many skills? The giant spider crab is going crazy. He is now trapped in an illusion and dares not move at all. The reason why an illusion is an illusion is that everything you see in front of you is not real. Unless you can break this illusion. But obviously, it is unlikely. This guy's talent skill level is very high, so high that he can't break it, otherwise his good brother Hai Sha Luo giant snake would not die on the shore. Once you are hit by an illusion, you can only be slaughtered before the illusion is broken. So the giant spider crab stopped there very simply. Respond to changes with the same attitude. Spider crab, surrender to me, I will spare your life. Yi Xiaotian's voice rang out in the empty space and reached the ears of the giant spider crab. Impossible. The giant spider crab refused without hesitation. It is a high-level S-class warrior, how could it surrender like this? Doesn't it have any face? At least we have to fight first, right? You didn't even move your hands, and you asked me to surrender. How can you let me explain to my subordinates? Yi Xiaotian didn't know the complicated psychological activities of the giant spider crab. Since the giant spider crab refused to surrender, he would beat it until it surrendered. Fire magic cannot be used here, otherwise it will be burned to death by accident. 
it would be a waste of time to find such a suitable subordinate. Yi Xiao Tian threw the two skills decline, and weakness, on the giant spider crab without hesitation. Suddenly, the strength of the giant spider crab dropped ten times again. The giant spider crab was dumbfounded. Damn! It can still be like this, what's the point of fighting? I surrender. A man of insight is a hero. It's mainly because it's afraid that it will follow the footsteps of the giant sea serpent. Yi Xiao Tian didn't promise not to kill it. If he really pissed off the other party, it would be unfair to kill him directly. He finally cultivated for a hundred years to achieve today's achievements, and he hasn't enjoyed enough. He doesn't want to follow his good brother. Yi Xiao Tian didn't expect that this giant spider crab would be so shameless. He waved his staff in the air and froze for a while. What about the firm will and the resolute refusal to surrender? I haven't started yet, and you surrendered. The saliva just now was wasted. But since you have surrendered, it's fine. The giant spider crab was very uneasy, not knowing what Yi Xiao Tian thought. Anyway, he thought that a real man can bend and stretch. When Yi Xiao Tian came, he surrendered, and when Yi Xiao Tian left, he could stand up again. At this moment, a ray of light fell on the head of the giant spider crab. The giant spider crab only felt that his soul trembled, and a message appeared in his mind. The giant spider crab was dumbfounded. I was just pretending to surrender, but you actually did that to me. You young man, you have no moral principles. This is the end of me. He wanted to curse, but he didn't dare. Helplessly, he could only sigh. Why is it always me who gets hurt? The giant spider crab wanted to cry but had no tears. He was a powerful S-class warrior, but he didn't even move his hands, and then he was controlled by someone. This is too aggrieved. At least we can fight first. Yi Xiao Tian didn't have time to care about the complicated psychological activities of a strange beast. He removed the illusion and said to the giant spider crab, From now on, you will be the king of this sea area, and the safety of Jiangqing will be handed over to you. The giant spider crab was numb. The baby felt bitter. Master, my words don't count for this matter. The giant spider crab felt that he needed to explain it, otherwise he wouldn't even know how he died. I believe you can do it. A giant sea serpent has died in this sea area. If you die again, there will be nothing left. Yi Xiao Tian warned. The giant spider crab stopped talking. The king of this sea area, or die. These two options are easy to choose. But what if the upper level blames it? Forget it, it's better to live than to die. It's better to die later than now. Besides, it's not like I haven't fought before, I just can't win. Even my good brother has died, and so many of my men have died, what else do you want from me? When the giant spider crab thought of this, it knew what to do. Master, I know what to do. Yi Xiao Tian nodded with satisfaction and said, Very good, a man of insight is a hero, I believe your future achievements will be even more brilliant. Thank you for the compliment, Master, I will definitely work hard. The giant spider crab said sincerely. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, Okay, Jiangqing is left to you, I'll go back first. By the way, you can send some low level sea beasts ashore, but don't send too many, understand? Chapter 275. After Yi Xiao Tian dealt with the giant spider crab, he did not leave immediately. Instead, he led his team to sweep up the sea. Of course, he wasn't scouring the giant spider crab's territory. After all, the giant spider crab's men are his men now. The safety of Jiangqing depends on them to maintain it. We can't weaken the giant spider crab's strength. As for Jiangqing, there is a second soul watching over him. If anything happens, he can be contacted immediately. However, in addition to the second soul, there are also giant spider crab subordinates watching, so Yi Xiao Tian is relieved. Finally, one day, he opened his attribute board and saw that all the attributes around him had exceeded one million. He immediately knew that it was time to go ashore. Reincarnation ID, Hao Tian. Talent skills, infinite growth to advanced, diamond body protection S level, crazy fighting S level, 
Bull Demon Power S Level, Strength S Level, Swiftness S Level, Deer and Crane U S S Level, Constitution S Level, Dragon Elephant S Level, Gravity A Level, Nightmare S Level, Golden Sharpness A Level, Eagle Sora Level, Void Secret Technique S Level, Chaos Grace S Level, Spiritual Uplift S Level, Illusion A Level, Aquatic S Level, Regeneration S Level, Materialization S Level, Decay S Level, Mysterious Turtle Shield SS, Explosion of Fire SS, Thickness of Earth S, Eye of Insight SS Level, Spirit Seed Technique S Level, Physique 105, 6362, Strength 105, 6652, Spirit 104, 5164, Agility 104, 4582, Supernatural Power, The Second Soul, Life Essence, 1466530 points. Reincarnation points, 12,241,300 points. Awakening level, A level awakener. The surrounding attributes have reached the standard of an S level awakener, but because there is no promotion dungeon, the awakening level is still shown as A level. Do you want to go to the promotion dungeon? Yi Shao Tian only hesitated for half a second and then made his decision. Definitely going. Return to the city immediately and pass the promotion dungeon. After promotion, it doesn't just show the improvement in level. But it also has a certain impact on the increase in talent skills. For Yi Xiao Tian, if he can be promoted to S level Awakener, his actual combat effectiveness will be qualitatively improved. After all, he has too many various amplification skills. If each skill is improved a little, when added up, it will be a massive increase. But there is also a bit of a downside. Once he is promoted to S level, it is estimated that the aliens will become even more crazy. This is also a huge pressure on the alien battlefield. Once the heretical organization fails to work, the aliens will try their best to break the blockade of the alien battlefield, enter Blue Star, and kill Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian is not afraid of this. He was afraid that the alien battlefield would be unable to withstand it because of him. I don't know how many people will die by then. Looking through historical records, every large-scale invasion by aliens resulted in casualties calculated in hundreds of millions. Every base city was destroyed, and almost no grass grew where the aliens had passed. On the way, Han Xuyao saw the serious expression on Yi Xiaotian's face and said doubtfully, Brother Tian, haven't we resolved the crisis in Jiangqing now? What are you still worried about? Yi Xiao Tian quietly explained to Han Xuyao what he was worried about. When Han Xuyao heard this, he said, It shouldn't happen, right? Even if you have been promoted to S level, it won't make the aliens go crazy, right? Yi Xiao Tian said, Although S level will not make the aliens crazy, you don't want to think about how long it took me to advance to S level. Han Xuyao calculated in his mind, and then he was speechless. Yi Xiao Tian continued, I heard someone from the heretic organization say before that when I was promoted to A-level, the aliens would do anything to kill me. Now the heathen masters all over the world have taken action. In order to reinvade Blue Star, the alien race has even joined forces with the sea race. So you are worried that once the aliens know that you have been promoted to S-level, they will become even crazier. Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, Yes, right now, we are just asking the heretical organizations to do whatever it takes. I'm afraid that the aliens will also do whatever it takes. Han Xuyao's expression also became serious. As a result, the battle on the alien battlefield will definitely be very cruel. In fact, the major races on the alien side will be forced to put aside their prejudices and make killing Yi Xiao Tian their first priority. Once this happens, the alien battlefield will definitely not be able to hold on for long. He was promoted to S level in a few months. If you give him a few more years, wouldn't it mean that another supreme powerhouse would appear? Even surpassing the supreme power. By that time, the end of the alien race will really come. Then why not trigger the world announcement? Han Xuyao suggested. Yi Xiao Tian was very hesitant after hearing this. Along the way, all the copies he received were raided by super gods. He knew very well how generous the rewards for super god evaluations were. How did those more than 10 million reincarnation points come from? 
it wasn't because of Quan Chaoshan's evaluation. And he also discovered a mechanism of the reincarnation tower. That is, as the number of super god evaluations increases, the rewards can be stacked. If he gives up the super god evaluation this time, his reincarnation point reward will return to the level of the first super god evaluation. This loss is too big. So Yi Xiao Tian would rather not advance temporarily than choose this option. After explaining it to Han Xuyao, Han Xuyao's eyes suddenly lit up and said, Really? Yi Xiao Tian nodded. But why don't we have it? Han Xuyao said in confusion. Yi Xiao Tian said, Maybe it's because my contribution value is the highest. This reason is also his guess, otherwise there is no way to explain it. Is it possible that it is because of his supreme talent? Han Xuyao suddenly realized, but he didn't doubt it. The reason why their team can get the highest rated team dungeon points is because of Yi Xiao Tian. So it is normal for Yi Xiao Tian to have special rewards. Without Yi Xiao Tian, how can they get the highest reward? Although the mechanism of the Samsara Tower has not been fully understood, there is one thing that all awakened people understand. That is, the stronger the strength, the greater the reward. What are you two talking about quietly? Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao whispered and attracted the attention of others. At first, I thought they were just talking about love. But after observing the expressions on their faces for a while, I realized that it was not the case. From the serious expressions on their faces, it can be seen that they must have noticed something wrong. At this moment, they are most sensitive and afraid that something will go wrong. Chapter 276 After Yi Xiaotian's explanation, a group of people were speechless. This level is too fast. Did Yi Xiaotian sneak out to practice while they were sleeping? You said your talent is so terrible, but you work harder than us. How can we live? It's really too much that you didn't invite us to practice. Yi Xiao Tian looked at their eyes and said, What are you doing? Brother Tian, you didn't invite us to practice, which makes us sad. Wang Hao said with a face full of resentment. Yi Xiao Tian frowned and said, What extra practice? Your level is rising so fast, isn't it because of extra practice? Wang Hao asked back. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, I don't practice extra practice, haven't I been with you all the time? Didn't you sneak out to practice extra practice at night? Wang Hao didn't believe it. Yi Xiao Tian said, Do I need to do this? And secretly, what's in your mind? Then why did your attributes increase so fast? Wang Hao looked puzzled. He asked the doubts in the hearts of others. However, Han Xuyao did not doubt anything, but just thought that it should be the same as the Super God Evaluation Reward. Reincarnation points can be stacked rewards, so attribute points must be able to be stacked as well. So it's no big deal. But others don't know. They all think that Yi Xiao Tian should have done extra training like Wang Hao. No, the way I get attribute points is a little different from you, or I get more than you. Yi Xiao Tian explained. More. Why? Wang Hao asked. Others want to ask, but it's not good. Yi Xiao Tian said, I have a high talent and I work hard, is it okay? Everyone was silent for a while. What he said makes sense, but it's very heartbreaking. Han Xuyao said, Okay, don't ask more about this question. Brother Tian is different from us, you know it. Why ask so many questions, isn't the blow enough? Her words are even more heartbreaking. Yes, they have suffered enough blows from Yi Xiao Tian, so don't humiliate yourself. For a pervert like Yi Xiao Tian, a demon, it is normal for him to do something against common sense. They were used to it. Why do you have to ask more questions today? Brother Tian, do you plan to go to the promotion dungeon? Huang Jie quickly changed the subject at this time. Yi Xiao Tian said, I'll think about it. He was going to ask Han Xuyao's grandfather after returning to the city. The old man had fought all his life and was experienced. He believed that the other party could give him useful advice. The group returned to Jiangqing, and Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao were going back to Han's house. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were going back to Chang's house. Or you three can go back with us. That hotel is really not for people to live in. 
Han Xuyao invited. You can also go to Chang's house. Chang Xiaosi also added. Then the three of you unanimously agreed to go to Chang's house. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were confused. Don't you think about it? Our house is also big and can accommodate us. Han Xuyao invited again. Huang Jia said, No, let's go to Chang's house. I'm afraid we'll die of overeating if we go to your house. What do you mean? Han Xuyao was confused. Let's go, let's go. If we don't leave now, we won't be able to eat again. Huang Jia called Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi were also confused, but they had to leave first. After they all left, Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, what are they talking about? Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, I don't know either. Maybe the chef in your family cooks too deliciously. Is that so? Han Xuyao looked puzzled. Yi Xiao Tian said, That must be the case. Han Xuyao said, The chef in my family is indeed much better than the chef in Chang's family. Huang Jia, the fat guy, had a big appetite when he went to my house. He would die of overeating if he didn't die of overeating. Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched, and he didn't speak. Brother Tian, let's go home. Han Xuyao took Yi Xiaotian's hand and went home happily. What else could Yi Xiaotian say? Could he say that the other person was full because he ate too much dog food? When he returned to the Han family, he only saw Han Jing. The old man went to retreat again. Hearing that Yi Xiaotian was looking for him, he told him the place and asked him to go there by himself. Han Xuyao took Yi Xiaotian there. Hearing that it was Yi Xiaotian who was looking for him, the old man met Yi Xiaotian without any hesitation. When Han Jing learned the news, the corners of his mouth kept twitching. Sure enough, he was not his biological son. When the old man was in retreat, even he didn't dare to disturb him casually, otherwise he would probably be beaten. But when Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao went, they met immediately. This difference is too different. I heard that you went out of town. How was it? Did you have fun? The old man poured a cup of tea for his granddaughter and grandson-in-law and said with a smile. Grandpa, we didn't really go out of town to have fun this time. But we had several fights. Han Xuyao said. The old man frowned and said, Why, are sea beasts attacking the city again? He hadn't heard the news either. If sea beasts attacked the city, the whole Jiangcheng would be in an uproar. But the city has been very quiet these days. Although he was in meditation, it didn't mean that he didn't know anything about what was happening outside. Yi Xiaotian said, Grandpa, don't worry. The sea beasts didn't come to attack the city. They just joined forces with the heretic organization to cause trouble for me. The heretic organization, those heretics are here again. Are you all right? The old man said in shock. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay. The one who came was Lu Jingdao, the leader of the heretic organization in Beijing. I have solved him. The corners of the old man's mouth twitched for a while. What the hell, that was a high-level S-level strongman, and he was solved so easily. Grandpa, I want to see you this time because I want to hear your opinion on something. Yi Xiaotian told the old man his purpose. After listening to it, Grandpa Han was so shocked that he couldn't speak. It was shocking enough to become an A-level awakener in a few months. But what did he hear now? Yi Xiaotian actually reached the requirements of an S-level awakener. What the hell? Grandpa Han couldn't help but swear. There's no way, I really can't control it. Grandpa, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Han Xuyao was shocked to see the old man's dull eyes without any brilliance. The old man came to his senses and said in a trembling voice, Can you really be promoted to an S-level awakener? Yi Xiaotian said, Yes. The old man sighed, Forget it, it's really annoying to compare people. They are a bunch of old guys who have worked hard all their lives. I don't know how many battles they have fought and how many monsters they have killed. Now, the yellow earth is almost buried up to their necks, and they are still only A-level awakeners. But Yi Xiaotian, only 18 years old, has only awakened his talent for a few months, 
and he can already be promoted to an S-level awakener. They are all living like dogs at their age. Is this the real top genius? Chapter 277 Soon, Mr. Han stopped thinking and started talking to Yi Xiaotian. You don't have to worry about this at all. Judging from the current situation, even if you don't get promoted, the aliens won't miss this opportunity. On the contrary, after you are promoted to S-Class Awakener, they will consider whether to withdraw their troops. Yi Xiaotian was confused and said, Grandpa, how do you say this? Mr. Han was very satisfied with Yi Xiaotian's title and continued, This time the foreign race has united with our local sea race of Blue Star. The meaning of returning to Blue Star is self-evident. Since they have such a plan, they will not change it arbitrarily. This is worthy of praise. They know very well that if the human race is allowed to continue to develop, their chances of returning to Blue Star will become slimmer. So for this reason, they did not hesitate to pull out powerful enemies from the sea. As for the assassination of you, I haven't stopped since I thought about it. If they know that you are getting stronger and stronger under their assassination, they will have to think about what they will do when you fully grow up. Yi Xiaotian hesitated and said, Grandpa, they shouldn't just retreat, right? Mr. Han stroked his beard and said, Of course, if they retreat like this, they will no longer be aliens. They might get crazier, or they might just recede, who knows. Yi Xiaotian had a black line on his face. If you said it, wouldn't it mean you didn't say it? Mr. Han burst out laughing when he saw Yi Xiaotian's expression. Grandpa, can you be more serious? Han Xuyao couldn't stand it anymore and suddenly said coquettishly. When Mr. Han saw that his precious granddaughter was angry, he quickly said, Okay, I won't joke anymore. Boy, don't take yourself too seriously, and don't take the foreigners too lightly. What do you mean? Yi Xiaotian asked confused. It means that whether you are promoted or not, it is the same to the aliens. Unless you can advance to the SS level, otherwise, to the aliens, you are just a genius. Mr. Han said. Well. Yi Xiaotian suddenly looked confused. Don't aliens value themselves very much? Why, it sounds like it's the same whether you have yourself or not. Mr. Han continued, before you, our human race also had many amazing geniuses, but what about these people now? The vast majority of them have already died, and very few of them can actually grow up. And those geniuses who have grown up, after being promoted to S-Class Awakeners, their rapid growth has also stopped. The foundation of an awakened person is physical attributes. Where do physical attributes come from? Hunt strange beasts and clear reincarnation dungeons. But there are too many attribute points required to advance from S level to SS level, let alone SS level. How long do you think it will take for you to advance to SS level? Obviously, Mr. Han also felt that the reason why Yi Xiaotian was able to be promoted to S level so quickly was because of the reincarnation copy. He didn't know how many reincarnation point rewards he could get for super god evaluation. Except for Yi Xiaotian, no one knew. But they have a guess. That is, the reason why Yi Xiaotian can advance to the awakening level so quickly is because the super god has evaluated the copy. He obtained a large number of reincarnation points and exchanged them for a large number of physical attribute points. But Yi Xiaotian has already completed most of the dungeons. If you continue to clear the dungeon, the reincarnation points you can get are far less than the first pass. Therefore, Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation points will drop to the freezing point. In other words, the speed at which Yi Xiaotian obtains physical attribute points will also be greatly reduced. The attribute points required to advance from S level to SS level are 20 times more than those from F level to S level combined. So what Yi Xiaotian was worried about didn't exist at all. The foreigners may be surprised and surprised. Then the reward may be increased and someone can kill him. But it will definitely not affect the war between the two clans as Yi Xiaotian imagined. How could a race war be such a child's play if it was so important? Before Yi Xiaotian was promoted to SS level awakener, it would have little impact on the overall situation of such a war. After listening to the old man's explanation, Yi Xiaotian looked embarrassed. Originally, he thought that he played a decisive role in this war between the two races. 
But after hearing what the old man said, he understood. In the eyes of the foreign race, he was just a casual target. No wonder that so far, only the pagans from Xia Kingdom have come to assassinate him. Even the experts from the headquarters of the heretical organization have not yet been dispatched. Before, he thought it might be due to time. After all, the headquarters of the heretical organization is located in the beautiful country, and the strongest master of the heretic organization is also there. It takes a lot of time to get from beautiful country to Xia country. But now it seems that this is not the case at all. The heretical organization really wanted him dead. But it was obvious that the masters at the heretical organization's headquarters felt that in order to deal with Yi Xiao Tian, the believers from the Xia kingdom would be enough. The main reason why they still come here is because the foreigners have given them too much. Given so much, even if they just crush an ant to death, they are willing to run thousands of miles to attack. The only thing that bothered them was whether Yi Xiao Tian was still alive after they arrived in Xia kingdom. Now we know that Yi Xiao Tian is still alive. The main force of the Demon City branch was annihilated, so they were naturally eager to come and get a share of the spoils. After figuring this out, Yi Xiao Tian was left with embarrassment. Grandpa, isn't it too biased to say this? Brother Tian alone destroyed the heretic organization's Demon City branch and Beijing branch, and prevented the sea beasts outside the city from making any progress. How come such an achievement is insignificant in your mouth? Han Shuyao was unhappy. After being lectured by his granddaughter, Grandpa Han immediately realized that his words were too harsh. The precious granddaughter was unhappy. He had to say, Yao Yao, Grandpa is exaggerating. In fact, the alien race still values Xiao Tian very much, otherwise they would not pay a lot of money for his head. Han Shuyao let him go after hearing what he said. Brother Tian, let's go. Grandpa just doesn't understand. He is talking nonsense. Han Shuyao wanted to pull Yi Xiao Tian away. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Shuyao, Grandpa is right. I was wrong. The recent assassinations by the heretic organization made me wrong. The aliens do value me, but not to the extent that I can influence the aliens' grand strategy. Grandpa is right. How can a mere S-level awakener make the aliens change their grand strategy? Even if this S-level awakener grows a little fast, it's still within the controllable range in the eyes of the aliens who are full of masters. So, I plan to go to the promotion dungeon. Chapter 278 For others, the promotion dungeon is extremely difficult, but for Yi Xiao Tian, it is very easy. Congratulations to the awakener Haotian, who passed the S-level promotion dungeon and was rated as super god. The originally quiet public channel of the Samsara world was boiling again. They were already very calm about Yi Xiaotian's super god evaluation of the dungeon. But Yi Xiaotian's promotion to the S level awakener at this moment still gave them a great shock. People can't be compared with each other. In fact, they all know this truth. But the gap is too big, right? Is this still a human? The most shocked are the new awakeners of the same class as Yi Xiaotian. We all came from compulsory education, why are you so outstanding? Some new awakeners who were brushing dungeons in the Samsara Tower were killed by the strange beasts in the dungeon when they were distracted and returned to the Samsara Square. They were pale one by one. After dying once, they couldn't enter the Samsara Tower to brush points for a week. It's so miserable. Some talented freshmen who knew Yi Xiao Tian also complained. Fuck, Brother Tian, how can we live like this? On the Samsara Square, Peng Xiangyu was silently furious with a bitter face. He died in the dungeon because of distraction. Very depressed, he had to go out of the city to kill the beasts in the next week. But it was so dangerous outside the city. He didn't have Yi Xiaotian's ability. And now the sea beasts are attacking the city, it's even more unsafe outside the city. Jiangnan University is like Magic City University, close to the sea. So although Peng Xiangyu is the eldest son of the family, he can't go out of the city to take risks at this time. It's too dangerous. Just when he was sad, a ray of light flashed beside him. Oh, acquaintance. Brother Xiao, you are here too. Peng Xiangyu laughed. 
Xiao Qing rolled his eyes and didn't bother to pay attention to this guy. I'm going back to kill the beasts. Xiao Qing said, and then he was ready to leave. Wait. Ping Xianyu called him, and then said, Brother Xiao, now the sea beasts are attacking the city, it is very dangerous outside the city, you should take it easy. Beijing is not on the coast, so there are no sea beasts. We can safely kill the beasts outside the city. Xiao Qing said in a flat voice. Peng Xiangyu was speechless, envious and jealous. Why is my Jiangnan University on the coast? Why are there so many sea beasts outside Jiangnan Bay City? Otherwise I would go to other Bay Cities. But now there are sea beasts outside Jiangnan Bay City, how can I get out? Peng Xiangyu was in pain. Although the points in the Samsara Tower are not much, but the mosquito is still meat. It's better than staying at home all day. What's more, everyone came here this way. Now it's good, even the mosquito legs are gone. I can't go out of the city, can I only stay at home? But in this way, the gap between him and Yi Xiao Tian will be even wider. Well, it's really a bit presumptuous to compare with Yi Xiao Tian. Even compared with freshmen of the same level, I'm afraid there will be a gap. How can this be? Peng Xianyu felt very uncomfortable when he thought of this result. It's okay if he can't compare with Yi Xiao Tian, this pervert. His teammates won't play either. That's fine, after all, with Yi Xiao Tian as a thigh, even if he is a fool, he won't be too bad. But now, he is actually falling behind other geniuses of the same level, which is unbearable. Thinking of this, he pulled out the chat board and sent a message directly to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, you killed me. Yi Xiao Tian just came out of the copy and received countless messages. However, he directly blocked the messages from strangers. However, he did not block the messages from friends. The first message he received was from Deacon Wu. He first greeted and congratulated him. Then he invited Yi Xiao Tian to sit in the Awakener Association. Seeing that he didn't have anything important to do, Yi Xiao Tian ignored it. Just as he was about to close the message page and go back, he received a message from Peng Xiangyu. This is the message Yi Xiao Tian sent back to Peng Xiangyu. Anyway, we got along well in the summer camp, so he added a friend position. Peng Xiangyu didn't expect Yi Xiao Tian to reply to his message, and he was overjoyed. He sent a crying emoticon. Then he said, because of the news that you passed the copy promotion, I was careless and was killed by the monster in the copy. I am so miserable. It's not like you haven't died before. Yi Xiao Tian replied. Peng Xiangyu's heart hurts. But this is what Yi Xiao Tian said. Brother Tian, it hurts. Peng Xiangyu replied, If I really don't get anything in a week, I will probably fall to the second echelon. Yi Xiao Tian, aren't you always in the second echelon? Peng Xiangyu was stunned and even more depressed. Sure enough, Chatting with Brother Tian has never been a pleasant thing. Brother Tian, where are you now? I really want to hunt monsters with you. Peng Xiangyu said. Yi Xiao Tian, I'm in the Samsara Square, I'll be offline soon. Wait. Peng Xiangyu quickly replied, can we meet? In fact, what he wanted to ask was where Yi Xiao Tian was in the real world. He couldn't enter the copy of the Samsara world for the next week, so he wanted to follow Yi Xiao Tian to kill the monsters. Killing alien beasts in reality is much more rewarding than in the reincarnation copy. But he was unsure if he didn't follow Yi Xiao Tian. Now, the masters of their Ping family have all gone to the front line, and they don't have the extra time to take him to kill alien beasts. The situation in Jiangnan Bay City is many times more serious than that in Jiangcheng. What the magic city and Jiangqing face are only near the sea and shallow sea. And what Jiangnan Bay City has to face is the real distant sea and deep sea. There is no need to guess that there is still a big difference between the two. For example, the strongest near the sea of Jiangcheng is the S-level high-level sea beast. But in Jiangnan Bay City, there are even SS-level sea beasts. Jiangnan Bay City is the location of Jiangnan Awakener University, one of the four major universities in Xia country. Jiangnan Bay City is also the third largest base city in Xia country, and the largest base city facing the ocean. 
the strength of the Awakeners in Jiangnan Bay City is naturally beyond doubt. It's a pity that most of the defense forces of the major base cities have been transferred to the alien battlefield. Originally, all the major families in Jiangnan Bay City were passively defending. But once the incident in the Magic City happened, they dared not fool around anymore and quickly sent out real masters to resist the sea beasts. Fortunately, they went there in advance and set up several lines of defense, otherwise Jiangnan Bay City would be in danger. The fact that even a genius son of a family like Peng Xiangyu could not leave the city explained everything. Peng Xiangyu did not want to cause the death of the awakeners of the family because of himself. Okay. Yi Xiaotian's reply was very concise, and the two agreed to meet at a tavern next to the square. Chapter, 279 A Tavern Next to the Square Of course, the wine sold here is not ordinary wine. It is specially brewed for awakeners. It is brewed with the blood of exotic beasts and various precious medicinal materials. After the awakened drink it, a certain number of attribute points can be increased. However, the effect is worse for people with higher awakening levels. This wine has another feature, that is, it is expensive. However, for a new student like Ping Xiangyu, who is not short of money, it is a good place to go in his spare time. When Ping Xiangyu arrived at the tavern, he found that Yi Xiaotian had already arrived. What made Ping Xiangyu even more sad was that Yi Xiaotian, who was not a human being, was actually approached by a beautiful woman. Beauty, my brother Tian doesn't like beautiful women. Ping Xiangyu patted the autistic beauty and said. The beauty was stunned at first, then looked at Ping Xiangyu, then looked at Yi Xiaotian, and pretended to be enlightened. It's really a waste of this face. The beauty left cursing. Yi Xiaotian was in a state of dismay. It was obvious that he could tell what the beautiful woman meant by her expression. Peng Xiangyu quickly sat down and said, Brother Tian, you have sister Xu Yao, so you can't be a scumbag. Get lost. Yi Xiaotian uttered a word heavily. Peng Xiangyu picked up the spirit wine on the table and drank it. If you have something to say, just say it. If you have nothing to say, just fart. If you have nothing to say, I will leave Yi Xiaotian said lightly. Peng Xiangyu quickly said, if there is something, there is something. By the way, Brother Tian, where are you now? I want to hang out with you. Peng Xiangyu said. Yi Xiaotian said, can you leave Jiangnan Bay City now? Peng Xiangyu said, although it is a bit difficult to go out hunting, it is still okay to leave. Yi Xiaotian understood after hearing this and said, I am in Jiangcheng. Jiangcheng? Are you back home? Peng Xiangyu was a little surprised. He thought Yi Xiaotian and the others were in the Magic City Bay City. In Jiangcheng, it would be much easier. Jiangnan Bay City is much closer to Jiangcheng than to the Magic City. Yes, Jiangcheng was attacked by sea beasts, and I went back to help. Yi Xiaotian explained casually. Peng Xiangyu nodded in understanding. If it were him, he would go back too. I'll go to Jiangcheng to find you. Peng Xiangyu said. Yi Xiaotian said, your Peng family has many masters. Isn't it better to kill sea beasts in Jiangnan Bay City? Do you think it's safer to come to Jiangcheng to find me? Peng Xiangyu said, yes, I think it's safer to follow you. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. I don't know if this guy has water in his brain. He actually thinks it's safer to follow him. Are all the masters of the Peng family just eating dry food? I may go to the alien battlefield soon. Yi Xiaotian said. Alien battlefield? Peng Xiangyu exclaimed first, and then said, I like it. Yi Xiaotian was sure that this guy was indeed brain deep. The alien battlefield is the most dangerous place under the will of the entire reincarnation. Are you sure you want to go? Yi Xiaotian said in confusion. Peng Xiangyu said, Sure, I said, I'll follow you and go anywhere. Yi Xiaotian was completely speechless. He suspected that there was something wrong with Peng Xiangyu's orientation. He was thinking whether he should kill this guy first. The alien battlefield is now ten times more dangerous than your Jiangnan base city. You may not survive a day there. Yi Xiaotian warned in a deep voice. 
Peng Xianyu said, wealth and honor are sought in danger. I really have no future in Jiangnan Bay City. I don't have any tacit understanding with those masters at home. If I rashly join their team, it will disrupt their fighting rhythm, and we may all die together. I don't want to hurt them. But joining you is different. You are also freshmen, and everyone is new to running in. And during the summer camp, we also cooperated with each other. More importantly, I believe in you. Yi Xiaotian was quite proud that Peng Xiangyu could say this. He did not agree immediately, but thought about it. Peng Xiangyu did not urge him, because he knew that Yi Xiaotian not only had to consider this matter himself, but also had to discuss it with the team members. Peng Xiangyu did not have the idea of joining Yi Xiaotian's team just now. He had it as early as the summer camp. But at that time, Yi Xiaotian looked like he was keeping people at a distance. So he wisely did not mention it. Instead, he has been licking him all the time. There is nothing to be ashamed of for licking him. There are millions of people who want to lick him, but they don't have this opportunity. He could also see that Xiao Cheng, the bastard, had the same idea as him. After the summer camp ended, everyone returned to school. Peng Xianyu's original plan was to wait until the freshman competition to mention this to Yi Xiaotian. But he did not expect that before the freshman competition started, the alien race and the sea race joined forces to make trouble. The whole world has already started fighting. There is no point in holding this freshman competition. Peng Xianyu could only give up again. He had sent countless messages to Yi Xiaotian in the reincarnation world, but unfortunately, Yi Xiaotian never came online again. In today's situation, I don't know whether he was lucky or unlucky. Although Yi Xiaotian said it was dangerous, Peng Xiangyu knew very well that it was not. Just look at who is in his team and you will know. His girlfriend Han Shuyao. His brother Wang Hao, who grew up with him. These people are all in his team. If it is really dangerous, Yi Xiaotian will not take them. Look at the current strength of his teammates, all of them are B-level Awakeners. And what about him? He is still only a D-level Awakener, and there is still a long way to go before he can reach C-level. This is a bit of a mess. Of course, compared with ordinary new geniuses, this is normal. But people are afraid of comparison. If there is no Yi Xiaotian and his Haotian team, then of course there is no problem. It's just a waste of time. Anyway, everyone has come this way. But since there is such an opportunity, he naturally doesn't want to miss it. What Yi Xiaotian has to consider is not whether Peng Xiangyu has the ability or whether he can help his team. Because he is here, there is no need for this. He had an idea before, that is, whether he can rely on his own ability to attract and cultivate a group of talents loyal to him. He didn't have the qualifications before. But now he has been promoted to S-level Awakener, he already has this ability. So considering these, loyalty is the most important thing. To be honest, the members of Yi Xiaotian's team can only be considered above average in terms of talent. But is this important? For Yi Xiaotian, it is not important at all. What is important is that these members of his team are all close friends. Partners who can trust each other. Otherwise, Yi Xiaotian would not have revealed so many secrets to them. So here comes the most important question. Can I trust you? Chapter 280 A hero needs three helpers. How many nails can a man hammer with iron? When Jiang Cheng was attacked, he realized that if he had a few more helpers, he wouldn't be so rushed. But it's not so easy to be his helper. Yi Xiaotian doesn't know many people, and even fewer people with whom he has a good relationship. However, Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng can be included in the scope of investigation. If Peng Xiangyu doesn't come to him today, he will also find a chance to test their mouths. After all, both of them have their own teams, and Yi Xiaotian's behavior of poaching is indeed not good. But now that Peng Xiangyu has said it himself, he will not be polite. Can I trust you? Yi Xiaotian said. Peng Xiangyu was stunned when he heard it, there is a play. He quickly patted his chest and said, Brother Tian, don't worry. Although I, Peng Xiangyu, have a bit of a erratic personality, I am definitely not an ungrateful person. 
Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Okay, I just asked casually. If I didn't believe you, I wouldn't see you. But you are in Jiangnan Bay City now. Let me take a break in the next two days and then pick you up. You should pay attention to the news at any time. When we come, we will notify you in the Samsara world. Although the distance between Jiangnan Bay City and Jiangqing Bay City is not too far, the communication has basically been cut off. Since the appearance of the strange beast that can fly and hide in the ground, the best way for the human race to contact is the Samsara world. As long as both parties enter the Samsara world, they can keep in touch no matter where you are. It's just that there is a time limit to enter the Samsara world. And you can't go in in dangerous places, otherwise your life will be in danger when you come out. So many times, mobile phones and the internet are still used instead. But once the distance is too far, there will be a problem of no signal. Now that the sea tribe is attacking the city in a big way, Yi Xiaotian estimates that the communication between Jiangqing Bay City and Jiangnan Bay City has probably been destroyed. It is more reliable to use the communication method of the reincarnation world. Peng Xiangyu was happy at first, and then said to Presley, Can it be earlier? Can't wait for two days. Yi Xiaotian has just been promoted to S level Awakener, and he still needs two days to get familiar with it. However, I heard that fighting and killing are the best ways to get familiar with one's own strength. Peng Xiangyu said with a bitter face, It's really too boring to stay at home. Okay, after I go offline, I will discuss with others and go to Jiangnan Bay City as soon as possible. Yi Xiaotian did not shirk. Mainly with his current strength, even if he is not fully familiar with the newly added power, it should not be dangerous to go to Jiangnan Bay City. Thank you, Brother Tian, thank you so much. Peng Xiangyu was overjoyed and jumped up directly. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand to let him sit down, saying, Okay, can you stop making so much noise? There were many awakened people sitting in the tavern, and everyone's eyes were on their table. Peng Xiangyu's noise was so loud that they were all curious. Peng Xiangyu immediately sat down and said a little embarrassedly, I was too excited and couldn't control my emotions. Yi Xiaotian said, as an awakened person, controlling your emotions is a basic skill. What else could Peng Xiangyu say? He could only accept it obediently and said, Yes, yes, Brother Tian is right. I still have a lot to learn from you. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, Okay, I believe you know these things better than me. Peng Xiangyu was embarrassed again. This but hit the horse's leg again. It seems that there is still a long way to go in the way of flattering. He was going to learn from the fat man next to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to pay attention to him and went offline directly. After finding Han Xuyao, Yi Xiaotian said, Xuyao, I have something to discuss with you. Han Xuyao was wearing a bathrobe, wrapping her graceful body in it, I'm going to play games, or let's go to the game pool to talk. Han Xuyao was going to her private swimming pool. This is the advantage of being rich. Poor people are still worried about where to live. But the rich live in manners, with all kinds of supporting facilities. Castles, gardens, swimming pools, etc. Yi Xiaotian followed Han Xuyao and walked towards the swimming pool. The indoor swimming pool covering hundreds of square meters made Yi Xiaotian call it a waste. Plop! Han Xuyao took off her bathrobe directly, put on her swimsuit, and jumped directly into the pool. Her graceful body twisted in the water, like a mermaid. Yi Xiaotian sat down on a lounge chair by the swimming pool, watching Han Xuyao's performance quietly. Finally, after swimming two rounds, Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiaotian and stopped. She climbed on the edge of the pool with both hands, not caring about the whiteness exposed in front of Yi Xiaotian. Brother Tian, what do you want to tell me? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian's eyes moved away unconsciously, swallowed a lot of saliva, and then said, I just met Peng Xiangyu in the reincarnation world. Isn't this normal? That is, the people in our team, the other new awakeners, who doesn't soak in the reincarnation copy all day long. If the time to enter the reincarnation world can be bought and sold, we can make a fortune just by selling time. Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, I talked to him for a while, he wants to join our team, 
I want to go to Jiangnan base city to find him. Han Shuya was stunned for a moment, then said, What do you think? She was really surprised. It's not that no one wanted to join their team before. On the contrary, many people wanted to join their team. But Yi Xiaotian didn't even think about it and directly refused. But now, Yi Xiaotian wants to add people. She has an impression of Peng Xiangyu. He was quite good at dealing with things during the summer camp. But Yi Xiaotian is not the kind of person who will change his mind if someone flatters him. Yi Xiaotian said, we need to cultivate our own people. The situation in the future will be more complicated, or more and more complicated. We must have our own people. Han Xuyao was born in a small family. When she heard what Yi Xiaotian said, she understood what he meant. Okay, if you have such an idea, I support you. Han Xuyao said very straightforwardly, Brother Tian, why don't you come down and swim too? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, Forget it, I can't swim. Whether in the past life or this life, Yi Xiaotian is a landlubber. It's okay, I'll teach you. Han Xuyao finally found a weakness of Yi Xiaotian. She always felt that after Yi Xiaotian's talent awakened, he was omnipotent. It was a bit unlike the Yi Xiaotian she knew. Now that she saw that Yi Xiaotian had a weakness, she was relieved. Chapter 281 Having weaknesses makes you a real person. There is no weakness, that is a saint. Yi Xiaotian rejected Han Xuyao's proposal without any hesitation. Just kidding, what are you thinking about going to learn swimming at this time? Don't ask, you'll make a fool of yourself if you ask. No one else is coming here either. Han Xuyao's swimsuit was made of very little material, and large swathes of white snow were exposed. It's better in the water, and it's a bit more covered. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian could also look away and tolerate it. But get into the water and learn to swim. Then close physical contact is inevitable. Just thinking about that scene, Yi Xiaotian felt the urge to have a nosebleed. So he refused very simply. But Han Xuyao finally found a place where he could give advice to Yi Xiaotian, and there was no room for Yi Xiaotian to refuse. He took action directly and pulled Yi Xiaotian on the shore into the water. As for whether or not to change into a swimsuit, what kind of swimsuit should a man change into? It's not an open-air swimming pool. This is home. Just take off your coat, Han Xuyao won't care. She didn't care, but Yi Xiaotian did. He didn't want to make a fool of himself in front of Han Xuyao, so he tried his best to protect his coat. But at this moment, Han Xuyao looked like a violent person. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, I won't let you drown. What's more, we've all been in the sea, what are you afraid of? Han Xuyao persuaded Yi Xiaotian while tugging on his clothes. It was only after Yi Xiaotian entered the water that he realized that he seemed to have missed the mark. He has the talent of water tribe. Entering the water feels like returning home. This is true whether it is fresh water or sea water. When he was at the pool, he was still worried. But when he got into the water, he realized that things were not as bad as he thought. As for what Han Xuyao said about going into the sea, it's not the same thing at all. In the sea, their bodies simply did not reject sea water. The water-avoiding elixir he exchanged from the reincarnation space can push away the sea water around the body, giving them enough space to survive. Swimming in water is completely different. When Han Xuyao saw that Yi Xiaotian had stopped moving, he unconsciously stopped moving his hands and said, Brother Tian, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, you continue. Of course, Yi Xiaotian couldn't say that he had made a mistake. Han Xuyao had a black line on his face, why do you want to continue? Can you put it another way? However, she still took off Yi Xiaotian's coat and threw it to the edge of the swimming pool. Let me give you a sample first. Novices should learn to swim from simple postures first. And you are an S-class awakened person, so your physical fitness is very strong, so you will definitely learn it very quickly. Han Xuyao explained to Yi Xiaotian, and then started swimming around. Yi Xiaotian watched Han Xuyao swimming in the water. Her movements were a bit like a frog swimming in the water. He knew that this was breaststroke. However, frog swimming is ugly, 
but Han Xuyao's breaststroke is pleasing to the eye. Han Xuyao swam for a while and found Yi Xiaotian staring at her. She felt happy and swam to Yi Xiaotian's side and said, Brother Tian, how are you? Did you see anything? So beautiful. Yi Xiaotian said it smoothly, and then quickly explained, I have seen other people swimming before, and I thought it was so ugly. Han Xuyao did not expose him, but instead felt a sense of satisfaction in her heart. Ever since she established a relationship with Yi Xiaotian, although Yi Xiaotian was very kind to her, he had never done anything special. It's like she's not attractive at all. She is the school beauty, a big beauty. Do you have the face of an angel or the body of a devil? Are you usually not moved at all when you are with me? But if Yi Xiaotian doesn't act, Han Xuyao can't directly collude. Now Han Xuyao finally understands the reason. It must be that she wore too many clothes before. It seems that I will have to go swimming with Brother Tian more in the future. Han Xuyao smiled and said, This posture is breaststroke, which is the most suitable for novices among various swimming postures. Originally, as a novice, Yi Xiaotian still needed to adapt to the process of being in the water. But considering that he is a powerful awakener, I will skip these and get started directly. Han Xuyao stretched out his hand, pulled Yi Xiaotian, and said, Come on, Brother Tian, come and try it first. I won't just sink, right? Yi Xiaotian asked. Han Xuyao said, No, don't worry, I will support you from the front. Yi Xiaotian could only be at the mercy of Han Xuyao. But the more their bodies came into contact, the stiffer Yi Xiaotian's limbs became. Han Xuyao frowned and said, Brother Tian, don't be so nervous. The water is not deep. It's okay. Even if it sinks, you can just jump up and get up. And you also said that with your strong physique, you will have no problem even if you hold your breath in the water for half an hour. Come on, relax a little. I'm holding your belly in my hands so it won't sink. When Yi Xiaotian heard this, he couldn't help but smile bitterly, and said to himself, Am I worried about whether I can sink or not? What I'm worried about is that I can't control my body. Feeling the contact between Han Xuyao's little hand and his belly, Yi Xiaotian felt itchy in his heart, and a strange feeling came to his heart. It's not like I haven't reached out to Han Xuyao before, hugged her, and so on. But it's the first time for us to have such contact like today. The main reason is that both of us are wearing too little. And from time to time, Yi Xiaotian's body will touch some of Han Xuyao's more sensitive parts. Han Xuyao is devoted to teaching Yi Xiaotian to swim, so it's nothing, at most he will blush. But Yi Xiaotian can't do it. If he continues like this, he will have to be locked up in a small dark room. So he decisively said, Xuyao, why don't you show me various postures again? Han Xuyao said, but it's useless to just watch, you have to practice it yourself. Yi Xiaotian said, I'm a genius, if you show me a few more times, I'm sure I can do it. Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiaotian with a strange expression, and saw that Yi Xiaotian's body was slightly bent, and his eyes swept into the water, and he immediately understood what was going on. His face flushed, and he quickly said, Okay, I'll show you again, you watch it. After saying that, Han Xuyao, like a beautiful fish, began to tumble in the pool with a splash of water. She performed various swimming postures very gracefully. Yi Xiaotian leaned to the side and watched silently, concentrating his mind and calming his restless heart. If he continued like this, he would definitely make mistakes. But now that he was in college, he was also a serious adult. Shouldn't he consider some things? Although the alien race was still rampant, the human ethics could not be ignored. Chapter 282 Han Xuyao saw Yi Xiaotian's embarrassment and was very happy. Finally, she is still attractive. The two have been in a relationship for half a year, and today she finally regained her confidence. Next, Han Xuyao changed various postures, like a mermaid playing in the water. She turned around Yi Xiaotian, and her graceful figure almost made Yi Xiaotian bleed from his nose. Brother Tian, come, let's swim together. Han Xuyao shouted to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was eager to try. He has the talent of aquatic, and being in the water is like returning to his home. 
what's so scary? It's nothing more than some psychological effects. As long as you overcome it, it's fine. It's like a person who is afraid of heights walking on a glass bridge. Knowing that he won't fall, he will be scared and scream, and even dare not take a step. Yi Xiao Tian is in this situation now. Knowing that he can come and go freely in the water, he just can't get over the psychological barrier. Fortunately, Han Xuyao was always there to give instructions. And she would occasionally help him, making Yi Xiao Tian feel both painful and happy. I don't know when, the two of them got closer and closer, and Han Xuyao was almost hanging on Yi Xiao Tian. Friction generates heat. There is a risk of accidental discharge when rubbing a gun. Fortunately, at the last moment, Han Xuyao woke up and realized that this was in the swimming pool. Although this swimming pool is exclusively for her family, no one else will come except her parents. But it was stopped in time. Yi Xiao Tian also regained his clarity and hugged Han Xuyao and said, I'm sorry. It's okay, brother Tian, let's go back to the room. Han Xuyao invited. Yi Xiao Tian nodded mechanically, and then was pulled back to the room upstairs by Han Xuyao. What happened next cannot be described in detail. Yi Xiao Tian always had a thought in his mind, that is, he seemed to have forgotten something. As for what it was, he couldn't remember. So in the end he simply didn't think about it. It was not until Han Jing came to call them for dinner that the two young people who had forgotten everything realized that the scene was a bit awkward. Especially Yi Xiao Tian, who looked like a young man who had stolen someone's daughter and was discovered by his old father. Fortunately, Han Jing was also an experienced person, and the entire Han family was very satisfied with Yi Xiao Tian. So for such a thing, although they would not rush to send their daughter away. But if the two young people were in love, they would not say anything. In short, they were still very happy. When Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao came out of the room, they did not see Han Jing and were relieved. After checking each other's clothes, they walked towards the dining room. There were only two people in the huge dining room. Han Xuyao's parents and even the aunt who served them were sent away by them. They were afraid that the two young people would be embarrassed. When Han's mother saw the two people coming in, she hurriedly greeted them, come and eat. Then she got up and served rice and soup to Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao. Auntie, I'll do it myself. Yi Xiao Tian hurried over. Now this is the real mother-in-law, and he can't let her serve him. Mother Han smiled and said, it's okay. You young people have your own careers to be busy with. I'm just an ordinary person. It's my duty to help you do some things. If you ask me, you should have a child first. While I'm young, I can also help you take care of it. Yi Xiao Tian almost bit his tongue. He sat down with a red face. But Han Xuyao said calmly, Mom, we are still young. Let's talk about having children later. Mother Han glared at Han Xuyao with a reproachful look. She was still too young. How can you feel at ease if you don't have a child first? For a popular commodity like Yi Xiao Tian, Mother Han wished her daughter would have ten or eight children and completely tie Yi Xiao Tian to the Han family. But Han Xuyao has been a person with her own ideas since she was a child. No one can say anything when you are determined. Just like Yi Xiao Tian, she had made up her mind, so it was useless for the couple to say anything before. Fortunately, the daughter's vision was really unique, and she picked the most outstanding one at once. Some things really need to be believed. So now the couple let Han Xuyao's affairs go. Although Han's mother is also an awakener, her talent is similar to Han Jing, but she doesn't have much intention to practice. She used to focus on Han Xuyao. Now she wants to work hard, but there is no chance. So she thought that it would be nice if Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao could give birth to a child for her to play with earlier. No, it's to take care of it. But after thinking about it, it seems that her daughter is still young. She has just become an adult, and it is indeed a bit difficult for her to have a child now. After all, she is still a baby. After a meal, Yi Xiao Tian didn't dare to look up. For fear that if he looked up, Han's father and mother would ask about what he and Han Xuyao had done in the room all afternoon. Just as they were about to leave, Han Xuyao suddenly asked, Brother Tian, 
did you discuss something with me this afternoon? Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Was he just making small talk? Shouldn't he talk about what happened in the afternoon in front of his parents? It was very embarrassing. He wanted to finish his meal quickly and leave. But he had to consider the opinions of Han's father and mother, so he could only follow their eating frequency. Han Jing was confused. What did these two young men think of them? Talking about this kind of thing in front of them, couldn't they go back to the room and discuss it privately? Is there? Yi Xiaotian answered casually. Han Xuyao said, yes, it seems that the team wants to add people. She was also a little unsure. It was really that she consumed too much energy in the afternoon, which made her brain a little confused for a while. When Yi Xiaotian heard it, he suddenly realized why he always felt like he had forgotten something in the afternoon. Now he finally remembered that he had forgotten Ping Xiangyu. This guy is still waiting for his reply in the reincarnation world. And then he waited for a whole afternoon. But it's okay, it's estimated that this guy will soon be offline due to the time limit. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Although he can't enter the dungeon to brush points, he can still go online in the reincarnation world. But all he can do is chat and go shopping. Yi Xiaotian said, Oh, I almost forgot, it is true. I will go to find Haozi and the others later and discuss this matter with them. Han Xuyao nodded and said, Okay. Han Jing frowned. Is this really the case? He was a little suspicious of Han Xuyao's purpose. He knew his daughter too well. Now that the rice has been cooked, his daughter will not find her teammates to show off. This is not a good thing, it affects the unity of the team. Xiao Tian, your team is recruiting people. Han Jing thought about it for a while, and asked Yi Xiao Tian first. Yi Xiao Tian said, Yes, when I went to do the promotion copy today, I met an old acquaintance. I knew him in the summer camp before. He wants to join our team and adventure with us. I see, that's fine, it's really hard to delay what you promised to others. Han Jing said casually. Yi Xiao Tian blushed. He didn't want to delay it, but who knew he couldn't help it. Chapter 283 After saying goodbye to Han Jing and Han's mother, Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao went to Chang's house hand in hand. As they walked, Han Xuyao burst into laughter, like a blooming flower. Although the two had been in the room for a long time in the afternoon, the physique of an awakened person is not comparable to that of an ordinary person. So although it was Han Xuyao's first time driving, she was very stable after arriving at the destination and did not show any symptoms of physical discomfort. Yi Xiaotian said, What are you laughing at? Han Xuyao said, Why are you nervous? Yi Xiaotian was speechless. How could he not be nervous? Xuyao, why don't we get married? Yi Xiaotian suddenly said. Han Xuyao was startled, and her steps stopped unnaturally. She pulled Yi Xiaotian and asked, Are you serious? Yi Xiaotian said, Of course, as long as we get married, we will have a license to drive. Han Xuyao smiled again. This Tian brother is so stupid. But her heart was very sweet, and she said, I listen to you. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief. After tasting the taste, he naturally didn't want to live a single life anymore. However, it is not enough for only the two of them to agree on this matter. We have to discuss it with Han Xuyao's parents. However, Yi Xiaotian thought that these two people should not object. Taking advantage of the night, the two soon arrived at Chang's house. Because they had greeted in advance, when they arrived, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were already waiting at the door. Or we should not go in, let's go for a walk outside. The night is good, the environment in the community is also good, and it is good to walk around. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi don't care. They have lived here since they were young and are very familiar with the environment in the community. The other few people are new and have no chance to come out during the day. Brother Tian, what do you want to tell us? Wang Hao asked for everyone while walking. Yi Xiao Tian told them what he said to Han Xuyao. After all, we need to add people, and we must integrate again in coordination. This is not just my business, so I have to discuss it with you. Yi Xiao Tian said at last. 
Wang Hao immediately expressed his opinion, I have no objection. Huang Jia also said, I have no objection either. Sun Yao also shook her head, indicating that she had no objection. Mu Binyan did not speak, indicating that she agreed. Yi Xiaotian said, since no one has any objection, then it's settled. Fatty, you go online and contact Peng Xiangyu when the time comes, and tell him that we will go to him after we finish our work here. Huang Jie patted his chest and said, no problem. Huang Jie is the intelligence person in the team. Even if Peng Xiangyu cannot go online, he has a way to contact him. Mu Binyan kept staring at Han Shuyao. She felt that Han Shuyao was different tonight. It seemed that her skin was better and more beautiful. Did she use some different skin care products? She wanted to find an opportunity to ask Han Shuyao. Community Artificial Lake. Let's sit down and rest for a while. Everyone sat on the grass. Mu Binyan pushed Yi Xiaotian away from Han Shuyao. Yi Xiaotian was stunned for a moment, but he still made way for Mu Binyan and sat a little further away. Han Shuyao looked at Mu Binyan with a little surprise. She knew that Mu Binyan liked Hao Tian. But at that time, even she didn't know that Hao Tian was her Tian Gu. So she didn't feel anything. But since she knew that Tian Gu was Hao Tian, she has been worried about Mu Binyan. But Mu Binyan never said anything afterwards. She didn't say anything to her. She didn't look for Yi Xiao Tian alone. So she let it go. Is it going to be a showdown tonight? If it was before today, Han Shuyao might still be worried. But now, the rice has been cooked. And Yi Xiao Tian also expressed his idea of getting married to her, so there is nothing to worry about. Xuyao, did you change your skin care products? Mu Binyan asked in a low voice close to Han Shuyao's ear. Han Shuyao was confused. What kind of question is this? I changed my skin care products, why don't I know it myself? I didn't change it. Han Shuyao looked confused. Mu Binyan said, impossible, your skin is particularly good today, it seems to be glowing. Han Shuyao was stunned, and then remembered a rumor. It is said that after a woman is irrigated by a man, her face will become rosy. Is the rumor true? Bing Yen, I really didn't change my skin care products. Maybe I rested better these days. Han Shuyao found a random reason. Rested well. Bing Yen was stunned for a moment, and then she looked as if she suddenly realized something. Poor rest is indeed a woman's natural enemy. When I was in the magic city, I spent more time in battle, so I didn't care about this aspect. These days when I returned to Jiangqing, they were more relaxed. There is also a saying that a golden nest or a silver nest is not as good as your own doghouse. Maybe Han Shuyao slept particularly well because she returned home. It should be like this. Mu Binyan thought so, should I go home too? Forget it, it doesn't matter if I don't go back to that home. The bigger the family, the less human touch there is, and everywhere is filled with petty intrigues and swindles. She really doesn't like it. So she doesn't like that family either. But outside, she also sleeps well. Han Shuyao was relieved when she saw that Mu Binyan did not ask any more questions. Everyone sat for a while and then went back. Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao naturally went back to Han's house. The rest of the people lived in Chang's house. On the way back to Chang's house, Mu Binyan and Sun Yao walked together. Suddenly, she asked, Sun Yao, how have you been resting recently? Sun Yao was stunned for a moment before saying, Very well. Really? Mu Binyan confirmed again. Sun Yao was a little confused and said, Mu Binyan, what's wrong with you? Why do you suddenly ask such a question? Mu Binyan said casually, Oh, I just saw that Xu Yao's skin was particularly good today, so I asked her, and she told me that it might be because she had a good rest. Sun Yao was stunned for a moment, not understanding what Mu Binyan meant. It's normal for people to have a good rest and look good, isn't it? Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi walked together. He whispered to Chang Xiaoxi, Xiaoxi, Brother Tian just told me that he wants to marry Sister Xu Yao. Mary. Chang Xiaoxi was startled and blurted out. 
Wang Hao wanted to stop him but didn't have time. Who wants to get married? Are you getting married? Fatty Huang Jia was walking alone. He was originally very bored, but suddenly heard such a hot topic, and naturally became excited. They had just entered the university and were going to get married. In Huang Jie's opinion, it was extremely unwise. They hadn't had a good life yet, and they rushed into the grave of marriage like this. It was really a waste of their best years. Mu Binyan and Sun Yao behind were also startled by Huang Jie's shouting. Chapter 284 Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were both shocked and quickly explained to them. Everyone was relieved. They thought Wang Hao was going to marry Chang Xiaoxi. But soon, they were surprised again. You said Brother Tian is getting married? The fat man opened his mouth so wide that he could fit a duck egg in it. This surprised them. With Yi Xiaotian's popularity, there is no need to get married so early. Wrong. It should be that Brother Tian is still so young, why is he in such a hurry to get married? Could it be that he was getting married? For a time, countless thoughts appeared in Huang Jie's mind. But all the reasons were ruled out by him. He couldn't think of the reason why Yi Xiao Tian wanted to get married so early. Brother Hao, did Brother Tian ever say why you are so anxious to get married? Huang Jia asked. He couldn't sleep at night because he couldn't figure out this problem. It's hard for someone like him who wants to have all the information in his hands. Wang Hao said, I don't know either, otherwise you can ask him yourself tomorrow. Little did they know that Mu Bingyan's eyes dimmed when she heard that Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao were planning to get married. Finally, has this day come? But there was also a question in her mind, which was why Yi Xiaotian was in such a hurry to get married. You know, they are only 18 years old and just coming of age. Although the population of Blue Star has dropped sharply, the government encourages young people to get married and have children early. But that's for ordinary people. If you don't go to college, you just get married and have children. The more children you have, the better the treatment. There is no way, in the process of fighting against the alien race, too many awakened people died. If there is not enough fresh blood to replenish it, the blue star human race may really perish. But as an awakened person, it is absolutely impossible to get married so early. You know, after getting married, it will involve too much energy. Where is the time to improve yourself? Especially a peerless genius like Yi Xiaotian. In their opinion, even if Yi Xiaotian wanted to get married, he should do so after becoming a god. Before becoming a god, you would not think about these trivial matters at all. Did you hear it wrong? Huang Jia asked again. Wang Hao's eyes widened and he said, How could I hear such a thing wrong? Brother Tian said that I will discuss it with Sister Xuyao's parents when I get back in the evening. Maybe I will get the marriage certificate tomorrow and then go to Jiangnan City. So urgent. Huang Jia and others were shocked for a moment. They heard that Yi Xiaotian wanted to get married, and they thought Yi Xiaotian was too impatient. But now when I hear it like this, I wonder, what was the urgency before, this is the real urgency. While talking, they are getting married tomorrow, what is Yi Xiaotian going to do? No, something's wrong. Huang Jie kept muttering. For a person with Yi Xiaotian status, marriage is naturally a big deal. From proposal, to discussion, to setting a date, and finally holding the wedding, it will take at least a year or two. But Yi Xiaotian directly saved all the processes. Get your certificate tomorrow. Is the sky falling? Others also looked at each other. Howzi, nothing happened to Brother Tian. Even Chang Xiaoxi couldn't believe it. She had no doubt about Han Xuyao's feelings for Yi Xiao Tian. But even if two people are in the same mind and are in love with each other, they wouldn't be in such a hurry, right? Now it's not like before, we can't be together without getting married. If you are really in a hurry, you can live together first and think about getting married later. This is too hasty. Thinking about it, Chang Xiaoxi took out her mobile phone and contacted Han Xuyao. Xuyao, are you going to marry Yi Xiaotian? Chang Xiaoxi asked directly when the phone was connected. How do you know? Han Xuyao said unexpectedly. Chang Xiaoxi said, Yi Xiaotian told Wang Hao. 
Let me ask you, is this true? To be honest, Yi Xiaotian was going to marry Han Xuyao, which was within their expectations. But if you are in such a hurry to get married, something must be wrong. Could it be that something unexpected happened to Yi Xiaotian? Or something happened to the Han family? For example, what disease did Han Xuyao's parents suffer from? Or maybe the old man of the Han family is running out of time or something like that. For a time, the Chang family was thinking a lot, but all they could think of were related to the Han family. She grew up with Han Xuyao. I also have a lot of affection for Han Xuyao's family. So she had to figure this out. This is true. We are planning to tell my parents and get the marriage certificate tomorrow. Now that we already know, there is no need to hide it. And they didn't intend to hide this matter. Han Xuyao planned to take a photo of the marriage certificate directly in front of them after receiving it. Then tell them, we are legal and we will live together from now on. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian actually revealed it to Wang Hao in advance. What happened? Chang Xiaoxi's voice was trembling, for fear that Han Xuyao would tell her reasons that she couldn't accept. Han Xuyao was surprised and said, what can happen? It's just that brother Tian and I thought our relationship was mature, so we planned to get the certificate first. Chang Xiaoxi said, I don't believe you won't be so impulsive. Xuyao, tell me, did something happen at home? Now Han Xuyao understood that Xiaoxi thought something happened at home, so she was in a hurry to get married. Xiaoxi, don't think too much, it's really nothing. Forget it, some things are hard to say over the phone, I'll tell you tomorrow, but it's not a family matter, don't worry. Han Xuyao could only say this. Hearing that it was not a family matter, Chang Xiaoxi breathed a sigh of relief. Forget it, as long as it's not a family matter, they can get married if they want. After hanging up the phone, the others looked at Chang Xiaoxi, waiting for her answer. She said nothing happened, she just wanted to get married. Chang Xiaoxi explained. The others were confused. But this reason is so powerful. Want to get married? Is there any more powerful answer than this? No. Between boyfriends and girlfriends, the highest level is to want to get married. Those who only want to play are all scumbags. Mu Bingyan was thoughtful. Sun Yao asked Mu Bingyan, Bingyan, what are you thinking about? Mu Bingyan shook her head and said, nothing. Fortunately, she has always been cold, so she didn't arouse Sun Yao's suspicion. But in Mu Bingyan's heart, it was not so calm. Wanting to get married is a very strong reason. But Mu Bingyan thought of another reason. Tonight, Han Xuyao looked rosy and tender, and her skin was almost squeezed to make water. She also thought of a rumor. I didn't think about it before, but considering that Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were going to get married, she couldn't help but think about it. Is she really pregnant? Mu Bingyan didn't dare to think about it. Chapter 285 Neither Yi Xiaotian nor Han Xuyao thought that they just wanted to get married, and then their teammates had already come up with all kinds of reasons. When the two returned home, it was not too late. Han Jing and his wife had not rested yet and were watching TV in the living room. Seeing Yi Xiaotian and his wife coming back, Han's mother greeted them and said, You are back. Are you going to rest or watch TV? Han Xuyao took Yi Xiaotian's hand and sat next to her mother, saying, Mom, Dad, we have something to tell you. Oh, what's wrong? Han's mother became interested, but Han Jing continued to watch his TV. It was hard to believe that he, a middle-aged man, actually liked to watch this kind of soap opera. I have discussed with Brother Tian and we will get the marriage certificate tomorrow. Han Xuyao said. Oh, okay, let's get the certificate tomorrow get the certificate. Han's mother reacted and was stunned for a moment. Even Han Jing's attention shifted from the TV to Yi Xiaotian and his daughter. He was also surprised. So sudden. Is it because of what happened in the afternoon? Han Jing certainly didn't have the habit of eavesdropping, not to mention that she was his own daughter. It was just that Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao had been in the room for an afternoon. When they came out, Han Xuyao looked so experienced that Han Jing and his wife understood what was going on in an instant. Although their little cabbage was taken away by someone. 
Han Jing felt a moment of heartache in his heart. But if it was Yi Xiao Tian who took away his little cabbage, that would be another matter. He hoped that the two of them would accomplish something good, and then tie the Han family and Yi Xiao Tian together completely. As long as Yi Xiao Tian grows up, the Han family will become one of the most distinguished families in Xia country. And Yi Xiao Tian has no parents and no family. So the Han family is the family behind him. And he, Han Jing, will become the patriarch of the most distinguished family in Xia country. No, it should be the most distinguished family in the world. So he said without hesitation, we agree. This straightforwardness made Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao stunned for a moment. Han Xu Yao, in particular, felt very uncomfortable. It was as if she was trash and was thrown out by her father impatiently. Dad, what are you talking about? Han Xu Yao said coquettishly. Han Jing was stunned for a moment, looked at his wife, and said, Madam, did I say the wrong thing just now? Did I say the opposite, I said I don't agree? Madam Han rolled her eyes, this father and daughter, it was really enough. Okay, Xu Yao, don't blame your dad, your marriage with Xiao Tian was originally in our plan. So you proposed it, of course we don't object. What's more, didn't I say it at dinner? You should have a baby earlier, while I'm still young, I can help you take care of it. Han Jing also said, yes, research shows that the younger the child, the better the talent. Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao are both newcomers in this field, how can they bear such ridicule from these two old drivers? Dad, we are talking to you about business. Han Xu Yao said coquettishly. Han Jing laughed. Okay, just go to your mother to get the household registration book tomorrow. Han Jing saw that Han Xu Yao and Yi Xiao Tian were embarrassed, so he stopped joking. He directly showed their attitudes. If it wasn't late at night, he would have wanted Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao to get the certificate now. Okay, it's getting late, you go to rest and get up early tomorrow. Han's mother said. Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao fled in panic. When they got upstairs, Yi Xiao Tian hesitated and said, How are we going to sleep at night? Of course he wanted to sleep with Han Xu Yao. But this is Han's house. There is no driver's license. The most important thing is that Han Jing and his wife also live here. And it's next door to Han Xu Yao's room. Han Xu Yao heard this, his eyes turned, and then said, Wait for me. Han Xu Yao returned to her room with a set of pajamas in her hand. Let's go to your room. Han Xu Yao said to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian's eyes lit up. He was sleeping in the guest room, which was far from the master bedroom. In this way, even if there was some noise, it would be fine. After Han Jing and his wife went upstairs, Mrs. Han leaned over to the door of Han Xu Yao's room and eavesdropped. Han Jing was very upset and whispered, What are you doing? Mrs. Han said, Why is there no noise at all? What else do you want? Han Jing said casually. Mrs. Han said, If there is no noise, how can I hold my grandson? Han Jing's face darkened again and said, What nonsense are you talking about? How old are they? Now is the rising period of their careers. What's wrong with the rising period? This doesn't conflict with having children. Look at those who didn't get into the awakened university, they got married and had children right away. Mrs. Han was not polite to her husband at all. Han Jing said helplessly, Okay, okay, what you said makes sense, then you listen slowly, I'm going to rest. Mrs. Han said, There is really no movement, come and listen, are they not in there? Han Jing almost walked away in anger. What is this? It's fine for her as a mother to eavesdrop, but she actually dragged him as a father into it. What kind of weird hobby is this? But I was a little surprised to hear Mrs. Han say that Han Xu Yao was not in the room. Maybe she went to Xiao Tian's room. Han Jing said casually, and then walked to his room. Wait. Mrs. Han pulled Han Jing and said, Accompany me to Xiao Tian's room. Are you crazy? Han Jing said angrily. Mrs. Han did not let go, but said coquettishly, Just accompany me, I want to go and see. Han Jing was helpless immediately, he was afraid of this trick of her. Being able to give birth to a daughter like Han Xu Yao, 
Mrs. Han is naturally a top beauty. Mrs. Han, who is in her forties, looks more like a young woman in her thirties under excellent maintenance. For a man of Han Jing's age, a young girl has no attraction. Only Mrs. Han is the ultimate temptation. Okay, it's agreed, just go over and listen, and then come back quickly. Han Jing was extremely helpless in his heart, what kind of thing is this? As a parent, go to eavesdrop on your daughter's corner. If this gets out, will the couple still be human? Fortunately, there was no one in the villa except for an aunt who cooked. And the aunt usually stayed on the first floor and would not go upstairs. The couple approached Yi Xiaotian's room like thieves. Han Jing could already hear a special sound coming from inside when they were still several meters away. He couldn't help but sigh in his heart, young people are indeed full of energy. He ran a long distance for several hours in the afternoon, and he could continue in the evening. It can't be compared, it can't be compared. Chapter 286 Han Jing grabbed his wife who was about to go forward and walked back. Mrs. Han was anxious. Why did she go back when they hadn't arrived yet? Follow me. Han Jing scolded in a low voice. Mrs. Han saw that her husband was serious, so she followed him obediently. Women can act like spoiled children, but they really can't be ignorant of the general situation. You must know when to be willful and when to be obedient. Mrs. Han is a smart person, so Han Jing was subdued by him. Did you hear anything? Mrs. Han asked hurriedly when she returned to the room. Han Jing's face was full of black lines. He did hear it, but can he really talk about such things? He was too embarrassed to speak. So he ignored his wife and went to take a shower directly. Mrs. Han said from behind, Are they giving birth? Han Jing stumbled and almost fell. Mrs. Han didn't even need him to answer, just looking at his performance, she knew that it must be the case. So she said happily, I really hope they can have a baby soon, so I won't be bored. Oh, they won't take any birth prevention measures, right? In this case, I don't know when I can hold my grandson. Mrs. Han muttered there. But all these words fell into Han Jing's ears, and he was almost crazy. As a majestic father, how could he listen to these things? Alas, it's good to have a young wife at home, but it's a bit unbearable. The next day, Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were both in high spirits. But Han Jing's spirit was not so good. Last night, I don't know what stimulated him. Mrs. Han discussed various postures with him, so that he had to support himself when he went downstairs in the morning. Dad, what's wrong with you? Didn't you rest well last night? Han Xuyao asked casually when she saw Han Jing's listless spirit. As an awakener, he is strong and never gets sick. It is common to not rest for several days and nights. Han Jing coughed awkwardly and didn't know how to answer. Fortunately, at this time, Mrs. Han said, Your father heard that you were going to get married, so he felt bad and didn't sleep well. Han Xuyao glanced at her mother and said, It seems that you slept well, mom. Mrs. Han's face was rosy, as if it was waxed. Hearing this, Han Jing felt nervous. Mrs. Han smiled faintly and said, Of course I have to rest well. Today is my daughter's big day. I have to take care of it. How can I not be energetic? Han Jing immediately gave a thumbs up when he heard it. It really deserves to be called madam. This nonsense is amazing. Look at how scared the two children are. They are stunned. Thank you, mom. Han Xuyao said with a sweet smile. Mrs. Han said, silly child, you are my daughter. It is my duty to take care of you. What is there to thank? If you really want to thank me, give me a grandson to take care of. Suddenly, the good atmosphere changed. Han Jing coughed a few times. His wife's words reminded him of the sound he heard last night. Although he only heard a trace of the sound, it was difficult for him to say it. But his wife always talked about things that were not related to the topic. Okay, you two hurry up and eat and then go to get the certificate. Han Jing said. It would be more embarrassing to stay. Mrs. Han didn't think so, and said, Why are you in such a hurry? Eat slowly, don't rush. 
Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao hadn't finished their breakfast yet, and Wang Hao and his group had already come to the door. After confirming that Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were going to get the certificate today, they all planned to go together to be a witness. But they also brought a message to Yi Xiaotian. If they really appeared at the civil affairs department, the news would probably spread soon. Those awakened forces who were originally struggling to find them would probably break down the door of the civil affairs department in an instant. Han Jing frowned. This was something he neglected. Jiang Qing has been very lively during this period. Their home was originally very lively, but later Han Jing got annoyed and simply closed the door and refused to see anyone. So what if he offended someone? So the Han family has been quiet for the past two days. The situation at the Chang family is similar to that of the Han family. However, the city lord's mansion's reception hotel has always been blocked by people. They also heard that the members of the Haokian team had left the city, but most people did not believe it. They have been blocking the hotel lobby. It is impossible for them not to see them go out. But places like the Civil Affairs Bureau cannot be kept secret. There is a high probability that they will be blocked at the Civil Affairs Bureau. Yi Xiaotian shuddered when he thought of the scene in the hotel lobby. These people really wanted to see him, they are so determined. Yi Xiaotian dared to say that if they put this kind of research effort into cultivation, their achievements would definitely be higher. Instead of working hard, they just wanted to take shortcuts. Is the shortcut so easy to take? However, seeing these teammates in front of him, Yi Xiaotian sighed. Following him, this shortcut is really easy to take. These teammates are either S-level talents or A-level talents. In just a few months, they all became B-level awakeners. Who wouldn't envy such temptation? Even the son of a wealthy family like Peng Xianyu plans to quit his current team and join his Haokian team. Of course, there is no problem with hard work. The problem is that you have worked hard for decades, but you have only gained what others have worked hard for a few months. How can this be counted? As time goes by, more and more awakened people will come to Jiangcheng. Han Jing immediately said, I will make a call and ask City Lord Lu to send the civil affairs people to our house. Everyone heard that and had to do so. Yi Xiaotian had no objection. Anyway, after getting the certificate today, they would rush to Jiangnan Bay City. If they stayed any longer, they would probably not be able to leave. Soon, the people sent by City Lord Lu arrived. When they heard that Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were getting married, the two civil affairs staff members opened their mouths wide, with an unbelievable look on their faces. However, the people present were all big shots, and they would definitely not joke with these two small characters. Soon, the certificate was processed. Han Jing politely sent the two staff members away, and then said, I will invite relatives and friends to celebrate in the next two days. This is a big happy event, especially for the Han family, it is definitely a big happy event. Naturally, it must be widely announced. Uncle, we don't have time. Yi Xiaotian said. Han Jing frowned and said, You still call me uncle now. Dad. Yi Xiaotian was a little nervous. Hey. Han Jing smiled with satisfaction, then put away his smile and said, What's the matter with you saying you don't have time just now? Dad, I have an appointment with someone and I will go to Jiangnan Bay City soon. The crisis in Jiangqing has been resolved, and we should go to the next stop. Yi Xiaotian explained. The crisis in Jiangqing has been resolved. Is it true? Why don't I know? Chapter 287 Brother Tian, I have collected some information about Jiangnan Bay City. The battle there was very fierce. Huang Jia reported to Yi Xiaotian in the armored vehicle. They were on their way to Jiangnan Bay City. Wang Hao was driving and Chang Xiaosi was with him in the co-pilot. The two had also met their parents. There were three seats in the middle row, and from left to right, Han Xuyao, Yi Xiaotian and Huang Jia sat in turn. As for Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao, they sat in the third row. Huang Jia sat in the front to better report the situation to Yi Xiaotian. After receiving Yi Xiaotian's order, he not only contacted the Peng family in Jiangnan City and made an appointment with Peng Xiangyu. 
he also got a lot of news about Jiangnan City from other channels. Some of this news was blocked from the outside. But as a member of the ruling class, the Huang family naturally knew this news. More than 20 days ago, Sea Beasts launched an attack on Jiangnan City, from low-level Sea Beasts to mid-level Sea Beasts, and then to high-level Sea Beasts. Are there high-level Sea Beasts? Yi Xiaotian said in surprise. Huang Jia said, yes, just two days ago, an SS-level initial-level Sea Beast descended on Jiangnan City, causing countless casualties. Everyone couldn't help but take a breath. Originally, they thought it was at most an S-level high level, but they didn't expect it to be an SS-level initial level. Although the two seem to be only one small realm apart. But the difference in strength between the two cannot be calculated with a small realm. If you have to use a number to describe it, a SS-level initial level alien beast is ten times, or even dozens of times, stronger than an S-level high level alien beast. This is a qualitative leap. If such a strong man is not matched by a powerful awakener, I am afraid that Jiangnan City will become a purgatory on earth. Huang Jia continued, Fortunately, the ancestor of the Peng family came out of retreat in time and repelled the SS-level primary sea beast at the critical moment. However, it is said that the ancestor of the Peng family was also seriously injured and it is estimated that he will not have the strength to fight again in a short time. Now the whole Jiangnan city is in a panic, fearing that the SS-level primary sea beast will attack again. At that time, they will not have a powerful awakener to compete. Yi Xiaotian said, didn't other base cities send powerful people to support? Huang Jia smiled bitterly and said, Brother Tian, you also know that most of the masters are now transferred to the front line. What's more, there are only so many powerful people at the powerful level. And now that sea beasts from all over the world are landing on the shore to attack base cities, how can those SS-level powerful people from wealthy families leave their families? Yi Xiaotian was silent after hearing this. What Huang Jie said made sense. Everyone is selfish. No one knows which city the next SS-level sea beast will attack. Only saints can give up their own families to support others. The awakened masters who can really achieve mobility are generally from the military, but they have all been transferred to the battlefield of foreign races. Even if there are still a few left in the country, they are all stationed in the capital. In other words, Jiangnan Base City has reached the most critical moment. At this moment, outside Jiangnan Base City, there is silence. The whole world seems to be dyed red with blood. There is the blood of sea beasts and the blood of human awakeners. In addition, there are countless broken limbs. There are sea beasts and human awakeners. Two days ago, the two masters fought, and the aftermath directly cleared the battlefield. After the battle, both sides stopped fighting. In the past two days, the sea beasts did not launch another attack, and Jiangnan Bay City also got a rare chance to breathe. But everyone knows that the key to this war lies between the two SS-level masters. However, compared with the sea beasts, the atmosphere in Jiangnan Base City is obviously much more solemn. The top leaders of Jiangnan Base City all knew that the ancestor of the Peng family vomited blood after returning home. The news from inside was that he was seriously injured. He had been holding back just to scare the Sea Clan. This was like adding insult to injury for Jiangnan Base City. They had already sent out a request for help to the surrounding base cities as well as to Beijing and Modu, hoping that they could send powerful people to support them. But the response they received made their hearts sink to the bottom. There was no need to talk about Modu. They were originally close to the sea, so the sea beasts had never stopped attacking, so their masters would never go out. They might not be able to protect themselves, so how could they have the spare energy to help others? What made the top leaders of Jiangnan Base City even more desperate was the news from Beijing. A large army of sea clans landed at Jigu port, and there were signs that they were heading towards Beijing. The people of Jiangnan Bay City wanted to fight for it again, after all, Jigu port was just a shallow sea, and there should be no SS-level sea beasts. But the reply from Beijing was that they could not be careless. What if there is? Beijing is the core base city of Xia country, where the headquarters of major institutions of Xia country are located. If it falls, then Xia country will be finished. 
In this case, Jiangnan base city can no longer be forced. So in the current situation, they can only hope for the best. At this moment, the Peng family is also shrouded in a haze. Because their ancestor was seriously injured, let alone the strength to fight again, it is unknown whether he can survive. So the atmosphere of the entire Peng family is now very solemn. As the eldest son and grandson of the Peng family, Peng Xiangyu naturally knows the truth. He was quite happy to contact Yi Xiaotian, but now, he is not happy at all. He waited until the time ran out in the reincarnation world, and did not wait for Yi Xiaotian's reply. He was about to collapse. But after going offline, something even more devastating happened. Their ancestor was seriously injured. Although Huang Jia contacted him later and told him that the Haotian team had approved his application to join the team. And they would come to pick him up today. But now he is no longer happy. Peng Xiangyu's father Peng Dong called him over and told him, Xiangyu, the situation in Jiangnan base city is unclear now. Since you have joined the Haotian team, go with them. Dad, can I leave at this time? Peng Xiangyu replied. Peng Dong said, What's the point of you staying? Can you change the fate of the Peng family? Can you change the fate of Jiangnan base city? Listen to me, don't feel guilty. It's enough for us Peng family members to stay and live and die with Jiangnan base city. But we Peng family can't leave even a little incense. You are the hope of our Peng family. This is also what the ancestor wants. Peng Xianyu trembled and said, How is the ancestor's injury? Peng Dong was silent for a while, then said, It's not good, but keep it secret. Chapter 288 The situation of the Peng family ancestor is not good, and he may not live long. However, this news has been blocked and cannot be spread out. One reason is that they are afraid of causing panic. Another reason is that they are afraid that the news will spread out. Once the Sea tribe knows the news, they will attack at all costs. Therefore, as long as the news of the Peng family ancestor's death is not spread out, Jiangnan base city is still safe for the time being. Unless that SS-level primary sea beast can fight with the Peng family ancestor regardless of everything. However, if the other party really doesn't care about his life, he won't retreat before. Peng Dong continued, You are the hope of the Peng family. Originally, the Peng family was going to cast a wide net, but later on, they thought about it and gave up. With the current situation in Jiangnan City, it's useless to cast more nets. You follow the Haotian team, and I will send someone to escort you out when the time comes. Peng Xianyu felt very uncomfortable, but he had to listen to what his father said. He is now the only hope of the Peng family. If even he doesn't leave, then the Peng family may really perish. The reason why the Peng family placed their hopes on him was not only because of his high talent. Another reason was that he joined the Haotian team. They knew how difficult it was to get a spot in the Haotian team. I heard that the gates of Jiangcheng were about to be broken. What puzzled them was that Jiangcheng was also a coastal city. Although it was not as safe as Jiangnan Bay City, it was not that safe, right? There were no sea beasts attacking Jiangcheng. Oh, no, it was not that there were none. There were some before. But since Yi Xiaotian went to Jiangcheng and repelled the first wave of invading sea beasts, there were no more sea beasts attacking Jiangcheng. Well, that can't be said. There were still some sea beasts attacking Jiangcheng. But the intensity was no different from a friendly match. Even the awakeners of Jiangcheng could gain a lot from this friendly match. It's really annoying to compare yourself with others. If this was also the case in Jiangnan city, they would wake up laughing in their dreams. Unfortunately, the sea beasts outside the city have been eyeing Jiangnan city. Even if they retreated temporarily, they did not relax at all. They did not give up the idea of attacking again. There is no doubt about this. Jiangnan city sent out waves of spies, and the news they sent back was the same. So the major families in Jiangnan city had to make final preparations. It was the fire plan. But everyone knows that the outside of Jiangnan city is now blocked by sea beasts. It is not so easy to escape. As for whether it can succeed, it depends on God's will. However, the Peng family is still quite relieved. 
With the Haokian team outside to support, there will be no problem as long as they don't encounter the SS level primary sea beast. Dad, why don't I take more people out, I don't think brother Tian will refuse. Ping Xiangyu suggested. Of course Ping Dong also wanted to, but he had to consider Yi Xiaotian's opinion. This kind of thing is better to discuss it in advance. If he acted on his own, Yi Xiaotian would turn against him and even refuse to accept Ping Xiangyu. That would be a disaster. So after discussing with the top leaders of the Peng family, they gave up this tempting and risky idea. The Peng family would definitely not just let Peng Xiangyu go, but he was the only one who was truly safe. Xiangyu, it's good that you have this intention, but you must remember your mission. The future of the Peng family depends on you, and we can't take risks. Peng Dong directly rejected Peng Xiangyu's proposal. And the more people there are, the bigger the target will be. If it attracts the attention of that SS level primary sea beast, I'm afraid even the entire Haokian team will be ruined. Peng Dong will never allow this to happen. It doesn't matter if the Peng family is destroyed now. As long as Peng Xiangyu is still there, there will be unlimited hope. Throughout history, those who came out of the same team as those supreme strongmen would not have a bad result. The so called one person's success brings success to the whole family, is this truth? If there is someone who can definitely achieve the supreme position in the future, it will definitely be Yi Xiaotian. As for whether he will fall halfway. If you don't even have the courage to place this bet, you might as well go home and take a shower. Why come out to make a living? Peng Xiangyu also knew that his father was right, so he didn't insist. But if the Peng family was destroyed, he would become an orphan. So his face showed a sad look. Peng Dong said, Xiangyu, don't be too pessimistic. Although you are the last backup, we are not completely without arrangements. We have made arrangements with other families. If things are impossible, we will lead the people to break through. But when that time comes forget it, let's not talk about it. Peng Xiangyu knew what his father meant. If the awakened families in the city all led the people to break through, then tens of millions of people in Jiangnan Base City would become food for sea beasts. Very cruel. But this is reality. Ordinary people living in such a world cannot dominate their own destiny. Only the strong can control their own destiny. Looking at the silent Ping Xiangyu, Ping Dong patted his shoulder and walked out. Inside the armored vehicle, Huang Jie kept clicking on the tablet, and then he said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, we are only 100 kilometers away from Jiangnan Bay City. At our current speed, we can arrive in one hour at most. Yi Xiao Tian said to Wang Hao in front, Haozi, slow down a bit. The closer to Jiangnan City, the less safe it is. Wang Hao in front agreed, and the speed dropped to about 80 miles per hour. Yi Xiao Tian said to Huang Jia again, Fatty, when there are only 50 kilometers, notify me and I will go to the front to explore the way. Huang Jia agreed. No one else said much. The division of labor of each person in their current team is very clear. Huang Jia is an information collector and assistant. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are shield warriors. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan are remote support. Sun Yao doesn't need to worry about anything. As long as there is an injury, it will be treated in time. As for Yi Xiaotian, he is omnipotent. He can do what these team members do. He also has to do what these team members can't do. For example, for the scout work, at present, only he can do it. Others are very clear about Yi Xiaotian's strength, so they don't compete with him at all. Their mission is to be ready to fight at any time. More than half an hour later, Huang Jie reminded, Brother Tian, we are only 50 kilometers away from Jiangnan City. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, stop the car. After getting off the car, Yi Xiaotian told Wang Hao, Keep driving forward at a lower speed, I will go to explore the road first, and I will notify you if there is any situation. Chapter 289 Under Yi Xiaotian's guidance, their car arrived safely 10 kilometers away from Jiangnan Bay City. At this point, the car could not move forward. Otherwise, it would easily attract the attention of the Sea Clan. The areas within 10 kilometers of Jiangnan Bay City were blocked by the Sea Clan. 
Otherwise, the awakened families in Jiangnan Bay City would not have proposed the fire plan. Jiangnan Bay City is now basically completely isolated. I'm afraid that except for the strong ones above S level, other awakened people will find it difficult to even enter the city. So now even if Jiangnan Bay City asks for help, it will not have much effect. After putting away the armored vehicles, the group, led by Yi Xiaotian, approached Jiangnan Bay City. When they were about 5 kilometers away from the city, the closer they went, the more they could feel that the blockade of the Sea Clan was getting tighter and tighter. After finding a place to stop, Yi Xiaotian asked Huang Jie, go online and contact Peng Xiangyu to see what's going on. Huang Jie didn't say anything nonsense. With a thought, the reincarnation seal on his wrist became hot, and he disappeared from the spot and entered the reincarnation world. About ten minutes later, Huang Jie appeared again, looking a little unhappy. Brother Tian, I've contacted him. Yi Xiao Tian saw that his face was ugly and asked, what happened? Huang Jie said, Peng Xiangyu sent someone to tell me that the situation of the ancestor of the Peng family is very bad and he may die at any time. The Peng family and other awakened families have already started the spark plan. What is the spark plan? Yi Xiao Tian frowned. Huang Jie explained, it means sending young people with potential in the family out to leave a spark for the family. As for the rest of the family, they will live and die with Jiangnan Bay City. Yi Xiaotian frowned and said, Is the situation already so bad? Huang Jie said, Brother Tian, this is an SS level sea beast. If Jiangnan City does not have an awakened person of the same level to compete with him, the entire Jiangnan Bay City will be vulnerable in front of him. So I think their choice is correct. At this time, starting the spark plan may leave a trace of incense for them. Yi Xiaotian was silent. The higher the awakening level was, the more Yi Xiaotian felt that even the gap between a small realm was a world of difference. For example, an S-level strongman has just entered the primary attribute of 1 million points, but the minimum standard for the middle level is 4 million. As for the SS-level strongman, the gap between any small realm is calculated in tens of millions. They are all SS-level primary strongmen, but the gap in strength may be several times, or even more than ten times. In front of such a peerless strongman, no matter how many you have, it will be useless. That's why Huang Jie looked so ugly. This is Jiangnan Bay City, the first-tier Bay City of Xia country, with tens of millions of people. If all of them fall into the hands of the Sea Clan, it will be so tragic. Brother Tian, can we help? Huang Jie said with difficulty. How to help? Do you want us to stay and die? Before Yi Xiao Tian answered, Mu Bingyan spoke up with a very aggressive tone. Huang Jie knew that he was in the wrong, and did not refute. They really couldn't help with this. That was an SS level sea beast. Now even the human alliance can't send an equally strong person to help, let alone them. So now Jiangnan Bay City is almost equivalent to giving up. The rest depends on their lives. This is a trade-off. Although it is difficult for the top leaders to make a choice, sometimes they have to make a choice. Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, Isn't Lord Sword God still in the capital? Why doesn't he take action? Yi Xiaotian believed that if Lord Sword God took action, he would not need to come in person. Just a sword intent would probably be enough to blast this SS level sea beast into pieces. It is said that the old house of the Shen family in the magic city at that time, including the masters inside, was directly destroyed by Lord Sword God's sword intent. Huang Jie said with a bitter face, Lord Sword God has not been in the capital for a long time. What? Yi Xiaotian was shocked and said, did Lord Sword God also go to the alien battlefield? Huang Jie said, No, Lord Sword God went to see. Yi Xiaotian heard it and suddenly understood a little. Lord Sword God went to see at this time for a clear purpose, not to let the sea beast of the supreme power level land, otherwise it would be too destructive for the human race. So the battle of that level of powerhouse can only be placed in the sea. Moreover, he could only stop the supreme level strongmen, and the rest could only rely on other awakened people of the human race. Yi Xiaotian sighed, it was really a troubled time. Damn aliens, too cunning. Wang Hao cursed. 
he probably understood the matter. It was estimated that tens of millions of human beings in Jiangnan Bay City would become blood food in the mouths of sea beasts. That's tens of millions of people. When he thought of this number, his mind was confused. Others felt bad too. But what else could he do? Are they really going to fight with that SS level sea beast? Yi Xiaotian was silent for a while, thinking. Han Xuyao looked at it and was immediately shocked, Brother Tian, you don't really want to stay and help, right? Don't overestimate your own abilities. Mu Bingyan snorted coldly. Yi Xiaotian glanced at her, and then she stared back. With a wry smile in his heart, he realized that Mu Bingyan had never given him a good look since setting off from Jiangcheng. She had always been cold and stern. He probably knew the reason, so he didn't take it to heart. When Huang Jia was criticized just now, he was still congratulating himself. Fortunately, Mu Bingyan was not the one criticizing him. But I didn't expect that retribution would come so quickly. Han Xuyao glanced at Mu Bingyan but said nothing. She has already gained an advantage and can no longer act well, otherwise it will affect the unity of the team. When Sun Yao saw this, he quickly came out to smooth things over and said, Okay, Brother Tian didn't say he wanted to stay, didn't he? Don't be anxious now, we will discuss it later. Mu Bingyan was about to say is there anything to discuss, but after thinking about it, she endured it. Huang Jia hurriedly said, it's my fault. I overestimated my capabilities. Brother Tian, I have already agreed with Peng Xianyu about the location. The Peng family will send experts to help him break out. They will come here to meet us when the time comes. We will leave here immediately after we meet up. There are some things that are powerless. Since the Tower of Reincarnation arrived on Blue Star, Within ten years, the population of Blue Star has dropped sharply from tens of billions at its peak to less than one billion. It can be said that the entire population was almost wiped out. Even after hundreds of years of development, the population of Blue Star is only over three billion. There is much life, but also much death. If you want to be immortal, you have to completely kill the alien race in the alien space. Chapter 290 to completely destroy the alien race in the alien space plane is the common wish of all human beings. But the reality is that it is harder than ascending to the sky. Now the gap between the two sides is still very large. To achieve this dream, it will take several generations, or even more than ten generations of efforts, to have hope. So now, we can only face the reality. This is everyone's unanimous idea. However, Yi Xiaotian has different considerations in his mind. But he is not impulsive. He wants to meet the ancestor of the Peng family. Only the ancestor of the Peng family has personally fought with the sea beast. So he should know the approximate strength of the sea beast. For example, which level of the SS level primary stage? In the SS level power level, there are many strength divisions. Primary, intermediate, high level, supreme power. That's right, the supreme power is not an SS level awakener, but a SS level category. The SS level primary stage includes SS level first, second, and third levels. The corresponding main attribute is 10 million, 20 million, and 30 million. When the main attribute breaks through to 31 million, it reaches the standard of SS level middle level. And so on. The strongest SS level high level is 90 million main attribute. The standard of the supreme power is that the main attribute reaches 91 million, or even has reached 99, 99, 99, which is almost enough to reach 100 million and be promoted to SS level plane master. However, because the secondary attribute does not meet the standard, it cannot be promoted to SS level. And this is too difficult. According to the rules for the promotion of awakeners, the secondary attribute must not be less than 80% of the secondary attribute. In other words, if the supreme power of SS level Great Perfection wants to be promoted to the road of SS level Master, the other three secondary attributes need to be pointed to 80 million points. Add up to 240 million. So many attribute points, more than twice their main attribute, this is simply a nightmare. So except for the five supreme powers, the human beings of Blue Star have no master level powerhouses at all. As for whether there are any aliens, 
it is not clear at present. Anyway, so far, the alien race has not sent out a master-level strongman, otherwise the humans on Blue Star would have been finished long ago. So according to speculation, there is no master-level strongman on the alien race side. After all, the SS-level plane master has absolute power to suppress the reincarnation strongman at the lower level. If there really is such a strongman, the alien space plane will not be in constant internal strife among all the races. You wait here, I want to go into the city. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Brother Tian, why are you going into the city? It's too dangerous to go into the city at this time. Everyone wants to come out, but you want to go in, what are you thinking? Yi Xiao Tian said, it's okay, you know my strength, unless that SS level C beast can do it himself, otherwise no one can stop me. Besides, if I want to go into the city, I guess no sea beast will stop me. I will leave my second soul here to protect you, and I can come back in time if there is anything. Han Xuya wanted to say more, but Yi Xiaotian's expression was very firm, so she chose to shut up. Mu Bingyan wanted to say something to Yi Xiaotian, but she held back in the end. Yi Xiaotian, who was serious, was still very majestic. Brother Tian, be careful. If things can't be done, retreat immediately. Han Xuyao made a compromise. After Yi Xiaotian repeatedly assured her that he would pay attention to safety, he summoned the second soul and told him to protect everyone's safety, and then went to Jiangnan Bay City. The place where Yi Xiaotian and his team were was originally in the opposite direction of the SS level sea beast, so Yi Xiaotian was not too worried about the safety of the team. After all, there was the second soul. Although the attributes of the second soul were only half of his original body, it was full of innate skills. When Yi Xiaotian killed Huang Bing, it was only the four attributes of the second soul now. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian judged that before there was definite news from the ancestor of the Peng family, the SS level C clan would not easily act. For now, neither the enemy nor us will regard other people as key factors. Their eyes were fixed on each other. What's more, Yi Xiaotian had illusion to protect himself, so he entered Jiangnan Bay City without any hindrance. Then he quickly found the old house of the Peng family. After reporting his name, he waited at the door. Peng Dong was so shocked that his jaw dropped when he heard Yi Xiaotian was outside the gate. Even though he was the head of the Peng family and was very cunning, he couldn't calm down at this time. Damn, I was trying to send a master to protect my son out of the city, but you actually ran to the city to die. Can you not do this? In the current Jiangnan Bay city, who doesn't know that it is easy to get in but difficult to get out? But Yi Xiaotian came in person, and he had to go out to greet him. And he sent someone to call his son over. When Ping Xiangyu heard that Yi Xiaotian came to his house, his first reaction was that someone was impersonating. But then he thought, it seemed that apart from him, Few people knew that Yi Xiaotian would come to Jiangnan City today. The father and son didn't have time to think about it, and went straight to the gate. Seeing Yi Xiaotian standing at the gate, Peng Xiangyu's heart sank. Politely welcomed Yi Xiaotian into the main hall, and Peng Dong wanted to die. He didn't want to know how Yi Xiaotian got in, he just wanted to know how Yi Xiaotian planned to leave Jiangnan Bay City. Brother Tian, why are you here? Didn't we agree to meet outside the city in the evening? Peng Dong couldn't ask, so only Peng Xiangyu could speak. After all, they were familiar with each other. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay, they are all waiting for you outside the city, you just need to meet up with them as scheduled. Peng Xiangyu was shocked and said, Brother Tian, aren't you going out with me? Yi Xiaotian said, I have some other things to do, and the time is uncertain. By the way, Master Peng, I came here this time to see the ancestor of the Peng family. I wonder if you can help me arrange it. Peng Dong was very surprised that he came to see his own ancestor. What did Yi Xiaotian come to see the ancestor for at this time? Didn't he tell him about the ancestor situation? He also repeatedly told him to stay away from Jiangnan Bay City after meeting up in the evening. Why didn't he listen? Captain Yi, I don't know why you are so persistent in entering the city at this time, but I want to tell you that your decision is too unwise. Peng Dong couldn't help but get angry. Yi Xiaotian was stunned when he heard this, but then he understood what the other party meant, and said, 
Master Peng, don't worry, since I can come in, I can naturally go out. Seeing Yi Xiaotian so confident, Peng Dong didn't know what to say. The situation of the ancestor is not good, so I don't know whether he will see you. Peng Dong said. Yi Xiaotian said, please let Master Peng know for me, I really hope to meet the ancestor of the Peng family. Chapter, 291 Because of Yi Xiaotian's insistence, Peng Dong finally raised his request for a meeting. To his surprise, the ancestor of the Peng family quickly agreed to the request for a meeting. Peng Dong brought Yi Xiaotian to the ancestor's quiet room and said, the ancestor is inside. He only wants to see you, Captain Yi, go in by yourself. After saying that, his expression was complicated. The ancestor of the Peng family, now even the younger generation of the Peng family is unwilling to see him, but he was unexpectedly willing to see Yi Xiaotian. I don't know whether it was Haotian's reputation that worked, or whether the ancestor had something unfinished. Yi Xiaotian pushed open the door of the courtyard, a quaint courtyard, which was completely different from the imagined luxury, but full of the flavor of a farmyard. There were many racks in the yard, covered with vines. Some of them had already borne fruit. This actually planted green vegetables. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. It was really unexpected. He had been to Mr. Han's yard. He had also been to the yard of the old man of the Chang family. Compared with their yard. The yard of the ancestor of the Peng family was no different from that of an ordinary old farmer. At this moment, an old voice sounded in his ears, What? Don't you believe it? Yi Xiaotian looked over and saw an old man wearing a simple grey robe, a bamboo hat on his head, and white hair and beard standing under a rattan frame, looking at him with a smile. But his face was a little pale. As an SS level powerful awakener, at this moment, Yi Xiaotian could not feel the slightest breath of a strong man. It was really like an ordinary old man standing in front of him. Little friend, come and sit down. The old man walked out from under the rattan frame, walked to a stone table beside the yard and sat down, poured two glasses of water, and drank one himself first. Yi Xiaotian walked over and sat down. His mood was a little heavy. This is an old man worthy of respect. With his strength, he can completely leave Jiangnan Bay City. But he stayed without hesitation and fought with the sea beasts. He would have no regrets even if he died. My friend, I heard that you want to see me. Is there anything? Said the ancestor of the Peng family. Yi Xiaotian collected his thoughts and said, Old senior, how is your body? The ancestor of the Peng family smiled indifferently and said, it will take a few days to live, but it's nothing. It's just that the people in this city are pitiful. Yi Xiaotian's heart twitched fiercely. Yes, these tens of millions of people are about to become blood food and food for sea beasts. Just thinking about it makes people's scalps numb. How could such a cruel thing happen to him? In the eyes of sea beasts, the humans in Jiangnan city are like pigs and sheep raised in pens. They are just food. But as a human being, Yi Xiaotian can't stand it. What's more, in his previous life, he grew up in a peaceful country. He received orthodox education. He inherited Chinese virtues. He couldn't look directly at such things. At least, he couldn't look his compatriots in the face. If he didn't have the ability, he would say nothing. Coincidentally, he had the ability to save them. So he had to try. Senior Peng, I want to know what level that SS level sea beast is at. Yi Xiaotian said solemnly. The ancestor of the Peng family was stunned for a moment, and deliberately looked at Yi Xiaotian for a second before saying, Young friend, do you want to touch that Kanglin dragon? Kanglin dragon? That sea beast is a sea dragon. Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised and surprised. This sea dragon clan is not a real dragon, but a dragon-like marine creature, which can be regarded as a trace of dragon blood. However, after the changes in the world, these creatures with dragon blood are becoming more and more powerful, and their awakened talents are stronger than one another. What's more hateful is that the dragon race is naturally romantic, so there are countless creatures and races with dragon blood in the ocean. Even the giant spider crab doesn't know how many species there are. I only know that the deeper you go into the ocean, the more such creatures there are. 
I didn't expect that the SS level C beast that attacked Jiangnan Bay City this time would actually be a Lansang dragon. The ancestor of the Peng family said, that's right, if it wasn't for its dragon blood, I wouldn't have lost to it. Yi Xiao Tian suddenly understood. Senior, what you mean is that the awakening level of this Kanglin dragon is about the same as yours, and the difference is in talent. Yi Xiao Tian asked. The ancestor of the Peng family nodded and said, that's right, so I remind you, don't provoke it. Yi Xiao Tian said, but I can't watch tens of millions of people in Jiangnan city become blood food for sea beasts, so no matter what, I have to try it. How confident are you, my friend? Seeing Yi Xiaotian's persistence, the ancestor of the Peng family did not persuade him much. A genius like Yi Xiaotian, who can survive to this day under the suppression of alien races and heretical organizations, is definitely not relying on impulse. But wisdom and strength. So he believes in Yi Xiaotian's judgment. If things are impossible, Yi Xiaotian will not simply die, there is no meaning in that. So he must have some confidence. Yi Xiaotian said, it depends on how much information the senior can provide me. The more I know, the more confident I am. And I want to know what this Kanglin dragon is best at. The ancestor of the Peng family laughed when he heard this and said, then there is no problem. I was injured today by the special move of Kanglin dragon. But the other party was not feeling well either. He was hit by my ice god spear and his tail was pierced by me. Unfortunately, I didn't hit his head or heart. Yi Xiaotian listened quietly to the description of the ancestor of the Peng family. His battle with Kanglin Dragon was earth-shattering and extremely destructive. The area of dozens of miles was turned into ruins by their battle. In the end, the ancestor of the Peng family was one step behind and was injured more seriously. However, his acting skills were much better than Kanglin Dragon, so he didn't show it and scared Kanglin Dragon away. But such a thing can't be concealed for too long. When Kanglin Dragon comes to his senses, he will definitely come to provoke again. At that time, the ancestor of the Peng family can't fight, and then the matter will be exposed. My friend, I have only one thing to say. You are still young and have unlimited possibilities. Don't be obsessed with the present moment. Your future is limitless and will definitely bring a more glorious ending to the human race. So you must remember to let go when it is time to let go. The ancestor of the Peng family gave Yi Xiaotian one last word, and then stood up to see him off. Yi Xiaotian saw that the ancestor of the Peng family was even more depressed. Obviously, the conversation between the two just now had consumed a lot of the ancestor of the Peng family's vitality. And the ancestor of the Peng family obviously didn't want to show his weak side in front of a junior, so after he hurriedly finished speaking, he sent Yi Xiao Tian out of the courtyard. Chapter 292 Outside the courtyard, Peng Dong and Peng Xiangyu were still waiting there. Seeing Yi Xiao Tian coming out, the two came forward. Peng Xiangyu said anxiously, Brother Tian, how is it? How is the old ancestor's health? Yi Xiao Tian sighed and said, I can't do anything about the injury of the senior. After all, this is an injury caused by an SS-level powerful person. Even if Sun Yao is called over, it will be useless. Of course, the reason why Yi Xiaotian couldn't do anything about the injury of the Peng family's ancestor was that Kang Lunlong's strength level was too high. Another reason was that the physical function of the Peng family's ancestor was not very good. The therapist can treat external injuries, even internal injuries. But it can't make the old body rejuvenate. Then this is not a therapist, but the god of life. Even Yi Xiaotian's S-level healing talent skill void secret art, and S-level resurrection talent skill chaos grace, there is no way to deal with the Peng family's ancestor. After all, the use of these talent skills and secret arts are all subject to certain restrictions. For example, the awakening grade of talent, and the strength level of the awakener. You, a B-level healer, can heal the wounds caused by SS-level masters. Where do you put the face of SS level masters? According to the rules of reincarnation, in order to heal the wounds caused by SS level masters, at least two conditions must be met, neither of which can be missing. Either the talent grade reaches SS level, and the strength itself cannot be lower than S level. Or the strength level reaches SS level, 
and the grade of the healing talent cannot be lower than S level. Sun Yao did not meet either of these two conditions. Yi Xiao Tian is now an S level awakener. But his void secret art is only an S level talent skill. And it takes 100 million life essences to strengthen an S level talent skill to SS level. Then he took a look at the life essence he had left. After strengthening spirit seeding art, from F level to S level, he only had a pitiful 4 million life essences left. As far as the current situation is concerned, reality does not allow him to brush up to 100 million life essences and then save the ancestor of the Peng family. Because the body of the ancestor of the Peng family simply couldn't hold out until that time. So after thinking about it, Yi Xiaotian temporarily gave up this plan. Let's deal with the Kanglin dragon first. If 100 million life essences were so easy to get, he would have strengthened all his talents to SS level or above. In Yi Xiaotian's plan, he was going to go to the alien battlefield before executing this plan. After all, there were not so many alien beasts in the native land of Blue Star to support him to complete this plan. But the alien battlefield is different. There are endless alien beasts there, which can allow him to get infinite life essence. This is also one of the reasons why he was in a hurry to go to the alien battlefield. Although the higher the level of the alien beast, the greater the value of life essence that can be obtained. But any race is in the shape of a pyramid. The real largest number is still the weakest at the lowest level. The higher you go, the smaller the number. So Yi Xiaotian can't set his target on those high-level alien beasts, but it will be more harm than good. I've gone too far. Back to the present. After hearing what Yi Xiaotian said, Peng Dong was not surprised, but said, We also have awakening healers in Jiangnan city, and there is no way. He explained this sentence just to make Yi Xiaotian feel relieved. Brother Tian, what are your plans next? Or do you go out of the city directly at night? Peng Xiangyu asked. Yi Xiaotian said, You go out of the city at night to meet up with the team. I have other things to deal with. Other things? Does Brother Tian have acquaintances in Jiangnan City? Peng Xiangyu said unexpectedly. Yi Xiaotian did not explain much. After instructing Peng Xiangyu a few words, he left the Peng family directly. Peng Dong was very polite and wanted to keep Yi Xiaotian, but seeing that Yi Xiaotian was determined to leave, he did not force him. After leaving the Peng family, Yi Xiaotian casually strolled around Jiangnan City. The whole city was shrouded in a heavy atmosphere. It seems that the people in the city all know that this time the sea beast is coming, and I don't know how many people will die. However, because they did not know that the ancestor of the Peng family was seriously injured and died, they did not know that the entire city would be destroyed. Even if there were pedestrians on the street, they were passing by in a hurry. Moreover, there were few ordinary people on the street, and most of them were awakened people responsible for guarding the city. No one paid attention to Yi Xiaotian walking around in the city. They were busy with their own affairs, so how could they care about others? Yi Xiaotian came all the way to the city gate. He was immediately stopped by the awakened person guarding the city gate and shouted, What are you doing? Yi Xiaotian replied lightly, saying, I came out for a walk and wanted to see if there was anything I could help with. Yi Xiaotian's level was much higher than the other party, so the other party did not realize that Yi Xiaotian was a high-level awakened person. Looking at his age, he would only think he was a student. Little kid, the city gate is dangerous, retreat quickly, it's not time for you to fight for your lives yet. The guarding awakened person shouted. Yi Xiaotian nodded secretly after hearing this. Although there are many bad people among the human race, the vast majority are upright people. Even in such a critical moment, there are seniors who take the lead. Students and ordinary people can only do some logistical work at most. Yi Xiaotian did not argue with them. After walking around, he left. He found a remote place and cast an illusion to hide his figure. Well, it was not hiding his figure, but under his illusion, the scene seen by others was not him. Then he left Jiangnan Base City all the way. Back to where the team was. Wang Hao was the first to find him. He immediately exclaimed, Brother Tian, why are you back? This was also Yi Xiaotian's deliberate discovery, 
otherwise it would be strange to find it. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, don't you want me to come back? Wang Hao said, no, brother Tian, I don't mean that. Okay, I know what you mean. I just went out of the city to do something. When I was done, I came out. Yi Xiaotian replied. Wang Hao asked in confusion, then why didn't you bring Peng Xiangyu out? Yi Xiaotian was stunned for a moment. This question seemed to make sense. It didn't seem difficult for him to bring someone out. But at that time, he was considering going out of the city to find Kanglin Dragon, so he didn't think about it. However, Yi Xiaotian also felt that there was no problem for Peng Xiangyu to go out of the city, so he ignored this. After all, after a conversation with the ancestor of the Peng family, he had a deeper understanding of Kanglin Dragon. So he planned to meet this Kanglin Dragon. I have to stay at home with my parents and relatives, so I won't come out so soon. Yi Xiaotian forced himself to explain. Chapter 293 Okay, let's stop talking nonsense. When I come back, I have something to tell you. Yi Xiaotian said seriously. Next, I'm going to go meet the Kanglin Dragon for a while. You guys just wait here. Kanglin Dragon? What Kanglin Dragon? Wang Hao asked in confusion. But Han Xuyao was smart and understood immediately and said, Brother Tian, are you going to see that powerful Si clan leader? Yi Xiaotian said, Yes, I have inquired clearly. Don't worry, I will not go looking for death. Everyone can tell very clearly about Yi Xiaotian's behavior. Never fight an uncertain battle. But this time, he was facing the mighty Si clan, a being that could truly destroy the world. When the strength reaches SS level or above, that is the difference between a mortal body and an immortal body. That kind of strength can change the situation with every move. A strong man of this level is also called a powerful celestial being. What is a celestial power? It is a person with great supernatural powers who can influence the celestial phenomena. Angry and Stormy This is the manifest power of the celestial power. Yi Xiaotian, let me just say something. At this moment, Mu Bingyan suddenly said, the SS level celestial power has a trace of the power of the will of reincarnation, so any level of talent skills that fall on it will have there is a certain probability of immunity. The lower the level of the talent skill and the awakener level, the greater the probability of immunity. Do you still want to go? After saying that, Mu Bingyan didn't say anything anymore, she just looked at Yi Xiaotian with a somewhat disappointed look. She felt Yi Xiaotian swelled. After killing several S-level awakened warriors, he felt that he was invincible. In fact, Mu Bingyan knew very well that the reason why Yi Xiaotian was able to win was because he had many talents and skills. Although Yi Xiaotian didn't say anything about this kind of thing. But Mu Bingyan also guessed it. After all, she comes from a big family, and her experience and knowledge reserve are unmatched by others. It's just that she doesn't want to say it. But today, she had to say it. If Yi Xiaotian really knew nothing and acted recklessly, he might really lose his life. What? Yi Xiaotian's body trembled after hearing this, and he was a little dumbfounded. This is real. I do not know how. There is actually such a thing as skill immunity. But soon, he realized clearly that there is such a thing for the treatment type, but not for the control type. The reason why he didn't take action to save the ancestor of the Peng family was because the injury was caused by Kanglinlong, an SS level C clan powerhouse, and there was nothing he could do. But he just never thought that control type innate skills might be ineffective on such a powerful person. Now after Mu Bingyan reminded her, she suddenly woke up. Bingyan, thank you for your reminder. It was very timely. I understand. Yi Xiaotian expressed his sincere thanks. But Mu Bingyan shook her face and said, you can take care of yourself. Remember, you are not the only genius in the world. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused, but he remembered this sentence. Brother, don't go find that Kanglin dragon that day, right? Han Xuyao hugged Yi Xiaotian's arm and said. Yi Xiaotian thought about it for a while and then said, I won't go for now. I'll think about it first and talk about it tonight. By the way, Fatty, 
can you ask me how many sea beasts there are around Jiangnan city? Yi Xiaotian turned to Huang Jia and said. Huang Jia nodded and said, okay, I'll go find out right away. Where to go to find out, of course it is Samsara Square. This place has become a global information center, but because of different countries, it is divided into many sections. As for Xia Kingdom, it is naturally a separate large section. The most discussed matter in Samsara Square right now is the invasion of sea beasts. The situations of major base cities all converge here. Because many other cross-city communication tools have become ineffective. The foundation of communication was destroyed by sea monsters. So basically the information exchange of Blue Star is now transferred to Samsara Square. And because everyone has a limited time to enter the world of reincarnation every day, the number of people collecting intelligence has greatly increased. As a result, the traffic of shops in Samsara Square has also increased significantly, and business is booming. But at this time, these shop owners were not happy anymore. They can do business here because Blue Star is still here. If Blue Star is occupied by aliens or sea people, will they, the Blue Star humans, still have a way to survive? They know very well how the aliens treat the human race. In the eyes of aliens, humans are blood food. It has the same meaning as the pigs and sheep raised by humans. Human beings can use the flesh, blood, muscles and bones of foreign races to refine various spiritual liquids and secret treasures. Aliens can also increase their strength by directly devouring human bodies. This is a racial war and there is no justification for it. So at this time, no matter how good the business is, they will not be happy. What's the use of having money but no life to spend? After Huang Jia entered Samsara Square, he immediately entered a shop next to Samsara Square. A middle-aged man immediately came up to him and said respectfully, Master. Huang Jia nodded and said, Uncle Liang, do you have detailed information about Jiangnan Base City? The middle-aged Uncle Liang nodded when he heard this and said, Yes, since the young master last said he wanted to go to Jiangnan Base City, we have collected a lot of information about Jiangnan City. Huang Jia said, Okay, bring them all to me. Uncle Liang immediately took all the information and Huang Jia took it and started reading it. However, he didn't find the information he wanted until the end, so he said, Uncle Liang, do you know how many sea beasts attacked Jiangnan Bay City this time? Uncle Liang was stunned for a moment before saying, do you want a specific number? Huang Jia said, yes. Uncle Liang smiled bitterly and said, I really didn't pay attention to this aspect. I only know that the leader is a SS level initial stage C clan powerful Kanglin dragon, and there are more than a dozen S level C clan strongmen accompanying him. As for the following, there is no statistics. He was a little confused. Who would count this number? But Uncle Liang paused when he said this. Huang Jia said, But what? But Master, according to visual estimation, the Sea Beast Army that attacked Jiangnan Bay City this time will not be less than one million. Uncle Liang said. Huang Jia understood what he meant, so he nodded and said, I understand, Uncle Liang. Master, there is something I don't know if I should say or not. Uncle Liang suddenly said again. What is it, Uncle Liang, tell me? Huang Jia was also straightforward, and his eyes did not leave the information in his hand, and he looked at it carefully. Uncle Liang said, the situation in Jiangnan Base City is very critical now. According to our estimation, Jiangnan Base City will definitely not be able to hold on, and the possibility of being destroyed is very high. So I still suggest that Master leave there quickly, it is too dangerous. Chapter 294 Huang Jie is the legitimate son of the head of the family. He originally only had an S-level auxiliary talent, and it was agility. This was only considered to be above average for the Huang family. But I don't know what kind of shit luck he had. He went out and actually met the great god Haoyan. Then it was as if he had been cheating all the way. In just a few months, he soared from an awakening rookie to a B-level awakener. This is too scary. So now everyone in the Huang family has an idea, that is, as long as Huang Jie does not die, the position of the head of the Huang family in the future will definitely be his. Not to mention his own strength, 
just the fact that there is a great god Haotian behind him is almost certain. Uncle Liang knew this information, so he naturally took care of Huang Jia as much as possible. As long as Huang Jia made a request, he would try his best to complete it. But the only thing that makes people headache is that these guys are completely where there is danger. First, the east coast of Magic City, then the rescue of Jiangcheng, and now they have run to Jiangnan Base City. There is an SS level C clan master there. What can you B level awakeners do? Are you sending yourself to the death? Huang Jia has a promising future, and Uncle Liang doesn't want him to die. Huang Jia smiled and said, Uncle Liang, don't worry. We won't take risks. Brother Tian always does things that are sure. Uncle Liang sighed. These kids are really fooling around. Is it a sure thing to tease the tiger whiskers of the SS level C clan master? Huang Jia said, Uncle Liang, please help me find out more information about Jiangnan Base City. I will go back and tell Brother Tian the news first. Master. Uncle Lian wanted to persuade him again, but Huang Jia had already gone offline. One million. Yi Xiao Tian was very skeptical. He had been exploring the way all the way. But from what he saw, the Sea Beast Army was not worth a million. Or did the Sea Beast Army only set up a small number of guards in their direction? That's not right. Isn't it said that only the direction guarded by Kanglin Dragon himself has a small number of Sea Beasts? Fatty, did you tell me that Kanglin Dragon retreated from the south of Jiangnan Base City? Yi Xiao Tian asked Huang Jia. Huang Jia said, Yes, many awakened people in Jiangnan Base City saw it with their own eyes. Kanglin Dragon's huge body could not be hidden when it left. Then tell me, why are there so few sea beasts on our side? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Huang Jia was confused and said, Brother Tian, don't scare me. Han Xuyao was confused when listening to their conversation and said, Brother Tian, what are you talking about? Does it matter which direction Kanglin Dragon retreats from? Yi Xiao Tian explained, only the direction guarded by Kanglin Dragon himself does not need to be blocked by too many sea beast armies. We have not encountered too many sea beast armies along the way. Han Xuyao understood now and said in a trembling voice, Brother Tian, do you mean that the direction we are in now is the direction where Kanglin Dragon is stationed? Yi Xiao Tian said solemnly, Yes, and if I am not mistaken, we have now entered the interception range of Kanglin Dragon. But why didn't it stop us when we came in? Han Xuyao felt that there should be other possibilities. Yi Xiao Tian said, Why did he stop us? To him, we are just a few insignificant ants. What should we do now? Han Xuyao asked anxiously, or should we retreat first? Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, It's useless. Now the Kanglin dragon must be eyeing us. If we stay in Jiangnan Bay City, he will ignore us, but if we want to leave, it will definitely not work. Do we have to stay here and wait for death? Han Xuyao's voice was filled with tears. She had just got married, and it was the time when she and Yi Xiao Tian were in love. She didn't want to die like this. Yi Xiao Tian pondered for a while before saying, Don't worry, we still have a chance. What chance? This time, it was not only Han Xuyao who spoke up, but even Huang Jia and Sun Yao couldn't help asking. Only Mu Bingyan still had that cold look, but her eyes were a little erratic. As for Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, they naturally went to the outer perimeter for alert. As a mature combat team, how could they not even make arrangements for the outer perimeter alert? Yi Xiao Tian said, if we want to leave, Kanglin Dragon will definitely not want to, but if we continue to push forward, the other party will definitely not take action. You mean we enter the city? Sun Yao frowned, then we will still fall into the hands of the other party, right? Yi Xiao Tian said, for me, as long as I don't face Kanglin Dragon now, then there is still a chance. Don't forget that there are millions of sea beasts in the other three directions of Jiangnan City. No one understood what he meant. It's not easy to face Kanglin Dragon. Is it easy to face a million level army? This is a million level army, and Huang Jie just said that there are more than a dozen S level masters in it. Or even more. After all, when two armies fight, neither side will show all their cards at once. 
There should be only one SS level celestial being on the side of the C clan, but no one knows how many S level masters there will be next. It can only be said that there were only more than 10 who had taken action before. So according to Uncle Liang's intelligence, there are only more than 10 of them. Moreover, being trapped in an army of hundreds of thousands, they would probably be exhausted to death. As for escaping? Forget it. Not to mention that the Kanglin dragon will be watching, even those S-level C clan masters will not let them run. At this moment, the surroundings of Jiangnan city have been surrounded like an iron barrel. It is so difficult to escape. Otherwise, the countless awakened families in Jiangnan city would not start the fire plan. Of course, the above are for normal geniuses. For Yi Shao Tian, the army of millions of sea beasts is a great tonic. As long as he brushes enough life essence and strengthens his talent skills to SS level, he can launch a counterattack against the Kanglin dragon. Not much, just strengthen one curse type talent skill, it will be enough. He doesn't believe that there will be assistance to clear such skills in the army of the C clan, and the talent level is up to standard. If that's the case, then he will admit it. Moreover, a million sea beasts army. Life essence is not an attribute point, it is a must drop, and the higher the grade of the beast, the greater the value of the life essence dropped. F level beasts have 10 points, E level has 20 points, and D level has 50 points. These three levels are cannon fodder, so they don't drop much. The real thing to see is the beasts above sea level. Each sea level beast drops 200 points of life essence. B level beasts have 1 0, 0 points, and A level beasts have 10 0, 0 points. The giant sea serpent that Yi Shao Tian killed at the seaside of Jiangqing gave him an additional 100 0, 0 points of life essence. Chapter 295 Currently, there are millions of sea beasts around Jiangnan city, and the largest number of them are mid level ones. Although high level beasts drop a lot of life essence, Yi Shao Tian is not a fool. Mid level beasts are the best. They provide a lot of life essence and are killed quickly. What we need is efficiency. As for low level sea beasts, they are not qualified to play in this level of racial war. That's right, they are not even qualified to be cannon fodder, and following them will only waste venues and space. Those small cities are their destination. So the sea beasts around Jiangnan city are enough for Yi Shao Tian to brush 100 million life essences. 100 million, as long as 100 million, he can stand up. Although 100 million life essences are only enough to upgrade a talent skill to SS level. But the effect of SS level talent skills is not comparable to S level. The basic increase of SS level talent skills is 10 times. Coupled with the increase of Yi Xiaotian's S level awakening level, Yi Xiaotian has the confidence to fight Kanglin Dragon. Even if Kanglin Dragon has an assistant following him, it is the same. After all, who can compare with him in terms of auxiliary skills? Other people's auxiliary skills can only take effect on one at most. Even if there are more amplification effects of the same type, only the one with the highest amplification effect can take effect. But Yi Xiaotian's own amplification skills can be superimposed and take effect. To be honest, the reason why Yi Xiaotian wants to strengthen a cursed talent skill to SS level is also for insurance. Otherwise, with his talent skills, he dares to directly confront Kanglin Dragon. Even if he can't beat it, he can run. But now he is not alone, so he has to think carefully and carefully, and can only make full preparations first. Don't be afraid next, we will slowly retreat to the direction of Jiangnan city. Yi Xiaotian said. Han Xuyao said, is it okay like this? Yi Xiaotian said, according to my guess, as long as we go to Jiangnan city, the Kanglin dragon will not care about us. Anyway, in its eyes, since we have entered the blockade, we are already its meal. Hey, don't say it so disgustingly. Han Xuyao said unhappily. It sounded like they were like pigs and sheep, and became meat in other people's mouths. Others naturally had no opinion on Yi Xiaotian's words, but they were very annoyed by the two of them showing off their love regardless of the occasion and time. But, forget it, just get used to it. At least with the dog food, they saved a lot of food expenses. The group lurked towards Jiangnan city. Yi Xiaotian guessed correctly, 
they did enter the range of Kanglin Dragon's alert. However, after knowing that they were just a few small ants, Kanglin Dragon had no interest at all, just glanced at them and ignored them. As long as they didn't leave, they were allowed to walk around in the blockade. In his opinion, it was an insult to personally attack these small ants. Such small ants should be left to his subordinates to kill. If even such ants need him to take action, why did he bring millions of sea beasts here? Soldiers against soldiers, generals against generals, this is in line with his identity and personality. So when he saw Yi Xiao Tian and his men sneaking towards Jiangnan city, Kanglin Dragon just slightly curved his mouth and showed a hint of ridicule. A few little ants thought they could hide from the eyes of the master, how naive. If humans were so naive, it would be great. For this action, the high-level C clan didn't know whether it would succeed in the end. It's worth a try. After hundreds of years of development, the C clan has bred too many people. Although there are also fights and losses, compared with the human race and the alien race, it is not enough. So they need to expand their territory and gain more living space. Although they and the humans of Blue Star are the natives of Blue Star. But in terms of roots, the alien race is almost the same as them. So they chose to cooperate with the alien race and attack the human race of Blue Star together. The alien race said very well that after Blue Star was conquered, the land would be given to the Sea Clan for governance, and the alien race only wanted population. But the high-level Sea Clan didn't believe this statement at all. They knew very well that what the alien race was looking at was the land of Blue Star. After all, if they occupy the Blue Star, they can get a huge reward from the will of reincarnation. The same is true in reverse. Of course, if the sea race can come out of the sea and occupy the entire blue star, they can also get a huge reward from the will of reincarnation. For this point, no matter what race it is, it is the same. For example, if the human race on blue star can occupy all the oceans, then it is also possible. However, for now, the top leaders of the human race have not had such an idea. The current human race on Blue Star has always been in a defensive state and has no ability to attack other races at all. So it is better not to talk about this huge reward now. No matter what the final result is, the sea race will not lose. Even if the alien race occupies the land of Blue Star, it is impossible to occupy the sea. The sea race is still confident in this. Of course, they will not be stupid enough to show all their strength. When dealing with a race like the alien race, you can only say three points at most. So in this battle, the real masters of the sea race are still hidden, otherwise it is estimated that the human race would have been unable to bear it. This is a game. In addition to the game on the battlefield, there are other levels of games. It depends on who can't hold on first. Because the focus of this war is on the battlefield of the alien race. No matter who wins or loses, for the sea race, they are all winners. Because no matter which side wins, it will be seriously injured. How can it compete with the sea race? This is why the sea race does not show all its strength. If all its strength is revealed, the alien race will definitely stop fighting. This is fucking, we are fighting here, and you sea race are thinking about the good things of the fishermen. The human race will also consider whether to change its strategy. After all, even if the alien race is repelled, will there be the ability to repel the sea race? Maybe at that time, the alien race and the human race will unite to deal with their sea race first, which will really be a dog. So Kanglin Dragon is very clear in his mind. Its mission on the shore is not really to conquer how many cities of the human race and destroy how many masters of the human race. They came ashore just to put on a show. It depends on whether the show is exciting or not. The more exciting it is, the more credible it is. So we still have to work harder. Poor me, I haven't slept for many days. Kang Long thought silently in his heart. Boom. 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 Just as Kang Long was thinking this, the sound of fighting came from the direction of Jiangnan City. Kang Long just sensed it, and then didn't care. It was just a fight between some small ants, not worth mentioning. As long as the old guy from the Han family didn't come out, he would continue to lie down. Chapter, 296 
In Kanglin Dragon's opinion, a few small ants are nothing but small ants. What kind of waves can they stir up? Even though the noise behind him was getting louder and louder, he didn't care much and continued to close his eyes and rest. There was only one person killing in the battlefield outside the city. Han Xuyao and Wang Hao had all entered the city. They were sent to Jiangnan City by Yi Xiaotian. Han Xuyao and the others were supposed to kill the enemy with Yi Xiaotian, but they were rejected by Yi Xiaotian. Are you kidding? The beast was killed by you. Although I have attribute points to drop, this life essence can only be dropped by the beast I killed with my own hands. And at this time, Yi Xiaotian didn't care about being exposed. He directly turned on the strongest state. All kinds of amplification talents and skills, all kinds of body protection talents and skills, as long as they can enhance combat power, were activated by him. Then he summoned the second soul. Yi Xiaotian, who was in full bloom, had already broken through the SS level standard in terms of the four attributes alone, reaching tens of millions. This is the four attributes. It is definitely not comparable to the ordinary SS level primary awakeners. There are also various innate skills that enhance the physical body. There are various lights flashing on his body, which makes people dare not look directly at him. The second soul also started the same action. After a while, his strength also broke through to the level of S level mid level. Coupled with the assistance of other innate skills, the actual combat power is definitely better than that of S level mid level awakeners. The two split into two groups and launched an attack on the Sea Beast Army. Yes, it was them who launched an attack on the Sea Beast Army, not the Sea Beast Army coming to encircle and suppress. The sky full of clones appeared in front of the Sea Beast Army, and thousands of sea beasts were stunned. Where did this come from? Isn't there only one person on the other side? Then, more clones appeared, and any sea beast that appeared in Yi Xiaotian's sight range could be divided into a clone. With Yi Xiaotian's current four-dimensional attributes exceeding 10 million, even if the clone is only about 30% of his original body, he is already a leader among the S-level primary awakeners. Among the sea beasts, the largest number is actually the sea beasts of B-level, A-level, and even C-level awakening strength. Such strength is completely powerless in front of Yi Xiaotian's original clone. It is a one-sided massacre. On the other side, the second soul has also started the formal killing. Compared with the clone of the second soul, it is only the strength of the S-level initial awakener. But it is enough. Every moment, Yi Xiaotian has a huge amount of life essence. This is also the confidence of Yi Xiaotian to start this killing. Otherwise, you can only kill alone. How long will it take to kill this million sea beasts? Or don't think about it, just go and fight with Kanglin Dragon. As for the awakened guards on the top of Jiangnan City, they were already stunned. They saw Yi Xiaotian appear in their field of vision and then provoked the sea beast army. Just when they thought Yi Xiaotian was looking for death, the Sea Beast army all over the mountains and plains fell down in groups. Countless figures appeared in front of these Sea Beasts, then disappeared, and then new figures appeared, and then disappeared again. This mysterious operation completely stunned them. They have lived for such a long time, and have never seen such a scene. What kind of magical talent skill is this? Or is it some magical secret treasure? It can only be said that their knowledge is limited and they can't recognize it at all. Yi Xiaotian floated in the sky, which can give him a wider field of vision. The characteristic of the talent skill nightmare, is that all enemies within the sight can be effective. Of course, some adjustments can also be made. However, for the current scene, there is no need to adjust, because all the sights are enemies. However, flying in the sky is also very dangerous, because the target is too large and it is easy to become a target. But now Yi Xiaotian can't care so much. So in the eyes of the people in the city, Yi Xiaotian at this moment is like a god descending to the earth. Looking at the rapidly growing life essence, Yi Xiaotian grinned again. Sea beasts below A level are no problem at all, even ordinary S level sea beasts, there is no need to worry. Now he needs to personally deal with the middle and high level S level sea beast masters. Well, there. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian felt that one of his clones was killed, and he looked over. 
Sure enough, a middle-level S-level sea beast master was roaring to the sky, as if it was a very glorious thing to kill a clone of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand, and a ray of light fell into the body of the sea beast master, and the powerful aura continued to decline. However, in the blink of an eye, its strength was reduced to a level. Then another clone appeared in front of it, and it knocked the sea beast away with a punch, and then chased after it. The body like a small mountain was lifted up by Yi Xiaotian's clone and smashed on the ground crazily. The whole land shook, and hundreds of tons of weight fell on the ground, and each one could cause a strong vibration of the earth. The sea beasts fighting nearby opened their mouths wide when they saw this scene. This was too crazy. Although this kind of deflating battle was very exciting, it was a bit slow. So Yi Xiaotian usually chooses to attack from a distance. Once an attack technique is used, the problem is basically solved. In just two hours, the sea beast army could no longer hold on. This is too fast. Hundreds of thousands of sea beasts were slaughtered like this. The second soul was more gentle. Go and ask the ancestor to help. Said an S-level sea beast warrior. No, the ancestor has to deal with the awakened Tianxiang Dening in the city, so he can't take action. Another S-level sea beast warrior said quickly. What should we do now? Are we just waiting to die here? They all saw the scene just now. Several middle and high level S level companions went out, but they were killed in just a moment. This is too brutal. Especially Yi Xiaotian's curse skill, which is too shameless and completely unsolvable. One skill can reduce a person's strength by more than ten times. The S level warrior directly fell to the A level master. How can this be fought? They haven't reacted to the sudden drop in strength yet, their heads moved. That efficiency has reached the extreme. There are also boosters in the Sea Beast Army. But it is obvious that there are still few awakened assistants. Whether it is humans, sea creatures or aliens, it is the same. The number of awakened assistants is small. In such a chaotic situation, the awakened assistants of the sea creatures are too busy. Moreover, general assistance is random, and the attributes that are blessed to you may not be useful, and this thing cannot be blessed twice before the time limit expires. Therefore, the vast majority of sea beasts did not get the blessing of assistance at all, and even if they did, most of them did not have much improvement in actual combat. What's more, Yi Xiaotian launched a sudden attack, and the sea beast army was still in a mess. Chapter 297 in short, Yi Xiaotian came too suddenly, and the Sea Beast Army was not prepared at all. They were caught off guard. So the support was not in place at all, and there was no order at all. Under Yi Xiaotian's extremely efficient killing, the Sea Beast Army was in chaos. So even those S level Sea Beast leaders could not find Sea Beast Auxiliary Awakeners to help them bless the amplification state. They could only rely on their own strength to fight. Then under the weakening of Yi Xiaotian's curse skills, they were completely tragic. In front of these clones of Yi Xiaotian, it can be said that they could not play any advantages. They could only be killed, which was extremely aggrieved. Soon, the Sea Beast Army in the last direction also found something abnormal. Except for the direction guarded by Kanglin Dragon, the other two directions were attacked by mysterious people. And the means of attack were very strange. This method is very similar to a certain talent skill. However, this talent skill has also been understood by the Sea Beast leaders, and it is not as powerful as what they have seen with their own eyes. This makes them very uncomfortable. In war, the most fearful thing is the unknown. Because the unknown is the most terrifying. Yi Xiaotian himself is a weird complex, and it is normal that they cannot use normal thinking to speculate. Not to mention the Sea Clan, even the awakened ones on the top of the city have not figured it out. Since the battle started, the awakened masters and S-level strongmen in the city have received the news and rushed over. They all want to witness with their own eyes what kind of descent this so-called god is. After they saw Yi Xiaotian's fighting method with their own eyes, the last trace of disdain and ridicule in their hearts disappeared. They all opened their mouths wide. Yi Xiaotian's fighting method is too weird. I have never seen it before. 
they quickly ask people to check in the Samsara Mall to see if there are any matching talents and skills. They really found it. Unfortunately, it is a bit inconsistent. What's the matter with the blinding light on your body? How many secret treasures did you use? Are you so rich? In the eyes of normal awakeners, or in the eyes of the sea people, the light on Yishao Tian must have been caused by the use of secret treasures. It is definitely impossible to be a talent skill. One person cannot have so many talent skills. That mode is similar to the description of a certain talent skill in the Samsara Mall. But the actual effect is far different. This is not normal at all. Who is this? I don't know, and I don't know which powerful person in the country came to support. That's good. With the support of such a powerful person, our Jiangnan city is safe. The awakeners on the top of the city all exclaimed, and then got excited. Originally, they had planned to live and die with Jiangnan city. But Yi Xiaotian's performance made them see the dawn of victory. As for Han Xuyao and the others who were mixed in the crowd, a few young people were mixed in the crowd, and no one paid attention to them at all. But Peng Dong and Peng Xiangyu, who came later, saw Yi Xiaotian in the sky and were shocked. Xiangyu, is that Yi Xiaotian? Peng Dong asked Peng Xiangyu next to him. Peng Xiangyu also felt familiar, but the light was too dazzling, and it was a little unclear. Dad, I can't be sure, it's really close. Peng Xiangyu could only say this. Peng Dong didn't say anything else, in fact, he didn't quite believe it in his heart. After all, the big man in front of him killed people everywhere, and the army of the Sea Clan was about to collapse. Although Yi Xiaotian was an S-level awakening strongman, it was impossible for him to have such ability. What people admire most about him is the speed of his promotion. What everyone admires is that Yi Xiaotian has a high probability of achieving the supreme position in the future. And the one in front of him is indeed almost like a god descending. If Yi Xiaotian really had such ability, it would have been spread long ago. So Ping Dong just doubted it for a while, and then rejected this speculation, thinking that it couldn't be Yi Xiaotian. The future Yi Xiaotian may be more powerful than the one in front of him, but the current Yi Xiaotian is not even worthy of carrying shoes for the one in front of him. Ping Xiangyu's eyes searched the crowd. No. Ping Xiangyu was slightly disappointed, and then he unwillingly expanded the scope of the search. Ping Dong didn't care about Ping Xiangyu's departure. All his attention was on the big man in the sky. As long as Ping Xiangyu didn't run to the battlefield, he wouldn't stop him. Ping Xiangyu shuttled among the crowd. Most of the awakened people on the top of the city, even all of them, focused on Yi Xiaotian. Even if they felt Ping Xiangyu coming, they didn't care. At this time, watching the big man's battle is the top priority. Even Han Xuyao and the others are no exception. Finally, Ping Xiangyu's eyes saw Han Xuyao and Wang Hao and the others. Except for Yi Xiaotian, all the people in the Haotian team are here. Seeing this, Ping Xiangyu knew that the man was brother Tian, and there was no escape. He walked to Han Xuyao's side and whispered, Sister-in-law. Hearing this, Han Xuyao turned her gaze away from Yi Xiaotian. Brother Tian had become even more powerful. No, Brother Tian has always been very powerful. No matter what aspect of his fighting power, he is very powerful. But he has never exerted his full strength. So, in some aspects, has he not exerted his full strength? Han Xuyao's thoughts drifted a little, drifting to some indescribable things. Then, she heard Peng Xiangyu calling her. Peng Xiangyu, why are you here? Han Xuyao looked around, and then found that the top of the city was full of people, and many people stood on the top of the building in the city to watch the battle outside. Peng Xiangyu confirmed in a low voice, Sister-in-law, is it Brother Tian who is fighting outside? Han Xuyao nodded and said nothing. At this time, it is better to keep a low profile. Otherwise, the madness of Jiangcheng will be staged again in Jiangnan city. Aren't you waiting for me outside the city? Why did you enter the city? Peng Xiangyu said puzzledly. In fact, what he wanted to ask was, Brother Tian is fighting, why are you watching the show here? Han Xuyao quickly explained the cause of the matter to Peng Xiangyu, who was stunned and then broke into a cold sweat. 
Damn, if Brother Tian hadn't discovered this, and rushed out at night, even if he joined the team, he would run into Kang Lin Long's hands, how could it be good? Sister-in-law, should we go out to help? Peng Xiang Yu said loyally. Han Xuyao shook her head and said, Brother Tian wouldn't let us, saying that we stole his head and would make him lose the qualification to fight Kang Lin Long. What do you mean? Peng Xiang Yu was confused. Is Brother Tian's words so profound? Chapter 298 After the top leaders of the blockade army in the last direction discovered the battles in the other two directions, they all became alert. They waited for a long time but no enemy came, so they were confused. What's going on? Why didn't the enemy attack them? Could it be that they wanted to defeat them one by one as the human said? Should we go to support them? No, if we go to support them, what if the people in the city run away from our direction? Yes, you see, Patriarch Kanglin didn't move, there must be no problem. Okay, then let's explore again. Soon, the top leaders of the Sea Clan army in this direction reached a consensus and waited for the situation. But soon, a scout came back to report that the army in one direction was about to collapse. Bullshit, how long have we been fighting? How can we not hold on? We have 600 00 troops over there, how could we not hold on? Yeah, how is that possible? Did I hear wrong? 600,000, that's a full 600,000, and there are S-level strongmen leading the team, and countless B-level and A-level masters, how could they not hold on so quickly? Even if it were 600 00 pigs, it would be impossible to kill them so quickly. Not to mention that they were 600 00 mid-level sea awakeners. My ancestors, it's all true, it's completely messed up over there, it can be described as a rout. That human was flying in the sky, emitting endless light all over his body, like a god descending from heaven. The sea scout who sent the message was almost going crazy. He saw all this with his own eyes, and after seeing it, he almost couldn't come back. It's so scary. His legs were weak. When did humans become so terrible? Just one person defeated the 600 00 C army and the soldiers couldn't find the general, and the general couldn't find the soldiers. It's a complete mess. The most feared thing for a large army to fight is defeat. Once defeated, it would be the biggest disaster. Even without the enemy fighting, the army would kill itself. The several S level C clan masters present all took a breath of cold air. This is actually true. How could this be true? They didn't dare to believe it, and they couldn't believe it. The situation is so serious, why hasn't Ancestor Kanglin taken action yet? An S-level high-level C-Clan said. These C-Clan bosses have transformed into human forms, but they still retain some characteristics of the C-Clan. They have heads, facial features, tails, and skin. Generally speaking, these can be called half-orcs. The bodies of these S-level C-Clan masters are too big. If they really let them communicate with their bodies, it would not be called talking, but roaring. At that time, there would be no need for humans to spy on intelligence, and the sound would float to the ears of humans. In fact, all the beasts that have awakened their innate skills through the Samsara Tower have the ability to change their body shape. The lower the awakening level, the more beast characteristics they retain. And the shapes are also strange. The higher the level of beast awakeners, the closer they are to humans in terms of body shape and appearance. They sat around the grass, without building any houses or tents. For the sea people, it was just like taking off their pants to fart, which was a waste of effort. The sea people are best at controlling water. They also like water the most. So they don't have to worry about rain or something like that. On the contrary, they hate the sun very much. Let's get back to the point. After a sea strongman raised a question, everyone exchanged glances. Yes, why didn't Kanglin Patriarch take action? Did he just watch the 600 00 C army being killed by humans? By the way, didn't you say before that two armies were attacked? What's the situation of the other army? At this time, another C clan strongman asked the scout. The C clan scout replied, the situation in the other direction is not good either. Although it is not as bad as the previous one, 
it is estimated that defeat is only a matter of time. Several S-level awakened C-Clan strongmen looked at each other in bewilderment. Could it be that the supreme strongman of the human race has come? No, didn't they say that the supreme sword god of the human race went to the deep sea? Because of Yi Xiaotian's shocking operation, even the human awakeners in Jiangnan city were already confused. Not to mention these awakened sea clans. What should we do now? Are we going to watch the hundreds of thousands of troops disappear like that? Said an S-level mid-level sea clan strongman. What can we do? Our mission is to guard the defense line here. Without the order of Patriarch Kanglin, we must not take action. I am worried now. Once the western and northern armies are defeated, will it be our turn next? As soon as this was said, everyone became more serious. Yes, the western and northern armies are almost unable to hold on. If the two armies collapse at that time, and the enemy joins the two armies and attacks them, what should they do? Immediately notify Patriarch Kanglin and ask him what to do next. Finally, an S-level high-level C-Clan strongman made the decision. Kanglin Dragon slept very comfortably. This mission was really too easy. I didn't expect that it could be so comfortable on land. This is completely different from basking in the sun on the island. Lying in the vegetation, it feels like being massaged. And the ancestor of the Peng family, he has already reserved it. This time, he must eat him. Eating an SS-level human great power can definitely improve physical strength. This is their name, they prefer to call attribute points physical strength. It's a pity that at his current level, it will have no effect to devour those low-level human awakeners. It's better to reward those human awakeners in the city to the frontline boys. This time, even if there is no credit, there is still hard work. Thinking of this, Kanglin Dragon fell asleep. Then, when he found someone approaching, Kanglin Dragon immediately became alert. Soon, he grasped the breath of his fellow tribesmen. The fellow tribesmen sent people over. Could it be that the battle is over? But no, the movement over there is still so loud. Kanglin Dragon never thought that he would lose since he brought a million troops this time, and the army was composed of at least mid-level awakened sea clan members. Although Jiangnan city has a population of tens of millions, the number of awakened people is already millions. But apart from those useless ones, there are actually fewer who can really pose a threat to the Si clan army. So his million-strong army can definitely take down Jiangnan city. Ancestor, ancestor, something big has happened. The Si clan scout rolled and crawled, and the pressure was too great beside ancestor Kanglin, so uncomfortable. Chapter 299. Yi Xiaotian looked at the rapidly growing life essence, and the smile on his face never changed. It's almost there, it's almost there. He has never felt so good before. Well, that's not right. Some things are even better than this. It's just that the speed of refreshing life essence and the speed of improving attribute points are really the fastest since awakening. Although men can't be fast in some aspects, they can be fast in the present. Finally, on the attribute panel, the life essence item finally achieved a nine-digit achievement. Yi Xiaotian didn't hesitate and directly clicked on the column of talent skills, and found decay, among many talent skills. The main reason why other skills of the curse system were not strengthened was that decay, was a talent skill, which perfectly matched the talent and could achieve the maximum curse effect. Of course, the most important thing is that the consumption of talent skills is much less than that of ordinary skills. Otherwise, why is it called a talent skill? Isn't the reason why Yi Xiaotian can always use the nightmare, skill because of its low consumption? If this were an ordinary professional skill, I'm afraid he would have been unable to hold on. The reason why the innate skill is called the innate skill is because it is gifted to two people, so this kind of skill can be attributed to instinct. When performing this skill, the consumption is only 1% of the general skill. So after Yi Xiaotian had enough life essence, he immediately strengthened the innate skill decay, to SS level. With this innate skill, he is much more confident. Seeing that Kanglin Dragon did not come, Yi Xiaotian was not in a hurry and continued to brush. Such an opportunity is rare. The main reason is that the environment is suitable. 
If the location is really pulled into the sea, he slaughtered so much that it is estimated that the sea clan has come out to trouble him. The alien battlefield is actually a very good place. This is also where Yi Xiaotian will go next. From S level to above, if you want to upgrade the level, you need too many attribute points, tens of millions. Many S level awakeners can't be promoted to SS level even if they work hard all their lives. The higher the pyramid, the harder it is. Yi Xiaotian also knew that even if he had the blessing of supreme talent and the efficiency of obtaining attribute points was much higher than others, it would not be possible to brush tens of millions of attribute points in a short period of time. Unlike the life essence, which is bound to drop. The drop of attribute points depends on luck. When you are lucky, you will get it when you kill a strange beast. When you are unlucky, you will not get any even a hair after killing a hundred strange beasts. Of course, there is a consensus that everyone agrees on. That is, the more you kill, the more you drop. This is a test of the strength of the awakened. After all, in the same time, the stronger the strength, the more strange beasts you kill, and the more rewards you will get. For example, in the reincarnation world, can you compare the clearance once an hour and the clearance once ten minutes? The harvest is naturally not of the same order of magnitude. Just as Yi Xiaotian was thinking, if he could kill all the millions of sea tribes, he could at least brush 200 million life essences. At that time, he could also strengthen the 2S level talent skills to SS level, and his strength would definitely soar again. Then a roar was heard, and the roar was deafening. The space was shaking, making a puffing sound. Yi Xiaotian calmed down and temporarily turned his attention to the place where the Kanglin dragon was. Because the direction of the roar just now was exactly the direction they came from before, he knew that there was a Kanglin dragon lying there. However, Yi Xiaotian was very calm at the moment. Decay has been strengthened to SS level, and the awakening level itself has also reached S level. It can fully exert the power of SS level talent skills. What's there to be afraid of? Once all his S level and SS level talent skills are fully erupted, the combat power will definitely be enough to give Kanglin Dragon a hard time. After all, he can now pull Kanglin Dragon to the same awakening level as him, and then smash it. Because the awakening level has an innate suppressive effect on low level awakeners and talent skills. And his SS level talent skill decay is specifically aimed at this. It's Kanglin Dragon. Oh no. Kanglin Dragon is here again. Oh my god, please invite the ancestor of the Peng family. On the top of Jiangnan city, countless awakened people screamed when they heard this familiar roar. This is an SS level C clan powerhouse. S level awakened masters are all smashed to pieces by one claw in front of it. The attack of the S level awakened master falls on the opponent's body, and it can't even break the skin. The gap is too big, and there is no way to fight. Among the millions of awakened people in the whole Jiangnan city, only the ancestor of the Peng family, the authentic SS level awakened master, can fight Kanglin Dragon. Before, Kanglin Dragon was in a deep sleep, and no one woke it up. That's courting death. Normally, as long as the ancestor of the Peng family does not appear, Kanglin Dragon will definitely not take action. But unexpectedly, the Si clan couldn't resist first and sent people to disturb Kanglin Dragon. When Kanglin Dragon heard that the two armies had collapsed and were about to collapse, he was also stunned. Damn, I just closed my eyes for a while, how did things develop to this extent? Shouldn't it be their sea tribe army attacking Jiangnan city? It didn't sense the breath of the ancestor of the Peng family. That old guy should still be in the city. Did this old guy trick him? Did the Peng family ancestor take action? Kanglin Long asked, and then he roared without waiting for the Sea Clan scout to answer. Bang! The Sea Clan scout's body exploded directly. Exploded into a ball of blood mist. Died miserably. But Kanglin Long didn't show any regret. Just a scout, not worth mentioning. It's your honor to die in the hands of the ancestor. Kanglin Long roared, announcing his arrival. Things like sneak attacks, he would never do. In the entire Xia country, except for the Supreme Sword God, he is not afraid of any human awakener. Even if a human SS level high level great power comes, what can he do? 
He awakened the SS level talent water god borrowing method, and the power of all water based magic increased by 15 times. The confident Kanglin dragon stood up, stretched his head into the air, and roared, and suddenly there was lightning and thunder, and heavy rain. This is the power of the great power of the celestial phenomena. Any change in emotion may affect the local celestial phenomena. And Kanglin dragon itself has a trace of dragon blood, and its influence on celestial phenomena is even stronger. The terrifying pressure spread in all directions, even Jiangnan city, a few kilometers away, felt this pressure. The low-level awakeners fainted directly, and the middle-level awakeners were struggling to support. This was still a few kilometers away. If it was close, it would definitely be a sudden death. Chapter, 300 Kanglin Dragon was very angry. Someone actually attacked him while he was sleeping. He simply couldn't stand it. So he directly activated his aura and pressure. Unexpectedly, the first person to die under his aura and pressure would be his own scout. Forget it, let him die. He was just an ant. This is the biggest difference between the beasts and humans. Although they have escaped the category of beasts, opened their spiritual intelligence, and can also become humanoid beings. But there is still a certain gap between them and humans. For example, they are bloodthirsty and indifferent to life. Even the same kind of life is killed at will. Speaking of which, the reason why the sea tribe has been able to stay in the sea for hundreds of years and develop is that the mutual attacks between the various races in the sea tribe are also an important factor. In their mutual attacks, a large number of sea tribes were eliminated, leaving a huge living space. This is similar to the situation of alien races. But now, they also want to get out of the sea and gain more living space. Maybe this is also the fun of the will of reincarnation. Seeing the slaughter among different races, he was happy. The first thing Kanglin Dragon did when he stood up was to show his power as an SS level awakener. A roar made the awakeners in Jiangnan city tremble. More people exclaimed, hurry up and invite the ancestor of the Peng family. Just when Kanglin Dragon was in high spirits, a ray of light fell from the sky. Its body was so big that Yi Xiaotian didn't have to worry about aiming. Kanglin Dragon, like a mountain, had skills that were absolutely accurate. Kanglin Dragon was about to rush towards Yi Xiaotian with a step that didn't recognize any relatives. Suddenly, he felt a mysterious force falling on him. Then, his strength was visibly weakened. Finally, he found that his four attributes were only 10% of his peak. And the main attribute was only more than 1 million points. What the hell? My SS level. In an instant, it has been reduced to the initial stage of S level. Although it has an SS level talent skill amplification, which increases the destructive power of its water based magic by 15 times. But, can the water based magic of the S level beginner be the same as that of the SS level beginner? To put it bluntly, with its SS level beginner strength, any water based magic can make the awakened great powers of various races who are also at the SS level beginner unable to dodge. But the water based magic of the S level beginner strength is useless even if it has a 15 fold amplification. Even if they stand there and let you hit them, you can't break their SS level defensive magic. Even with the huge gap in agility attributes, you can't hit a hair on them when you release your skills. Kanglin Dragon was completely dumbfounded. What's going on? Where are my abilities? Where are my attribute points? Where is my awakening level? Why does this world have such abilities? Will of reincarnation, I. How high-spirited Kanglin Dragon was just now, how angry Kanglin Dragon is now. Yi Xiaotian would not miss such an opportunity. He just checked and found that the curse skill decay, he used on Kanglin Dragon only lasted for 10 seconds. He must kill it before the curse skill expires. The staff waved, and another ray of light fell on Kanglin Dragon. Kanglin Dragon, whose brain was shutting down, woke up again. Damn, he was distracted in the middle of a battle, which was fatal. Then he found that his strength was weakened again. Ah! Kanglin Dragon roared to the sky, which was angry. It was because his awakening level was weakened to S level that Yi Xiaotian's second curse skill also took effect, and his strength was weakened several times again. At this time, 
unless there is an auxiliary awakener who can clear the negative skill effect, he can only wait until the skill takes effect. But it is obvious that there is no such helper on the battlefield now. Well. Even if there is such an awakener on the side of the Sea Clan, he will not come. When did the ancestor Kanglin need help from others? Kanglin Dragon had beaten the SS level awakened ancestor of the Peng family and made him flee in panic. His strength was definitely invincible at the same level. Such a strong man would not bother to ask for help. You just need to mind your own business, I will handle this myself. These were Kanglin Dragon's original words. So the high-ranking officers of the Sea Clan army who had originally wanted to assign a few assistants to him suddenly lost their minds. You are the boss, just do what you like. If you anger the irritable Kanglin Dragon, the end will be miserable. So now Kanglin Dragon is in tragedy. People outside cannot see his state. Only he and Yi Xiaotian can see it. At this moment, Yi Xiaotian was fully blessed, and then rushed up with a sword. This Kanglin dragon was a supernatural beast, and its physical body was not as strong as those martial arts beasts. And because it was the main supernatural power, its agility attribute was definitely not high. Even after being weakened by two different curse skills, the opponent's agility attribute at this moment was far inferior to Yi Xiaotian. This is a good opportunity. Yi Xiaotian, who was in the sky, rushed towards Kanglin dragon like a flash of lightning. Boom! Kanglin Dragon was hit by a knife, and its huge body was blown away by the terrifying force. The body weighing hundreds of tons smashed out, creating dozens of large pits in a row, and finally knocked down a mountain directly, and then stopped. Countless smoke and dust flew. The awakened people who were standing on the top of the city and paying attention to the movements of Kanglin Dragon were stunned. Is this Kanglin Dragon? Is it fake? Just a few days ago, they saw Kanglin Dragon's great power with their own eyes. Those who knew the inside story knew that the ancestor of the Peng family was not only chased and beaten by Kanglin Dragon, but also seriously injured. But now, that god, yes, a god. He chopped Kanglin Dragon away with a knife, and even knocked down the mountain. When did Kanglin Dragon become so weak? Yi Xiaotian didn't dare to stop. In a few breaths, he hit thousands of knives, which fell on Kanglin Dragon's body and directly chopped Kanglin Dragon into a skeleton. Although Kanglin Dragon is an SS level initial awakener, because he is a superpower, his physical strength is at most comparable to that of S level initial. This is because of the innate advantages of the beast race. If it were a human body, it would have turned into a pile of meat scraps under such a blow. Yi Xiaotian put away his knife and panted. He used all his strength to hit thousands of knives at once. Even he couldn't handle such a frequency. The double consumption of physical strength and power made his legs a little weak. But fortunately, he succeeded. The sneak attack was successful without Kanglin Dragon being prepared. Yi Xiaotian also knew that he was lucky, but he succeeded. Killing the SS level initial Kanglin Dragon with a single knife, Yi Xiaotian became a god. At least in the eyes of the Awakeners in Jiangnan City, he became a god. Chapter, 301 On the top of Jiangnan City and on the roofs of buildings in the city, countless human Awakeners saw this scene and felt that they were dreaming. Snap! A crisp sound rang out on the top of the city, and then a silly voice rang out, Does it hurt? It hurts. The companion who was beaten by him answered stupidly at first, and then reacted, Damn it, why did you hit me? why didn't you hit yourself? This dramatic scene happened on the top of the city, and then it caused a sensation. Some people who originally wanted to verify it gave up this idea because someone had already verified it for them. This is real, not a dream. He really did it. This is what Mu Bingyan said. She never believed that Yi Xiaotian could really do it. The reason why she didn't continue to stop Yi Xiaotian was because she felt that Yi Xiaotian needed a failure. He had been too smooth along the way. He had never suffered any setbacks. Such a life is imperfect. So she felt that letting Yi Xiaotian fail once might be a good thing. At the very least, he will not be as reckless as he is now when doing anything in the future. At the very least, he will calm down and think about whether it is right to do so. 
but Mu Bingyan did not expect that he succeeded again. From then on, Yi Xiaotian really rose, and no one could stop his progress. Even the SS level initial stage C clan Kanglin Dragon was killed by him alone, so what else is impossible? You know, he is only an S level initial stage awakener now. When he grows to the SS level initial stage, it is estimated that he will be completely invincible. In the ranks of awakeners, the top of the pyramid is the SS level powerhouse, and this is true for all major races. And the number is also very rare. The human race has billions of people, but the number of SS level powerhouses born in the past hundred years is only in the double digits. For a first year large base city like Jiangnan City, there is only one SS level initial stage human powerhouse sitting in charge, which can explain everything. In other words, Yi Xiaotian can now walk sideways on Blue Star. A mountain like skeleton stood there, still emitting a terrifying aura. But the flesh and blood were destroyed by Yi Xiaotian's sword energy. Although the life was gone, the aura of the powerful celestial being was still there. Congratulations to the Awakener, successfully killed the SS level initial C Awakener Kanglinlong, and obtained the SS level talent skill Water God Borrowing. Chapter 302 Brother Tian, are you okay? Han Xuyao led people to Yi Xiaotian's side. Seeing Yi Xiaotian holding a sword, he hurriedly said. Call. Yi Xiaotian took a deep breath and sat down on the ground. He looked exhausted. Han Xuyao quickly held Yi Xiaotian against her body and said, Brother Tian, how are you? Others were also shocked. Since they met Yi Xiaotian, this seemed to be the first time they saw Yi Xiaotian like this. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay, I'm just a little exhausted. Peng Xiangyu hurriedly said, Brother Tian, why don't you go to our house to have a rest? Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, No, trouble, we have to leave, otherwise it will be more trouble. He would be annoyed when the awakened people and members of the awakened family in Jiangnan City freed up their hands from the high clan army. What he fears most is the bad things that come to him. When he was in Jiangqing, the Han family blocked him. But here, there is no one that you can trust. As for the Peng family, forget it. Although Peng Xiangyu passed his test and could join the Haokian team, Yi Xiaotian did not want to have anything to do with the Peng family. At least not yet. Wang Hao quickly said, Brother Tian, let me carry you. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Forget it, let's just get in the car. While the battle is still going on, let's dodge first. This battle made Yi Xiaotian feel even more deeply, and his plan was to be moved forward. I'm going to the alien battlefield. Only when the battle there ends can the battle on Blue Star's mainland end. And Yi Xiaotian also completely discovered that if he wanted to become stronger faster, the only way to do it was on the alien battlefield. Although there are many battles in Blue Star's homeland, they are obviously not as intense as the alien battlefields. For example, Jiangnan City is one of the top three base cities in Xia Kingdom. However, the number of troops invested by both sides here is only a million. But what about the alien battlefield? That's not the case. It is said that there are endless strange beasts there, and they can't be killed all. After taking out the armored vehicle from the reincarnation space, Yi Xiaotian and his party got into the vehicle, with Wang Hao driving. Fortunately, this armored vehicle is used to transport troops, so the space is wide and can seat more than a dozen people, so there is no need to squeeze in even one more Peng Xiangyu. Yi Xiaotian leaned on Han Xuyao and enjoyed it silently. Although it was possible to remove the de-strength state by adding points, it was useless for Yi Xiaotian. It's good to experience this state. Peng Xiangyu, have you contacted Xiao Qing before? Yi Xiaotian asked Peng Xiangyu. Xiao Qing is another team member that Yi Xiaotian likes. At least we got along very well during the summer camp. Peng Xiangyu said, we contacted Xiao Cheng and he said that he is willing to join the Haokian team. However, the Blue Star mainland is very dangerous now and there are powerful sea beasts everywhere. So it is impossible to go directly from the capital to Jiangnan. Peng Xiangyu said, Brother Tian still needs to decide where to gather. Yi Xiao Tian pondered for a while and then said, How about going to the capital for a trip? I haven't been to the capital since I was a child, 
so it would be good to go there and see it. When the others heard this, some were excited and some were silent. People like Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were naturally very excited. No matter what, the capital city is the center of Xia Kingdom. That's where Lord Sword God sits. Although Lord Sword God is not there now, but has gone to the deep sea. But it would be nice to feel the atmosphere of that city. As for the silent one, it was Mu Bingyan. Sun Yao was sitting with Mu Bingyan and noticed something strange about Mu Bingyan, so she quickly asked, Bingyan, what's wrong with you, are you okay? Mu Bingyan's face was a little stiff and she said, I'm fine. In fact, she is unwilling to go to the capital, and she is not willing to face some things in the capital at this time. But Yi Xiaotian and the others were very excited, so naturally she couldn't dampen everyone's interest. Yi Xiaotian was moved after hearing this. Until now, they had never asked Mu Bingyan and Huang Jie where they were from. However, he had already guessed Huang Jie's identity. After all, he had dealt with many people. As for Mu Bingyan, there wasn't much communication between the two. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian has been deliberately avoiding Mu Bingyan. Now it seems that Mu Bingyan should be from the capital. He looked at Huang Jie. The other person should know Mu Bingyan's background, but Mu Bingyan didn't tell her, so he didn't have to worry about it. Now that it's over, I can't hide it anymore, and there's no need to hide it anymore. Yi Xiaotian is the great god Haotian. He had just killed an SS-level junior C-clan powerful man in a single fight. With his status and record, who dares to offend him? The example of the Shen family in the magical city is still there. Who wants to follow in their footsteps and speak for themselves? Don't think that since Lord Sword God went to the deep sea, no one would make decisions for Yi Xiaotian. After all, the capital is still the territory of Lord Sword God. So Huang Jia is very calm. No matter what kind of conflicts there are between Mu Bingyan and her family, there is no need to worry with Yi Xiaotian here. The car went all the way north, and encountered many strange beasts blocking the road, but they were all solved by the people of the Haotian team. This time Yi Xiaotian did not take action, but sat in the car and swept the formation for them. After experiencing the battle in Jiangnan city, Yi Xiaotian no longer likes these small fish and shrimps. After all, he had collected more than 100 million life essences and hundreds of thousands of body attribute points outside Jiangnan city. He looked at his physical attributes again. Constitution 155-6362, Strength 155-6652, Spirit 154-5164, Agility 154-4582. Very good, very powerful. All four attributes have exceeded 1, 5 million, this efficiency is really fast. So Yi Xiaotian couldn't wait to go to the alien battlefield. After all, battles of the scale of Jiangnan City are relatively rare in the Blue Star mainland. Even if there are, you have to run around the world. It's a waste of time. It's better to go directly to the alien battlefield. After a few days of resting, Yi Xiaotian recovered from his exhaustion. At Yi Xiaotian's signal, Han Shuyao also sat with Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan's affairs should be known in mind, so that they can be targeted at the time. Mu Bingyan also knew Han Xuyao's intention, but she didn't hide it and told her directly. It's a bit ridiculous. Mu Bingyan's family is going to marry another family, and Mu Bingyan is unwilling to let her fate be controlled by others. So she ran away from home and went to Jiangcheng to take the college entrance examination. Your family is too much. What era is it now? How can such a thing happen? After hearing this, Han Xuyao was indignant for Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan said, this kind of thing is actually very common, especially between awakened families, marriage is a routine operation. Why don't I know? Han Xuyao didn't quite believe it. Mu Bingyan said, that's because you were born in a small family in Jiangcheng. It hurts. Chapter, 303 when the millions of awakened people outside Jiangnan city completely repelled the high clan army, and when they came back to their senses and tried to find Yi Xiaotian and his party, they realized that they had already disappeared. Except for Ping Dong, no one else here knows who the big boss is who seems to have descended from the gods. If Yi Xiaotian was still here, 
he would naturally have to ask Yi Xiao Tian what he meant first. But now that Yi Xiao Tian and the others have left, there is no need. Let me tell you, that is the great god Hao Yin. Peng Dong said proudly. Master Peng, do you know something? Someone asked. Peng Dong said casually, they were originally here to pick up my son, and they just took care of Kanglin Dragon. What is Fan Air Sai? This is it. Even killing the SS level C clan powerful Kanglin Dragon was easy, what else is worth doing specially? Some people rolled their eyes, and some secretly raised their middle fingers. Peng Dong said, Great God Hao Tian is the kind of person who is indifferent to fame and wealth. I will let my son bring you your thanks. What can anyone say, except envy, jealousy and hatred, there is nothing else. However, the Peng family managed to climb up to the great god Hao Tian without saying a word. They were really lucky. Not right either. The ancestor of the Peng family is an SS level awakener. It is normal for the younger generation to be promising. In any case, the Peng family had made great efforts to defend Jiangnan city, if the ancestor of the Peng family hadn't blocked the Kanglin dragon. Jiangnan city couldn't hold on until great god Hao Tian came to help. So forget it. Although Peng Dong is too ordinary, people have the urge to beat him up. But for the sake of the ancestor of the Peng family, I will forgive him this time. Armored vehicles drive on the road. As expected of the capital area, everything outside the city is much calmer. Yi Xiaotian and the others walked for about a week from the Jiangnan base city to the capital. It can be said that he killed it all the way. Although the road is still there, many places have been occupied by strange beasts. In other words, Yi Xiaotian and the others were driving a special armored vehicle, otherwise they would have been able to walk. What, the car needs gas? Brother, you are behind the times. It is already the reincarnation era. Who else's car still needs gas? Of course it uses special energy. A piece of energy can be used for ten years to understand. Brother Tian, should we go into the city directly, or let Xiao Cheng come out of the city? Peng Xiangyu asked Yi Xiao Tian. This week, he really saw the style of the Haotian team. The harvest in seven days was greater than what he had gained in the previous months combined. Sure enough, only by following the Haotian team would there be a future. He is now a C-level awakened person and is heading towards a B-level awakened person. There is only one level difference between him and other teammates. As for the Captain Yi Xiaotian, forget it, I won't compare with this pervert. Yi Xiaotian is not only an S-level awakener, he even dismembered the SS level C clan's powerful Kanglin dragon. This is so cruel. Yi Xiao Tian pondered for a while and then said, How about we play outside the city first, let Xiao Cheng come out to find us, and then take us to the city to play? His opinion was unanimously agreed upon by the others. Only Mu Bingyan's expression didn't change, but she didn't raise any objections. Anyway, for her, it's the same everywhere. As long as you don't go back to that home, that's fine. In that home, she felt no warmth, only ruthlessness, indifference, and interests. For them, family ties are secondary, and the interests of the family come first. Okay, let's find a place to get off the car. By the way, we all have a dark eye on this place. Bing Yen, do you know where there are many strange beasts? Yi Xiaotian asked. Mu Bingyan rolled her eyes and said, I've never gone out to hunt strange beasts, how do I know? Yi Xiaotian was stunned when he heard this. Also, before Mu Bingyan went to the summer camp, she had no chance to go out of the city to hunt exotic beasts. But as a native of the capital and from a big family, it's not like he hasn't heard of it, right? But seeing Mu Bingyan's cold face, he swallowed his words again. Then just find a place to stop and let Peng Xianyu contact Xiao Cheng. Yi Xiao Tian ordered Wang Hao. The car drove forward for a few kilometers again, and Wang Hao found an open place and stopped. Peng Xianyu, don't get out of the car yet. Contact Xiao Cheng before getting off. After Yi Xiao Tian said this, he got out of the car and joined the guard. In the wild, no matter where you are, don't let your guard down. They were all killed along the way. I don't know how many times I have been attacked by strange beasts. 
it's no wonder that humans find it difficult to survive in the wild. With such an attack, if the strength was slightly weaker, it would probably have been dealt with on the road. Soon, Ping Xianyu got out of the car and said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, I have left a message for Xiao Cheng, asking him to go out of the city to find us. That's all right, let's operate within this area. He can find us when he leaves the city. Yi Xiao Tian pointed at the area. This place is not too far from the capital city, and the danger is not that great. Therefore, it is not difficult for Xiao Cheng to leave the city. What's more, Xiao Cheng is the legitimate son of a big family, and there are many experts in the family. It is very easy to find a few experts to protect him. As for why we must let people come out. Damn it, God Hao Tian doesn't want to lose face. Going out of the city to welcome them is in line with his status. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian would never admit that he had such a little thought. He just wanted to see how the environment outside the capital was different from Jiangcheng. After all, the capital is a big place, the core of the core of Xiaogua. But the sky and air here are no different. Yi Xiao Tian put the armored vehicle into his reincarnation space, and then said, Okay, everyone is free to move around in this area. Everyone looked at Mu Bingyan. She was the only person from the capital here. No matter what, she was more familiar with it than these outsiders. Mu Bingyan shook her head and said, Don't look at me. There are no strange beasts here, so don't look for them. How can there be no strange beasts? Yi Xiaotian said, Look for them and you will find them. Mu Bingyan said in a cold voice, There are no strange beasts within ten kilometers of the capital. Even if there are, they are very few. Unfortunately, we are within this range now. Ten kilometers, so awesome. Wang Hao and the others were shocked. It really deserves to be the capital. No strange beasts dare to come here within ten kilometers. Unlike Jiangcheng, there are always strange beasts coming to the city gate, as if they are afraid that the people in the city don't know that the outside of the city is the territory of strange beasts. Why didn't you say it earlier? Yi Xiao Tian complained. You didn't ask. Mu Bingyan directly retorted. Didn't I ask? I asked you before where there are many strange beasts, why don't you say there are no strange beasts here? However, Yi Xiao Tian wisely chose to shut up. Sure enough, it's impossible to reason with a woman. What's more, it's Mu Bingyan who has special emotions. Since he and Han Xuyao got the marriage certificate, Mu Bingyan has been getting more and more sharp in his criticism of him. Chapter 304 When facing Mu Bingyan, Yi Xiao Tian always felt guilty. He asked himself that he hadn't done anything wrong. How could he have such a mentality? After thinking about it, it might be that he deceived her about the identity of Haotian. He made her fall in love with his identity in the reincarnation world. He knew this at the beginning, but he didn't remind her. He really felt guilty for letting her fall into it. So when Mu Bingyan confronted him, he would unconsciously take a step back, as a little compensation for her. Everyone was a little dumbfounded. There were no strange beasts here. Did they just wait here? Others were fine, but Peng Xiangyu felt a little uncomfortable. Now was the time when his level was rising the most. It was shameful to waste time. He was still thinking about pretending to be cool in front of Xiao Cheng when he came out. Or should we light some incense? Peng Xiangyu said. Yi Xiao Tian thought this was reliable, so he said, Okay, light the incense. Ambergris can not only attract sea beasts, but also any exotic beasts. Mu Bingyan took a breath of cold air when she heard this. Are these guys crazy? They actually lit incense outside the capital. Are they trying to attract the army of exotic beasts to attack the city? Who will take the responsibility if there is a riot? But when she thought of Yi Xiaotian's ability, she was silent again. There are two sides to everything. If a weak person does this, it's a mess. If a strong person does this, it's called reasonable hunting. It depends on how the superiors define it. But I think with Yi Xiaotian's identity, there should be no problem. So in the end, she didn't remind him, but just watched Peng Xianyu lighting incense there silently. As for other people, it doesn't matter. It's just lighting incense. 
it's not like they haven't done it before. When they were in summer camp, on the east coast, and even in the sea, they had all done it. It's just a routine operation. Hey, who are you? Who told you to light incense here? Just as they were waiting, a member of the awakening team came over and shouted. Ambergris has a special smell, and you can smell it even from a few kilometers away. And it is more powerful for beasts. It can stimulate beasts to lose their normal thinking. This is Ambergris. The Dragon Clan is the eternal god for the Beast Clan. I think this awakening team also smelled the smell of Ambergris, so they came to take a look. Why, is there a rule that incense cannot be lit here? Huang Jia asked. This awakening team that came was a student team at first glance, and there seemed to be no protection around them. The leader was a young man who was one or two years older than them. He was obviously a young man from a big family. He glanced at Huang Jia and said lightly, it is not allowed to light ambergris outside the city. This is basic common sense. Didn't your parents teach you that? Or is there no adult at home? He cursed the whole family to death right away. In the past, people like Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao naturally didn't feel anything, because there were indeed no adults at home. But now it's different. There are no adults in their own families. But are there no adults in their wives' families? So with just one sentence, everyone in the Haotian team had their faces pulled down. This person's words are too stinky. Fuck, I ate shit this morning. If you can't talk, just shut up. Wang Hao was originally a hot-tempered person, and he started to curse directly. You dare to scold me? The young man said sternly, Do you know who I am? How dare you scold me? Wang Hao said, You are not my son, why can't I scold you? The young man was furious. Boy, you don't want to live anymore, this is Qian Juanli, the young master. An awakener beside the young master shouted sternly. Among the awakeners in Beijing, the name Qian Juanli is still very famous. After all, this is the eldest son of the Qian family in Beijing, and he is a genius among geniuses. Except for the legendary god Haotian, no one can suppress him. As a genius among geniuses, his strength is naturally not weak. Since awakening, Qian Juanli has been cultivated by the family. When other new awakeners were still brushing points in the reincarnation copy, he had already gone out of the city to hunt monsters under the protection of the family's masters. So his growth rate can definitely leave the second echelon behind. Unfortunately, no matter how talented Qian Juanli is, there is a mountain above his head. That was Haotian God. This guy who had swept the novice dungeon with a super god rating made him feel powerless. However, Qian Juanli, who was excited, worked harder. He was already killing like crazy outside the city. Except for the necessary rest, he stayed outside the city all day. But although he was a genius among geniuses, he was still a normal awakener after all. How could he compare with Yi Xiao Tian, a guy who had opened a cheat? So Qian Junli sadly discovered that not only Haotian God, but even the members of Haotian team, he couldn't catch up. However, Qian Junli firmly believed that with his talent grade, he would have the strength to fight even if he met the people of Haotian team. Of course, this excludes the perverted Haotian God. This guy is now an S-level awakener and has officially entered the high level. How can he compare? Even if he awakened an SS-level talent, he would not dare to be so arrogant. However, Qian Juanli's reputation in the capital is still very big. It can be said that he is definitely not inferior to the great god Haotian. After all, the great god Haotian only exists in legends. But Qian Juanli appeared alive in the capital. Today, as usual, their team went out of the city and was about to go to the destination to hunt strange beasts, but they smelled the scent of ambergris. The awakened members of the team were all shocked. Lighting incense here, is this a sign of longevity? Or is there a big boss hunting here? When they came over, they found that they were just a few rookies, learning to light incense here, which was simply ignorant of life and death. What's more, they dared to talk back and insult Qian Juanli after being taught a lesson. This is the birthday star hanging himself, and he is too long to live. The angry Qian Juanli suddenly froze, and he looked at a figure in the opposite team, 
which was the figure that haunted him. Bing Yen. Qian Juanli shouted this name in his throat. Mu Bing Yen had already recognized Qian Juanli when the other team appeared. Please call me by my full name. I don't know you well. Mu Bing Yen said. Wang Hao laughed and said, Where did this shameless guy come from? He dared to tease my comrades. I just used him to practice my skills. Qian Juanli, this idiot, was too rude. He wanted to teach him a lesson. Yi Xiao Tian didn't say anything, which was considered as tacit approval of Wang Hao's actions. With Yi Xiao Tian's tacit approval, Wang Hao became more excited. He took a few steps forward, hooked his finger at Qian Juanli, and said, Boy, don't say I didn't give you a chance. Come and fight. Chapter 305 Qian Juanli agreed to Wang Hao's challenge with a ferocious smile. Originally, because Mu Bing Yan was there, he was a little reluctant to start, but Wang Hao bumped into him, so it was not his fault. He walked out of the team, waved to Wang Hao, and said, It's all close combat, so don't be polite, come on, let you go first. Wang Hao was stunned, and kindly reminded, If I go first, you won't have a chance, don't say I bullied you then. He was not pitying Qian Juanli, but just didn't want the other party to make excuses after losing. Qian Juanli snorted disdainfully, drew a circle on the ground with his feet, and said, If you can get me out of this circle, I will lose. You are not Hao Jian, why do you compete with me? Wang Hao was almost laughing with anger. He was two realms higher than Qian Juanli, so he could clearly perceive that Qian Juanli was only a D-level awakener. Maybe he was about to break through to C-level. Under such a huge level gap, even if Qian Juanli's talent grade is higher, Wang Hao is not afraid. But since Qian Juanli said so, he was not polite. He directly lifted the big shield in his hand and smashed it towards Qian Juanli. The big shield in his hand was not the personal shield before, but a real B-level Gold War shield. The weight can only be said to be very heavy. Only a shield warrior like Wang Hao who specializes in strength and physique can swing it. The terrifying power came, and Qian Juanli's face changed. He quickly propped up his big shield and held it in front. Boom! The two big shields finally collided with each other, and Qian Juanli felt as if he was hit by a running beast. The big shield in his hand flew out, and his body flew out too. Puff! Blood spilled in the sky. Qian Juanli vomited blood. The huge shock caused him to suffer internal injuries. Qian Juanli fell to the ground, stirring up a lot of dust. A ray of light rose from Qian Juanli's team and fell on Qian Juanli. Suddenly, Qian Juanli's injury healed and he got up from the ground. He came over angrily. Wang Hao said, Are you trying to find an excuse, saying that you are not prepared or something like that? Qian Juanli's momentum stagnated. It seems that he really thought so. More importantly, he underestimated the enemy. He really underestimated the enemy. Who would have thought that Wang Hao's strength was so strong? However, Wang Hao said it in advance and blocked him there. Qian Juanli couldn't help but speak out with a red face. I lost, I admit it, but you are burning incense here, this kind of stupid behavior is unforgivable. Qian Juanli didn't want to lose face in front of Mu Binyan. If Mu Binyan wasn't here, he would have killed Wang Hao long ago. What a fucking excuse, do I need to find an excuse to kill someone? Qian Juanli, where we burn incense is none of your business. Mu Bingyan said. Qian Juanli said, Bing Yen, as the daughter of the Mu family, don't you know this common sense? What if you light incense here and attract powerful beasts? Then kill them. Mu Bingyan said lightly, also, I said, call me by my full name. There was anger in her tone. Qian Juanli's expression froze. Are you taking advantage of my liking for you and taking my words out of context here? I'm talking about powerful beasts. Low-level beasts are of course no problem, but what about mid-level beasts, or even high-level beasts? This is ambergris, a temptation that all beasts can't resist. If a group of high-level beasts are really attracted, let alone whether these few will die, threatening the safety of the capital, it's not enough to chop them up and feed them to dogs. Mu Bingyan, are you kidding? Qian Juanli stopped pretending. 
since you don't give me face, then I don't need to give you face. When I hang up all your teammates and beat them, I wonder how you can still pretend. You dared to play the game of running away from marriage with me. Do you really think I have no temper? Qian Junli pretended to be a gentleman in front of Mu Binyan because he liked her and wanted to get her. Since Mu Binyan is so disrespectful now, I can only change my tactics. If soft tactics don't work, then use hard tactics. Brothers, they are burning incense outside the city, which is against the rules. Take them down. Anyone who dares to resist will be killed without mercy. Qian Junli looked murderous. There was no friendship at all. Qian Junli, what do you want to do? Mu Binyan said in a cold tone. Qian Junli said, what do I want to do? I am just following the rules. It is not allowed to burn incense outside the capital. Whoever burns incense must die. Why don't I know about this rule? Mu Binyan asked suspiciously. Qian Junli said, you have been away from Beijing for half a year, don't you know what's strange? Do you think Beijing is a place where anyone can do whatever they want? A bunch of country bumpkins. Fight. With a command, Qian Junli's team was ready for battle in an instant, and all kinds of amplification skills were blessed. But the people on the Guan Haotian team did not react. It's just a D-level awakener team. There is no need to prepare to fight them. Wang Hao's eyes flashed with excitement and said, I'll do it. No one argued with him. Yi Xiaotian and Huang Jie waved their hands to bless everyone. The other party has already blessed, so they can't capsize in the gutter. Hit me. Qian Junli shouted softly, and the long-range psychics in his team began to accumulate strength and cast their magic on the Haotian team. Chang Xiaoxi stepped forward and shouted softly, and a huge golden bell covered the people of the Haotian team. Yi Xiaotian took a look at the color of Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell, and felt a little guilty. He had been so busy during this period that he forgot to upgrade Chang Xiaoxi's talent. Among the members of the entire Haotian team, only Chang Xiaoxi still had A-level talent. Ha ha ha, it's just an A-level talent golden bell cover, it's really a country bumpkin. Qian Junli laughed loudly. Chang Xiaoxi's face was very ugly, but there was nothing he could do. She really only had A-level talent, this was a fact. The reason why she was able to be promoted to B-level Awakener so quickly was because she was in the Haotian team and benefited from Yi Xiaotian's help. In terms of team individual combat effectiveness, she has always been the weakest in the team. After all, the A-level talent only has a five-fold increase, while the S-level has seven times, and the SS level has ten times. It is not obvious in the team battle now. But once it is an individual battle, Chang Xiaoxi's shortcomings will be very prominent. Wang Hao was angry and said, Pushi, I will kill you. Insulting Chang Xiaoxi is more serious than insulting himself. Han Xuyao grabbed Yi Xiaotian's arm and said, Brother Tian. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I know, our team's talent grade is indeed low, I will find a way to solve it. There are several ways to obtain treasures such as strengthening talent grades. However, talent spirit liquids above S level are very rare. There is a certain probability of dropping when killing high level beasts, which can be exchanged in the Samsara Mall. There is another way, that is, to exchange with high level human organizations, such as the Awakener Association. Yi Xiaotian felt that he needed to go to Deacon Wu. Chapter 306 Qian Junli's team is still very standard. First, use auxiliary skills, then use melee and psychic defense at the same time. Then start attacking. When facing Wang Hao and his team, they can do this step. Obviously, they have done it many times. And no matter what kind of enemy they encounter, they will do this. Obviously, this is a team that has been strictly trained. It is worthy of being a team trained by a big family, it is different. Yi Xiaotian nodded. Although he couldn't say anything about Qian Junli's character, as far as this team is concerned, it is still very good. Sure enough, there is a reason why humans can resist aliens and even drive them back to the alien space plane. See the big from the small. He had no intention of taking action at all. If he had to take action against such an awakened team, it would be funny. 
Even others didn't mean to take the initiative to attack, but just symbolically defended. They believed in Wang Hao's strength. Wang Hao didn't let them down. Qian Zhuanli's team had just finished assisting and defending, and were about to launch an attack. Then they saw a huge shield falling from the sky and hitting their defense circle. Boom! The dust cleared, and the ground was in a mess. The big shield shrank back to Wang Hao's hand. In the opposite team, only Qian Zhuanli was still standing, but he was also in a mess, with blood at the corner of his mouth, which was newly overflowed. As for the rest of the team, they were all lying on the ground with serious injuries. This time even the healer of the other team was injured, and no one treated them. Wang Hao waved the big shield in his hand and teased, Oh, lying down now, too weak. Xian Zhuanli's face was so gloomy that water was about to drip out. He felt that he was tricked. Who are you? This is the student awakening team, he didn't believe it at all. But looking at the age of Yi Xiao Tian and others, they are about the same as them. Although powerful awakeners have the effect of delaying aging, that is after being promoted to high-level awakeners. Generally speaking, those who are promoted to high-level are at least middle-aged. So there are no high-level awakeners in their teens. So Qian Junli can be sure that the team in front of him should also be a team of student awakeners. But how can they be so strong? He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, took out a bottle of spiritual liquid, poured it directly into his mouth, and then the injury healed. Others followed suit and drank the medicine directly to heal their injuries. Wang Hao was jealous, as expected of a big family from a big family, he was rich. It was a waste to drink such healing liquid like this. Mu Bingyan snorted coldly, you didn't even know who your opponent was before you took action. Qian Junli, you are still the same as before, proud, arrogant, arrogant, and self-centered. Qian Junli was scolded by Mu Bingyan and almost vomited blood. Am I arrogant? I am confident. Now you see, you are not the best, you are just a clown. Don't think you can do whatever you want by relying on the Qian family. In the eyes of some people, the Qian family is nothing great. After saying that, she also glanced at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian always felt that her eyes were a little weird, as if he was being calculated. But he had no evidence. So he could only remain silent. Qian Junli smiled, with blood on his teeth, and this smile was a bit creepy. Okay, okay, Mu Bingyan, it's your blessing that I like you, otherwise with your S-level talent, do you really think you can enter the door of my Qian family? Now that you have become strong, even my Qian family is not in your eyes, it's really great. In Beijing, no one has ever dared not to take my Qian family in their eyes. Even the Supreme Sword God dare not. Mu Bingyan asked. Qian Junli was stunned for a moment, choked and speechless. Damn, can you not mention the sword god? That is another level of god, he is not a human. Uncle Bing. Qian Junli no longer wanted to argue with them. Since Mu Bingyan didn't know how to appreciate him, let it be. After he called out loudly, a figure appeared behind them. It was a middle-aged man, dressed very ordinary, looked very ordinary, and thrown into the crowd, he was not noticeable at all. But he was a real S-level awakener. He came to protect Qian Junli. Unless Qian Junli was in danger of his life, or Qian Junli took the initiative to summon him. Otherwise, he would not appear. Experience, experience, how can you experience without actual combat? The reason why he didn't show up before was because Qian Junli and the others were not in danger of their lives. But now that Qian Junli took the initiative to summon him, he had to show up. As soon as Uncle Bing came out, Qian Junli said directly, Uncle Bing, kill them, and leave the women behind. In one sentence, he determined the life and death of Yi Xiaotian and the others. Sure enough, this is the real you. Mu Bingyan thought to herself. She knew too well what kind of person Qian Junli was. It was just because he performed well in front of people, so even her family elders kept it a secret. Letting her marry such a person is no different from pushing him into a fire pit. So she resolutely left the capital and went to Jiangqing No. One middle school to be a transfer student. Now, this bastard finally showed his true colors. 
no matter how good he said before, it was all fake. Uncle Bing didn't question Qian Junli's order when he heard it, and he was not qualified to question it. Qian Junli is the heir of the Qian family and the only candidate for the next head of the family. Such a person is not in a hurry to pledge allegiance. Is his brain filled with water? He held the knife and walked directly to the Haotian team. Wang Hao's spirit suddenly became nervous. Yi Xiao Tian took a few steps forward, patted Wang Hao on the shoulder, and said, Let me do this. This is an S-level boss, no joke. Wang Hao also knew that he was not an opponent, so he said, Brother Tian, be careful. Although Yi Xiao Tian even killed the SS-level C clan powerhouse, he still had to care about what he should care about. The two sides were about five meters apart. Uncle Bing didn't say anything with a poker face, but directly drew out the big knife. Yi Xiao Tian saw the opponent's sword, and his eyes lit up. The S-level Tianjin sword, this is a good thing. The price of the shop in the Samsara Plaza is 1, 5 billion. This is also the reason why Yi Xiao Tian has not changed a weapon until now. It's so damn expensive. He has no money. Yes, he really has no money after killing countless monsters. His monster corpses were exchanged for school points and merits of the Awakener Association. Compared with money, points and merits are the real good things. Many things in it cannot be bought with money outside. For example, monsters killed outside Jiangshan, such as monsters killed outside Jiangnan City, the corpses will be handled by special people. No one dares to swallow his merits. What's more, the corpses of sea beasts in Jiangnan City were handled by the Peng family. Your knife is good, I want it. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Chapter 307 Idiot This is the voice of the awakened person in Qian Junli's team. As for the people in the Haotian team, they felt that Uncle Bing came too timely, and the boss could finally have a weapon that matched his status. The great god Haotian, an S-level awakened strongman, actually used B-level equipment, which was indeed a loss of status. Uncle Bing was disdainful at first, then shocked, and finally blurted out, Who are you? He actually felt the breath of an S-level awakened strongman on Yi Xiao Tian. Are you kidding me? Such a young S-level awakener. It's not that there is no one. There is only one in the entire blue star, that is, the great god Haotian who has been certified by the will of reincarnation and passed the S-level promotion dungeon with a super god evaluation. Could it be that the person in front of him is the great god Haotian Yi Xiao Tian? Are you Yi Xiao Tian? Uncle Bing asked again after he finished asking. Yi Xiao Tian said, I am. Uncle Bing took a breath of cold air. This person turned out to be Yi Xiao Tian, the legendary great god Haotian. Sure enough, he is so young. I didn't expect it was Mr. Yi in person. Today's incident was just a misunderstanding. How about we just let it go? Uncle Bing said as several thoughts flashed through his mind. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, Don't you want our lives? How are you going to explain to your young master? Besides, I've said that your weapon is good, I want it. If I don't do what I said, wouldn't I be a person who doesn't believe it? Uncle Bing was stunned. This was too far-fetched. But he quickly said, Since Mr. Yi likes this knife, then give it to Mr. Yi. That won't work. If I give it to you, I'll owe you a favor. I don't like to owe favors to people. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head. Uncle Bing hurriedly said, Even if it's my young master's apology to Mr. Yi, it's really a misunderstanding. My young master doesn't know Mr. Ye's identity. Qian Juanli didn't know about the conversation between the two of them. He saw Uncle Bing and Yi Xiao Tian standing there for a long time without moving, and he became impatient. Uncle Bing, do it, kill them. Qian Juanli urged from behind. Uncle Bing's face changed. Yi Xiao Tian said, It seems that your young master doesn't agree. He still wants to kill us. Mr. Yi, this is really a misunderstanding. Uncle Bing began to sweat on his forehead. Although he is an S level awakener, his level is the same as Yi Xiao Tian, both are beginners. When he passed the promotion dungeon, he was just an ordinary evaluation, which was completely incomparable to Yi Xiaotian's super god evaluation. 
so he would not be arrogant enough to challenge Yi Xiaotian. Genius, sometimes it is really impossible to judge with common sense. Although Yi Xiaotian is young and has just been promoted to S level, his strength is definitely not just an ordinary S level awakener. Uncle Bing's mission is not to kill the enemy, but to protect Xian Jiunli's safety. So if he can solve this problem with an S level Tianjin war knife, it would naturally be the best. Once the fight starts, he doesn't care whether he is injured or dead. But once Qian Junli dies, the matter will be a big deal. At that time, his whole family will be buried with him. Qian Junli is the heir of the Qian family. Of course, if it were someone else, he wouldn't have to be so humble, at most he could call for support. The Qian family has never been afraid of anyone. But Yi Xiaotian is different. Behind him stands the Lord Sword God. That's not a human, that's a god. The fate of the Shen family in the Demon City is very clear to all the awakened families in the entire Xia country. After that incident, all the awakened families set a rule not to provoke Yi Xiaotian. Unless you can kill him silently. But after Yi Xiaotian was promoted to S level, no one dared to think like that anymore. That's why the news that Yi Xiaotian killed the SS level awakened great power of the C clan alone outside Jiangnan city didn't come in, otherwise Uncle Bing would probably kneel down at this moment. Misunderstanding, it's really a misunderstanding, Mr. Yi, wait a moment, I'll go and explain to the young master right away. Uncle Bing was about to cry and ran back quickly. Master, they are from the Haotian team, and that young man is the Haotian god Yi Xiaotian. Uncle Bing leaned close to Qian Junli's ear and explained. When Qian Junli heard that it was the Haotian god Yi Xiaotian, he was excited at first, but then he said, Uncle Bing, you can't beat him. Uncle Bing hesitated for a moment before saying, I don't know, I have to fight to know. If I say I can't beat him directly, wouldn't I be very embarrassed? You know, Uncle Bing is almost 60 years old and has practiced for decades, but Yi Xiaotian is only 18 years old and has only practiced for half a year. This is so embarrassing. Kill him. Qian Junli said. What? Uncle Bing thought he had heard it wrong, Master, that's the Haotian god Yi Xiaotian. Qian Junli said with a gloomy face, So what, if you offend me, you must die, Uncle Bing, kill him, this matter no one else will know. Qian Junli thought very well, if he killed Yi Xiaotian here, who would know? And as long as Yi Xiaotian dies, Qian Junli will be the strongest genius in Xia country. He is an SS level talent awakener, and he is also the young master of the Qian family. Adding the two together, he is definitely the new leader of the awakening world in Xia country. Just because of Yi Xiaotian, the name of Haotian resounds throughout the reincarnation world. So his name Qian Junli became dim. Now, with such a good opportunity in front of him, how could he let it go? If it was in the city, he certainly wouldn't dare to do so. But outside the city, who knows? As long as Yi Xiaotian and his team were killed, there would be no risk of leakage. As for Mu Bingyan and the other women, forget it, there are beauties everywhere. With his status, is he afraid of not having beauties? Anyway, this woman's mind is not on him, so it's not a pity to kill her. The only pity is that he killed her without tasting her first. Otherwise, save her life first, and kill her after having fun. Just when Qian Junli was immersed in his sweet dream, Uncle Bing was already stunned. This young master is really daring. If this matter is exposed, the Qian family will be finished. What's more, he really has no confidence in facing Yi Xiaotian. Roar! At this moment, the strange beast came, and it sounded like a big battle. So Uncle Bing said very straightforwardly, Master, you guys hurry back, it's going to be very dangerous here soon. The herd of strange beasts attracted by ambergris is finally coming. Xian Junli said, What are you afraid of, aren't you here? Uncle Bing almost cried, Master, you think too highly of me, I'm just an S-level awakened strongman, not the supreme power. Master, this time, at least all of them are S-level awakened beasts, and there are quite a few of them, I can't be distracted to protect you. Let's hurry back to the city, otherwise it will be dangerous. Uncle Bing said anxiously. Chapter, 308 Uncle Bing, you can't be so useless. 
Hurry up and deal with these guys before the strange beasts come over. Qian Junli urged. Uncle Bing had no choice but to say, Master, I can't beat him. Qian Junli opened his mouth, a little unbelievable. You are a veteran S-class awakened strongman, but you can't even beat a newly promoted S-class awakened person. Uncle Bing said in a dry tone, he is a top genius, I am just an ordinary S-level awakened person, how can I fight against him? Trash. Qian Junli cursed. He is also an S-level awakened person, and he has practiced for decades more than others, but he still can't defeat him. What is he not a waste? Uncle Bing actually wanted to reply, aren't you a waste? They are all freshmen, look at their achievements. Look at yours again. Is there any comparison? But he could only think about this in his heart, and he really didn't have the courage to say it out loud. Chen Bing, I don't care if you are his opponent or not, you have to kill him. Qian Juanli was heartbroken. This might be his last chance. And Uncle Bing stopped calling him and called him by his name directly. Damn it, what is the name of such a useless S-class Uncle Bing? In fact, Chen Bing was not as useless as he thought, and he was considered a master among S-class. Just to see who compares. Compared with Yi Xiaotian, all S-level awakeners are useless. Didn't you say that the army of alien beasts is coming? Just find the right opportunity, kill him, and then blame the alien beasts for everything. Qian Juanli used his IQ. Hearing this, Chen Bing hesitated for a moment and said quickly, Okay, but master, you'd better go back first. It's too dangerous here. Qian Juanli said, Of course I have to leave a gentleman will not stand under a dangerous wall. I am the young master of the Qian family. How can I be involved in danger? After saying that, Qian Juanli immediately retreated with his men. Make a strategic retreat first and come back later to clean up the mess. Of course, you absolutely can't go back to the city. It's better to stay away and watch the show. Everyone in Qian Juanli's team was very excited when they heard this. Fuck these damn rubes. Chen Bing returned to Yi Xiaotian and said, Mr. Yi, the misunderstanding has been resolved. Now this sword is yours. Yi Xiaotian had a smile on his face and said, Do you think I didn't hear your conversation? Or do you think they will really leave? Chen Bing's expression changed drastically. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian actually heard their conversation. This Yi Xiaotian is indeed worthy of being the great god Haotian. Mr. Yi, no matter what, if they retreat now, I will keep my promise. After saying that, he threw the sword directly into Yi Xiaotian's hand. Yi Xiaotian caught the sword, swung it a few times, and then said, You are a good guard, but it's a pity that you are with the wrong master. It's hard to persuade the damn ghost. Chen Bing said, The army of alien beasts is coming soon, and I will most likely die in the hands of the alien beasts. As for the rest, I can't control it. Are you worth this? Yi Xiaotian glanced at him and said. Chen Bing said, There is no way, it's my responsibility. Yi Xiaotian said, Are you worried about your family? Chen Bing was silent and did not speak. Yi Xiaotian knew it, swung the knife and said, Okay, the conversation is over. I can promise you that if they don't come out to die naturally, I can spare their lives. In the final analysis, this world still respects strength. In Yi Xiaotian's eyes, Qian Juanli is just an ant. If he just retreated, then he wouldn't bother to waste time. But if he commits suicide himself, then no one else is to blame. As for the Qian family, they are indeed a big trouble. Although he killed the SS-level Kanglin dragon, it didn't mean that he had the strength to challenge the Qian family. What's more important is that the Lord Sword God is not in the capital now, but has gone to the deep sea. Without him sitting in charge, it's better to keep a low profile. Otherwise, the Qian family will go crazy and it will be a bit difficult to handle. Especially in this special period, even if he had that ability, Yi Xiaotian couldn't really destroy the Qian family. Wouldn't it be better to keep it to resist the alien beasts? So as long as Qian Juanli knew the truth, he didn't bother to care. Wouldn't it be nice to pick up Xiao Cheng and then go directly to the alien battlefield to kill alien beasts, earn merit, and redeem the spiritual liquid for teammates? 
It's too unstructured to have an internal fight with a brainless second generation here. Chen Bing no longer had an S-level weapon, so he could only take out an A-level Tianjin sword as a backup. As an S-level awakener, he is naturally rich. But he really couldn't afford more S-class weapons. This A-class heavenly gold sword was still used before, and he didn't sell it after replacing it with an S-class weapon. After all, accidents can happen at any time. It is basic common sense to prepare a few spare weapons in the reincarnation space. Feeling that the enemy was getting closer, Chen Bing was ready to fight. Yi Xiaotian glanced at the nervous Chen Bing and said, What, you want to steal our exotic beast? What? Chen Bing suspected that he heard wrongly. Yi Xiaotian repeated it again. This time, Chen Bing heard it clearly and was stunned for a while before saying, Mr. Yi is joking. This is an army of alien beasts, and in this aura, there is more than one S-level one. In fact, at this time, the best choice is to escape. But Chen Bing couldn't escape. Originally, he wanted to remind Yi Xiaotian that they had escaped, but he gave up when he thought of his family. Although he wanted to leave Yi Xiaotian, a genius, for the human race. But if all his family members died, what would he do in this world? At least, he died to protect the young master of the Qian family. At that time, his family could be taken care of by the Qian family. He had no doubt about this. Otherwise, who would work for the noble families? Yi Xiaotian said, I'm not kidding. These strange beasts were all attracted by us. You can't steal our prey. Chen Bing was really stunned. Damn, is this the way the great god Hao Jin speaks? How much confidence does it take to dare to say such a thing? Rumble. The sound of a large group of strange beasts galloping, the ground began to tremble. A boundless sense of oppression came from afar, and the dust in the sky was flying, covering half of the sky. Seeing the momentum, Chen Bing's legs were a little weak. Damn, it turns out that you can't burn incense around the capital. This is the capital of Xia country, where the human race is the strongest. Naturally, it is also the place with the most powerful beasts. These powerful beasts usually stay away from the city and stay in the wilderness. But today, Yi Xiaotian and his team lit incense and attracted these powerful beasts. There are several S-level awakened beasts alone. For the beasts, ambergris is like a drug addict seeing powder, the blood and chi surge, and the brain is not enough. Chapter 309 Devil Frog The Violent Dragon The Bloodthirsty King Python Looking at the powerful S-level beasts, Chen Bing's scalp felt numb. But he was fortunate that Qian Juanli had already retreated. However, Qian Juanli did not really retreat at this moment, but stayed, hiding a few hundred meters away from them and observing secretly. Just a few hundred meters away, there is no way to avoid the coercion emanating from the strong man. Captain, otherwise we should go back quickly. Qian Juanli's teammate said tremblingly. This pressure is too terrifying. It's simply not something they can resist. They are just D-level high-level awakeners. When facing S-level beasts, not to mention fighting, even a sneeze from the opponent can blow them away. At this time, Qian Juanli also felt a little regretful. Chen Bing had warned him before. But he didn't believe it. This is within a 10-kilometer radius near the capital, and masters from the Night Watch Corps often come out to eliminate strange beasts. Therefore, he felt that even if there were powerful alien beasts nearby, Chen Bing could handle them with his ability. As long as they don't appear on the frontal battlefield, there will be no problem. Now, he regrets it. Damn it, how could so many powerful beasts appear all at once? Are those night watchmen working seriously? He felt that it was necessary to complain to them after he returned. But if we act now, we will definitely not be able to hide it from those powerful beasts. Shut up and hide. Qian Juanli scolded in a low voice. Going back at this time is no different from seeking death. Yi Xiaotian saw the group of strange beasts and said to Wang Hao and the others, Array, old rules, leave the S-level beasts to me, and leave the rest to you. Hearing Yi Xiaotian's words, Chen Bing almost bit his tongue. Damn, did you say something wrong? With so many powerful beasts, shouldn't they run away immediately? 
No matter how strong you are, how many nails can be drilled into your body? This is not one or two strange beasts, but a large group. And it is also a powerful group of mid to high level alien beasts. If he hadn't been supported by his belief in his family's life, he would have run away by now. Also, Yi Xiao Tian, as Hao Tian, is an S level awakener. But his teammates are only B level awakened ones. In addition to S level beast awakening experts, there are also A level and B level beast awakening masters. The strength is not as good as that of others, and the number of people is even less than that of the opponent. How to fight this? In Chen Bing's mind, no matter how you calculate it, the Haotian team is in danger. But when he saw the expressions on the faces of Yi Xiao Tian and Haotian team members, he didn't feel the slightest bit afraid. On the contrary, everyone was very excited. They quickly set up a battle formation, and only waited for the group of alien beasts to enter their attack range. At this moment, they have already added auxiliary skills before. Because Yi Xiaotian's awakening level continues to increase, the increased coefficient of his talent skills is also constantly increasing. At this time, the two attributes of each member of the Haotian team have soared more than ten times. Even the agility attribute has increased several times. Taken together, their combat effectiveness is not just reflected in these numbers. Chen Bing was already numb. Are the people in the Haotian team confident, or are they all hot headed? It was just the next scene that shocked him. Yi Xiao Tian was the first to take action. He waved his staff first, and a curtain of light fell into the group of alien beasts. Then, he carried the newly obtained S level heavenly gold saber and charged into the group of alien beasts. S level devil frog, S level violent demon dragon, S level bloodthirsty king python. That huge body, ferocious aura, and powerful strength were vulnerable to Yi Xiao Tian's sword. The S-level Heavenly Gold Sword is indeed sharp. When the blade cuts through the bodies of these S-level Beast Awakened Warriors, there is no hindrance at all. Very silky smooth. His broadsword attacks the fatal points of these S-level Awakened Beasts. Under his eye of insight, the weaknesses of these strange beasts were not concealed at all, and appeared very clearly before his eyes. What's more, if these strange beasts are hit by Yi Xiaotian's curse-type talent skills, their strength will plummet. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian's attack speed is unparalleled, and these strange beasts cannot catch his attack trajectory at all. So in just a few breaths, Yi Xiaotian had already returned to his original position. Not even a trace of blood could be seen on the S-class heavenly gold sword that exuded a cold aura. Killing without blood, the knife is really good. Yi Xiao Tian was very satisfied with the trophy. Chen Bing is still wondering why Yi Xiao Tian is back again. Is he planning to escape? Qian Juanli, who was watching the battle from a distance, curled his lips and said, The bullshit is so loud, I think Yi Xiao Tian is no better than that. Brother Jun, do you think Yi Xiao Tian will really die here this time? A team member said. Qian Juanli said, Arrogant guy, if he doesn't die, who will die? Yes, in front of such a powerful group of strange beasts, you don't even want to run away, but dare to stop there. It's strange that such a fool will not die. These team members would not let go of such a good opportunity to flatter him. Just as they were talking, they saw a few running among the alien beasts in the distance. The largest S class alien beast awakening powerhouses suddenly fell to the ground. Boom! 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 The earth trembles. It was like Mars hitting the blue planet. What's going on? This is impossible. Chen Bing, who saw this scene up close, was the first to exclaim. Qian Juanli also exclaimed that it was impossible, and stood up from his hiding place, as if he wanted to go over and check if this was true. Yi Xiao Tian just killed several S level awakened alien beasts with those few moves. Is this a joke? Even movies don't dare to shoot like this. They couldn't feel it, but Chen Bing could feel that those S-level awakened alien beasts were really dead. This is an S-level alien race from another space plane. With his own strength, even with the assistance of the S-level Tianjin War Knife, he is not a match for one. Not to mention facing several in a row. That is definitely a death sentence. But Yi Xiaotian dodged and killed him lightly. 
who can he go to for justice? Something that shocked him even more happened again. I saw that the people of the Haukian team also took action. First, a large ice magic was cast towards the beasts, freezing most of them. Crack. 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 Some powerful beasts broke free from the ice instantly, but their breath was much weaker. Then, dark clouds filled the sky, lightning and thunder roared. A large thunder magic fell like a rainstorm. Suddenly, more than 80% of the beasts fell to the ground in an instant, deader than dead. As for Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, they could only pick up the rest. Mu Bingyan and Han Shuyao did not stop there, but continued to prepare for the next round of attack. Chapter, 310 Wang Hao exuded a powerful aura and rushed among the beasts. Chang Xiaoxi was no less powerful. She expanded the golden bell to hundreds of meters, stopping all the beasts and preventing them from approaching the team. The two of them had a very clear position in the team, which was to protect the safety of the team and prevent danger from approaching the team. As for the rest, Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan were definitely the strongest output in the team. Huang Jia and Sun Yao were pure assistants. Sometimes, Huang Jia would join the battle, but he was more concerned about the assist countdown of each teammate and made up for it in time. Sun Yao did not join the battle at all. She had to preserve all her mental power and immediately treat any teammates who were injured. As for Peng Xiangyu, as a water-based superpower, Yi Xiaotian positioned him in the team as pure control. This was his future route. When learning skills in the future, he would also tend to control the skills. As for water-based attack skills, of course, they would also be learned, but the energy spent would be less. Since you have chosen to join the team, you have to work hard to make up for the team's shortcomings. And Xiao Cheng, who they came to pick up today, has awakened a talent skill of fast combat, and follows the sword path. So he will be the agile fighter in the team in the future. In this way, the configuration of their team will be more comprehensive. With the enrichment of Yi Xiaotian, the configuration of this team can be said to be perfect. Although Yi Xiaotian cannot always act with them, Yi Xiaotian still has the second soul. The strength of the second soul is only half of Yi Xiaotian, which is just enough to act with the team. He can form a team by himself. Sometimes, being too strong will also affect the balance of the team. Two rounds. In just two rounds, Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan only released two large-scale strange arts and wiped out the group of powerful beasts. Next, it is the popular cleaning of the battlefield. Wang Hao is the most active in this kind of thing. Chen Bing was stunned and stood there, completely losing the ability to think. Is that the end? As for Qian Juanli and his group in the distance, they were petrified. Damn, is this the gap between them and the Haotian team? Their team is still trying hard to hunt C-level monsters, and they have to be cautious even with B-level monsters. If they encounter A-level monsters, they can only run away. As for encountering S-level monsters, they can only leave it to Qin Bing, otherwise they will not even have a chance to escape. But what about the Haotian team? A group of monsters led by several S-level monster masters was completely wiped out in two rounds. It is not enough to describe the difference. A member of Qian Junli's team said in a dry tone, Brother Jun, can we really compete with them? Qian Junli was powerless at first, and then said, What's so great, one day, we can be as powerful as them. As long as you keep up with my pace, there is no difficulty that cannot be overcome. Humph, they are just a group of country bumpkins. Even if he is the great god Haotian, so what? No matter how powerful a genius is, if he can't grow up, he will only be a short-lived ghost. Qian Juanli's heart was filled with murderous intent. If Hao Jin doesn't die, these new geniuses will never have a chance to stand out. The whole world will only cheer for Hao Jin. This is something he absolutely cannot allow. So he wants to destroy Hao Jin. He had already told Chen Bing before, asking Chen Bing to take action when the monster attacks. But it seems that Chen Bing didn't listen to him. Or rather, Chen Bing didn't have the opportunity to take action at all. Because the fight between Yi Xiaotian and the Beast Warrior was so fast, it was over in the blink of an eye. Next was the performance of the Haotian team. Thinking of this, 
he took out a secret treasure for communication, and after saying a few words, he activated the secret treasure. The secret treasure turned into a stream of light and flew towards the direction of the capital. This secret treasure level communication talisman is very expensive, and it is not willing to be used until the critical moment. Now, Qian Junli thinks that the critical moment has come. This moment may be the only chance in his life to kill Hao Tian without taking responsibility. As long as Hao Tian dies, Qian Junli can come out. Brother Jun, do you want to think about it again? A teammate advised. What? Do you want to live under the shadow of Team Hao Tian for the rest of your life? With Team Hao Tian around, we will never have a chance to make it. We are only D level awakeners, but what about them? All of them are B level and the Captain Haotian is an S-level Awakener. Do you know the difference? If we don't kill them all, we will never be able to catch up with them in this lifetime. I won't accept that. I am an SS-level Talented Awakener, and I will have a chance to become a Supreme Powerhouse in the future. I have the powerful support of the Qian family behind me. So, I can't be suppressed by Haotian for my whole life. I must make it. So he must die. Qian Juanli roared repeatedly, excited and angry. The bloodthirsty look scared his teammates. Brother Jun, I don't mean that. As long as you think about it, I will definitely support you. The teammates expressed their opinions one after another. Going against Qian Juanli at this time is just courting death. Qian Juanli calmed down a little, and then said, Then watch your mouths. As long as Hao Tian dies, the world will definitely be ours in the future. Brother Jun, don't worry, we understand. Yes, Brother Jun, you are a top genius. As long as you are given time, your future will definitely start with the supreme power. Brother Jun, you are the future supreme power. The so-called Hao Tian god is just a short-lived ghost. How can you compare with you? For a while, the style of painting suddenly changed, and the teammates boasted about Qian Juanli one after another. Regardless of the facts, there is a saying that Qian Juanli said very right. Those who grow up are the real geniuses, and those who die halfway are called short-lived ghosts. Obviously, with the Qian family as a backing, Qian Juanli will definitely not have any problems. And Hao Tian, even if the Lord Sword God values him, what does it matter? Acting so unreasonably, who can he blame for his own death? This time, they were sure that Yi Xiaotian and his group would definitely die. Qian Junli called the team of S-level high-level awakening masters for this. Brother Jun, Mu Bingyan is still there, should we pay attention to her? A teammate reminded Qian Junli. Qian Junli pondered for a moment and said, No, Mu Bingyan has already fallen out with her family. She definitely didn't contact the Mu family when she returned to Beijing this time, so even if she died here, no one would know. The teammates were completely relieved now. Chapter, 311 The matter of cleaning the battlefield was left to Wang Hao and the others, and Yi Xiaotian started chatting with Chen Bing again. What level of awakened person will your young master call over? Yi Xiaotian asked him. Chen Bing was shocked, why is this matter not over yet? Mr. Yi, don't worry, Mr. Jun will never do this again. Chen Bing explained quickly. Yi Xiaotian said, It seems that you still don't understand this young master of your family. He just used the secret treasure of communication to summon people. He said that unless I die, he will have no chance to succeed. Chen Bing began to sweat on his forehead, and it was a heavy cold sweat. Damn it, what kind of ears are these? From such a distance, he didn't hear anything just now. How strong does this person have to be physically? What are his main attributes? Just now I saw him perform a strange technique, and then he slashed several S-level awakened strange beasts with his sword. It is said that the great god Hao Tian is a dual-talented person, which seems to be true. But even if you are a dual-talented person, it is still martial arts and superpowers. This is not common sense. He himself is also an S-level awakened warrior, but his hearing is not as perverted as Yi Xiaotian's. Yi Xiaotian not only saw Master Jun sending the communication talisman, but also heard what Master Jun said. How to wash this? Chen Bing showed a smile that was uglier than crying. 
Yi Xiaotian said, how about you call them over and ask him personally? Chen Bing said, Mr. Yi, how about I take them back to the city now? That's not fun. Since Mr. Qian is interested in me, I naturally have to have a good time with him. Otherwise, Mr. Qian will think that I, Yi Xiaotian, don't give him face. Yi Xiaotian said. The expression on his face was very calm, and his tone was also very calm, but there was an unquestionable air. Chen Bing said, Mr. Yi, Mr. Jun is still a child. He does things impulsively and has no subjective malice. Yi Xiaotian said leisurely, who is not a child? Chen Bing was suddenly speechless. Yi Xiaotian continued, what's more, I can't judge whether it's subjective malice or not. As he spoke, he shook the S-class heavenly gold saber in his hand and said, or, I kill you and then kill them. Chen Bing knew that Yi Xiaotian had made up his mind, so he could only say, okay, I'll go over and tell them, Mr. Yi, don't be impulsive. Now that the Qian family knows your existence, if anything happens to Mr. Jun, the Qian family will definitely not I will give up and give up. Yi Xiaotian snorted coldly and said, are you threatening me? No, absolutely not. Chen Bing quickly explained, this is a kind reminder. Yi Xiaotian said, then it depends on what your Mr. Qian decides. Qian family, do you think I will be afraid? Although the greatest reliance lies far away in the deep sea, the momentum cannot be lost. Chen Bing's expression froze and he said nothing more. He knew that the last thing young people like Yi Xiaotian feared was threats. Their blood surges and they dare to do anything. Just like the eldest young master of their family, when his brain is full of water, he doesn't care, even the great god Haokian dares to plot. Chen Bing quickly came to Qian Juanli and the others. He didn't think about escaping, it was useless. The best way now is to delay. Drag the Qian family's support over. Chen Bing, why are you here? Qian Juanli suddenly turned ugly when he saw Chen Bing finding them accurately. Chen Bing said, Master, what you just did and said was heard by Mr. Yi, and he invited you over. What? Qian Juanli was stunned. Even though they were hundreds of meters apart, they were talking in very low voices. You could still hear them. What kind of fairy ears are these? Impossible. Immediately, Qian Juanli denied it with all his strength, Chen Bing, are you up to something? Chen Bing said angrily, Master, it's really not me. I didn't even know you were still here. I thought you had gone back to the city. Seeing that Chen Bing was not lying, Qian Juanli suddenly didn't know what to do. Seeing this, Chen Bing had to say, Master, I explained it to Mr. Yi. I said it was a misunderstanding. I said the master was mad, that's why he said that. In fact, you didn't think that way in your heart. Yes, yes. Qian Juanli seized the opportunity and nodded crazily. This is so scary. His support has not arrived yet and they are definitely no match for Yi Xiaotian now. What the hell, several S-level beasts were instantly killed by Yi Xiaotian, without any resistance at all. So scary. Now if Qian Juanli is asked to face Yi Xiaotian, he must be scared. But Mr. Yi insists on letting you go, young master, take a step back and the world will be brighter. You are the young master of the Qian family and an SS-level talent awakener. Your future is extremely bright. There is no need to sacrifice your future for a moment of loyalty. Chen Bing advised. Qian Juanli narrowed his eyes and said, Do you think he dares to kill me? Chen Bing rolled his eyes and said, If he doesn't dare, there is no need for him to call you over. He can just pretend that you are back in the city. Qian Juanli heard this and felt it made sense. Wrong. Whatever they were talking about here could be heard by Yi Xiaotian. Damn it! Qian Juanli cursed in his heart, what a fool. Okay, I was just joking anyway, and I don't really want to do anything to him, so let's go over and have a chat. Qian Juanli already had a plan in mind. One word, delay. As long as he delays until his rescue arrives, everything will be fine. The support he found was an S-level high-level awakener, which is definitely the top combat power. Although Yi Xiaotian killed several S-level low-level beasts in seconds, so what? 
facing an S-level high-level awakener, he can only kneel. Qian Juanli took the lead and walked towards the location of the Haotian team with steady steps. Wang Hao saw them coming again and laughed, didn't you run away? Why are you back again? Aren't you afraid of another wave of beasts? Qian Juanli was angry at first, and then his neck shrank. Damn, this is really possible. After all, the ambergris is still burning and has not been extinguished. God knows if there will be a second wave of beasts coming. Aren't the big guys from the Haotian team here? What's there to worry about? Xian Junli's face was full of smiles. It's just nonsense, who can't do that? Are you waiting for your support? Yi Xiao Tian suddenly said. Xian Junli was shocked, and then said, What is the master saying, why don't I understand? Yi Xiao Tian sighed, It's a pity not to be an actor with such good acting skills. These people from big families have mastered the ability to lie with their eyes open at a young age, which is really amazing. Okay, whether you can understand it or not, let's do it. Since you have called for support, let's wait for them to come. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Now it was Qian Junli's turn to be confused. Is he so easy to talk to? Chapter 312 He was a little confused about Yi Xiao Tian's thoughts. Generally speaking, when encountering such a situation, Yi Xiao Tian would either kill them and then fly away. Or leave now. Who would stay here to watch the show? Do you think the support I called for is muddy? That's great. Xian Junli was relieved by Yi Xiao Tian's behavior. As long as the support arrived, they would be safe. This so-called Hao Tian god is completely a lunatic. Does he really think he is a great god? It's just a title. If you take it seriously, you will die. Don't worry, Hao Tian God, I absolutely have no intention of targeting you. I just want to protect myself. After all, after lighting the incense, the strange beasts outside the city are in completely different states than before lighting the incense. Qian Juanli explained. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at him and watched his performance quietly. Mu Bing Yan approached Yi Xiao Tian and asked, this guy is playing tricks, do you want to retreat temporarily? Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, It's okay, everything is under control. Hearing this, Mu Bing Yan stopped talking. They should maintain absolute trust in Yi Xiao Tian. After the Jiangnan Bay City incident, Mu Bing Yan had already decided that even if Yi Xiao Tian said that Blue Star was Fang's, she would believe it. So she silently stepped back a few steps and stood with Sun Yao. Giving Sun Yao a look, Sun Yao was relieved immediately. Peng Xiangyu said, Xiao Qing will be here soon, should we remind him? The Xiao family is definitely a giant in the capital, and its strength is definitely not weaker than the Qian family. So as long as Peng Xiangyu passes on the information, Xiao Qing will bring more people at that time. Yi Xiao Tian said, No, we can't bully others by taking advantage of our power, wouldn't that be boring? Peng Xiangyu also retreated. Well, Brother Tian was in a playful mood, hoping that Qian Juanli would be happier. But everything was under Yi Xiaotian's control, and he wanted to see what Qian Juanli could do. So he was not in a hurry at all. Anyway, he had to wait for someone, so he simply pulled Han Shuyao to find a place to sit down. While waiting for someone, he waited to see if there were any more groups of strange beasts coming. But unfortunately, it might be that the recent strange beasts were attracted here, so there were no more groups of strange beasts except for some scattered strange beasts. And these scattered strange beasts were all low level and medium level. Yi Xiao Tian had no interest in it, so he let Wang Hao and the others solve it. Xian Juanli originally wanted to practice his hands when he saw these low level and medium level strange beasts, but when he saw Wang Hao's eyes, he finally gave up. Be patient for a while, and then get all the face back later. Finally, a meteor streaked across the sky and fell beside Qian Juanli in an instant. Fourth uncle, you are finally here. Qian Juanli was surprised when he saw the person coming. This is his uncle, Qian Junbei. A top-level expert of S-level. At this special time, this is simply the existence of the ceiling of combat power. Yi Xiao Tian, who is just an S-level beginner, is not easy to capture. Qian Junbei did not pay much attention to Qian Junli, 
but looked around and said cautiously, I wonder who is Mr. Hao Tianyi? Xian Junli pointed at Yi Xiao Tian and said, Fourth uncle, it's him. I am almost bullied to death by him. You must help me get rid of this breath. I want to hang them up and beat them. Xian Junbei did not care about him, but bowed to Yi Xiao Tian, and then said, Xian Junbei of Beijing, meet Mr. Hao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised. Others were confused. Only Qian Junli had not figured out the situation. Or, his mind at this moment was blinded by hatred for Yi Xiao Tian. So he didn't notice his fourth uncle Qian Junbei's attitude towards Yi Xiao Tian at all, and was still shouting there. Fourth uncle, hit him, kill him. Bang! Qian Junbei finally couldn't bear it anymore, turned around and slapped Qian Junli, and directly knocked him out. But he used clever strength. Although Qian Junli flew out, in fact, he didn't suffer much damage. Rather than saying that he was beaten out, it's better to say that he was carried out by a force. But ordinary people certainly can't see the difference. But Yi Xiao Tian saw it clearly. This Qian Junbei is also a veteran actor. Sure enough, those who come from big families are all old actors. Asshole. How can you talk to Mr. Houtian like this, you are so disrespectful, if you keep talking nonsense, I will put you in solitary confinement when you go back. Qian Junbei scolded Qian Junli. But when he turned around, he was full of smiles and said, Don't worry, Mr. Houtian. The child is ignorant and offended Mr. Houtian. I will definitely teach him a lesson. The flattering smile, those who don't know him would think he is Yi Xiaotian's lackey, not the famous General Qian Junbei of Beijing. Qian Junli got up from the ground and covered his face. It was not swollen and not very painful, but it was very embarrassing. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Qian Junbei with a strange smile on his face, as if waiting for his next performance. Qian Junbei's old face blushed, and he understood the meaning of Yi Xiao Tian's smile. Junli, come here. Qian Junbei shouted at Qian Junli. Qian Junli was holding back his anger, but he dared not disobey his fourth uncle's words. At least now he dared not disobey. He came to Qian Junbei obediently. Sincerely apologized to Mr. Houtian. Qian Junbei ordered. I won't. Qian Junli's mentality exploded. He called Qian Junbei here to avenge him, to kill Yi Xiao Tian and his Houtian team. But how come the situation was completely reversed after the man came? Why is this? The dignified Qian family Junbei general, S-level high-level awakener, top awakening strongman, turned into a dog licker. It's strange that this mentality can be stable. Fourth uncle, why? He is just an S-level primary awakener. You kill him and kill everyone here. Who knows that this is done by our Qian family? The furious Qian Junli has lost his mind and has begun to speak without caring. Pa! Qian Junli flew out again. This time, Qian Junbei did not use clever force, but a real slap. Qian Junli not only vomited blood, but also lost a few teeth. It can be seen that Qian Junbei was really greedy and hateful in this slap. Asshole! You've grown so powerful now that you dare not even listen to your fourth uncle. It's not your turn to make the decision in the Qian family. Qian Junbei cursed. What time is it now? Now is the time for the human race to unite and face the outside world. You, a fool, are still fighting among yourselves here. Tell me, who instigated you? Qian Junbei said, and his eyes swept over Qian Junli's other teammates one by one. Finally, they stopped at Qin Bing. Qin Bing was also dumbfounded at this time and he had not recovered from the shock. He also wanted to know why Qian Junbei's attitude changed so quickly. The reversal was too fast, and his waist was almost broken. Chapter, 313 Talent Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but sigh in his heart, Qian Junbei is definitely a talent for shirking responsibility. First, he defined this matter as an internal fight, and then said that it was instigated by others. In this way, Qian Junli's responsibility was greatly reduced. Moreover, Qian Junbei took action twice and severely taught Qian Junli a lesson, which was considered to give Yi Xiao Tian enough face. 
At this time, if Yi Xiaotian wanted to do anything else, it would inevitably be suspected of being unreasonable. Mr. Haotian, don't worry, our Qian family will definitely give you an explanation for this matter. It is us who did not educate the younger generation well, and let him be bewitched by others. Qian Jinbei helped Qian Juanli to whitewash himself. Yi Xiaotian said calmly, Mr. Qian, don't treat me as a fool. I am not blind and can see clearly what the truth is. So you don't have to put all the blame on others to clear your nephew's name. I have to admit that you Qian family members are all good at acting. Before you came, your nephew really changed his face in various ways, which stunned me. Of course, the most amazing thing is that after you came, he changed his face so quickly. If I didn't know that you lived in Beijing for generations, I would have thought that your Qian family was from the old you people. Qian Junbei's face changed after saying this, and infinite anger surged in his heart. When have the people of their Qian family been ridiculed like this? With the status of the Qian family in Beijing and in Xiaogua, let alone in Beijing, even if they left Beijing, they would be honored guests. Wherever the Qian family went, they were praised to the sky. But today, Yi Xiaotian did not give them any face at all and directly tore off all the disguises. This is a complete disregard of the rules. For a moment, Qian Jinbei wanted to ignore it. Unfortunately, he didn't dare. The Qian family is very powerful, but at this time, the Qian family is also in a weak situation. Not only the Qian family, but also the major families in the capital, or the major families in the national base cities, are like this. The top masters of their families have been transferred away. There are very few who really stay. And their duties are very clear, that is, to defend the city. Whoever dares to disobey at this time will definitely be subject to the infinite anger of the Supreme Strong. What will be endured at that time is a catastrophe. What's more, before he went out, he just learned a piece of news from his eldest brother. The crisis of Jiangnan Bay City has been resolved. And the one who resolved the crisis in Jiangnan City was the great god Yi Xiaotian. This peerless evildoer, who was only 18 years old and had just been promoted to an S-level awakener, actually chopped a SS-level initial stage Kanglin dragon into a skeleton with one knife. This matter has gone viral in Jiangnan City. At this moment, the skeleton of the Kanglin dragon is still kept outside Jiangnan City, and no one is moving it. Jiangnan City is even preparing to turn this skeleton into an exhibition site and organize the awakened people in the city to visit it. Everyone goes to feel the style of the great god Haotian. Before coming here, Qian Jinbei had seen the photo. At that time, he sighed, youth is awesome. At the age of only 18, he completed such a feat, which is too domineering. Qian Jinbei thought at that time that it would be great if he could meet this young hero. The human race of Blue Star has such a young hero, and the future is promising. But he didn't expect that he had just sighed and received a message from his nephew. At that time, his eldest brother was also there, and he didn't hide it and told his eldest brother about this matter directly. His eldest brother Qian Jindong only said one sentence, no matter what, there should be no conflict, and then took Qian Junli back. As for other conditions, they can all be agreed to. Because of this incident, the two brothers were discussing how to get to know this young hero, and it would be best if they could establish a relationship and put their own juniors into the Haotian team. With Qian Junli's talent, he fully meets the requirements. It is said that Peng Xiangyu from Jiangnan City has joined the Haotian team. In comparison, their Qilin son Qian Junli is more in line with the requirements. This side is still fantasizing. Over there, their Qilin son offended the Haotian god Yi Xiaotian. So when Qian Junbei came, his attitude changed drastically, and he infinitely elevated Yi Xiaotian's status. This is all a show for Yi Xiaotian to see. Generally speaking, for such things, everyone should know the situation in their hearts, otherwise it will not be beautiful if they say it out loud. Unfortunately, Yi Xiaotian is not an old-fashioned person, he is just a young man. He doesn't care about any unspoken rules, he just knows that he is very unhappy now. Whoever makes him unhappy, he will make it difficult for them. Normally speaking, Qian Junbei gave Yi Xiaotian enough face and praised him in various ways. 
Unfortunately, his praise and polite words were insults to his intelligence in Yi Xiaotian's eyes. Mr. Haotian, this time it was my nephew's fault. Our Qian family is willing to make amends. Qian Zhenbei lowered his head. He was afraid that the anger in his eyes would be discovered by Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian came to Qian Zhenbei and said lightly, I can feel that you are very angry. No. Qian Zhenbei hurriedly explained, raised his head again, and showed a warm smile. Yi Xiaotian was almost disgusted. Whether you are angry or not, I want to tell you that I am ten times angrier than you. Yi Xiaotian said. Qian Zhenbei was shocked. If it wasn't Yi Xiaotian who said this, then it wouldn't matter. When facing the Qian family, no matter how angry you are, you still have to swallow it. But the other party is Yi Xiaotian, so he has to think more. Well, if you put yourself in his shoes, you can understand. Mr. Haotian, I can understand your anger, but fortunately it didn't cause any substantial consequences. Mr. Haotian, please allow us to make compensation for my father's sake. Qian Jinbei just felt it. He couldn't feel the aura of Yi Xiaotian's awakening. Yi Xiaotian standing in front of him was like an ordinary person. This discovery shocked him. If Yi Xiaotian's aura was like a storm, he could be calmer. But the situation was the opposite. What does this mean? It means that Yi Xiaotian's strength is not only stronger than his, but also his control of strength is better than his. Secretly shocked. This young man, what a monster. It's not enough that he was promoted so quickly, but he even controlled his aura and strength so well. He is indeed worthy of being the great god Haotian who is powerful with a single blade. So he lowered his attitude even more. At the same time, he glared at his nephew Qian Juanli fiercely. Qian Juanli's smart IQ regained the high ground, and his anger subsided. Mr. Haotian, I'm sorry, I offended you before, please forgive me, Mr. Haotian. Qian Juanli almost cried. How could things turn out like this? He was not prepared at all. This is completely inconsistent with the development of the script in his mind. Chapter, 314 Yi Xiaotian was silent for a while, and the atmosphere was very solemn. Where things will develop next depends on Yi Xiaotian's attitude. Mu Bingyan touched Han Xuyao's arm. Han Xuyao looked at her strangely. Didn't you say you hated Qian Junli? Why did you still speak for him? Mu Bingyan reminded in a low voice, now is a special situation. If you really want to fight to the death with the Qian family, you will suffer. Han Xuyao will wake up immediately. A little bit arrogant. The Qian family is a family with a history of hundreds of years, with a deep foundation and a complex network of relationships. What's more, now is the time for the human race to unite against the alien race and the sea race. A powerful family like the Qian family is one of the main forces in this war. Rather than letting the Qian family die in the hands of humans, it is better to let them fight with the alien race or the sea race. Han Xuyao heard it and felt that what Mu Bingyan said made some sense. So he discussed with Yi Xiaotian in a low voice. The people of the Qian family were very nervous. Qian Jinbei had even made secret preparations. If Yi Xiaotian really didn't let them go, they could only call for support. You can't let your heir die here, right? How can the Qian family survive? For the Qian family's century-old glory, even if they know they can't win, they have to fight hard. What's more, the Qian family has a deep foundation and may not be defeated. Brother Tian, a noble family like this has a deep foundation. I don't know how many secret treasures they have collected. What's more, they have accumulated reincarnation points for hundreds of years. God knows what treasures they can exchange from the reincarnation mall. Han Xuyao said. Of course, the point is not how strong the Qian family is. The most important thing is that the consequences have not yet occurred. The human race is in danger. We can't assist the alien race and the sea race. Hearing this, Yi Xiaotian nodded. The reason why his reincarnation points were not moved much was that he was going to keep them for exchanging treasures. Anyway, he has supreme talent, and can directly brush a large number of attribute points from the alien beasts, which is much more reliable than exchanging for reincarnation points. 
so the reincarnation points should be kept. Every time Yi Xiao Tian looks at the treasures at the top of the reincarnation mall, he drools. Okay, I know. Yi Xiao Tian nodded. Han Xu Yao can be said to have grasped his temper. Knowing that he is soft and not hard. If you keep talking about how strong the Qian family is, Yi Xiao Tian will definitely fight to the end. But if you say that you can't assist the aliens and the sea race and cause trouble for the human race, then you hit his soft spot. As a member of the human race, naturally you can't watch the human race fall into slaves and food of the aliens and the sea race. For the sake of the righteousness of the human race, I can ignore what happened today. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Qian Jinbei breathed a sigh of relief. Well said. It's all for the righteousness of the human race, and our Qian family is also for the righteousness of the human race. Otherwise, I wouldn't bow to you. It's not like his Qian family doesn't have SS level awakeners. They were just transferred to the front line. In wartime, all awakeners are coordinated by the Supreme Defense Committee. This matter was personally handled by the Supreme Power. It's the same all over the world. Whoever dares to disobey, then give him two words, extermination of the clan. Yes, yes, Mr. Haotian is righteous, our Qian family likes people like you most Qian Jinbei began to praise him endlessly. Stop. Yi Xiao Tian stopped Qian Jinbei's flattery. Qian Jinbei said it was uncomfortable, and he was uncomfortable listening to it. Take the person back, take care of yourself. Yi Xiao Tian didn't want to see the Qian family again, it was annoying. At this time, Xiao Qing came. The Xiao family sent two S-level strong men to escort. Although it was within 10 kilometers of the capital, the Xiao family didn't dare to be careless. As long as the person was handed over to the hands of the great god Haotian, there would be no problem. After all, this person is a powerful person with a single blade. When Qian Jinbei saw the people from the Xiao family coming, he regretted it so much that his intestines turned green. Look at the Peng family in Jiangnan and the Xiao family in Beijing, both of them have outstanding disciples who joined the Haotian team. Why can't their Qian family do it? Speaking of which, Qian Junli's talent grade is one level higher than Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng. He even saw an A-level talent awakener in the Haotian team. He just wanted to ask, why? What is the standard for the Haotian god to select team members? Why even accepts a talent awakener of the A-level garbage? With such a position, wouldn't it be better to accept an SS-level talent awakener? He was full of resentment. But he could do nothing. If his nephew could join the Haotian team, he would become the supreme in the future. Now, it's hard to say. Mr. Haotian has a bad impression of his nephew. And Mr. Haotian is growing too fast. He was not sure whether Yi Xiao Tian, who had raised his hand today, would cause trouble to his nephew or even the Qian family in the future. This was not groundless worry. But such a thing was entirely possible. If one day Yi Xiao Tian was promoted to SS level awakener, who would be his opponent under this sky? This was an S level awakening level, and there was a single blade SS level C clan power. Such true level combat power was simply against the sky. No one dared to say that after he was promoted to SS level, he would not be able to challenge the strength of the SS level awakening master. However, there has not been an SS level awakening master in this world. So in other words, once Yi Xiao Tian is promoted to SS level, he can even walk sideways under this starry sky. At that time, he wants to make trouble for Qian Junli or even the Qian family. Who dares to say no? Seeing the people of the Xiao family greet Yi Xiao Tian with smiles on their faces, he felt even more upset. Qian Junli was also very uncomfortable. He wanted to leave here quickly. Fourth uncle, let's go. Qian Junli urged. Qian Junbei was annoyed and glared at him fiercely. If it weren't for the people of the Xiao family, he would have wanted to slap him directly to the opposite mountain. This nephew, he was so disappointed. Qian Junli felt very innocent. Isn't it because of you, fourth uncle, that he would be like this? Since he awakened his SS level talent, the Qian family has praised him in various ways. Especially this fourth uncle, he can be said to be responsive to every request. 
Otherwise, he would not have sent a message to Qian Jinbei this time. Who would have thought that when something really happened, this fourth uncle would turn against him faster than turning a page of a book? Let's go. Qian Jinbei's gloomy face was about to drip with water. Especially the words of the 2S level awakeners of the Xiao family, listening to his ears, he felt that every word was thorny. As the same wealthy family in the capital, the Qian family and the Xiao family did not get along well. After all, the cake is so big, whoever eats more, the others will have to eat less. So it is impossible to make them as harmonious as possible. This is because Yi Xiao Tian is here, and the two awakened masters of the Xiao family do not want to cause any misunderstandings. Otherwise, how could they not ridicule Qian Jinbei with such a good opportunity? Chapter 315 The Qian family is just stingy. For such a great favor, they didn't even apologize at all. This shows how disrespectful they are of Mr. Haokian. An S-level master from the Xiao family said this deliberately. He also had to make sure that Qian Jinbei heard what he said and said it carefully. Qian Jinbei paused as he was leaving, gritted his teeth, and then turned back and said, Mr. Haokian, don't worry, I will definitely do what I promised you. After saying that, he left without looking back. Without the reminder from the Xiao family, he really thought about whether he could let this matter go. Anyway, the possibility of Qian Junli joining the Haokian team is almost zero. Then there is no need to capitalize the enemy. Now, people from the Xiao family have reminded him that if he continues to cheat, he will offend others. Xiao Qing waited for the Qian family to leave before saying, I didn't expect Qian Junli to be here today. Peng Xiangyu said funnily, Why, were you bullied by him? Xiao Qing was not embarrassed and said, In the capital, Qian Junli is famous for his arrogance. He relies on his being an SS level talent awakener to look down on everyone. No wonder he is so arrogant. It turns out he is an SS level talent awakener. But with such arrogance, he is not afraid of heretical organizations coming to trouble him. Peng Xiangyu said with a smile. After every awakening ceremony, it is the time when heretical organizations hunt for human geniuses at their craziest. Qian Junli is so arrogant and still alive today because the Qian family is strong enough. Otherwise, the grass on the grave would be three feet tall. Okay, let's not talk about this bastard. He is so arrogant and will attack the street sooner or later. Peng Xiangyu said with a smile, Brother Tian, where are we going next? Yi Xiao Tian had already planned it and said, first upgrade you two to B-level awakeners, and then go to the alien battlefield. Alien battlefield. Peng Xianyu and Xiao Qing both exclaimed. So intense. Compared with this, it is not surprising that the two of them were promoted to B-level awakeners. Anyway, the members of the Haokian team before were all B-level awakened people per capita. The alien battlefield is a real-life harvester. Countless human awakened people and alien awakened people died in that place. Some people have even calculated that for hundreds of years, there have been countless battles between humans and aliens on the alien battlefield. The deaths are countless. If we wanted to erect graves there for the dead soldiers of the two races, there would not be enough space in the alien battlefield to bury them. There is the final destination of the awakened ones. As newly awakened people, they were still far away from the alien battlefield. Generally speaking, there is no need to go to alien battlefields before graduating from college. After graduating from college, I have to practice all over the world for a few years. Entering the alien battlefield early is risking death. Unless it is a last resort, it is impossible for the top leaders of the human race to do this kind of thing of killing the goose that lays the goose to lay eggs. Now, Yi Xiao Tian means that they have to enter the alien battlefield in advance. Others are fine. But Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were shocked. You don't have to play so big, right? Although the B-level Awakener team has met the conditions for entering the alien battlefield. But they are freshmen and still young. Why are they in such a hurry? Brother Tian, are you in such a hurry? Peng Xiangyu asked with a grimace. Yi Xiao Tian said, now you have seen the situation in Blue Star's mainland. If we don't solve the problem of the alien battlefield quickly, the situation in Blue Star's mainland will get worse and worse. 
but this is not something that our team can solve alone. Peng Xiang Yu said. Yi Xiaotian said, it is indeed not something that one or two awakened teams can solve, but if everyone thinks this way, then we are doomed. So I don't care what others think, I must go. Of course, you can also choose not to go, the choice is in your own hands. Yi Xiaotian added. When Peng Xiangyu heard this, he was startled and said, Brother Tian, I didn't mean that. I must be acting in concert with you. He didn't dare to say too much. Anyway, it was whatever Yi Xiaotian said. He's not even afraid of a peerless monster like Yi Xiaotian who has an unlimited future. What does he have to be afraid of? Moreover, Yi Xiaotian is not a reckless person. He seems to be very stubborn. Otherwise, the identity of great god Haotian would not have been exposed until now. Thinking of this, Peng Xianyu felt much more at ease. If someone as stable as Brother Tian thinks he can go to the foreign battlefield, then there is no problem at all. Xiao Cheng was not as troubled as Peng Xianyu and asked directly, Then where are we going now? Yi Xiao Tian said, Find a place with many sea beasts and kill them. Hearing him speak so relaxedly, the atmosphere in the entire team became cheerful. Brother Tian, I think we should go to Zhigu port. It is the first gateway for sea beasts to land. There must be a lot of sea beasts. Wang Hao suggested. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, Okay, then go to Zhigu port. It's close there and won't waste time. Peng Xiangyu, do you still have ambergris on you? Peng Xiangyu said blankly, Also, what's wrong? It's nothing. When we get to the beach, we will definitely order some. Yi Xiaotian responded casually. Peng Xianyu was going crazy. At this time, go to the beach and light ambergris. This is not how you seek death. Forget it around the capital, there aren't too many strange beasts here anyway. But it's different at the beach. Now is the time when sea beasts are coming ashore in large numbers. Going to the beach to light ambergris at this time, what's the difference between this and poking a hornet's nest? However, Peng Xiangyu soon thought of Yi Xiaotian's single-handed fight against hundreds of thousands of sea beasts, which was really fierce. In Peng Xiangyu's opinion, this is more surprising than Yi Xiaotian's single-handed fight against Kanglin Dragon. After all, there are hundreds of thousands of sea beasts. Not dozens of them. The so-called ants bite elephants to death, that's the truth. When the number reaches a certain level, unless you have absolute strength to suppress, you will be exhausted to death. But Yi Xiaotian not only did it, but also very easily. Even after he dealt with hundreds of thousands of sea beasts, he single-handedly challenged a SS-level sea beast, Kanglin Dragon. Who can I go to for justice? Recalling these scenes, Peng Xiangyu felt relieved. Sure enough, Brother Tian is not a person who seeks death, he has absolute confidence. What's wrong with going to the beach to light incense? The quality and quantity of sea beasts coming up from the beach are not as good as those outside Jiangnan city. In one word, recklessness is the right thing to do. Yi Xiaotian took out the armored vehicle again, and the group of people got on the vehicle and started to set off towards the direction of Zhigu port. With the addition of Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng, the Haotian team has grown again, with nine people, which is considered a relatively large awakening team. An awakening team with more than ten people is not called a squad, but a team. A group of people rushed towards Jigu Port. Chapter, 316 Jigu Port, facing the sea, is an important area for sea beasts to land. Fortunately, this is all shallow water, so the sea beasts are relatively weaker. It can't be compared with Jiangnan Base City. But we can't be careless. After all, behind Zhigu Port is the capital. If the defense line of Zhigu Port is breached, the capital will be in danger. So the defense force of Zhigu Port is still very strong. Not only are there the Night Watch Corps, but also the masters of the aristocratic families of the two major base cities of Beijing and Zhigu. As long as this place is defended, the capital will be safe. The battle here is also very stalemate and it has never stopped since the sea beasts began to land. Fortunately, the intensity is not very strong. So Zhigu port can still be defended. 
Outside the city of Zhigu Bay City, there are dense sea beasts, which seem endless. But most of them are low and medium level sea beasts, and there are very few high level sea beasts. So near the edge of the city, countless human awakeners were killing sea beasts, and on the top of the city, countless awakeners with superpowers were standing, constantly killing sea beasts remotely. Just looking at the distant horizon, the sea beasts were still black and endless. If this continues, Jigu City will definitely not be able to defend. On the top of the city, Wei Yen, the city lord of Jigu City, said with a worried look. Although the situation in Jigu City is still quite optimistic now. But Wei Yen is not optimistic at all. Yes, with the current defense force of Jigu City, it can easily block the attack of sea beasts. But the number of sea beasts is too large, and the delay is too long. After more than a month of fighting, many awakeners are already very tired. Although Jigu City has always been a rotation system. But the time span is too long. Even if it can be rotated, it won't work. Strength and superpowers can be restored by rotating over time, but what about physical and mental fatigue? Especially mental fatigue, it can't be restored in a short time. Since the sea beasts attacked the city, Wei Lian has been on the city wall every day. It has been more than a month, and the sea beasts are still pouring in, as if there are endless sea beasts in the sea outside Jigu port. City Lord, the sea area here is not large, how can there be so many sea beasts? This is unreasonable. Said Qin Dong, the deputy city lord beside Wei Lian. Yes, this is indeed unreasonable. Could it be that the sea beasts from other seas have also come to us? Said Hao Yan, another deputy city lord. Wei Lian nodded and said, It is indeed possible. I have contacted Dongshan City and the Magic City. The situation over there is that although there are always sea beasts coming ashore, the density is not as high as here. Is the target of the sea clan the capital? Qin Dong guessed. Hao Yan said, No need to guess, it must be Beijing. The seas in Dongshan and Modu are wider than ours and they are closer to Daeong Bay. Even if the sea creatures in the deep sea want to go ashore, they should first choose those nearby bay cities. There is no reason to come directly to our Jigu port. Hao Yan's words make sense and were unanimously agreed by Wei Lian and Qin Dong. But agreement is one thing, but how to solve the problem is another. If these sea beasts land in other coastal bay cities, then there is nothing to say. But they don't do this at all, they directly cross these coastal cities and land at Jigu port. What should they do? Do they go to the sea to intercept these sea beasts? Defense on land is already difficult, and going to the sea to fight with the sea creatures is even more difficult. Besides, according to what Wei Lian and others know, the coastal base cities along the long coastline of Xia country are not doing well. They even received a farewell message from Jiangnan Bay City before. Because an SS level C creature appeared there. The SS level city defender in Jiangnan city has been seriously injured and will not live long. Others may not know this information, but the three of them, as the three giants of Jigu city, must know it. I heard that the crisis in Jiangnan city has been resolved. Qin Dong suddenly said. Wei Lian's expression moved, and he said, I also heard that there was news from the capital that the peerless genius Hao Tian appeared outside Jiangnan city and single-handedly stabbed the SS level C clan power Kanglanlong. It's true that heroes come from young people. Hao Yan also sighed, yes, at the age of only 18, he has achieved such an achievement. Compared with him, we are all living like dogs. Qin Dong said, it is said that Hao Tian appeared in the capital two days ago. Do you think he will come if we invite him? They don't know the specific situation of Jiangnan City. But they know that the crisis of destroying Jiangnan City was resolved because of Yi Xiaotian. In many things, the process is not important, the result is the most important. Yi Xiaotian has the ability to resolve the crisis of Jiangnan City, so he naturally has the ability to resolve the crisis of Jigu City. Wei Lian heard this, but shook his head and said, Our situation here is different from that of Jiangnan Bay City. Our biggest trouble here is that there are too many sea beasts, and they keep coming. Qin Dong said, but there are also millions of sea tribes outside Jiangnan city, 
and they are all middle and high level C tribes masters. Didn't they also solve it with Yi Xiao Tian? Hao Yan also said, City Lord, what Deputy City Lord Qin said makes sense, we can give it a try. Wei Lian said, Let's not talk about whether they are willing or not, let's talk about how to contact them. Now the communication outside the city is completely destroyed, and we can't contact them through the reincarnation world. Yi Xiaotian's contact information has always been a difficult problem for the top leaders of Xia State. Although Deacon Wu of the Awakener Association has Yi Xiaotian's contact information in the reincarnation world, contacting Yi Xiaotian always depends on his face. Deacon Wu may not reply to Yi Xiaotian even if he leaves a hundred messages to him. Not to mention other people. Yi Xiaotian directly set up a rejection of strangers' contact. So Wei Lian is very troubled now. Qin Dong and Hao Yan were speechless. It seems that we can only contact the Awakener Association first, and then contact the capital to see how Mr. Hao Yan is doing. Wei Lian was silent for a while before speaking. The situation in Jigu City cannot be delayed, and the longer it is delayed, the worse it will be. But they really have no good way except to defend all the time. He was also very curious about how Yi Xiaotian solved the million strong sea tribe army outside Jiangnan City. Perhaps, Mr. Haotian can use the same method to deal with the sea tribe army outside Jigu City. As for the endless sea tribe army coming, Damn, Mr. Haotian dealt with the million strong army outside Jiangnan City in less than half a day. Compared with that, these sea tribe armies outside Jigu City are a bit inferior. It's not that the number is not comparable, but the quality is completely incomparable. Chapter 317 The three chief and deputy city lords of Jigu City went around in a circle and did not contact Yi Xiaotian directly. But I also found out a lot of news about Yi Xiaotian. I heard that Yi Xiaotian was so powerful in the capital that even the Qian family in the capital was overwhelmed by him, and they were all shocked. However, combined with the information previously received about Yi Xiaotian outside Jiangnan City, it is not surprising that the Qian family bowed their heads. Finally, the Xiao family was contacted. It's just that the Xiao family doesn't know where Yi Xiaotian and his party went. Yi Xiaotian decided to come to Jigu port after waiting for the Xiao family to leave. Therefore, except for the members of the team, no one else knows about the specific itinerary of the Haotian team. The itinerary information is kept confidential for safety reasons. Now heretical organizations are looking for Yi Xiaotian all over the world. They first went to Jiangqing, and then found that Yi Xiaotian had left. Where exactly he went, I don't know. Later, there was news that Yi Xiaotian had captured an SS level C clan Kanglin dragon in Jiangnan city, although he was surprised by Yi Xiaotian's fighting power. Not that I was scared. When they chased to Jiangnan city, they heard that Yi Xiaotian had left again. Then I received news that Yi Xiaotian appeared outside the capital. They rushed over again. Then Yi Xiaotian and his party disappeared again. It was like Yi Xiaotian was leading Man Xiaogua a master of the heretical organization, around in circles. Although the heretical organizations are also very well informed, they are simply incomparable to people like the Wylian. At the very least, they can contact the people around Yi Xiaotian through formal channels. For example, the Xiao family in Beijing, the Peng family in Jiangnan, and the Han family in Chang family in Jiangqing. It's just that it's really difficult for them to communicate through messages in the world of reincarnation. After all, it is completely unknown when the members of the Haotian team will go online. They are no different than other new teams they can't move at all every day and waste all the time to enter the reincarnation dungeon. The Haotian team all hunts exotic beasts directly in reality to improve their strength. In the end, there was no other way. Jigu City paid the price directly and asked the Xiao family to take action and use the secret communication treasure to contact Xiao Cheng. This communication secret treasure must be exchanged from the Samsara Mall, and the price is not cheap. It's the kind Qian Junli uses outside the capital. It is usually used to call for emergency help. Jigu City had no choice but to use this method. Fortunately, given the status of the city lords of Jigu City, they are not unable to use them. Let's say that the Haotian team went all the way from the capital to Jigu port. 
They killed strange beasts and sea beasts along the way without disturbing others. They randomly found a place along the coast of Jigu port and started killing sea beasts. Before coming, they also inquired about the situation in Jigu city, and it seemed to be quite good. Although there are a steady stream of sea beasts flocking to Jigu city, the awakened people in Jigu city, both official and private, are very strong. Therefore, in a short period of time, Jigu city will have no problems at all. Thinking of this, Yi Xiaotian and the others did not go to Jigu city, but came directly to the coast. Then, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu truly saw why the Haokin team's strength had improved so quickly. Damn it, the efficiency of killing monsters is so terrifying. Especially since this was the first time Xiao Cheng had seen it, he was even more shocked. As for Peng Xiangyu, he had actually seen it when he was outside Jiangnan city. It was just that it was far away at that time. Now that I'm observing it from a close distance, I can only say that Mr. Haotian will always be awesome. Xiao Qing said with some uncertainty, Brother Tian, if you keep maintaining your innate skills like this, will it cause excessive consumption? Yi Xiao Tian replied, No. No. Xiao Qing couldn't understand. The consumption of such a continuous talent skill must be huge. After all, looking at Yi Xiaotian's clones, there are hundreds of them at random. What a waste of energy. This does not conform to objective laws. Yi Xiaotian said, I have a way to quickly restore my supernatural power. When he said this, Xiao Cheng was even more surprised. There are indeed ways to quickly restore the power of qi, blood and supernatural powers, but they are all based on spiritual liquid. Not cheap. Moreover, the quantity of this spiritual liquid is limited, and many of them are exchanged from the samsara mall. Could it be that Yi Xiaotian used reincarnation points to redeem them from the mall and then drank hard? But I didn't see him drinking either. In just a few days, Xiao Qing felt that his three views were beyond shattered. It seemed that the common sense he had learned before was completely useless to Yi Xiaotian. As expected of a man who is known as the son of the will of reincarnation, he was born to break the rules. Just when Xiao Cheng was filled with emotion, a ray of light flashed across the sky and then fell in front of Xiao Cheng. This is a communication secret treasure, produced by Samsara Mall. Because it is locked on Xiao Cheng's soul aura, it will automatically find him. It is the safest means of communication in an emergency. Xiao Cheng was shocked when he saw the secret treasure. He thought something had happened to the Xiao family. I've only been away for a few days, what happened? He quickly took it over and after receiving the information inside, Xiao Cheng was a little stunned. What's going on? They came to the beach of Jigu port to hunt sea beasts, but several city lords of Jigu city asked them to support Jigu city. Yi Xiao Tian saw Xiao Cheng's strangeness and asked hurriedly, What's wrong? Is there something wrong at home? Xiao Qing hurriedly said, Brother Tian, it's not our family that's in trouble, it's Jigu City that's in trouble. Jigu City? Didn't I ask about it before? Isn't it pretty good there? When Yi Xiao Tian asked about this news, he thought that if Jigu City had trouble, he would go there. After all, no matter what, these are the living forces of the human race, and Yi Xiao Tian is still very happy to contribute. The human race on Blue Star is his base, and he can't really lose it. Xiao Qing said, It seems that the news we have inquired about is too one sided, and we haven't understood it in depth. At this stage, the situation in Jigu City is indeed quite optimistic. The scary thing is the follow up problems. Xiao Qing explained the situation in Jigu City to Yi Xiao Tian and others. After listening, everyone expressed their understanding. Especially Ping Xiangyu, when Jiangnan City was besieged, they also had a deep understanding. A protracted war is indeed very difficult to fight. If the number of enemies is limited, then there is no problem. But judging from the current situation, the number of sea beasts is really too terrifying, it is completely endless. The area of the sea is many times that of the land. After hundreds of years of development, there has been no major war, so no one knows how many people the sea clan has at present. The understanding of the sea clan is not even as good as the understanding of the alien race. After all, they have been dealing with the alien race for hundreds of years. 
The enemy is the one who knows each other best. Then let's go. Yi Shao Tian did not delay and let Jigu City invite them in person. This kind of thing cannot be delayed. If it is not delayed well, the population of Jigu City will be finished. He flew into the sky, and in an instant, countless clones spread out, sweeping away all the sea beasts on the coast. Chapter 318 We have to go, but we have to understand the situation in Jigu City first. So Xiao Qing first entered the reincarnation world and contacted his own information collectors. In the end, a very important elder of the Xiao family came forward and asked Xiao Qing about the situation of the Haotian team. He then pulled the chief information collector of Jigu City to meet him. When the chief of Jigu City saw Xiao Cheng, he was so excited that he almost knelt down. In just a few days, the situation in Jigu City took a sharp turn for the worse. The estimates of the three city lords were still very accurate. For more than a month, although there were rotations, there was not enough rest time. After a long time, even a strong man would fall asleep. From yesterday to today, the awakened people in Jigu City suffered a lot of losses. Many of them were too tired during the battle, so they began to lag behind in both attack and defense. In other words, their minds were in chaos and their actions began to be disorderly. Facts have proved that the fatigue war of the Sea Clan was very successful. Although it took a long time. But the Sea Tribe has no shortage of time. They were delaying time. There is another purpose, which is to carry out a task of survival of the fittest. Pull out those old timers who have little room for growth and occupy the living space in the sea to create some trouble for the human race. In this way, the sea tribe can train a lot of young descendants. In other words, the population of the sea tribe is too large and the sea can't accommodate them. So they have to kill some useless cannon fodder. Then free up the living space for the newly born and potential sea tribe. Although they have been cutting themselves for hundreds of years. But some sea tribes reproduce too fast and have a low upper limit. They can't cut them all. They are too lazy to cut them. Now this opportunity is just right. And they are still waiting for the results of the alien battlefield. They don't mean to fight to the death with the human race. Anyway, it not only guarantees the living force, but also completes the established plan. It can be said to kill two birds with one stone. The Sea Clan had a plan. Let the human race stand in front and confront the alien race, while they hide under the sea to develop. Once they gain power, it is time for them to show their fangs. However, judging from the current situation, the alien race is still very powerful, so the Sea Clan does not want to be the first to stand out. The Sea Clan can afford to delay, and they can delay as long as they can. But Jigu City cannot afford to delay. It has only been more than a month, and it has already shown signs of fatigue. As for asking for help from other cities, forget it. The previous experience of Jiangnan City is there. If there is any extra power, they don't need to ask for it, they will be sent directly. So now it seems that only Yi Xiaotian's Haotian team can solve the crisis of Jigu City. So the chief of Jigu City was very excited to see Xiao Cheng, and he almost knelt down. After the two sides exchanged some ideas, the chief heard that they were at the seaside of Jigu port, and was overjoyed and said that he would go to find them immediately. Although Xiao Cheng said that they could go directly to Jigu city. But this chief's statement is not acceptable, it is too disrespectful. He estimated that if he knew that the Haokian team was at the seaside of Jigu port, the city lord would personally come out to greet them. Xiao Cheng saw that the other party insisted, so he didn't say much. But the more the other party said so, the more it showed that the situation in Jigu City was not optimistic. How could the change be so fast? He was from Beijing, and Beijing and Jigu City were adjacent neighbors. And he was born in a wealthy family, so he was very up to date with information. In his impression, although Jigu City faced Jigu Port directly, the situation was not so bad. Who would have thought that even the magic city and the surrounding coastal areas, and even the base cities facing the deep sea, were not as serious as Jigu City? What happened? Looking at this situation, the situation in Jigu City can be compared with Jiangnan City. 
But to be honest, in terms of geographical location, Jigu City and Jiangnan City really can't be compared. Jiangnan City can really be said to be the first base city facing the deep sea among the many base cities in Xia country. The pressure from the sea clan must be ranked first. Then come other coastal cities. The geographical location of Jigu City can only be said to be the last among many coastal cities. The situation is completely the opposite. He couldn't help asking, who knows the other party also doesn't know the specific situation, just guessing that it may be related to the capital. Hearing that it is related to the capital, Xiao Cheng is also a little anxious. The two parties agreed to meet, and Xiao Cheng hurriedly went offline. How is it? Yi Xiao Tian and the others asked and they saw Xiao Qing coming back. Xiao Qing hurriedly told the situation again. Hearing that this matter is related to the capital, Yi Xiao Tian pondered and said, Could it be that the goal of the Si clan is to attack the capital through Zhigu city? The capital is the core base city of Xia country. If it is really taken by the Si clan, it will definitely be a heavy blow to the people of Xia country. It seems that the Si clan also has masters, and they are very familiar with the situation on land. I wonder what the situation is in other countries. Yi Xiao Tian asked casually. Unexpectedly, Xiao Qing actually knew about it and replied, it's not too optimistic. All the coastal countries have been attacked by sea beasts. Fortunately, the countries and alliances that have survived the great changes of the past century are all powerful countries and alliances. So far, there has been no situation where countries and alliances have been conquered by the Sea Clan. However, if the situation continues to deteriorate, it is only a matter of time. After hearing his explanation, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but say, it seems that we must hurry up and not delay our trip to the alien battlefield. The key to this three-race war is the alien battlefield. As long as the alien battlefield wins, the crisis of the Sea Clan can be naturally resolved. Yi Xiaotian also has his own eyes and ears in the Sea Clan. The giant spider crab can continuously provide Yi Xiaotian with news about the Sea Clan. Now the Sea Clan's plan is to let the human race and the alien race fight each other, and then they will come out to clean up the mess. It's a beautiful idea. Yi Xiaotian estimated that as long as the alien race is defeated, the Sea Clan will definitely shrink back. So it's useless for Yi Xiaotian to kill like crazy on the blue star. Yi Xiaotian and his team didn't have to wait long. Soon, several rays of light shot from the direction of Zhigu City. After landing, it was a team of three. The chief information officer who had met Xiao Cheng was there, the city lord Wei Lian came in person, and there was another person who was Wei Lian's assistant. After the two sides greeted each other, Wei Lian said excitedly, I really didn't expect that Mr. Houtian was actually in Zhigu port. Now Zhigu city is saved. Please forgive me, Mr. Houtian. It's really too much pressure in Zhigu city, so only the three of us can come to pick you up. Chapter, 319 The attitude of the city lord is very sincere. It doesn't matter if you are not sincere, Zhigu city is getting sadder every day, and more and more people are dying. If he continues to die like this, Jigu City will really be unable to defend itself. At that time, he will not be able to bear this responsibility, whether it is the tens of millions of people in Jigu City or the safety of the capital. When the time comes, he will be nailed to the pillar of shame of the human race, the kind that cannot even be buckled off. Therefore, for Yi Xiaotian who can resolve the crisis in Jigu City, he must be as sincere as possible. But there was one question he wanted to confirm first. Mr. Houtian, you also understand the situation in Jigu City. What can you do? Wei Lian is straightforward, and he doesn't have the time to run around here now. Yi Xiaotian said, there is a way. If we weren't worried about missing the route, we would have already set off for Jigu City. Wei Lian was overjoyed when he heard this. Sure enough, the news from Jiangnan City was correct. Mr. Houtian really had special talents and could kill alien beasts with a large number of clones. Let's not talk about the quantity for now, the point is that those clones are also very powerful. In this way, it will be much easier to kill those strange beasts. Although the large-scale magical skills of superpowers are also very powerful, 
the large-scale attack skills of high-level martial arts masters also have such effects. However, both of these have certain drawbacks, that is, the casting efficiency is relatively slow. Another thing is that the awakened people in Jigu City, whether they are superpowers or warriors, have reached the end of their strength. Mr. Haotian, that's really great. Let's set off now. Wei Lian was not too polite. There were some etiquette things that could be made up for after the crisis in Jigu City was resolved. At that time, it would be no problem even if he was asked to kneel down and kowtow to Yi Xiaotian. On the way, Wei Lian also took the opportunity to complain to Yi Xiaotian, saying that there were too many awakened masters from the human race on the alien battlefield, which resulted in a serious lack of defensive power on the local side. There is not even support among the major base cities. Now, it is really the most critical time for the human race. It can even be said that it is comparable to what it was a hundred years ago. At that time, although the power of the awakened ones was still very weak. But thermal weapons are still popular. After hundreds of years of development of awakened people, the power of human awakened people has been greatly improved, and there have even been five supreme powers. However, the use and development of thermal weapons has completely stalled. Facts have proven that unless mushroom bombs are used, ordinary bombs and even missiles can only do limited damage to high-level alien beasts. And thermal weapons consume too many resources. Therefore, as the power of the awakened ones further increased, the research and development and manufacturing of thermal weapons stopped completely. No one expected that the situation would suddenly deteriorate to the point it is today. I never expected that the alien race would actually unite with the sea race. What's more, they didn't expect that the sea clan has developed silently for hundreds of years, and its strength is not weaker than that of the human clan, or even stronger. These sea beasts that have been hidden under the sea for hundreds of years have been ignored by the human race. Unexpectedly, the first time they showed their fangs, they gave the human race a heavy blow. Yi Xiaotian didn't say much along the way, he just listened to what Wei Lian said. Wang Hao stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. Anyway, the armored vehicle was thick and could kill even low-level beasts directly. In addition, with Yi Xiaotian here, there is no need to worry about strange beasts blocking the road. Soon, they arrived about 10 kilometers away from Jigu City. From here on, the number of sea beasts increased dramatically. At a glance, it was completely an ocean of sea beasts, boundless. Wei Lian was frightened and said, the number of these sea beasts is really too terrifying. I can't even kill them all. After killing them for more than a month, the awakened ones in Jigu City can no longer kill them. Yi Xiaotian said, this is a small question. What level is the strongest sea beast attacking Jigu City? Wei Lian said, at present, the strongest ones are only S-level sea clan experts, and they are still in command and have not really joined the battle. At this stage, those actually participating in the attack are all sea clan awakening masters below a level. Yi Xiaotian frowned and said, how could this happen? Wei Lian also shook his head and said, we don't know very well. Ordinarily, if the high clan's goal is really the capital, then they should make a quick decision. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, that's not the case, I'm just curious. Over in Jiangnan City, there are SS-level C-Clan masters participating in the battle, but here, how come even the S-level C-Clan masters don't end up in person? Wei Lian said a little strangely, does Mr. Haotian know something? Is there any bigger conspiracy that the High Clan has been holding back? Yi Xiaotian replied, they are waiting for the results of the alien battlefield. These sea tribes are too cunning. They are conserving their strength and don't want to fight us now. Also, they are practicing survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest? Wei Lian was all numb. Damn it, the senior officials of the sea tribe were wondering whether it was because they lived on the bottom of the sea all year round, so there was too much water. In what age are we still doing this? With so many tribesmen, even cannon fodder can attack other worlds. The territory owned by you, the sea race, is already large enough. Why are you so shameless when you come to seize such a small territory from our human race? And how could Blue Star's resources be comparable to the territory of a foreign race? So attacking the alien world, 
killing the aliens and grabbing their territory is the real big profit. But what you said reminds me. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian seemed to remember something. What? Wei Lian asked in confusion. Yi Xiaotian said, how many times more is the territory of the Sea Clan than ours, and how many times more is the population of the Sea Clan than ours? At this point, Yi Xiaotian paused, and then continued, let's see what the aliens are like. Wei Lian was stunned for a moment, and then he realized what Yi Xiaotian meant. Then, his expression was a little horrified, and his voice trembled a little, Mr. Haotian, what do you mean? Yi Xiaotian knew that he had guessed something, nodded, and said, I'm just guessing, I can't be sure, but if it's really as I guessed, then we are really in danger this time. Wei Lian's forehead began to sweat, and his breathing became rapid. If things are really as they guessed, then the Sea Clan is really terrible. I originally thought that the Sea Race and the Alien Races were in alliance, and the Sea Race was just a bystander, but now it seems that things are far from as simple as they seem on the surface. The Sea Race has been quietly developing in the sea for hundreds of years. What kind of power has it accumulated? Not to mention the human race, I am afraid that even the alien races are not fully aware. Now it seems that the alliance between the alien race and the sea race is completely seeking the skin of the tiger. By then, the alien races will not be able to reinvade the blue star, and I am afraid that even the base camp will be destroyed by the sea race. Chapter 320 After getting this guess, Wei Lian was shocked. He couldn't believe it, so he looked at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, I can't be sure, it's just a guess. Wei Lian took a breath, and then his mind turned quickly. He wanted to know if the human race had room to turn the tables under the conspiracy of the Sea Clan. But soon, he found that there was no room. In this big melee, perhaps the alien race had the possibility of turning the tables, but the human race really didn't. Whether the alien race wins or the Sea Clan wins, the human race will eventually become a victim. He said in a trembling voice, does the Sea Clan really have such power? Yi Xiaotian said, I don't know, but think about the development of our human race over the past 100 years. Compared with the Sea Clan, you should be able to guess one or two. Wei Lian took another breath. Before this, he had never thought of such a possibility. In his opinion, the Sea Clan just wanted to get some benefits from this melee. But after Yi Xiaotian said this, the Sea Clan was promoted from a supporting role to the absolute protagonist. For a hundred years, the Sea Clan hid under the sea and developed with all their strength. No one knew what kind of power they had now. He believed that the aliens probably didn't know either. The aliens have always been proud. They don't take the natives of Blue Star seriously, no matter what race they are. They can unite with the Sea Clan because the power of the human race is getting stronger and stronger, making it difficult for them to take them down for a while. Another thing is that although the Sea Clan of Blue Star is not of the same origin as them, they all have the word beast. Sea beasts and alien beasts are both beasts. If it weren't for the arrival of the Reincarnation Tower and the rules of reincarnation that caused them to mutate, how could they have the ability and status they have today? So they are naturally closer. Cooperation is a natural outcome. As long as the human race of Blue Star can't go all out, the aliens will be sure to take over the alien battlefield. But it is estimated that the alien battlefield will also react at this time, and they were screwed by the Sea Clan. But now the war has started, it is not easy to stop. After all, the alien race is a great alliance of all races this time, and countless alien beast awakeners have been dispatched. It is not so easy to stop in the alien battlefield. In fact, it is impossible to stop at all. War often makes people go crazy. This is especially true for the alien race. After killing, the desire to kill directly devours reason. We have to report this situation. Wei Lian said to Yi Xiaotian after thinking about it. Yi Xiaotian didn't say much. The reason why he mentioned this to Wei Lian was because of his identity. He is the mayor of Zhigu City and is definitely a high-level person of the human race. He can directly pass the message to the highest defense. Their guess may not be correct, but it must not be completely ignored. 
the high-level people of the human race must make some plans. If this incident really happens, how to deal with it? In order to avoid being caught off guard at that time, they don't even know how to deal with it. The reason why the human race lost two-thirds of its population a hundred years ago was because the incident came too suddenly and there was no plan to deal with it. Before the arrival of the Samsara Tower, the imaginary enemies in everyone's mind were all governments. All the countermeasures were also aimed at each other. So when fighting with them, there are various countermeasures and they will not be in a hurry. However, the arrival of the Nima Samsara Tower directly overturned the three views of all humans on Blue Star. Do you expect them to make a good response in a short time? Don't fight an unprepared war. This is the consistent belief of the Xia people. At this time, Wei Lian didn't take the car. He got out of the car directly and flew back to Zhigu City. After the Awakened reaches S level, even if they don't have flying skills, they can still fly. However, the flying distance depends on each person's cultivation. Yi Xiao Tian can fly naturally. He has already acquired the wind flying skill and is also an S-level awakened person, with double bonuses. And he has several innate skills related to flying. It can be said that he is definitely the best among the human race in terms of flying skills alone. It's just that the other members of the Houtian team can't fly, so they can only take the car. Fortunately, the car won't be too slow. In this situation, there is no need to worry about traffic jams or car accidents. Not to mention Wang Hao's driving skills, the armored vehicle's defense is also very good. In addition, the awakened ones are all quick reacting. So Wang Hao drives in a state, rushing around. As long as he doesn't drive down the cliff, there will be no problem. Soon, the car stopped, and Wang Hao turned around and said, Brother Tian, we are going to get off. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, after we get off, the old rules. Yi Xiaotian's old rules are known to his teammates, even the latest member Xiao Qing knows it. Only the two staff members of Zhigu City who took the car didn't know, so they got off the car with a confused look on their faces, and then the people of the Haokian team gathered together. Yi Xiao Tian was seen flying up, and the staff in his hand was waving. Various lights floated out from his staff, landing accurately on his teammates and himself. Is this a talent skill of the auxiliary system? Zhigu City's chief information officer and the city lord's assistant were both confused. Is Hao Jin a support? Didn't he single-handedly slash a SS level C clan mighty Kanglin dragon? Support type psychics melee warriors, the difference between the two is still very large. These are two completely opposite professions, and the main attributes are also completely opposite. Generally speaking, even if an awakener awakens these two talents, he has to give up one. These two professions are completely incompatible. No one is stupid enough to think of practicing both psychics and warriors. The only outcome of doing so is mediocrity. A person's energy is limited, reincarnation points are difficult to brush, and attribute points are also rare. It is a blessing to be able to point up a main attribute. He actually wanted to have the best of both worlds, which is a beautiful idea. Of course, if a swordsman wants to practice swordsmanship, there is no problem. It is not impossible for an assistant to practice attacking abilities. The worst that can happen is that there is no talent blessing, so the power is weaker. For example, Huang Jia, although he is an auxiliary psychic. However, he has also practiced some attack skills, but because there is no talent blessing, the lethality of the skills he uses cannot be as high as that of psychics with talent blessing. For example, Han Xuyao, her awakened talent is thunder, so she can increase the damage of thunder skills by several times. But once she uses other psychics, there will be no such damage increase. So they were a little dumbfounded when they saw Yi Xiaotian's operation. This great god Haotian seems to be different from the legend. Chapter, 321 If this person was not personally contacted by the Xiao family, they would really doubt whether they had contacted the wrong person. However, after seeing Yi Xiaotian's next operation, they completely doubted their lives. And seeing Yi Xiaotian constantly waving his staff in the air, one talent skill after another was launched. First, he gave himself and his teammates a boost, but this time, he did not summon the second soul, and there was no need for it for the time being. 
and because the sea beast army attacking Zhigu city was not of high grade, he did not even need to use the curse skill. Directly Nightmare was activated, and countless clones appeared, all of which were holding staffs. Thousands of clones exuding the aura of S-level Awakeners appeared, and then waved their staffs and launched strange attacks, covering an even more terrifying area. This is also a new use that Yi Xiaotian realized after using this talent skill many times. According to the rules of the talent skill nightmare, as long as the mutually induced enemies are not dead, the clones will not disappear. And after these clones are summoned, they have the same configuration as Yi Xiaotian, but the attributes are greatly reduced, only about one third. But this is enough. There is no need to worry about the targeted enemies for the time being, just use a large scale attack with strange arts. In this way, the destructive power of the nightmare skill is infinitely raised. This large scale combat mode is the most suitable. There are enemies everywhere, and there is no need to worry about the enemy and us. You can attack at will without worrying about hurting your own people. Moreover, thousands of clones perform large-scale coverage strange arts together. Such a scene can no longer be described as spectacular, it is simply turning the world upside down. The chief information officer and the assistant to the city lord of Zhigu city are already dumbfounded. At this moment, not only common sense, but all their views have been directly turned into dust, and even the fragments cannot be found. Is this what a human can do? Is this the difference between monsters and humans? No wonder it is said that Haokian solved the crisis of Jiangnan city, it turned out to be this way. At the beginning, Jiangnan city was besieged by a million sea tribes and asked for help from major base cities. They are all clear about these news. Yi Xiaotian killed the SS-level powerful Kanglanlong of the sea tribe who led the team, but they didn't know the details of how the remaining millions of sea tribes were killed. They thought it was done by the awakened defenders of Jiangnan city. But now it seems that it was still done by Haokian. No wonder Jiangnan city wants to push all the credit to Haokian. Isn't this promotion? Who dares to take the credit of Haokian at this time? A deafening roar and a breath of destruction. Under the coverage of thousands of clones with S-level initial strength, countless sea beasts were killed. And the clones also disappeared because the sea beasts they targeted were killed. Yi Xiaotian was not in a hurry. This round of attack killed tens of thousands of sea beasts, directly clearing a corner of the sea beast army that surrounded Jigu City. Such a scene shocked Jigu City. Although they didn't know who did it, no matter who it was, as long as they killed sea beasts, it was good for them. And such momentum is too shocking. The two deputy city lords Qin Dong and Hao Yan who were fighting knew the details and knew that support was coming. The two shouted loudly, everyone, our support is here. You just saw it. With such support, the sea beasts are not a concern. Let's kill them. The arrival of support boosted the spirits of the awakened people who were originally depressed. This is the morale boosted by seeing hope. Morale is a great thing. At critical moments, it can even allow people to exert 200% combat effectiveness. For a time, the awakened people of Zhigu City, who were originally suppressed by the Sea Beasts, burst out with amazing combat effectiveness and suppressed the offensive of the Sea Beast Army. This change gave the awakened people of Zhigu City a brief respite. This is all temporary. If you want to completely resolve the crisis of Zhigu City, you can only look at the situation of the supporting army. Yes, with such a big momentum, in the eyes of the defensive awakened people of Zhigu City, there must be a large army coming. The chief information officer and the assistant city lord of Zhigu City did not stay any longer, but chose to return to the city head first. Some things needed to be communicated with them. The attacks of these clones of Yi Xiaotian did not have the automatic enemy identification function. Only the teammate identification function. This was set by the rules of reincarnation. This is not a game. You can turn on the enemy attack mode, and it is good enough to turn on the team attack mode. In this real world where it is difficult to identify the enemy, the real enemy identification still depends on the eyes of the awakened. Otherwise, the heretic organization would not be able to grow and develop. So they had to go back and communicate with the two deputy city lords, and let the awakened people of Zhigu city not get close to Yi Xiaotian. 
they just need to shrink the defense line, and leave the Sea Beast Army outside to the Houtian team. The two bypassed the Sea Beast Army and returned directly to the top of Jigu City to find the two deputy city lords. Tell them the news to avoid accidental injuries. The momentum of Yi Xiaotian's attack just now was witnessed by the two deputy city lords, and they were shocked. They were all S-level awakeners, and it was completely unimaginable that using a talent skill could cause such destruction. He was indeed worthy of being the legendary god Haokian. It seems that the matter in Jiangnan city is not exaggerated at all. It was really done by the great god Haokian. Very good, with him, the crisis in Jigu city will be solved. On the Haokian team side. Everyone else is ready for battle. Only Xiao Cheng, although he has Yi Xiaotian's amplification skills, can only stay with the team for the time being because his awakening level is too low. After all, he belongs to melee combat. But Peng Xianyu is different. He is a long-range psychic who can choose weak enemies to attack. Just now, Yi Xiaotian launched a nightmare, which made their attribute points rise. Just one attack is equal to the hard work of Xiao Cheng in the past few months. Not to mention the shock in my heart, this can't be copied. I can only remember it silently in my heart. No wonder Yi Xiaotian wants to go to the alien battlefield. This kind of scene, I am afraid, can only be seen every day in the alien battlefield. After all, this scene of hundreds of thousands of sea beasts besieging the base city is also rare. In the entire Xia country, I'm afraid only Jigu City and Jiangnan City have it. Although other coastal base cities have also been attacked by sea beasts, the intensity is obviously not comparable to these two large base cities. After just one encounter, Peng Xiangyu has already reached the conditions for promotion to be level awakener. And Xiao Cheng is almost there. It is estimated that after this wave of fighting is over, the two of them can go to the promotion dungeon. Chapter 322 after receiving the news, the two deputy city lords immediately sent a message to let all the awakened people in Jigu City defend close to the city wall and not rush too far. Melee warriors are full of blood and energy. Many times, they are so excited that they rush directly into the sea beasts without caring about anything. Fortunately, although there are many sea beasts, they are all low level and medium level. The real high level sea creatures did not take action. They all hid behind to command the battle. After all, it is not an easy task for the sea creatures to achieve their strategic goals. The sea creatures have been hiding in the seabed for hundreds of years. Without human fishing, it can be said that they are overcrowded. The cannon fodder to be eliminated this time is calculated in billions. And most of them are low level sea beasts. In this way, they can not only achieve their strategic goals, but also consume the manpower of the human race, and let the alien races see their efforts. It can be said to kill several birds with one stone. For now, Yi Xiaotian can only guess these few goals. And this is the information transmitted from the giant spider crab, and then the comprehensive judgment is made. As for whether the Sea clan has more plans, Yi Xiaotian is not sure now, but he has ordered the giant spider crab to find out more information. Although the giant spider crab is an S-level awakened sea clan, after all, there are no telling how many like it there are in the sea clan. Otherwise, it would not stay in the shallow sea near Jiangqing. The real elites of the sea clan are all in the deep sea. So the efficiency of finding out this news is not so high. However, Yi Xiaotian always believes that as long as the human race is prepared, there is no need to worry too much. What really needs to be worried is the battlefield of the alien race. Once the human race gains an advantage there, I believe the sea clan will also make corresponding actions. Maybe at that time, they will turn their guns around and kill directly into the alien space plane. After all, the native area of Blue Star is not large, and the area occupied by the human race is also very limited. So Yi Xiaotian estimated that the Sea Clan should be more interested in the territory of the alien race. Not to mention the Sea Race, even Yi Xiaotian himself is interested in the alien race's territory. Blue Star's homeland? How to say it? After decades of war, the previous appearance has basically changed. Basically, except for the base city, other places are already dilapidated. 
everywhere is in ruins after the war. The most important thing is that the resources are severely depleted. And most of the area of Blue Star is still ocean. This is also one of the reasons why Yi Xiaotian suspects that the sea race has impure intentions. After the war, the area of land actually occupied by the human race on Blue Star is not even one-tenth of the ocean area. And for more than a hundred years, the human race has been fighting with the alien race. There is no way to compare with the sea race. The accumulated strength of the sea race may really be able to compete with the alien race. While thinking, Yi Xiaotian did not stop the action in his hand. A large area was cleared in front, so Yi Xiaotian had to keep changing places. Let his nightmare, skill have the possibility of triggering. Yi Xiaotian was constantly clearing the army of sea beasts in the sky, while the members of the Haokian team were below, slowly advancing towards Shigu City. Cleaning up some fish that slipped through the net. They were not in a hurry. Feeling the rapid growth of attribute points, they even lost the motivation to hunt sea beasts. Why should we work hard if we can win by lying down? The problem is that no matter how hard they try, they can't catch up with the pace of lying down. The attribute points that Yi Xiaotian gave them in such a short time are enough for their efforts for several months or even a year. How can this be compared? The others were already used to it, but Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were very excited. This is definitely a great success. They didn't expect that they really hit the jackpot during the summer camp. Recalling when they first met Yi Xiaotian, they wanted to wrestle with him. Now thinking about it, they are a little scared. Fortunately, they were not so stupid at that time, otherwise the grass on their graves would be more than three feet high now. They could even imagine how easy it would be for Yi Xiaotian to kill them at that time. I'm afraid even the teachers in the school won't be able to rescue them in time. When faced with such a pervert, no matter how advanced the rescue mechanism is, it's useless. Not to mention that the two of them are still just there to help, even Han Xuyao and Wang Hao are not very active. In the Haotian team, their presence is really getting lower and lower. I don't know when they can really grow up. They can fight side by side with Yi Xiaotian. Now the gap between them and Yi Xiaotian is still too far, they can't help at all, and not dragging their feet is already the limit. But as Yi Xiaotian said, why rush? There are a lot of things for you to do later, and your current task is to make yourself stronger. He even explained to them why Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu joined the team. It's to cultivate their own power. It's not clear now, when these team members really grow up and are promoted to S-level Awakening Masters, or even SS-level Awakening Masters. The power of these people will be truly revealed. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian also assured them that they didn't have to worry about the issue of talent grade. With him, any problem can be solved. In the final analysis, it is because they grew too fast and their mentality is a little unstable. In just a few months, they have been promoted to B-level Awakeners. Generally speaking, according to the normal growth logic of geniuses, after awakening their talents, it is impossible to be promoted to B-level Awakeners without a few years. After quickly gaining power, they want to show themselves. They don't have the opportunity to show themselves here with Yi Xiaotian, so they feel frustrated. This is also normal. Yi Xiaotian can understand it. After all, he can still guess these psychological feelings after living two lives. If it is not a special period, Yi Xiaotian would like to take them to normal awakeners to let them show themselves, so as not to hit their self-confidence. But now, the situation is special, and we can only take it one step at a time. Talk to them more often to relieve their depression. It just so happens that there seems to be an Awakener University in Jigu City. Otherwise, let them go to Jigu Awakener University to show their faces. Boom! Wang Hao raised his shield and killed a class BC creature Awakener. He spat, picked up the shield, and continued to move forward. He didn't even need the sword now. The shield was very handy, very violent, and very fulfilling. In comparison, Chang Xiaoxi's innate skills were more defensive, so the daily defense of the Haokian team was entirely her responsibility. Xiao Qing held a sword in his hand, eager to fight side by side with Brother Hao. Peng Xiangyu followed the rhythm of Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, and occasionally sent out an attack. 
Huang Jia looked calm, slacking off with a clear conscience, and paying attention to Wang Hao's status at any time. Wang Hao was a shield warrior. Agility was originally his weakness, but with the blessing of Huang Jia's innate skills, his combat reaction could be several times faster, and his combat effectiveness soared. As for Sun Yao, she was the most insignificant for the time being. Chapter 323 Sun Yao is an indispensable person in this team. She is a healing awakener and a talent that is being fought over everywhere. That is, the situation of the Houtian team is special. Yi Xiaotian's combat power is too high, and he has too many talents and skills, which are too abnormal. Let the Houtian team have no chance to get hurt. But she, a healing awakener, is not in a hurry. Her mentality is very good. It is better if she doesn't have to work hard. Because once she works hard, it means that someone in the team will be injured. These are all her brothers and sisters, and she doesn't want them to get hurt. I say, after this battle, we won't really go to the alien battlefield, right? Ping Xiangyu casually smashed out a soft finger, killed a D-level sea beast, and then said casually. Why, are you afraid? Xiao Qing said with contempt, holding the sword in both hands. Ping Xiangyu was anxious and said, who said I was afraid? I'm just worried that my weak strength will drag down brother Tian. Aren't you afraid? Xiao Qing felt that there was no difference. Ping Xiangyu became even more anxious, Xiao Qing, you know that's not what I meant. Okay, I think you guys are really idle. You can quarrel even in such a situation. Huang Jia said unhappily. Xiao Qing said, what kind of situation is this? For brother Tian, isn't this a small situation? Huang Jia was choked by him. Of course, comrade Xiao Cheng, seeing your thick eyebrows and big eyes, I originally thought you were an upright and good comrade, but I didn't expect that you are also a master of flattery. Huang Jia said with admiration. He is just a slick villain. Peng Xiangyu added. Xiao Cheng. I just told the truth, how did I become a master of flattery? Even a slick villain, it is simply a blatant slander. If this period is confirmed, his reputation for life will be ruined. You're talking nonsense. Xiao Cheng was anxious, Peng Xiangyu, if you keep talking nonsense, I'll never let you go. He's anxious, he's anxious. Peng Xiangyu was not afraid of him at all and continued to tease. Okay, stop arguing, we're still on the battlefield, can you respect this place? Han Shuyao said unhappily. The captain's wife spoke, and Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Qing immediately shut up. Indeed, it's a bit out of place, this is a battlefield. Others are still fighting over there, but they are arguing here, which is indeed a bit outrageous. Speed up, we have to quickly approach the city wall and help kill the enemy. The current situation in Jigu City is not good, they can't just wait here. They have to rush to the city wall to help. Yi Xiaotian's innate skill nightmare, is indeed effective against large enemy armies. But he is only one person, so they need to clean up the enemies near the city wall. Sister Xuyao, what should we do with the support? If we are too far away from Brother Tian, we won't be able to continue. Huang Jie quickly reminded. They only have the strength of B-level awakeners, but it is because of Yi Xiaotian's support skills that their strength has been greatly improved to the strength of A-level high-level awakeners. Once the time of this support skill is over, without effective supplementation, the strength will be greatly reduced. From A-level high-level awakener to B-level awakener, the reduction in combat power is not just a little bit, but more than 10 or 20 times. At that time, they are deeply trapped in the army of sea beasts, and it will be a big problem for them to get out. Han Xuyao said, I just calculated that half an hour is enough for Brother Tian to clear out most of the Sea Beast Army. Even if they kill them inside, the Sea Beast Army will retreat first. But I don't know if the guardians of Jigu City can still hold on for half an hour. After hearing what she said, Huang Jie said, Okay, listen to you, Sister Xuyao. Han Xuyao immediately added, Sun Yao, when we get there, except for the necessary treatment, don't worry about anything else. Wait until the war is over. We must first ensure our own combat effectiveness. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, you two should be careful later. 
we may not be able to take care of you too much. Sister Xu Yao, don't worry, we will be careful. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu said together. After Wang Hao knew Han Xu Yao's plan, he stopped playing, picked up the big shield, and rushed forward quickly. Behind him was Chang Xiaosi, who held up a golden bell, covered everyone in it, and lifted everyone up to run towards Jigu City. Regardless of Chang Xiaosi's talent level, she is now a real B-level awakener, so her various methods are more perfect. She couldn't do it before, such as carrying so many people to run together. But now, she can do it easily. She holds Jin Zhong, and Jin Zhong holds the team members and protects their safety, killing two birds with one stone. As the strength of the members of the Haokian team increases, the magical skills that they can show as awakeners are getting stronger and stronger. Chang Xiaosi was originally a defensive martial arts awakener, but now she has found her own position. With Huang Jie's agility blessing, her speed has also increased greatly, and she can quickly send the entire team to any position. You can also send any teammate to a designated position. There are many advantages to doing this, not only can it ensure the safety of teammates during the operation, but also save precious time. For example, now, with Chang Xiaosi holding them up, they are countless times faster than they can move on their own. After all, it is well known that the psychics are weak. Xiao Cheng was envious. Sure enough, B-level Awakeners are different. Every time the Awakener's level is upgraded, it is a process of qualitative change from quantitative change. And the higher the level, the greater the change. The level of B-level Awakener can be said to be a watershed for Awakeners. It marks that this Awakener has successfully entered the intermediate level and is a person from a different world from the low-level Awakeners. Correspondingly, the promotion to B-level Awakeners also greatly improves their strength. Xiao Cheng is currently only a C-level Awakener, but he will soon be promoted to B-level Awakener. So while envying Chang Xiaosi, he is also looking forward to it. Huang Jia waved his staff, and another ray of light fell on Chang Xiaosi, giving her the skill blessing of agility enhancement. Fatty, look carefully and don't waste your psychic power. Han Xu Yao reminded. The effective time of the assistance that Fatty had given them before has not yet disappeared, and now Fatty has renewed it for Chang Xiaosi. On the surface, it is for continuous assistance. But from the perspective of sustainable combat, Fatty's behavior of wasting supernatural power is not advisable. It may not be a big deal now, but if he develops this habit, it will be fatal at a critical moment. Yes, Sister Xu Yao, I understand. Fatty Huang Jia also knew that he had done something wrong, and quickly admitted his mistake and said that he would correct it. Soon, their group was close to the Zhigu city wall. Chapter, 324 Many people in Zhigu city did not recognize this sudden awakening team. Although they knew that they had come to support, they mostly speculated that it might be sent by the Night Watch Corps. Otherwise, how could such a big momentum be created? In such a scene, at least thousands of high-level awakeners would attack together. However, where did so many high-level awakeners come from in the territory of Xia? But they did not have the extra brains to think about these problems at this moment. Now Wang Hao and his men came close to them, and they were all a little dumbfounded. Is this their support? No, the movement over there has not stopped, and there are signs that it is gradually spreading to the surroundings. Very good, very powerful. It seems that the awakening team in front of them is just here to make soy sauce, and the one over there is the real support. But they don't know that the chief information officer and the city lord's assistant of Jigu City know it. Then the two deputy city lords also knew it, and they hurried down the city wall to greet them. After the two sides introduced themselves, Han Xuyao said, City Lord Qin, City Lord Hao, you don't have to worry about us, we can kill the sea beasts by ourselves. You just continue to command the guards of Jigu City. Han Xuyao and the others came to help, not to cause trouble. The two deputy city lords naturally had no objection, but just reminded them to pay attention to safety and go back to command and participate in the battle. Many awakened people saw this scene, especially the superpowers on the top of the city, almost all of them saw it. They all guessed in their hearts who was coming, could it be some second generation? They couldn't help but doubt that such treatment was not available to everyone. 
However, seeing that the Haokin team immediately joined the battle, they didn't care too much and thought they were wrong. This is to rescue. Based on the current situation in Jigu City, it is reasonable for the Awakened team to come to rescue, not to mention the two deputy city lords, even if the city lord personally came out to welcome and entertain them. That is, the current situation is special, otherwise it is estimated that they would have to treat them with good food and drink. At this moment, a cry of surprise came from the battlefield. A member of the B-level awakening team was accidentally pierced in the chest by the claws of a crab general. Fortunately, his teammates reacted in time and snatched him back from the crab general. It was just that the chest was pierced, such a serious injury, there was no way to treat it without professional treatment and assistance from the awakener. Even if he was sent to the hospital now, ordinary medical skills could not save him. For a while, the whole team was very sad. Other awakening teams nearby rushed over to escort them. Hurry up and send him to the hospital. Someone shouted. Unexpectedly, the B-level awakener said, No need, I know my injury myself, unless a healer appears now, otherwise it will definitely be useless. Originally, Jigu City had healing awakeners, but the battle lasted too long and there were few of them, so all the healers were so busy that they fell down. As a result, there are no healers available on the battlefield now. Obviously, the B-level Awakener also knew this situation. He couldn't waste everyone's time because of him. Seeing victory was in sight, he couldn't let the good situation change because of him. Brother, you keep fighting for the millions of people in Jigu City. The voice of the seriously injured B-level Awakener was a little weak, but his tone was very firm. His teammates all burst into tears. This is a tough guy. Brother, I'm sorry, it's my brother who didn't take good care of you. As the commander of the team and a long-range psychic, he just didn't help his brother block the attack of the crab general in time. He felt guilty. Brother, don't say that. I have never regretted being able to become a comrade in arms with you. But on the road ahead, I can't accompany you anymore. After the B-level awakener finished speaking, he was already very weak. He was about to die. At this moment, a green light fell on him, and then he saw the wound on his chest heal at a speed visible to the naked eye. This scene made the team members stunned. Are there any healers in Jigu City who can fight? Why are you still standing there? The sea beasts will not stop attacking you just because you are in a daze. Just when they were surprised, the awakened person of the team next to them could not stand it anymore. Brother, thank you. The captain hurriedly thanked him. Why thank us? It's not us. Our team doesn't have any healers. Look, it was the healer of the young team over there who did it. If you want to thank them, thank them. He pointed and turned his attention to the Haokian team. The members of this team are indeed too young. They have not yet gotten rid of their childishness and look like they just came out of school. Unexpectedly, they actually have a healer. It's really a stroke of luck. Generally speaking, awakened people of the healing system join many high-level awakened teams, so that they can quickly improve their strength and get good protection. Healers are very rare. Many high-level awakened teams do not have such teammates, so they can only rely on robbing. These teams are not incapable of training their own healers, but they simply do not have healers. Without awakening-related talents, you can't learn healing skills at all. What can you do? So there is a saying that it is easy to find a support system, but it is difficult to find a healer. Thank you. The people of this awakened team all thanked Sun Yao loudly. Sun Yao waved her hand and pointed at the sea beast that was still attacking. The meaning was very clear, asking them to be careful of the sea beast. But the people of that team thought that this little beauty must be asking them to work hard to kill the enemy. So they joined the fighting team again, and even fought more fiercely. It may also be because of the addition of the healer that the morale of the human awakeners has increased greatly, and their movements have become bigger. Some close combats don't even care whether they will be injured. Anyway, now there is a healer, even if they are seriously injured, they can be treated. The difference between awakened healers and ordinary doctors is that doctors can only treat general injuries. And healers are visual awakening levels and can treat various serious injuries. The other person's chest was pierced just now. 
This kind of fatal injury, after a healing spell, he was alive and kicking. This level is definitely not low. Then there is nothing to worry about, just rush in. If Sun Yao knew what these people were thinking, she would regret taking action just now. This is really trying to tire her to death. Fortunately, thinking of the captain's advantage, she felt relieved. The battle should not last too long. Chapter, 325 The battle did not last too long. The awakened people standing in Jigu City also gradually felt it, because no new sea beasts appeared behind. The endless stream of sea beasts was cut off. Suddenly, cheers came from the top of the city. The awakened people who were fighting under the city were stunned for a moment, and then they also found that the endless tide of sea beasts had stopped, and they cheered immediately. The hands that were originally a little soft became hard again, and the slightly curled swords slashed at the sea beasts fiercely. Among them, the strongest combat power was still the Haotian team. Under the increase of Yi Xiaotian's talent skills, most people's actual combat power reached the high level of A level, and they fought in a team. So among these sea beasts, there was no one who could match them. Even if one attack did not kill them, there were still people who could make up for it. Within half an hour, all the sea beasts near the city wall were cleared, and there were no more sea beasts coming behind. So this war, Jigu City won. At least, it was a victory for the time being. Yi Xiaotian's work was almost done. This time, he killed hundreds of thousands of sea beasts by himself. He killed so many high-level awakeners on the sea clan side that they hurriedly called for a halt. Yi Xiaotian's combat power was too abnormal. The combat power of one person could be comparable to that of a thousand-man legion, and it was a legion composed of high-level awakeners. Once this conclusion came out, they knew that no matter how many cannon fodders came, it would be useless. This was all sending heads, or aiding the enemy. So after some discussion, they decided to withdraw their troops temporarily. As for the next action, they had to discuss it before making plans. Although the Sea Clan didn't care about cannon fodder. But that was recommended for the sake of cannon fodder's meritorious service. If you just send yourself to die, what's the point? Even more, if you send too many, the human race can use the corpses of the Sea Clan to improve their strength. This is actually aiding the enemy. But no matter what, the crisis of Jigu City was temporarily resolved. The awakened people in Jigu City also had a chance to take a breather and rest. Those who need to recover can recover, and those who need to rest can rest. Prepare well for the next wave of attacks from the Sea Clan. It was at this time that everyone knew that the so-called supporting army this time was actually just an awakened team. And it was the Haotian team that shocked the world of reincarnation. Haotian led the team personally. And the big man who showed his divine power and killed the Sea Clan army and directly withdrew to the sea was Haotian himself. At this time, the awakened people in Jigu City found that Haotian was worthy of being the new son of the will of reincarnation, and there was really no comparison. The people of the Haotian team were received by the City Lord's mansion in person. City Lord Wei Lian was anxious to contact the higher-ups, so he told his assistant what to do next and let the two deputy city lords take charge. Who would have thought that when he communicated with the higher-ups and came out again, the war was over. Apart from sighing that he was worthy of being called the great god Haotian, he had nothing else to say. Then he praised the Haotian team as if they were his ancestors. There was no other way, Jigu City was saved by them and he might need to ask for help in the future. If he didn't praise them now, how could he ask for help later? The expected famous scene in Jiangqing did not happen. After all, the Awakeners in Jigu City had reached their limit at this time. They just wanted to sleep for three days, so they had no energy to flatter the great god Haotian. As for what will happen after they have rested, we will talk about it later. So Yi Xiaotian took advantage of these few days to let Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu pass the B-level Awakener promotion dungeon first, and then took them to brush the team dungeon. Then he prepared to go to the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian knew very well that the route of the Sea Clan's landing this time was on the alien battlefield. If the route was not cut off, it would be useless even if he killed the sky and the dark on the Blue Star mainland. He didn't know exactly how many sea creatures there were, 
but he also learned something from the giant spider crab. The sea was almost full, which was a clue. After all, he was still a human being and would get tired. The coastal cities of Xia alone had already exhausted him. If the scope was expanded to the whole world, it would be useless even if he died of exhaustion. So after thinking about it, it was more reliable to cut off the roots. So after two days of rest in Jigu City, he was ready to say goodbye to the city lord Wei Lian and others. Although hundreds of thousands of sea beasts were killed this time, it was a pity that they were all low-level and medium-level, which had limited impact on their strength improvement. Of course, if these sea beasts were killed by Han Shuyao and others themselves, perhaps the drop rate of attribute points would be higher. But as for Yi Xiaotian, forget it, it's equal to nothing. Fortunately, Peng Xianyu and Xiao Qing met the requirements for promotion to be level awakeners. So the current situation of the Haotian team is that except for Yi Xiaotian himself who is an S-level awakener. The other teammates are all B-level awakeners. With this configuration, they are already qualified to go to the alien battlefield. The only shortcoming is that they are too young and relatively lack experience. This is also the reason why Xiao Cheng and Peng Xianyu are unsure. Wei Lian really wants to keep Yi Xiao Tian and the others, as the situation in Jigu City is not good. Although the Sea Tribe has temporarily retreated, he knows very well that the Sea Tribe will definitely come back. When the time comes, it remains to be seen whether they can still block it. Therefore, if Yi Xiao Tian stays, he can ensure the safety of Jigu City and the safety of the capital. Lord of the City Guard, I also want to stay, but you also know that the root cause of this war lies in the alien battlefield. If it is not solved, our homeland will never have peace. Yi Xiaotian explained. When Wei Lian heard that Yi Xiaotian was going to the foreign battlefield, he immediately did not dare to force him to stay. What Yi Xiaotian said makes sense. If Yi Xiaotian stays, he can protect the safety of Jigu City. But what about other coastal base cities? What if the High Clan breaks through the coastal base city and attacks the hinterland of Xia Kingdom? Yi Xiaotian can defend Jigu City or even the capital, but can he defend the entire Xia Kingdom by himself? Going one step further, if the Sea Clan conquers all the other countries in Blue Star, can the Xia Kingdom still be able to hold on? Although it is difficult now, it is better than a hundred years ago. Wei Lian praised, Mr. Haotian, I won't say more. I wish you all the best. I'm waiting for news of your triumphant victory in Jigu City. He admired Yi Xiaotian's decision. He knew only too well the cruelty and danger of the alien battlefield. It can be said that as far as Yi Xiaotian is concerned, going to a foreign battlefield is ten times more dangerous. But Yi Xiaotian still decided to go. This is what a strong person should do. I am happy and gratified for the human race and for the Xia kingdom to have such a strong person. Chapter, 326 The alien battlefield is an independent space, or a small world, a buffer zone connecting the alien plane and the blue star. Since the arrival of the Samsara Tower, there has been no idleness there. The human race and the alien race have been fighting there for years, big or small. Such an important strategic buffer zone is naturally something that neither race is willing to give up. Otherwise, the war will burn to the homeland. And it is not so easy to enter and exit such an important place. So if Yi Xiaotian and his friends want to enter the alien battlefield, they have to get a ticket first, or an identity certificate. This is also to prevent heretical organizations from entering the alien battlefield and destroying internal unity. Although it cannot be completely eliminated, at least it can be done as much as possible. More importantly, almost all teams entering the alien battlefield are registered online, and once there is an internal disunity, they can also be investigated immediately. It is not that at that time, even the investigation does not know where to start. Yi Xiaotian does not know the situation here. This is still Wei Lian who told him that it is better to go to the Awakener Association before going to the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian is not an official person yet, so if he wants to get a ticket, he can only go to the Awakener Association. Yi Xiaotian and his friends are all registered in the Awakener Association. Fortunately, there is a branch of the Awakener Association in Jigu City. 
In the past, Yi Xiaotian dealt with the Awakener Association in the reincarnation world, and he has never communicated with people from the Awakener Association in the real world. However, with the endorsement of the city lord Wei Lian, it is not a problem at all. And the identities of Yi Xiaotian and his friends can be said to be of good origin. So the Awakener Association first expressed a warm welcome to their arrival. After understanding their purpose, they said that they needed to ask their superiors for instructions on this matter. Of course, they explained that it was not that they did not believe in Yi Xiaotian and his friends' identities. But Yi Xiaotian's identity was too important. They were all hooked at the top. Such people want to go to dangerous places like alien battlefields, so they must be cautious again and again. If he rashly issued the entry and exit certificate, if something happened to this person in the alien battlefield, then the Zhigu City Awakener Association branch would be blamed. Yi Xiaotian was a little amused. It was originally an extremely simple matter, but why did it become so troublesome when it came to him? Now the alien battlefield is tight, he brought people to support, but there are still people who are unwilling. It's just that the staff of the Awakener Association are very polite, and they are even more cautious when facing him, for fear that Yi Xiaotian will be angry or something. Yi Xiaotian really has no temper at all. A group of people can only wait in the Awakener Association. The Awakener Association has a person who is specifically responsible for connecting and communicating with Yi Xiaotian, that is Deacon Wu. This Awakener Association in the reincarnation world has met and communicated with Yi Xiaotian several times, and the friendship is okay. But Yi Xiaotian has always been a dragon that can't be seen from the head and tail, and he has no way. He can only leave a message to Yi Xiaotian, but whether Yi Xiaotian can see it or when he sees it is not something he can control. Recently, he heard that Yi Xiaotian was very powerful in the real world, and he was also very happy. As Yi Xiaotian's special person in charge, the Awakener Association immediately notified Deacon Wu as soon as it received the report from the Zhigu City branch. Deacon Wu knew Yi Xiaotian best. And he was the only one who knew the care and policies of many senior executives for Yi Xiaotian best. So whether Yi Xiaotian could go to the alien battlefield, he naturally had to ask Deacon Wu to see if there was any special explanation from above. Deacon Wu was also shocked when he heard that Yi Xiaotian was going to the alien battlefield. But what made him very anxious was that Yi Xiaotian went to the alien battlefield and didn't look for him. Could it be that Yi Xiaotian had any opinion on him? Thinking of this, Deacon Wu was shocked. Recently, because he was responsible for contacting Yi Xiaotian, his status and position in the Awakener Association rose. If Yi Xiaotian had any opinion on him, then all the things he had enjoyed before would be gone. So he had to figure this out. He contacted the person in charge of the Awakener Association in Zhigu City and asked them to keep Yi Xiaotian first. He would go to Zhigu City from Beijing. As for the danger of going from Beijing to Zhigu City, he naturally ignored it. Yi Xiaotian had no idea about Deacon Wu's psychological activities. He heard that someone from Beijing came to communicate with him directly, so he could only wait. Fortunately, there was no rush to go to the alien battlefield in one or two days. Two hours later, Deacon Wu arrived in Zhigu City and went directly to the Awakener Association in Zhigu City to meet Yi Xiaotian. Mr. Yi, we finally meet in reality. Deacon Wu was very excited. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Damn, it's right to say so, but you say it in this tone, I'm afraid someone will misunderstand it. Deacon Wu ignored Yi Xiaotian's confusion and directly told his purpose. No, I have no opinion on you, but I didn't know that going to the alien battlefield required approval. I thought that as long as you are a human awakener, you can go there freely. Yi Xiaotian explained. Deacon Wu was relieved. It's good that Yi Xiaotian has no opinion on him. Yi Xiaotian said, you didn't make a special trip just for this matter, did you? Deacon Wu looked a little embarrassed. Of course, things can't be said like this. Of course not, Mr. Yi, you also know that the higher-ups are very concerned about you, so I must personally communicate with you face to face about your going to the alien battlefield. First of all, I must tell you that the situation in the alien battlefield is not very good now. It is very dangerous. I will only tell you these words. 
now the alien battlefield has the upper hand. We set up five lines of defense in the alien battlefield, and the aliens have broken through two of them in succession. If there were not several supreme strongmen in person, I am afraid that the third line of defense would have been broken by the aliens. Yi Xiaotian heard this and said, Is the situation serious enough? Then I have to go to the alien battlefield. Deacon Wu was a little entangled. From a safety perspective, it is naturally safer for Yi Xiaotian to stay on Blue Star. But what Yi Xiaotian said makes sense. No egg is left unbroken when the nest is overturned. If the defense line of the alien battlefield is breached and the aliens invade Blue Star again, then the entire Blue Star will be unsafe. So from this perspective, letting Yi Xiaotian go to the alien battlefield is the most correct choice. Whether it is outside Jiangnan City or outside Jigu City, Yi Xiaotian has demonstrated his strength and advantages. It can be said that he can match a high-level legion on the battlefield alone. It is indeed a huge waste to leave such a big killer on Blue Star instead of putting it on the battlefield. Chapter, 327 Deacon Wu was entangled. He couldn't make this decision either. The impact was too great, and he couldn't afford the consequences, so he could only continue to report it. Yi Xiaotian was numb. I was going to the alien battlefield by myself, how could I not have any autonomy at all? Mr. Yi, you are the future of our human race, and the Supreme Lord values you very much, so you are fine in the country, with your ability, you can travel freely. But the alien battlefield is different, it is the most dangerous, and I can tell you that in the mainland of Blue Star, no matter where you go, the Supreme Lord can keep you safe. But if you go to the alien battlefield, it will be different. Even the Supreme Lord can't reach there. Yi Xiaotian was shocked when he heard it, and said, didn't the Supreme Lord go to the deep sea? Deacon Wu said, when they reach that level, they can know everything in the world with just one thought. No matter where you are, as long as you are in danger, he can lend a helping hand. Is it true, so godly? Could it be that he really became a god when he reached the level of the supreme power? He only knew that the supreme strong were between SS and SS levels. Their strength far exceeded SS level, but they had not yet reached SS level and became masters. So he did not know what specific skills and magical powers this level had. Now, according to what Deacon Wu said, no matter where the sword god was, as long as he wanted, he could know his situation. This was too terrifying. Could it really be that one could know everything in the world with just one thought? It was not so weird, right? Yi Xiaotian was a little unconvinced. But if he really became a god, or if he was on the verge of becoming a god, it was possible. After all, Yi Xiaotian's understanding of the gods only existed in legends. Powerful gods were indeed omnipotent. But he was actually not very clear about what specific skills the high-level awakeners in this world had. His path to promotion was too fast. He had not even fully understood some of the skills of the S-level awakeners. This was the shortcoming of wild awakeners who had not been systematically cultivated. But no matter what, his current level shortcoming can be completely supplemented by a large number of talents and skills. That is to say, if you don't have enough strength, you can make up for it with talents. I just have many talents and skills, so what? So he said to Deacon Wu calmly, the situation on the alien battlefield is not good, I have to go there, otherwise the situation of the human race will be even worse. It is enough to have the Supreme Lord in charge on the mainland. My advantage is more suitable for large-scale war scenes. The alien battlefield needs me. So don't waste time, give me a certificate quickly. If it weren't for the proof that he couldn't enter the alien battlefield, Yi Xiaotian would not be willing to talk to him here. With this time, they all killed their way into the alien battlefield. In addition to solving the crisis of the human race on Blue Star, the alien battlefield is also an important place for Yi Xiaotian to improve his strength. There is no improvement in slaughtering low-level alien beasts on Blue Star. Not to mention attribute points, even the talent skills are not dropped. Only the life essence is not leaked. However, because the enemy's awakening level is too low, the amount of life essence is not large. After all, you can earn more by killing one A-level alien beast than by killing 100 F-level sea beasts. 
On the alien battlefield, there are so many mid- and high-level alien beasts that you can't kill them all. Yi Xiaotian is almost drooling. That's the paradise for awakeners. If Deacon Wu knew what Yi Xiaotian was thinking, he would be so angry that he would vomit blood. People are afraid of the alien battlefield like a tiger, but you actually said that it is the paradise for awakeners. That's the real hell. The meat grinder for awakeners. You actually think that such a terrifying place is a paradise, you are definitely crazy. But it is obvious that Deacon Wu's status is not equal to Yi Xiaotian. If Yi Xiaotian is a little stronger, he can't stand it. He can only honestly apply for a certificate for Yi Xiaotian, and as soon as Yi Xiaotian and others leave, he will hurry back to the capital. He has to meet the highest level of the Awakener Association in person and pass this news to the Supreme Lord. This is the task given to him by the boss. If anything happens to Yi Xiaotian, he will die without redemption. Such a big pot, he, a small deacon, can't bear it, he has to pull the big boss out to bear it. Once the intelligence of this matter is reported, he will have nothing to do with it. Although the big boss does not care about the specific affairs of the Awakener Association, he is the honorary president of the Awakener Association. Even if he is the real president, he dare not really regard him as an honor. He just doesn't want to be in charge. It's not that he really has no right to be in charge. When it comes to serious matters, a word from him can overturn the president. Besides, Yi Xiaotian is the person that the big boss personally named to protect. In a rage, he personally took action and destroyed the Shen family of the Demon City, causing many awakened families who were ready to move to stop. This is fucking, the top big boss has personally taken action, how can we play? Even if they don't like Yi Xiaotian, they have to honestly retract their hands. Therefore, no one dare to delay such a major event as Yi Xiaotian's going to the alien battlefield. After Deacon Wu reported it, it was reported up the chain of command. Finally, it was reported to the eldest disciple of the boss. Now, in the whole Xia country, only the eldest disciple of the Supreme Sword God can contact the boss. Soon, the eldest disciple conveyed the oral instructions of the Lord Sword God. Since Yi Xiaotian is confident, let him go and try, it's okay. These are the original words of the Lord Sword God. Those who received this reply were all shocked. They looked up to Yi Xiaotian again. It seems that they still underestimated the importance that the Lord Sword God holds in Yi Xiaotian. The key is that it's okay. What does it mean to be okay? It means that nothing will happen, even if the alien battlefield is dangerous, nothing will happen. This is a supreme strong man who can say such domineering words. The key is that the Lord Sword God is now in the deep sea and can't come back. There is definitely no way to intervene in the alien battlefield. So the Lord Sword God must have contacted several supreme strong men in the alien battlefield and asked them to take care of Yi Xiaotian. Although Yi Xiaotian is a Xia countryman, he is the treasure of all the human beings on Blue Star. Once he grows to the level of a supreme powerhouse, he will definitely be a sweeping existence. At that time, let alone the alien races, even if the sea race is included, the human race will not be afraid. What most people don't know is that the supreme powerhouses of the human race value Yi Xiaotian not only because he will become the sixth supreme powerhouse of the human race. With Yi Xiaotian's growth rate, he is likely to become the first master awakener in the history of the human race. In this way, the human race of Blue Star is completely stable. Chapter 328. Where is the entrance to the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian was a pure newbie, so he didn't know at all. And he walked too fast just now, so he didn't have time to ask Deacon Wu. After leaving the city, Yi Xiaotian realized that he didn't know where the entrance to the alien battlefield was. I should have asked Deacon Wu earlier. He was afraid that Deacon Wu would drag him and talk about everything, which would waste time, so he rushed out of the city. Outside Wanshan City in the southwest. Huang Jie played the role of the team information officer at this time. Southwest. Yi Xiaotian frowned. They had been running all over the country during this period, from the magic city to Jiangqing, then to Jiangnan City, then to Beijing City, and then to Zhigu City. Now they are going to the southwest. 
From Jigu City to Wanshan City in the southwest, they almost have to cross the entire Xia Kingdom. Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian has an armored vehicle and can kill all the way. At this stage, there should be no existence in the Xia Kingdom that can threaten his safety. If there is, it has been pressed into the deep sea by the Lord Sword God. The reason why this supreme strongman did not stay in the mainland was to block the powerful sea clan who could affect the war situation in the deep sea. If the battlefield is really pulled from the deep sea to the mainland, it is estimated that the aftermath of the battle can destroy a country. The battle of the supreme strongman level must not break out on land, otherwise it can easily destroy several countries and countless deaths. Let's get back to the point. Okay, the target is Wanshan City in the southwest, let's go. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and shouted, Wang Hao stepped on the accelerator, and the armored vehicle rushed out immediately. Southwest Wanshan City If the coastal base city is now the first line against the Sea Clan, then a hundred years ago, Southwest Wanshan City was the first line against land beasts. There are countless beasts living in the 10,000 mountains in the southwest. After the arrival of the Samsara Tower, these beasts also mutated, gave birth to spiritual intelligence, and then awakened their talents, the so-called Beast Awakeners. Collectively known as Alien Beast Awakeners. The difference between the native Beast Awakeners of Blue Star and the Awakeners of Alien Races is that the Awakeners of Alien Races have completed the key step of the evolution from beasts to human forms. Although the alien races still have the iconic parts of beasts, their appearance is basically close to that of humans. For example, they stand and walk with their feet and hands. The only difference is that they either have a beast head or a tail behind them. In addition, the fur on their bodies is also retained. But some races are different. And the higher the awakening level, the closer the appearance is to humans. Compared with the alien races, the native beasts of Blue Star are more primitive. Except that their body size has expanded several times, dozens of times, or even dozens or hundreds of times due to the awakening bloodline talent, there is no difference from before. And as their body size expands, their combat effectiveness also expands with the expansion of their body size. Basically, combat effectiveness is proportional to body size. The 10,000 mountains in the southwest are recognized by Xia country as the place with the most surviving beasts. The same is true after the arrival of the Samsara Tower. Southwest Wanshan City, standing on the front line of the 10,000 mountains in the southwest, has fought countless times with the awakened beasts inside. It can be said that Wanshan City is a steel-based city made of flesh and blood. The modeled city walls are dark red, and even the ground near the city walls is bloody red. Even plants can't grow in such a place. This city has witnessed a hundred years of reincarnation. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but the entrance and exit of Xia country to the alien battlefield is in these 10,000 mountains. Yi Xiaotian and his party traveled thousands of kilometers from Jigu city to southwest Wanshan city. If it was in the peaceful era more than a hundred years ago, such a distance would only take a few hours by plane. But it's not possible now. There are no planes, and only land vehicles can be used. And the roads now are incomparable to the past. In the past, drivers only had to step on the accelerator on various highways. But now, the road damage is more serious. Ordinary cars can't work at all. Only armored vehicles, which are tough and durable and have a high chassis, can run rampant. But even so, it took almost half a month to reach Wanshan City. Along the way, they can really be said to have killed their way all the way. It is not an exaggeration to say that they killed their way through the entire Xia Kingdom. Looking at the wall of Wanshan City, Huang Jia asked, Brother Tian, are we going in? Yi Xiao Tian glanced at him and said, You know Wanshan City very well. Huang Jia finally said, To be honest with Brother Tian, I am actually from the Huang family in Wanshan City. That's not right. You were born in Wanshan City. How could you come to our place to participate in the training camp? Wang Hao said puzzledly. Huang Jia glanced at Mu Bingyan and said, Aren't our places more popular? Damn! Wang Hao yelled, You geniuses are trying to take our places, right? Huang Jia said, Uh, Brother Hao, I swear to God, I didn't take your Jiangqing places. 
Fatty, who are you implying? Han Xuyao said. Huang Jia said, no, absolutely not. Seeing Mu Binyan's face getting colder, Huang Jia shuddered. This was a tough guy who even brother Tian didn't dare to talk back. She didn't dare to provoke him. And during this period, Mu Binyan's mood has not been very stable. He was even more afraid to run into the gun. The main reason is that we are too involuted here, so in order to find a way out, we can only disperse to some small base cities and occupy some quotas. Huang Jia explained. Some small places, although there are quotas, the quality of their awakened people is really worrying. So these geniuses in large base cities, who don't have quotas, will use such operations to get themselves into some activities. This is also to maximize benefits. You big cities have so many quotas, and our small cities have so few quotas, and they are still occupied by you. It's too abominable. Han Xuyao denounced. Huang Jia said, Sister-in-law, big cities have more quotas, but they can't stand up to geniuses. I have no choice. It's really that my talent is really not competitive in Wanshan City. Huang Jia is an auxiliary, and definitely an auxiliary among auxiliary. It is considered to be the second tier of the importance of auxiliary. So even though his talent rank is S level, his practicality is not even as good as some A level talent awakeners. He couldn't get a quota in Wanshan City, so he could only use his family's relationship to get a quota in a small city, and then he met Yi Xiao Tian and the others. In this way, Huang Jia is also the lucky one among the lucky ones. Okay, since we are at your house, let's go in and take a look. If you don't return to your hometown when you are rich, it's like walking in brocade clothes at night. What did Huang Jia mean before? Yi Xiao Tian now recalled it. Chapter 329. Although Yi Xiao Tian is in a hurry, he is still within a day or two. We have all arrived at the doorstep of our teammates, so there is no reason not to go in and visit. And in the past few months, Huang Jia has been using the resources of the Huang family to bring them a lot of information. There is even some information that cannot be bought with money outside. Saves them a lot of time and energy. So when I got here, I definitely wanted to visit the Huang family. This is different from the Xiao family in the capital and the Peng family in Jiangnan. At that time, neither Xiao Qing nor Peng Xiangyu made any contribution to the team. These are completely different things. Huang Jia was very happy when he heard that he could go back. He actually missed home and his parents. Just being able to join the Haotian team was the luckiest thing in his life, so he naturally had to follow the team. Moreover, not many people knew about his joining Haotian team. In the entire Huang family, only a few people knew about it. His parents, as well as several people in charge of intelligence collection in the Huang family. During this time, they took turns sitting in Samsara Square to provide information services to Huang Jia. Huang Jia's talent points were relatively low, so the Huang family thought that they could give Huang Jia extra points in terms of intelligence. I have to admit that Huang Jia's father's decision was a wise one. It can be said that Yi Xiaotian's preferences were determined by chance. Yi Xiaotian is the kind of person who treats you well every time you treat me. Huang Jia has joined Yi Xiaotian's small team since the temporary training camp. He has never looked down on Yi Xiaotian and others based on his status. Everyone gets along very well. When in danger, he didn't think about escaping first. He used his character to gain recognition from Yi Xiaotian and others. Even because of trust, Yi Xiao Tian never asked him about his origin, waiting for him to tell him. Brother Tian, our family is quite powerful in Wanshan City. I didn't tell you before because I didn't want to create any barriers in getting along with you. I just want to get along with you as an ordinary awakened person. Huang Jia explained to Yi Xiao Tian the original intention of concealing his identity. Wang Hao curled his lips and said, Pull him down, even if you come from a wealthy family we will treat you like an ordinary awakened person. Our brother Tian is someone who even personally protects the sword god. Are we still afraid that you will fall into disrepute? Huang Jia looked confused. Damn, what he said makes sense. Brother Tian has never seen anything, so why would he care about his identity? 
It seems, it seems, that maybe my cleverness has led to my being misled by my cleverness. Seeing Huang Jie's embarrassed look, everyone laughed kindly. Apart from a few people who came from Jiangcheng, there was also Sun Yao. Among the others, who could have a worse background than this yellow fat man? I didn't see Ba Xi taking it seriously. In Jiangnan City, Yi Xiaotian went to the Peng family in person. The Peng family tried their best to persuade him to stay, but Yi Xiaotian didn't hold back at all and left immediately after speaking. Moreover, the person Yi Xiaotian met was the ancestor of the Peng family. When he arrived in the capital, he didn't even enter the city. Whether it's the Mu family or the Xiao family, it's just like that. Now Yi Xiaotian can kill an SS level C clan powerful man with a single sword. Even the patriarch of a wealthy family, or even the ancestor, must treat him as an equal or even superior when facing him. Fatty Huang was made stupid by himself. Brother Tian, can I still be saved? Huang Jie said with a sad face. Yi Xiaotian patted Huang Jie on the shoulder and said, It's okay. We are brothers. Naturally, we have to be more generous to our brothers. When the time comes, just take us to eat some of Wanshan City's special delicacies. Huang Jie was overjoyed at first, but then he became a little depressed. Wanshan City has delicious food, and there are a lot of them. But don't forget, Yi Xiaotian and the others were all spoiled by the delicious ice rabbit meat. When Wanshan's delicacies reach their mouths, it is still unknown whether they are delicacies or not. Why, are you not willing to give up this little money? Wang Hao suddenly became unhappy when he saw Huang Jie's appearance. Huang Jie quickly said, No, Brother Hao, how could I not be happy? I was just thinking about what delicacies there are in Wanshan City that can rival the rabbit meat we eat. Yi Xiaotian patted him on the shoulder and said, It doesn't matter, the taste is secondary. The key is Wanshan City's special delicacies, that's enough. When Huang Jie heard this, he immediately became happy again and said, Brother Tian, that's no problem. Just take a look. We really have a lot of delicious food in Wanshan City. The car continued to move forward and finally came to the city wall. The guards on the city wall became nervous. Although Wanshan City has not been attacked by sea beasts yet, attacks by strange beasts do happen from time to time. The most disgusting thing is that there have been cases where people from heretical organizations came and tricked the city gates into opening, and then were attacked by alien beasts. Therefore, in Wanshan City, any creature that appears outside the city needs to be as vigilant as possible. If someone comes from a brother city, he will say hello in advance to avoid misunderstandings. Today, they did not receive a notification that anyone was coming. So the car in front of me was obviously an uninvited guest. As for whether this uninvited guest is a real guest or a fake guest, that is different. People on the entire city wall were on alert. The team leader came over even faster, and then observed the armored vehicle in front. It was an armored vehicle for night watchmen, but it did not mean that the people in it were night watchmen. Be alert. The team first shouted loudly, asking the guards to be alert, and then notified the squadron leader that there was something going on. In the armored vehicle, Huang Jie waited for a while, then slapped his head and said, I'm sorry, the situation in our Wanshan city is a bit special. No vehicle will be allowed to enter without advance notification. After that, he got off the car. Yi Xiaotian also got off the car. The team leader on the top of the city saw the two people getting off the car and became alert again. Huang Jie said loudly, Hello, brothers on the city, my name is Huang Jie. I am from the Huang family, and my father is Huang Xiongying. The team leader on the city wall heard this and became more suspicious of the identity of the person who came. If it was really the young master of the Huang family who came back, how could there be no notification? Who is Huang Xiongying? Almost everyone in the whole Wanshan city knows. He is the current head of the Huang family, the largest family in Wanshan city. He is so powerful that he is equal to the lord of Wanshan city. If his son, the eldest son of the Huang family, really came back, how could there be no movement at all? After shouting loudly, but without getting a response from the top of the city, Huang Jie realized that he was stupid again. He quickly said to Yi Xiaotian, Brother Tian, 
I will go to the reincarnation world first and say hello to my family, otherwise the guards on the top of the city will not believe it. Chapter, 330 Sure enough, after Huang Jia entered the reincarnation world and greeted the Huang family's rotating information officer, the information was quickly transmitted to the city gate. The squadron leader received the request for help from the team leader and rushed over, fearing that something unexpected would happen. However, he had just arrived when the Huang family's call arrived. The team leader looked embarrassed, and the squadron leader looked black. He had done enough foreplay and was about to go straight to Huang Long, but was stopped abruptly. The resentment in his eyes can be imagined. The city gate opened, the armored vehicle was on the road again, and after entering the city, the city gate was closed again. Yi Xiaotian asked Huang Jia, Do you want to say hello to them? Huang Jia shook his head and said, No, so as not to disturb their work. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said nothing more. I really didn't expect that fatty, you actually came from the Huang family of Wanshan City. Peng Xiangyu said with emotion. Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao didn't know the Huang family of Wanshan City. But Peng Xiangyu, Xiao Cheng and Mu Bingyan, who all came from big families, knew. Mu Bingyan actually knew it a long time ago, but she never said it. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu just found out. The Huang family in Wanshan City is the king of the southwest region. That name is much more famous than the Peng family in Jiangnan City, the Xiao family and the Mu family in Beijing. The Huang family's name was definitely earned by killing with swords and knives. It can be said that there are really many corpses on the road to the rise of the Huang family. Compared with the old and powerful awakening families like the Huang family, the other three families are much younger. However, in terms of development and strength, the current Huang family may not be able to surpass the other three families. In comparison, the survival of Wanshan City is much more cruel than that of other base cities. But there are pros and cons. Although the living environment of the awakened people in Wanshan City is very harsh. But their growth is also much faster. For the awakened, in addition to obtaining resources from the reincarnation world, there is a second way, that is, the exotic beasts. And the later the time is, the more important the second path is. So no matter what the living environment of Wanshan City is, it is an indisputable fact that Wanshan City has produced many powerful awakeners. It can be said that Wanshan City is the first choice for many aspiring awakeners. As for those awakeners who want to grow up in a comfortable environment, don't choose Wanshan City. I really didn't expect that fatty, you were born in Wanshan City. Xiao Qing said with emotion. He had heard about the cruelty of Wanshan City since he was a child, and he was quite yearning for it when he was a child. He planned to come to Wanshan City to make a living after he grew up. But before he grew up, the situation in Blue Star had changed drastically. He also lamented that it was a pity. Unexpectedly, he came to Wanshan City in the end. Old Xiao, don't make excuses. I think you are just timid and dare not come. Peng Xiangyu never showed mercy when it came to confronting Xiao Cheng. Xiao Cheng was furious and wanted to kick him twice. Yi Xiao Tian didn't care about their jokes. It's good for a team to have such vigor. They are all young people, and they are always sullen. Liveliness is the nature of young people. Peng Xiangyu, you seem to be very bold when you say that. Didn't you say you were going to the magic city to find brother Tian and the others? Why didn't I see you going? Are you afraid of danger on the road? Xiao Qing also exposed Peng Xiangyu's shortcomings. Peng Xiangyu said, that's not possible. It's because I have classes at school and I can't leave. Xiao Qing said, I really didn't expect that you, Peng Xiangyu, are also a person who loves to learn. Of course, I have loved learning since I was a child, and I am proud of my love of learning. Peng Xiangyu said very proudly. Xiao Cheng, you are slandering and slandering. Peng Xiangyu was anxious, why are you starting to reveal his past? Xiao Cheng chuckled. Does he still need to slander and slander this kind of thing? Everyone in Jiangnan City knows what kind of person Peng Xiangyu is. For a moment, the atmosphere in the car became cheerful again. Under Huang Jie's instructions, the armored vehicle drove to the Huang family's manor. 
When they arrived at the Huang family, Huang Jie's parents were already waiting at the entrance of the manor. The manor is a large manor with 10 acres, and the entrance to the real manor castle is about 20 miles away. Huang Xiongying, the head of the Huang family, ran to the entrance of the manor with his wife to greet them. It can be said that he gave Yi Xiaotian and his family a great face. Huang Jie was shocked. As soon as the car stopped, he jumped out of the car and said, Dad, Mom, why did you come here to pick me up? I can go back by myself. Unexpectedly, the expected warm meeting between father and son and mother and son was completely gone. Get out of the way, who said we are here to pick you up? Huang Xiongying scolded with a serious face. Mrs. Huang winked at Huang Jie and asked him to get out of the way first. Huang Jie was confused. His parents, if they didn't come here to pick him up, who else would they pick up? Could it be Brother Tian? Huang Jie was a little amused, it seemed possible. Nowadays, he knew Brother Tian's prestige in Xia country very well. As the information person in charge of the Houtian team, he had a very accurate grasp of the information trend. Now, let alone Xia country, even the whole world is discussing Yi Xiao Tian. The battle outside Jiangnan city made Yi Xiaozhen become a god in one battle. The reputation spread throughout the world through the world of reincarnation. In the past, Yi Xiao Tian showed great power in the world of reincarnation, letting awakeners all over the world know that such a monster genius existed. But what really made him become a god in one battle? Also, outside Jiangnan city, he killed an SS level awakening power of the Sea Tribe in a duel. Such a record is definitely better than Yi Xiaotian's dungeon with 10 00 super god ratings in the world of reincarnation. After all, actual combat is the only criterion for testing the true combat effectiveness of an awakened person. In the reincarnation copy, no matter how brilliant Yi Xiaotian's achievements were, they were nothing but false. Only actual combat in the real world is the most real. In the past, there have been many awakened people who fought very well in the reincarnation dungeon, but in the real world, they were very defeated. The reason is that death in the reincarnation copy is not real death. People are all lucky. In the reincarnation copy, you can let go of your hands and kill everyone. But in the real world, there are many people who are at a loss. In the end, it is not impossible for him to have one strength out of ten. So everyone is waiting for Yi Xiaotian's first battle to prove his identity in the real world. He did it, and he did it very well. Become a god in one battle. Now let alone Xia Kingdom, even awakened people from other countries in the world are inviting Yi Xiaotian to help. They were also plagued by sea monsters. Under this situation, Yi Xiaotian's reputation reached its peak. When such a great god Haotian came, it was only natural that Huang Jie's parents came to the entrance to greet him in person. Chapter 331 Yi Xiao Tian got out of the car and, with Huang Jie's introduction, met Huang Xiongying and his wife and greeted each other. Then, looking at the green trees on both sides, he asked, Fatty, aren't we going to your house? Where is your house? This is the entrance to a park. At least that's what Yi Xiao Tian thinks. Even if the Samsara Tower descends and the population of Blue Star plummets, the land in this base city is still very precious. No one takes the park as their home, right? Huang Jie said, Brother Tian, this is my home. Yi Xiao Tian was confused. Didn't you say that your Huang family is very great in Wanshan City? Well, no matter how difficult it is, you shouldn't live in a park, right? Orphans like us still have houses allocated by the government to live in. Seeing this, Huang Jie said awkwardly, Brother Tian, this is the entrance to our manor. Our castle is still 10 kilometers away from here. Damn! Yi Xiao Tian almost swore. Damn, he is really a rich man. When he lived in the Han family in Jiangcheng, he felt that the Han family and the Chang family lived very well. But compared with the Huang family, the Han family and the Chang family can only be regarded as small families. Damn, there are still 10 kilometers from the entrance of the manor to the manor castle. Yi Xiaotian's heart was left with only fuck. Afterwards, under the leadership of the front car, Wang Hao and his team drove the armored vehicle all the way to the Huang family castle. On both sides of the road, 
there were park-like trees. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao and their team had learned a lot. Damn, anyone who saw this would think that this was going into the mountains. Who would have thought that this was the territory of other people's homes? Fat Huang, your family is really rich. Wang Hao said after holding back for a long time. Huang Jia said somewhat embarrassedly, it's mainly because our Wanshan city is vast and sparsely populated, and our Huang family has a large population, so the place we live in is a bit bigger. Is it a bit bigger? Damn, if you didn't say this is your home, I would have thought we were going to the park for fun. Wang Hao complained unhappily. Even Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were in disbelief. They all came from big families, and they thought their living places were luxurious enough. But compared with big landlords like the Huang family, they are so inferior. But Fatty Huang was right about one thing, a place like Wanshan City is indeed vast and sparsely populated. However, this is not the reason why the Huang family manor is so luxurious. Damn, from the entrance to the place where you live, 10 kilometers, isn't it tiring? They don't know if the people of the Huang family are tired, they just feel that their worldview has been refreshed. The rich are really different. As expected of you, fatty, living in such a spacious place, it's understandable that you are a bit fatter. Wang Hao said casually. Huang Jia said, Brothers, this is not something I can decide. I have lived here since I was born, okay? I can only say that our family is close to nature, so we moved to the mountains to live. It just happened that when we built Wanshan City, we built it against the mountain. Huang Jia explained with a smile. He knew what these brothers meant, and he felt a little unbalanced, so he used the way of mocking him to achieve mental balance. In fact, they had no ill intentions. So he could only smile bitterly. If I had known that they would be stimulated, I would not have brought them back, and would have gone directly to the alien battlefield. Along the way, Yi Xiaotian and his friends saw many buildings, including villas, large flats, and manors. The buildings were large and small, some were shaded by green forests, and some were surrounded by green mountains. These houses are all our Huang families. Some of them are occupied, and some are still empty. Brother Tian, otherwise we can also choose a villa to live in at night, do you think it's okay? Huang Jia introduced to Yi Xiaotian and his friends. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I have no objection, you can arrange it, anyway, we will stay here for two days and then leave, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, since we are going to live here, we have to live in a good condition. Fatty, I have never lived in a house with such good conditions. This is not a home, it is completely like living in a forest. Yi Xiaotian didn't care, but Wang Hao took it very seriously. Several girls were also tempted. They really had never encountered such conditions. The best place they had lived in before was the villa provided by the Awakener University of Magic City. Then there is the house at home. Speaking of which, except for Yi Xiaotian, Wang Hao and Sun Yao, the other people's background conditions are good. The worst Han Shuyao and Chang Xiaoxi are both wealthy families in Jiangcheng. They live in big villas at home, which are not small. Not to mention Mu Bingyan, Xiao Cheng, and Peng Xiangyu, they are definitely from big families. They have lived in big houses since childhood and have excellent conditions. But no matter how good their family conditions are, they don't have the conditions of Huang Jie's family. This is not a home, it's just a house built in the forest. The key point is that this forest has been cleaned up, it is definitely not the kind of messy primitive forest. Various beautifications and tree-lined paths, it can be seen that someone has been regularly taking care of it all year round. Let's not talk about how much labor costs. The key point is that other people's families, even if they have money, don't have this place and conditions. As for sleeping in the wild, the conditions are even more incomparable. Everyone wants to show off. Huang Jia said, Brother Hao, just wait and see, I will definitely arrange everything for you. Fat man, is it not easy to take care of your house? Peng Xiangyu asked. Huang Jia said, not only is it not easy, it is simply not easy. But we can also think differently. Our family has also provided jobs for many ordinary people, so that they will not be idle. Huang Jia said. 
Fat man, don't put money on your face. Just have children at home with nothing to do. Anyway, you will be subsidized. Peng Xiang Yu said. Huang Jie said, but you can't have children at home all day, because their bodies can't bear it. It's better to go out to work and exercise. The children born will be healthier and have a greater chance of awakening high-level talents. Peng Xiangyu pointed at Huang Jia with a smile and said, Fat man, I've discovered that to be shameless, you have to be a fat man like you. Wang Hao said, Okay, Peng Xiangyu, don't call me the boss. You guys from big families are all the same. Do you dare to say that your family doesn't exploit ordinary people? Brother Hao, how can this be said to be exploitation? We are all reducing the burden on the government. If we pay wages, the government does not need to pay relief funds, right? Peng Xiang Yu defended. Huang Jie said, Lao Peng is right, we have reduced a lot of burdens for the government. All of a sudden, two people who were at odds just now were on the same side. Sure enough, in terms of shamelessness, it's all you young masters. Wang Hao curled his lips and complained. Chapter 332 After arriving at the Huang family castle, Huang Jie's parents were ready to personally take Yi Xiaotian and the others for a walk. However, Yi Xiaotian refused. From Huang Jie's point of view, Huang Jie's parents are elders. Yi Xiaotian dare not let the elders take them, so he just let Huang Jie take them. Finally, Huang Xiongying and his wife considered the teammate relationship between Huang Jie and Yi Xiaotian, so they agreed to this proposal and told Huang Jie to take good care of Yi Xiaotian and the others. Let them feel the enthusiasm of the Huang family. By the way, help them arrange accommodation. There are still many empty houses in the Huang family manor, just pick one. After hundreds of years of development, although the Huang family has many clan members and various followers of awakening, most of them do not live in this manner. After all, living in it is very comfortable, but it is really troublesome for a long time, and there are many inconvenient places. For example, meeting friends, going shopping, etc. Just waste a morning. So the people who really live in the manor are either old or people of the direct lineage. For example, Huang Jia has lived in this manor since he was a child, so he is very familiar with it. After saying goodbye to Huang Jia's parents, Huang Jia took Yi Xiao Tian and the others to walk around the manor. Brother Tian, do you want to see this house first, or go somewhere else? Huang Jia asked. What do you call this a house? Wang Hao pointed to the dozens of meters high and huge building complex in front of him. This must not be called a house, but a palace complex. Huang Jia said awkwardly, this is a house. What else can we call it if we don't call it a house? Wang Hao was speechless. To a certain extent, anything used for living can be called a house, so Huang Jia's statement is not wrong. It's just that this is almost like a palace. You call it a house, which will cause misunderstanding. The place where he lived with Yi Xiaotian before, that's a house. This is a royal palace, not an ordinary house. Wang Hao said loudly. Even if it's not an ordinary house, it's still a house. Huang Jia said innocently. Wang Hao stared, not knowing what to say. In terms of talking, ten of him are no match for Huang Jia. Of course, if it comes to actual combat, Ten Huang Jie's can only be pinned to the ground by Wang Hao. Okay, stop talking nonsense, let's talk about whether to see the inside or the outside first. Yi Xiaotian interrupted the topic with one sentence. Inside. Outside. The team members were divided into two groups, clearly divided. The male team members wanted to see the inside of the palace complex. The female team members planned to see the scenery outside. After all, they are men. Huang Jia was very embarrassed and looked at Yi Xiaotian. When the team had any disagreements, Yi Xiaotian was the final decision maker. Yi Xiaotian thought for a while and said, the minority obeys the majority, and the decision is decided by voting. Then, the four women unanimously decided to enjoy the scenery outside. On the male side, except for Yi Xiaotian and Huang Jia, they all agreed to see the palace complex first. Huang Jia has lived here since he was a child, so it doesn't matter. 
Yi Xiaotian thinks that there is no difference between seeing it first and seeing it later. Then Chang Xiaoxi glared at Wang Hao, who immediately turned against him and stabbed his brother. In the end, only Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were left alone on the boy's side. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, let's start with the scenery outside. It's quite big outside. Fatty, are there any sightseeing cars or something like that? Yes. Fatty immediately said, I'll have someone drive over. Soon, a staff member drove the sightseeing car over, picked up the Haokian team and drove out. On both sides of the road, there are landscape trees, which are very neat and tidy. It can be seen that someone often takes care of them. Even, you can see that these landscape trees have formed some special shapes. Huang Jia introduced, these landscape trees can only be seen at a glance from a high altitude. You can wait until night when you stand on the roof to see them. Then what are we going to see now? We won't just see these landscape vegetation and big trees, right? Peng Xiangyu was a little uninterested. Huang Jia said, there are still many things to see here. We have a breeding farm over there, and we raise a lot of exotic animals. Exotic animal breeding? Everyone was shocked. In this era where exotic animals are regarded as scourges, there are still people who breed exotic animals. This simply overturned their common sense. Huang Jia said, what's so strange about this? Many people raise exotic animals. Lao Xiao, Lao Peng, your family should have some too, right? No. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu answered in unison. How is it possible? Sister Bing Yen, your family must have some, right? Huang Jia asked Mu Bing Yen again. Mu Bing Yen shook her head and said nothing. Your family doesn't have any either. Huang Jia didn't believe it. I don't know either. Mu Bing Yen replied. Huang Jia felt better immediately. Fatty, as expected, it has to be your family. Even the exotic animal breeding farm has been set up. What else we haven't heard of, tell us all together. Wang Hao sighed. No, really no, the others are just small scenes. Huang Jia smiled awkwardly. He really wasn't pretending, but in his expectation, big families like the Xiao family, the Peng family, and the Mu family would definitely raise some exotic beasts. But he didn't think about it carefully. Where did these families get the conditions to raise exotic beasts? They didn't have a mountain to build a breeding farm. At this time, they passed a crossroads, and there was a skull on the sign of one of the roads. Fatty, where is that going? Han Xuyao asked, pointing to the road the sign pointed to. Huang Jia said casually, Oh, that's to the hunting ground. What is a hunting ground? Han Xuyao asked in confusion. Oh, a large enclosure was built over there, and the exotic beasts caught from the ten thousand mountains were thrown in it, and then the young awakeners of the family were allowed to train in it. Huang Jia explained. WTF. Then there was a lot of shocked voices. Huang Jia was dumbfounded again, as if he had pretended to be cool again inadvertently. He really didn't mean it, he was just simply answering his friend's question. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were silent. They are all from big families, why is the gap so big? After they awakened their talents, if they wanted to hunt exotic beasts, they had to go out of the city, and at most their families would send someone to protect them. But what about the Huang family? They directly set up a hunting ground at home. Is this fair? Their family is actually not weaker than the Huang family. The key problem is that they have no place to do this. The Huang family in Wanshan City does. Is it like a temporary training camp? Han Xuyao asked. Huang Jia nodded in affirmation. Then why do you still want to participate in a temporary training camp? Han Xuyao asked puzzled. Chapter, 33 Yes, why? Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao couldn't help asking. The family has such conditions, why do we have to go to the temporary training camp in Jiangqing to participate, which is time-consuming and laborious? Huang Jia smiled and said, the hunting beasts are all captured, which is time-consuming and labor-intensive, and costs a lot. You mean, the children of your Huang family go to the temporary training camp just to save money for your Huang family? Han Xuyao understood a little. 
Huang Jia said, some things, just understand in your heart, don't say it out. Although our Huang family is big, but the expenses are also big, the pressure is very great. Everyone rolled their eyes, taking advantage of it is so fresh and unworldly, they are also drunk. The Huang family is so rich, it must not be short of money or resources. They guessed that the purpose of the Huang family doing this is to let the disciples go out and see and broaden their horizons. It just so happens that the government provides money and people, which can save a lot of money. Another is to make friends. Just like Huang Jia and Yi Xiao Tian. Although the Huang family is very powerful, it is not possible to fight alone. If the children of the family go out, make more friends, and then bring all these friends back, then the Huang family can be stronger. The Huang family is not worried about the problem of resources, they are worried about the problem of talent. But no one expected that Huang Jie was so competitive that he not only met the famous Haotian god, but also joined the Haotian team. This is completely a dog shit luck. As the legitimate son of the Huang family and the head of the family, Huang Jie's competitiveness is really too weak. The talent level is not bad. With the wealth and status of the Huang family, and Huang Xiongying's own ability, Huang Jie's talent level can be raised by one or two levels. His shortcoming lies in the talent effect. The mainstream awakeners in this world are superpowers and martial arts masters. In other words, physique, strength, and spirit are the mainstream. And Huang Jie is an auxiliary awakener who increases agility attributes. The talent level can be enhanced, but there is no way to improve the effect of talent skills. Originally, Huang Xiongying had already thought about it. Forget about the position of the head of the Huang family. As long as Huang Jie can grow up safely, that's enough. Pushing him to the position of the head of the family by force will harm him. In addition to representing supreme power, the position of the head of the family also has countless obligations. As the head of the Huang family, every time the Huang family faces danger, he must take the lead. Instead of hiding at home and saying a few words and issuing a few orders. Without strength, who will obey you? In such a world environment, any power in your hands needs to match your strength. But even Huang Xiongying and his wife did not expect that their son was so lucky. Huang Jie's achievements today are naturally all due to Yi Xiaotian. So they are absolutely grateful to Yi Xiaotian from the bottom of their hearts. Just after a contact with Yi Xiaotian, they also saw that Yi Xiaotian was a kind of simple and good child. Their son gets along well with them. In this way, they were completely relieved. Soon, the sightseeing bus arrived at the breeding farm. Yi Xiaotian had been to the zoo in his previous life. However, the animals in his previous life did not have the size and strength of the exotic beasts in this world. So it is not a simple matter to open an alien version of the zoo at home. First of all, there is the problem of the sight, and the other is the problem of safety. Even the low-level and medium-level exotic beasts are very powerful. So he was really curious about how this breeding farm should be built. When they arrived at the breeding farm, it seemed that there was nothing special, even a series of independent circles with a paved road in the middle. One by one, the exotic beasts stood, lay, ran, or walked slowly in the circle. Fatty, won't these exotic beasts run away? Those circles were very simple, just a circle made of some wood, without even a roof on top. Just like the sheepfold on the grassland in the previous life. Can this also hold exotic beasts? Huang Jia explained, don't think these circles are simple, in fact, they are all formations. Formation. Many of them were heard for the first time. This was not the first time Yi Xiaotian had heard of it, because in his previous life, he had heard a lot about it and had read many novels about formations. But in this world, this was the first time he had heard of the word formation. Does this world really have formations? Peng Xiangyu asked first. Huang Jia said, yes, but it's just getting started, so I can only say it here. Everyone was speechless. Now the human race's top leaders are vigorously researching and developing formations, which will have a great effect on the protection of our cities. Unfortunately, some of the formations that have been developed now can only be used in a small range. If the scale is large, it will collapse, and it is still being resolved. 
Huang Jia said. I do know that there is also a formation in the Samsara Mall, but the exchange is too expensive, and I don't know what the specific function of the formation is. Xiao Qing said after hearing this. Huang Jia said, that's right, the formations in our world are all exchanged from the Samsara Mall. As Xiao Qing said, the price is too expensive, so we can only exchange from the basics. I don't know when the cities on Blue Star will be able to use formations for protection. Huang Jia sighed. Wang Hao asked puzzledly, is this formation very powerful? Huang Jia did not say much, but took out his staff, and then attacked a circle with an attack. As soon as the attack of the magic landed on the circle, a protective light shield appeared above the circle, blocking Huang Jia's attack. Yi Xiao Tian saw this scene and thought to himself, as expected. Huang Jia continued, these are all basic versions of the formation, which can withstand the attack of low-level beasts without damage. What about energy? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Huang Jia said, you can directly exchange energy stones in the Samsara Mall, or you can extract energy from the bodies of beasts. The formations in our family use energy extracted from the corpses of beasts. Your family can also extract the energy of beasts by yourself. Wang Hao smacked his lips. Huang Jia said, this is all routine operation, no need to make a fuss. Wang Hao wanted to hit him, but this is the Huang family, he was afraid. But this guy looked indifferent, so fucking pretentious. Along the way, they were all low-level exotic beasts, which they had seen before. So there was nothing strange. What everyone was interested in before was how the Huang family raised these exotic beasts and how to prevent them from running away. Now they all knew that this was all thanks to the formation, so everyone was interested in the formation. They all asked Huang Jia questions. Chapter 334 Yi Xiao Tian did not join their discussion, but after reading all this, Yi Xiao Tian thought of one thing. That is, the future of mankind is bright. Things like formations. Ordinary people, even the vast majority of awakened people, do not know about it. But as Huang Jia just said, the human leaders are already studying this thing. He believes that one day in the future, Xia country, and even all the cities on Blue Star, will use such things. At that time, the safety and living environment of mankind will be greatly improved. At that time, the defense of human cities will no longer be replaced by humans, but by various large formations. Yi Xiaotian believes that that day will definitely come. As long as humans work hard enough. This world is still full of hope. When he thought of this, Yi Xiaotian was full of motivation. If he could personally create a peaceful and prosperous world like in his previous life, the sense of accomplishment. Brother Tian, what's wrong with you? Han Shuyao sat next to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was very excited. She was the first to discover his abnormality. Yi Xiao Tian smiled upon hearing this and said, Nothing, I just feel that this formation can change our way of life. Hey, Brother Tian, do you know? What you said is the same as what my grandfather said. Huang Jie turned his head and said, Oh, what did your grandfather say? Han Shuyao asked. Huang Jie said, My grandfather said that the current city has no armor in front of the alien beasts. It depends entirely on the city guards on the top of the city. But people always have times of negligence. But the formation is different. After the formation is turned on, it can defend against attacks from all directions at all times. At that time, as long as humans provide enough energy, they can completely protect the base city from attacks by alien beasts. We can even rely on various offensive formations to kill alien beasts. Listening to Huang Jie's words, Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but nod repeatedly. Although the formation of this world is still in its infancy, the well-informed Yi Xiao Tian understands that when the formation begins to be used on a large scale, humans can mobilize more forces to attack. The biggest problem of the base city now is that the enemies on the land are fine. The most difficult to defend are the enemies in the sky. Flying beasts are fast and fly at high altitudes, making them difficult to defend. Especially when the opponent has not launched an attack, it is even more difficult to detect. You can't always send people to defend the city at high altitudes. This is unrealistic. 
So nowadays, there are still many city residents who die in the attacks of flying beasts every year. This is still the current situation. It is said that decades ago, at that time, the cities of Blue Star were attacked by flying beasts almost every day, and countless people were killed and injured every day. Although the number of attacks by flying beasts has been greatly reduced now, and there may not be one in a month. But there are still many people who die in such attacks every year. Of course, this is also a way for humans to gradually find out to fight against flying beasts in the process of fighting against beasts. It greatly reduces the losses of humans. But if the city can be protected by the formation in the end, then this worry can be completely eliminated. The formation can be large or small, from a speck of dust to the entire planet. Its power is endless. Speaking of which, Yi Xiaotian really didn't expect that there was actually a method of practicing formations in the Samsara Mall. Don't blame him, there are so many products in the Samsara Mall that it is impossible to know them all even if you spend your whole life. Awakeners like them enter the Samsara Mall with a purpose to search for their target items. As for the others, except for the top 10 or 20 treasures on the ranking list, the others have not been seen at all. There is no time to see them. Therefore, most people only deal with the Samsara Mall for the products they need. Others, they don't know anything. With this time, it is better to brush more copies and hunt more exotic beasts. After listening to Huang Jie's explanation, everyone understood the use of this formation. Is it really possible? Han Xuyao was a little skeptical. This was too fantastic. Huang Jie said, it is really possible, but it requires a great price. Not only do you need to exchange more knowledge of formations from the Samsara Mall, but you also need to invest more time and energy to study. This kind of thing is like an awakener. Talent is very important. Peng Xiangyu said, Fatty, how do you know so much? Huang Jia smiled bitterly and said, My talent is not very good, so I can only make up for it with other things. Fuck. Huang Jie's words attracted another round of complaints. Although Huang Jie's talent is indeed not top-notch, it is not too bad. S-level auxiliary system, even the agility system auxiliary, is considered to be in the middle. What is not so good about it? However, they have already experienced Huang Jie's humility. Ha! Huh. Xiao Jie, you are back. Just as they were testing the formation in various ways in a circle, a voice interrupted them. Huang Jia looked over and saw the person coming. A smile immediately appeared on his face and said, Sister Hong, we meet again. Yeah, long time no see, are these your friends? Sister Hong was wearing a red outfit with an exaggerated big knife on her waist. Generally speaking, whether it is a warrior or a supernatural person, the equipment is placed in the reincarnation space and will only be taken out when it is used. Convenient. But this one is obviously not ordinary. Huang Jia said, Yes, they are all my teammates, Brother Tian, let me introduce them to you. As he said, Huang Jia introduced them for them. Sister Hong, whose full name is Huang Hong, is considered Huang Jia's cousin. Hearing this name, Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched, but seeing that there was nothing unusual about other people, he could only keep his complaints in his heart. Hearing this name, he couldn't help but rang the phrase Big Hammer 80, Small Hammer 40. In his mind. So devilish, it's hard to bear to look at. Sister Hong in front of him, in a tight outfit, highlights her perfect figure. She is straight where she should be straight, thin where she should be thin, and curvy where she should be curvy. She was about thirty years old, full of mature charm, full of fatal temptation to boys of their age. Hello, Sister Hong. After the introduction, everyone called out. Sister Hong smiled charmingly and said, Hello, welcome to my home. By the way, Sister Hong, why are you here? Huang Jia asked. Sister Hong said, Oh, I raised a dog here before, I came to see if it is obedient. Dog, Sister Hong, you also raise a dog. Han Xuyao heard that Sister Hong raised a dog and immediately became interested. Chapter 335. Sister Hong was confused. I said dog, that was a modest way of saying it. Do you really raise a dog? Do I have that much free time? Ahem. Huang Jie coughed twice, 
then said, Sister Xuyao, what Sister Hong said is not a real dog, it's just a nickname. Not a dog. What is it? Han Xuyao was a little surprised. She called it dog but it's not a dog. What kind of hobby is this? I guess it should be a wolf beast. Huang Jie knew Sister Hong very well. Sister Hong smiled and said, You are Xiao Jie. Huang Jie blushed. He knew that Sister Hong had another sentence to say. Indeed, he used to play with Sister Hong. It's not an exaggeration to say that Sister Hong brought him up. So the sentence that others said the most was, You grew up following Sister Hong. And the one that Sister Hong brought back to raise must not be an ordinary wolf beast. How about we go and see? Huang Jie quickly diverted everyone's attention. Just when Huang Jie blushed, Peng Xiangyu was already ready to move. He felt that there was something going on between Huang Jie and Sister Hong. So, he wanted to stir up trouble. Dig out Huang Jie's secret. This guy had been so good to them all day, so they had to give him back. But Huang Jie's words drew everyone's attention to the wolf beast raised by Sister Hong. Under the guidance of Sister Hong, everyone came to a circle. In the circle, there was a very majestic wolf beast with a snow-white body and a tuft of golden fur on its forehead. The wolf beast maintained its beast form, so it can be confirmed that it is a mutant beast native to Blue Star. The golden fur on the forehead indicated that this wolf beast was the king of the tribe. Snow Wolf King Huang Jia exclaimed, Sister Hong, where did you catch this? He remembered that there seemed to be no snow wolf tribe in the Ten Thousand Mountains. The snow wolf tribe generally lives in cold areas. At least he had never heard of the snow wolf tribe in the Ten Thousand Mountains before. Sister Hong, where does the snow come from? Han Xuyao asked. Although the snow wolf king was very majestic and beautiful, she was more curious about where the snow came from. With the climate in Wanshan City, it is estimated that it will not snow all year round. Although it has entered winter now. But they have not seen any snow in the southwest along the way. Sister Hong replied, This is controlled by a small formation, which lowers the temperature within the range covered by the formation, so that the moisture in the air condenses directly into snow. So powerful. Han Xuyao and others all praised it. This is completely artificial snowmaking. Although Mu Binyan's special technique in their team can also make snow. But it can't make snow continuously like the formation. After all, people will get tired, but the formation will not. So using the formation instead of the awakened to guard the city is definitely an excellent idea. I hope people can research more advanced formations as soon as possible. Huang Jie said, Sister Hong, you haven't told me where you caught this snow wolf king. Sister Hong replied casually, I brought it back from the alien battlefield. Huang Jie said strangely, No, this snow wolf king is still in beast form. It should be an awakened alien beast native to Blue Star. Sister Hong said, This is indeed a snow wolf king native to Blue Star. The reason why it appeared in the alien battlefield was completely accidental. After all, you also know that when the aliens were repelled, some of the native alien beasts of Blue Star were also driven back to the alien space plane. It is normal for some of them to stay in the alien battlefield. Huang Jie said, I see. Sister Hong, you just said that you brought it back from the alien battlefield. Did you just come back from the alien battlefield? Yi Xiao Tian, who had been silent, suddenly spoke. He had no interest in this snow wolf king. It was just a mid-level alien beast. It was indeed very good looking. Several girls wanted to go in and watch it up close. But it was not very attractive to Yi Xiao Tian. It was Sister Hong's words that caught his attention. If Sister Hong had just returned from the alien battlefield, he could ask her about the news of the alien battlefield. Although during this period, he had been asking Huang Jie to collect news about the alien battlefield. But there must be no details known by those who have experienced it personally. Sister Hong said, Yes, I have been back from the alien battlefield for less than half a month. Sister Hong has been killing enemies in the alien battlefield before, she is worthy of being a heroine. Yi Xiao Tian asked again. Sister Hong said with a face full of memories, You are too kind, but I just did my duty. 
Sister Hong, can you tell us about the situation in the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian asked. Sister Hong looked at him strangely. Why did this young man ask about the alien battlefield? She would never guess that Yi Xiaotian and his men were about to enter the alien battlefield. Huang Jie did not tell the Huang family about this matter. So the Huang family, who knew that Huang Jie was back, just thought that he was bringing his comrades back to visit relatives. Even Huang Jie's parents, who knew Yi Xiaotian's true identity, didn't know that they came back this time to enter the alien battlefield. You are still young now, and you don't know what to do in the alien battlefield. You should improve your strength first. Sister Hong said lightly. She also meant well. Huang Jie was a little anxious. This was kind to others, but to Brother Tian, it was a disparagement. Sister Hong, why don't you tell us something? I heard that the situation on the alien battlefield has become more and more urgent recently. Is it true? Huang Jia asked. Yes, Sister Hong, I heard that the alien army has broken through several of our defense lines. Will the aliens break into our blue star again this time? Peng Xianyu also asked in cooperation. Okay, don't believe it. Who told you that the aliens broke through several of our defense lines? Sister Hong said a little angrily. Oh, we all heard it from others in the reincarnation world. That person said it with a nose and eyes, and many people believed it. Peng Xiangyu explained. Those bastards must have been done by those pagans. I knew they would take the opportunity to make trouble and not be human. Sister Hong was even more angry and almost cursed. However, considering the problem of her image, she finally stopped in time. I tell you, although the situation on the alien battlefield is not favorable to us, it is not as serious as the outside world says, so you can rest assured. Improving your strength is better than anything else. Sister Hong explained. In her heart, she was thinking that she would have to meet the head of the family later and ask him to communicate with the top leaders. She couldn't let the heretic organization continue to spread rumors like this. Sister Hong, do you think we can help in the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian suddenly asked. Sister Hong chuckled and said, Little brother, what are you thinking? How old are you? Do you think you are the great god Haotian? Chapter 336 Sister Hong had just come out of the alien battlefield not long ago, and then she was busy building a new home for the Snow Wolf King, so she didn't know the situation in the outside world at all. She didn't know the news that Yi Xiaotian was the great god Haotian. Besides, even if she knew that the great god Haotian was Yi Xiaotian, she probably wouldn't associate it with that. After all, she didn't know about other people, but she knew Huang Jie well, having seen him since he was a child. With Huang Jie's talent, he was completely unrelated to the great god Haotian. In her opinion, a god-level figure like the great god Haotian, his teammates must be SS-level talent awakeners, otherwise they would not be qualified to join his team. She didn't know about other people, but she knew Huang Jie's talent very well. When Huang Jie participated in the awakening ceremony, she was there. Huang Jie and the great god Haotian are people from completely different worlds. Even though Huang Jie came from the Huang family, the largest family in Wanshan city in the southwest, and was the son of the family head, it was still the same. In this world, identity is very important. But after reaching a certain level, identity is not worth mentioning. It just so happens that the great god Haotian is not a person of this level. Talking about identity in front of such a person is a complete joke. What's wrong with you? Sister Hong found that everyone's expressions were very strange, even Huang Jie. Did I say something wrong? Sister Hong asked Huang Jie this question. Huang Jie's face was full of embarrassment. He didn't want to answer, but he had to answer. Sister Hong, Brother Tian's reincarnation ID is called Haotian. Huang Jie said. So what? The reincarnation ID is called Haotian, so what what did you say? Sister Hong finally reacted. The reincarnation ID is unique, even Yi Xiaotian's second soul cannot be called Haotian. So if there is a person named Haotian in the reincarnation world, then it is correct, he is the great god Haotian. So after Sister Hong reacted, she was surprised at first, and then stared at Huang Jia, 
as if to see if he was lying. But fortunately, Huang Jia didn't dare to lie in front of her, and he wouldn't lie. Huang Jia would lie to his parents, but he wouldn't lie to her. This is the relationship between the two of them. Are you the great god Haoyan? Sister Hong looked at Yi Xiaotian again, her voice trembling a little. This is the great god Haoyan. She has awakened her talent for more than ten years, and she was also at the level of a genius back then. But more than ten years have passed, and she is still only an A-level awakener. And what about the great god Haoyan? He has been awakened for only half a year, and he is already an S-level awakener. There is no comparison at all. It is not an exaggeration to say that one is in heaven and the other is in the ground. Compared with people like the great god Haoyan, these so-called geniuses can only be called so-called geniuses. Seeing Yi Xiaotian nod, Sister Hong confirmed again, Are you really the great god Haoyan? Huang Jie couldn't bear it anymore, and said, Sister Hong, calm down, Brother Tian is really the great god Haoyan. If you don't believe it, we can enter the reincarnation world together and play a dungeon. Sister Hong waved her hand and said, No, I believe you. I just didn't expect that you, a stinky boy, are so lucky that you actually joined the team of the great god Haoyan. Sister Hong was really moved. She was in a complicated mood at the moment. There were excitement, doubts, and so on. Based on her trust in Huang Jie, she did not doubt Yi Xiaotian's identity. She just wondered how Huang Jie joined the Haotian team, he was so useless. Sister Hong, I'm also very powerful, okay? I'm now a B-level awakener. Sister Hong's description of him hurt him a lot. You are my dearest Sister Hong, you have protected me since I was a child, watched me grow up wearing open crotch pants, how can you say that to me? Didn't you say that I will always be your little cutie? Seeing Huang Jie's frustrated look, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were all comfortable. But we have to continue to dig deeper. Sister Hong must still have a lot of shortcomings of this fat guy in her hands. Yi Xiaotian said, Sister Hong, we met Huang Jie in a temporary training camp and experienced life and death tests together. The only condition for adding people to our Haotian team is loyalty. As for talent and so on, they are secondary. This is very pretentious, but Sister Hong thinks what Yi Xiaotian said is true. How about we go somewhere else to chat? Sister Hong tried to suggest. Huang Jie said, Sister Hong, Brother Tian and his friends just arrived, so I took them out to play. Sister Hong said, Okay, you go play first, what are your plans for lunch? My parents have already arranged to have lunch with them at noon. Huang Jie replied. Sister Hong said, Okay, then you go play first, I won't bother you. Huang Jie said, Sister Hong, if you have nothing to do, let's go together. Sister Hong said, Can I? Of course. Yi Xiaotian replied. He also saw that Sister Hong and Huang Jie had a special relationship, otherwise Huang Jie would not invite him. And he also saw that Sister Hong was very interested in them and wanted to stay with them for a while, but she was just embarrassed to speak up. Well, it is estimated that no one in the entire Xia country, or even the entire world, can resist the temptation of close contact with the Haotian team. Even if Sister Hong is a proud person, it won't work. In front of the great god Haotian, any pride will disappear. Sister Hong is already showing signs of transforming into a god and committing rape. The group got back on the car and set off again. God Haotian, are you really only 18 years old? God Haotian, how did you get through the dungeons with super god evaluation? God Haotian, how come you are promoted so fast? Sister Hong sat next to Huang Jie, opposite Yi Xiaotian and the others. After the car started, her topic was always about Yi Xiaotian. She was too curious about Yi Xiaotian. This little man broke all the common sense and laws of the reincarnation world. It made people begin to realize that, perhaps, under the rules of reincarnation, there is no common sense and laws at all. The reason why they had such thoughts before was completely because they were too useless. So in summary, except for Yi Xiaotian, everyone else is a waste. Sister Hong was fooled by her own conclusion. Huang Jie looked at Sister Hong, who was completely obsessed with money, and felt a little jealous. This is his Sister Hong. 
God Haotian, are you going to the alien battlefield? Sister Hong asked suddenly. For a while, the atmosphere was a little solemn. Yi Xiao Tian looked directly at Sister Hong and said, Yes, Sister Hong, do you have anything to tell us? I'll go with you. Sister Hong didn't say much, she just said it directly. Sister Hong. Huang Jia was a little anxious. He was afraid that Sister Hong's words would annoy Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said to Sister Hong, Welcome Sister Hong to join us. Huang Jia was stunned. He agreed just like that. Wasn't it too hasty? Didn't he need to think about it again? Chapter 337 The alien battlefield is divided into five lines of defense. Now two lines of defense have been breached by the aliens. Now the four supreme masters have gathered at the third line of defense and are defending it. This is on the way to the entrance of the alien battlefield. After Sister Hong joined the team heading to the alien battlefield, they continued to visit the Huang family and were amazed. Finally understood what it means to be arrogant. What Xiao family, what Ping family, what Mu family, in front of the Huang family's arrogance, are not enough. Xiao Cheng, Ping Xiangyu and Mu Bingyan were speechless after visiting the Huang family's manor. The next time was to accompany Huang Jie's parents for dinner and then continue to stroll. The people of the Huang family are quite kind. Those who are not kind were all subdued by Sister Hong's sword. In the same age group, Sister Hong can definitely do a crushing style. Of course, except for Yi Xiao Tian, the anomaly. After all, in the eyes of others, Yi Xiao Tian is completely the biological son of the will of reincarnation and cannot be compared. After playing in the Huang family manor for two days, they left. Although it is very comfortable here, the human race has reached a very critical moment. If they are comfortable here for one day, the human race will be one step closer to extinction. So Yi Xiao Tian said goodbye to Huang's parents and set off on the road to the alien battlefield. When Huang's parents knew that they were going to the alien battlefield, they were also shocked. They wanted to stop them on the spot. However, after Huang Jia explained to them, they also reacted. Although Yi Xiao Tian and his teammates are still young, they really can't be treated as real young people. He has grown into a real S-level awakener. And he is also a high-level awakener who single-handedly killed an SS-level C-clan powerful Kanglin dragon. Such strength, even he, the head of the Huang family, does not have. Moreover, all the members of the entire Haotian team have reached the level of B-level awakeners, and I believe it will not be too late to be promoted to A-level awakeners. Such strength is fully qualified to go to the alien battlefield. In fact, there are many teams weaker than the Haotian team on the alien battlefield. What is it for? If they are all great, that may not be the case. But to say that they have no pursuit at all is too much of an underestimation of them. Those who can go to the alien battlefield at this time are all great, no matter how many little tricks they have in their hearts. Of course, the pagans are excluded. So the Huang family's parents sighed for a while and didn't say anything more. The Huang family has its own mission. The southwest gate of the entire Xia country is in their hands. Once it is breached, the Xia country will be in danger. So a large part of the Huang family's strength is deployed in the various defense lines of the 10,000 mountains to guard against the alien beasts in the mountains running out to make trouble at critical moments. Now even the Sea clan has come out to share a piece of the pie, and no one dares to say that the alien beasts in the 10,000 mountains will not run out. So Yi Xiao Tian and his team set off again. But their true identities, except for a limited number of people, are unknown to others. On the way, Sister Hong began to tell them about the situation on the alien battlefield. In general, the situation is still under control, but when I came back, I heard that the aliens were preparing to increase their forces. Sister Hong said, her face solemn. Increasing the forces must not only increase the ordinary forces, but also the high-level awakeners of the aliens. Sister Hong, do you know how many awakeners of the supreme level there are on the alien side? Yi Xiao Tian asked, and he didn't expect Sister Hong to really know. After all, this kind of news is definitely very high level. But I didn't expect that Sister Hong really knew. 3. So we can still hold it off for the time being. 
If the aliens send another one over, it's hard to say. Sister Hong replied. For awakeners of the same level, the combat effectiveness of the aliens is generally stronger than that of humans, unless they have special talents. The innate advantages of the aliens themselves are greater than those of humans, and with the same talents, they are naturally defeated. If the aliens also come with a fourth supreme awakener, it is really hard to predict the outcome. Sister Hong said, but at present, this possibility is not great. Oh, Sister Hong, why do you say that? Is there no more supreme awakening masters on the alien side? Yi Xiao Tian asked puzzledly. Sister Hong shook her head and said, No, in fact, the supreme masters of the aliens are much more than us. Why is that? Yi Xiao Tian was even more confused. Because of internal struggles. Sister Hong said, As we all know, the internal struggles of the aliens are very serious. Before the alien battlefield was opened, the aliens had been fighting for many years. Even if they now have a common enemy, or a brand new world, this situation cannot be changed for the time being. If they can really unite, Blue Star would have already become the back garden of the aliens. Yi Xiao Tian nodded repeatedly. Han Xuyao said at this time, Sister Hong, why can't they temporarily put aside their prejudices and take Blue Star first? Many students who have not yet left school will have this question. In their opinion, such a simple thing, how can the aliens not see through it? Sister Hong smiled and said, it's not that they haven't tried, but they failed in the end. Why do you think we can drive the aliens back to the alien space? It's because they started fighting again. Then after more than ten years, they calmed down again and united to attack us. But they couldn't trust each other completely, so everyone kept their cards tacitly. And this is a great thing for us. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, it's really a great thing. It's normal to be afraid of the rope after being bitten by a snake once. The biggest advantage of our human race is that no matter what kind of competition or contradictions there are between each other, when facing external crises, we can temporarily put aside all prejudices and unite to face the outside world. Sister Hong continued, yes, this is probably the biggest reason why our blue star human race can persist to this day. Usually, there is competition between countries, base cities, universities, and major families. There is benign competition and vicious competition. For example, the conflict between Yi Xiao Tian and the Shen family of the Magic City ended with the destruction of the Shen family. This is all very normal. See the big picture from the small. There must be all kinds of dirty things between the major families, even between countries and alliances. But when the alien race really invades, all forces, big and small, must stop, unite against the outside world, gather all their strength, and fight against the alien race. Because they know very well that if they cannot unite against the outside world at this time, then the final result will be something that no one can bear. They have to think about their own future and their descendants. Chapter 338 A war fortress was built inside the mountain, and this fortress is the entrance to the alien battlefield. This is one of the last lines of defense that the aliens need to break through to enter Blue Star. After all, there are more than one entrance to the alien battlefield on Blue Star. The same is true in reverse. There is more than one exit from the alien battlefield to Blue Star. So after the human race drove the alien army back to the alien space plane, they built war fortresses at all the entrances and exits. The purpose is to have the last line of defense when the aliens invade Blue Star next time. It is not a simple matter to enter the war fortress at the entrance and exit of the alien battlefield. Without identity proof and the pass issued above, you can never enter. The war fortress is the last line of defense of Blue Star against the aliens, and it is not just a nice thing. Once the aliens break through this line of defense, it can really threaten the base cities located in the major land plates of Blue Star. Yi Xiao Tian and his team have seen the cruelty of waging war in the base city. This gate-shaped war fortress was built only 20 years ago, but it has not really experienced the baptism of war. So it looks much fresher than Wanshan City. I hope this war fortress will never be used. Yi Xiao Tian said with emotion. Although the construction of this war fortress consumed countless manpower and material resources. We all hope so, 
but the facts are often difficult to make people wish. Sister Hong said with a serious look. Looking at this majestic war fortress, humans standing in front of it are really too small. But they know very well that even such a majestic war fortress like a mountain is just a larger cage in front of the alien race. Getting closer, Yi Xiaotian and his team saw that there were some symbols carved on the wall of the war fortress. Sister Hong, are these symbols formations? Yi Xiaotian asked. Compared with Han Xuyao and his team, Yi Xiaotian has a deeper understanding of formations. Sister Hong nodded and said, Yes, these symbols on the wall are all arrays. Not only are there outside, but also inside. Even on the layers of the fortress walls, there are such symbols. These symbols can greatly enhance the defense capabilities of the fortress. Yi Xiaotian said puzzledly, Why not engrave these symbols on our walls? Sister Hong smiled bitterly and said, Do you think this is simple? Our array is just getting started, and there are very few people who really understand it, so we can only meet the most important places first. First, the major defense lines of the alien battlefield, and then this war fortress. Even so far, there are still many war fortresses in many places on Blue Star that have not been engraved with these symbols. We need time, a lot of time. Yi Xiaotian immediately understood. You may not understand the textbooks, let alone get full marks in the exam. And for the array, you must get full marks, and there can be no mistakes, otherwise all the previous efforts will be wasted. This is much more difficult than the awakened person practicing a martial art or a strange art, and there is no comparison at all. The way of formation and the specific functional formation are two completely different things. Martial arts and strange arts have talent support, so the difficulty is greatly reduced. But the way of formation does not have talent support, and anyone can learn it as long as you can learn it thoroughly. So it is very difficult to advance this subject. Even, it cannot appear in school textbooks, and can only be studied by senior management who select suitable personnel. So Yi Xiaotian and others have never heard of it. From this, it can be seen how arrogant the Huang family is to use formations to raise aliens. However, those animal pens used to raise low-level aliens are only the most basic application of formations. It is completely unacceptable to use them to defend cities or even war fortresses. After several inspections, they finally entered the interior of the war fortress. The hexagonal war fortress, once inside, is completely a city. A huge city separated by six city walls. After entering the war fortress, they have to undergo an inspection every time they pass a city wall. Don't worry, it's like this. Except for people from official organizations, such as the Night Watch Corps, the Land Reclamation Corps, and the team organized by the Awakener Association, who can only be checked once, any other individuals and teams must be checked again and again. Sister Hong was afraid that these young people would be impatient just after leaving school and cause unnecessary trouble. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay, Sister Hong, we all understand. If it weren't for these strict precautions, we probably wouldn't have been able to hold on until today. Sister Hong's appreciation for Yi Xiaotian has been raised to a new level. Having talent and strength is one thing. But having vision and pattern is another. And it just so happens that Yi Xiaotian has all these advantages. So far, she has not found any shortcomings in Yi Xiaotian. Even the biggest shortcoming of some geniuses, appearance, has been smoothed out by Yi Xiaotian. At least for now, Yi Xiaotian is absolutely perfect. Yi Xiaotian has no objection, and others have even less objection. But Sister Hong is also an acquaintance in the alien battlefield, and many people in the war fortress have seen her. If it was an ordinary woman, they naturally wouldn't care much. But a charming woman like Sister Hong, who comes from a tyrannical family like the Huang family, is naturally impressive. Who wouldn't have more thoughts about such a woman? She is extremely beautiful and comes from an extraordinary family. If you can marry such a woman, you can definitely save a hundred years of hard work. So to a certain extent, Sister Hong can still use some of her face here. At least, after checking their IDs, she didn't make things difficult for them and let them go directly. Because of the changes in the situation on the alien battlefield, the guards on the war fortress have also been strengthened a lot. Sister Hong explained again. 
Sister Hong, why is there no one here except the guards? Ping Xiangyu asked in confusion. Sister Hong said, the war has been going on for a while. Those who are willing to go to the alien battlefield have already gone there. Those who are unwilling to go are definitely more unwilling to go now. Anyway, there are sea beasts invading the Blue Star mainland now. So it's not just us. There must be no people at the entrances and exits of other alien battlefields. Those who are there are also returning from the alien battlefields. Peng Xiangyu said with a look of realization, so that's it. Okay, there is one last checkpoint. Going further inside is the entrance and exit of the alien battlefield. Are you nervous? As they talked, the team finally arrived at the gate of the last checkpoint. Sister Hong didn't care. Anyway, she didn't know how many times she had entered the alien battlefield. But it was the first time for everyone in the Haotian team, and it was such a special time. It would be strange if they were not nervous. Chapter 339 Ahem Yi Xiaotian and his party rode the teleportation array into the alien battlefield. It was their first time here and they were choked by the strong smell of blood and coughed repeatedly. Except for Sister Hong, there are no exceptions. Seeing them coughing uncomfortably, Sister Hong said a little embarrassed, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you this. The air in this foreign battlefield is different from ours. After coughing for a while, everyone finally recovered temporarily. For people like Yi Xiaotian, it directly slows down the frequency of breathing. This way, you won't be choked by the strange smell. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, It's okay. It will be fine if everyone gets used to it. We are not children. Indeed, they are not ordinary people. No matter how bad the air here is, they just need to get used to it. After all, they are all powerful awakeners. Within the strength system of this awakened person, those above level B can indeed be called masters. Sister Hong, where should we go next? Yi Xiaotian asked. The place where they are standing now is a deserted land. At first glance, there is nothing. Even the ground is brown, and they don't know how it was formed. However, judging from the strong smell of blood in the air, the formation of this color should be related to blood. I just don't know whether humans have more blood or animals have more blood. In this limited space, humans and aliens have been fighting here for hundreds of years, and there are countless lives filling this place. It would not be an exaggeration to say that all the land on the alien battlefield was stained with blood. Sister Hong first comforted the ladies to completely relieve their coughs, and then said, this is the outermost area, so the air is pretty good. The further inside, the stronger the smell in the air. So I suggest you get used to it here first. Sister Hong recalled that when she first entered the alien battlefield, she was much more embarrassed than them. I almost stopped breathing, but I didn't choke myself to death. Fortunately, the elders who brought them in had experience and helped them calm down, so they recovered. After that, I slowly adapted to the environment here. Yi Xiaotian remembered the altitude sickness in his previous life. Although the principles are different, the results are similar. If they cannot adapt to the environment here, the combat effectiveness of their awakened ones will be greatly reduced. No wonder the awakened ones who enter the foreign battlefield need certain conditions. A student kid who just came out of school would never come directly to the alien battlefield. They will be outside, fighting non-stop with the alien beasts, until they no longer react to the smell of blood, and then they will come to the alien battlefield to adapt again. Although the smell of local blood cannot be compared with the alien battlefield. But after adapting to the local environment, when they get here, they won't be like Yi Xiaotian and others. Their bodies will not be able to adjust to the sudden huge changes. This is especially true for Han Xuyao and the other girls. No need, Sister Hong. We have all adapted now and it's fine. Han Xuyao rejected Sister Hong's kindness. They also killed strange beasts in the outside world, and they had smelled the smell of blood, but it was not as strong as here. The earth was soaked in blood for who knows how many years before this unique smell was formed. It's been like this for years. Moreover, in the recent war between the two clans, it is unknown how many lives have been lost and how much new blood has joined this land. 
more blood smell wafted over again. The entire alien battlefield was filled with the smell of blood. If they can't even overcome this difficulty, they should go back early. Sister Hong said worriedly, is it really possible? Han Xuyao said, it's really okay. Yi Xiaotian said, Sister Hong, since they all say everything is fine, then believe them. And I estimate that this place is still quite far away from the third line of defense, and there is still time to adapt. Besides, Sister Hong, let me tell you the truth. This time we come to the alien battlefield, and we have several goals that we need to explain to you first. Say it. Sister Hong was very calm. Although she was really surprised that Yi Xiaotian was the great god Haotian. But it was just an accident. From Sister Hong's point of view, their coming to the foreign battlefield was just to increase their knowledge. She never thought that Yi Xiaotian came to the foreign battlefield just to influence the situation of the war, or to end the war. Therefore, Sister Hong never thought about taking them to the most dangerous frontal battlefield. It is enough to go to the side battlefield to see and experience what a real war between the two races is. Just wait until Yi Xiaotian truly grows up, or when he has the ability to influence the situation of the battle. She believes that the alien battlefield that truly belongs to Yi Xiaotian should be a few years, or even ten years later. The first one is to increase their awakening level. This only requires hunting enough alien beasts. The second one is that I want to enhance their talent with treasures. With their current talent level, only high-level alien beasts can have them. May fall. Otherwise, I can only redeem it from the Samsara Mall. I want to work hard on my own first. If it doesn't work, I can go to the mall to redeem it. Sister Hong looked at Yi Xiaotian steadily. Sister Hong, what's wrong? Is there something on my face? Yi Xiaotian asked in confusion. Sister Hong suddenly asked, Do you want to strengthen their talent grades? Yi Xiaotian said, Yes, although his current strength can be said to be far ahead among the freshmen, to be honest, they have no advantage among the awakened ones of the same level. Even Xiao Cheng and Peng Xianyu only have SS level talents, so my ultimate goal is to raise their talent grades to SS level. In this way, they will be competitive among the awakened ones of the same level. The Haotian team has today's record because of Yi Xiaotian. His various auxiliary talent skills have greatly increased the strength of the team members. With the help of their own talent effects, they can compete with awakened ones of the same level without losing the upper hand, and even kill them above their level. But once they lose Yi Xiaotian's assistance, their strength will drop significantly. At that time, how can they compete with other awakened ones of the same level with only S level talents, or even SS level talents? The Haotian team, just by the name, must strengthen everyone's talent grade to SS level. If one year doesn't work, then two years. If two years doesn't work, then three years. No matter how many years it takes, this goal must be achieved. If it really doesn't work, then he can only use the reincarnation points. Anyway, his current savings are still far from exchanging for the secret treasures at the top of the rankings. It is estimated that it will not be achieved in a short time. It is better to strengthen the team's combat power first. Sister Hong has nothing to say. Is this the vision of the great god Haotian? Well, if it succeeds, it is a vision, and if it fails, it is just illusion. Chapter, 340 That's it, I'll take you to the side battlefield. Sister Hong said. Side battlefield? Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Others also looked at Sister Hong with curious faces. Sister Hong explained, in the foreign battlefield, there are frontal battlefields and side battlefields. Except for the three frontal battlefields, the other lines of defense can be called side battlefields. In the war between the two races, the frontal battlefield is definitely the most cruel, and it is also the place where both sides are strongest. On our human side, the frontal battlefields are usually official forces, such as the Awakeners of the Wasteland Legion and the Night Watch Legion. As for the side battlefield, there are more Freedom Awakening team. This can be regarded as a tacit understanding between the two parties. The frontal battlefield determines the outcome of both parties, while the side battlefield is a place left for the awakened ones from both sides to hunt. Damn it, 
there is such a tacit understanding. This sounds funny. Ping Xiangyu couldn't help but interrupt after hearing this. The others also looked speechless. The two tribes are fighting to the death, but there is a tacit agreement to open another battlefield for the awakened ones from both sides to hunt. This is too childish. Sister Hong explained, don't feel weird, there are unspoken rules for everything. This kind of thing is beneficial to both parties and can also cultivate reserve talents. Why not do it? Several young people were stunned when they heard this. How could such a thing be done? The two sides here are fighting to the death. But on the other side, both parties were doing business. This reminded Yi Xiaotian of a spy movie he had watched in his previous life. It said that the enemy and the enemy were fighting fiercely, but behind the scenes, the top executives of both sides were still doing business and making a lot of money from the national crisis. Not to mention, the current situation here is that both sides are training troops, not making money. But he didn't say much. It's good to know this kind of thing in your heart, but speaking out will arouse suspicion. After all, he is now a boy who is about to turn 19, not the well-informed internet bug in his previous life. Okay, don't worry about this. Just know that the side battlefields are used for hunting and improving strength. Of course, it depends on each other's luck whether the enemy improves his strength or whether he improves his own strength. Sister Hong said it very straightforwardly. The side battlefield is indeed used for hunting, but it is unclear who is hunting whom. Everyone understands this. No matter what mode it is, strength has the final say. If you don't have the strength, you will end up getting killed wherever you go. Yi Xiaotian said, the side battlefield is most suitable for us now. Let's go there. Sister Hong, lead the way. Actually, I still hope that you can adapt here for a while. Now is a special period. Even the side battlefield is very dangerous. Sister Hong suggested again. The battles on the alien battlefield were already very cruel, and now it was even more so during the war between the two races. Anyone who enters a foreign battlefield will adjust their condition to the best. How can they be like Yi Xiaotian and others, who don't even give them time to adapt and just go to the battlefield directly? Yi Xiaotian looked at his teammates and said, what Sister Hong said makes sense. Don't be anxious. The battlefield is no joke. You can't come here in vain. Going to the battlefield in your best condition is not only responsible for yourself, but also for your teammates. No one spoke immediately, but felt it. Yi Xiaotian looked at Han Xuyao, others were embarrassed, she didn't have to worry about this. Xuyao, how is your health now? You don't have to force yourself. No matter how anxious you are, you won't miss the next few days. Yi Xiaotian grabbed Han Xuyao's hand and said. Han Xuyao said, it is true that I am still a little uncomfortable, and my breathing is a little difficult. When I take a deep breath, I always feel like there is a burst of air in my chest that is about to rush out. But if we get used to it for a while, there should be no problem. If our goals are far-reaching, we can do both at the same time. Yi Xiaotian nodded and looked at the others. We are similar to Xuyao. Others also spoke one after another. Sister Hong was a little hesitant when she saw what they said. This was a foreign battlefield and it was no joke. It can be said that these people are the future pillars of the human race. If there is anything wrong here, how will she explain it? Especially Yi Xiaotian, who is known as the backbone of the future of the human race. At the very least, they all started at the supreme power level. The sixth most powerful human being, we have been waiting for this for many years. Every time after the new awakening ceremony, there is a gust of wind saying that the sixth supreme powerhouse of mankind is about to be born. But after so many years, I have never seen it really born. But this time, no one doubted the great god Haotian. With his growth rate, if he still can't become a supreme powerhouse, then the human race will really have no hope. Therefore, Lord Sword God personally took action to protect him. It is to ensure to the greatest extent that he will not die halfway. I'm afraid no one thought that Yi Xiaotian's growth rate would be so amazing. In just half a year, he went from an awakened person to an S-level awakened person. 
In this case, even the Lord Sword God cannot suppress him on the Blue Star mainland. He can only be allowed to come to the alien battlefield. The growth of a strong person requires not only care, but also rich experiences. With Yi Xiaotian's ability, he can definitely join the alien battlefield. Flowers raised in a greenhouse cannot withstand strong winds and rainstorms. It's just that the Lord Sword God can carry this pot, but Huang Hong can't. Yi Xiaotian saw Sister Hong's hesitation and said, Sister Hong, don't worry, it's okay, we just walk slowly. Sister Hong's eyes lit up, yes, just walk slowly. From here to the side battlefield of the third line of defense, it will take half a day if you are fast, but if you walk slowly, it will take a few days. No problem, let's go. Sister Hong walked forward. Half a day passed, and they strolled on the land of the alien battlefield, more like they came here to stroll. Hey, is that our awakener in front? Suddenly, Sun Yao pointed to a ray of light in the sky ahead and said. Sister Hong stopped immediately and pulled out the big knife. Yi Xiaotian said, Sister Hong, that is a human awakener, he should be one of ours, don't worry. Sister Hong said solemnly, Xiaotian, and you, remember one thing, in the alien battlefield, except for your teammates, no one is absolutely trustworthy. It's okay on the battlefield, but in a place like this, you must be extremely cautious. Yi Xiaotian understood it as soon as he heard it, and said, Sister Hong, do you mean that it is possible that the aliens are pretending? Sister Hong said, it could be a pagan, or it could be a strong man from the aliens. As she spoke, the light had already reached their sky, and suddenly swooped down and smashed towards the team. Chapter, 341 Boom! The sudden change made it too late for them to react. Even Sister Hong, who had been on alert, was too late. After all, she was a melee fighter. She couldn't imagine what would happen if the attack fell on these young people. This thought only came to her mind. After the loud noise, when everyone reacted again, they found that Yi Xiaotian was standing in front of them, and a light curtain emanated from him, blocking all of them behind. And the power of the attack just now was blocked by him. Is this the ability of an S-level awakener? Sister Hong murmured. As an A-level awakener, she only had time to think about it just now, and it was too late. But Yi Xiaotian, who was standing behind her, not only reacted, but also protected them all. No, isn't he a melee fighter and an auxiliary psychic? It seems that in this team, only Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are melee fighters. Sister Hong was confused again. Originally, she thought she knew Yi Xiaotian very well, but now she found that it was not the case at all. At this time, they saw the enemy in front of them clearly. Their previous judgment was indeed too hasty. This is not a human being, nor a pagan, but a real alien race. The biggest difference between alien races and humans is that they still retain the characteristics of alien races. For example, the alien race in front of them has the same body and hands as humans, but the head is different. It is obvious that this is a leopard head. Although it tries its best to get close to the human head and facial features. However, the nose, eyes, ears, and even the mouth still retain some characteristics of the leopard tribe, which are still very obvious when observed closely. Of course, the most obvious is the flowing hair and the spots on the face. It's just that these characteristics are difficult to judge when moving at a long distance and at high speed. The leopard-headed man before was too fast, like a ray of light, and everyone could only see a humanoid creature, and this place is still within the control range of humans. So subconsciously, I think the other party should be human. Unexpectedly, the other party is a 100% alien race. The leopard tribe is famous for its speed and strength. At super high speed, it can exert terrifying power. This is why Yi Xiaotian wants to keep Huang Jie in the team. Agility-based auxiliary ability users may be useless for other awakening teams, but in the Haokian team, combined with Yi Xiaotian's talent skills, they can produce an effect of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. Yi Xiaotian can increase the main attributes of teammates or even the secondary attributes. Huang Jia increases the agility of teammates. In this way, all members of the Haokian team can maximize their strength. In addition to attack power, 
there is another very important factor in the maximization, that is, attack rate. This is also a very important factor. In general awakening teams, the auxiliary system is random. It depends on your luck to increase the attributes for you. But in the Haokin team, there is no such concern at all. Yi Xiaotian can specify the attribute increase, and Huang Jia also specifies the increase. In this way, the strength of the awakened can be maximized, without exception. Imagine that your enemy can attack you ten times in the time it takes him to attack once. How can you fight him? And for close combat, the increase in agility can also increase a certain proportion of strength. Under super high speed, the power of inertia should never be underestimated. Among the alien races, the leopard race is definitely a race that excels in speed. The super high speed, sharp claws, and tyrannical power make the leopard race very powerful among the thousands of races in the alien space. The leopard-headed man stretched out his bloody tongue, licked his lips, and grinned, I really didn't expect to meet a lone team here. Such a young team must have just graduated from school. This is fat meat delivered to the door. As for the fact that its attack was blocked just now, it didn't care at all. It just rushed down from a high altitude without using its own strength at all, relying entirely on inertia, so it was not surprising that it was blocked. This time, he quietly broke through the human defense line and went deep into the human territory, just to hunt some lone awakened people of the human race and improve his own strength. As for sneaking into Blue Star, he would never do it. At this time, sneaking into Blue Star would be courting death. There are probably countless human awakened people waiting for him on the teleportation array. It is the wisest choice to stay in this alien battlefield and hunt human awakened people. Little darlings, come to my bowl quickly. The leopard headed man opened his bloody mouth, and he was determined to eat these young people of the human race. It seems that the human race is really at the end of its strength, and even such students are sent out. It seems that it is necessary to prepare early, and once the human defense line collapses, the first batch will rush into Blue Star, so that it can maximize its own interests. Should I tell the tribe about this? The leopard-headed man was a little entangled. Should I go back to pass the message, or continue to stay here to hunt human awakened people? This is a question worth thinking about. Yi Xiaotian's momentum was rising, and he didn't even take out his equipment. He punched the leopard-headed man directly. The leopard-headed man was immediately interested when he saw that Yi Xiaotian, a young man, dared to resist. I like the struggle of humans before death. The more you struggle, the more excited I am. After the leopard-headed man finished speaking, he also punched. Comparing strength with aliens, isn't this a brain what? If it was a middle-aged man, the leopard-headed man would probably have to think about it again. The student in front of him. He just wanted to say that he could blow the other party down in one breath. The leopard-headed man's body flew hundreds of meters away and fell to the ground. The people of the Haokian team shook their heads and sighed. Sister Hong was confused and said, Why are you sighing? Shouldn't they cheer if they win? Looking at their appearance, they don't seem very happy. What kind of brain circuit is this? Sister Hong, we just think that this leopard-headed man is very good at pretending, but his real skills are very ordinary. Huang Jia said calmly. Sister Hong said, this is an A-level leopard awakener. Do you think his strength is ordinary? I should have let you fight just now. Huang Jia said, Sister Hong, I am a support. It is impossible for me to fight. I can only hide in the team to get attribute points. Sister Hong rolled her eyes wildly. How did this little fat man become so shameless in half a year? Chapter, 342 The leopard-headed man was completely stunned. This is fucking different from what he imagined. He originally thought that he could do whatever he wanted by breaking through the human defense blockade and entering the rear of the human race. But the reality broke his defense. How could they lose to the awakening team of the human race just now? How could a group of students who just graduated from school defeat him, a dignified A-level awakening master? What is going on? Are the awakening students of the human race so powerful? He couldn't believe it, this is definitely not a student. This is fucking fake. 
If the students of the human race can be so powerful, the alien race would have been wiped out by them long ago. Yi Xiaotian came to the leopard-headed man, looked down at him, and said, Where did you come from? This is a very serious problem. This shows that the blockade of the human awakeners is not tight, allowing the awakeners of the alien race to sneak in. He doesn't know yet whether the leopard-headed man is an exception or there are more behind. Since he has encountered it, he naturally has to solve this problem. Sister Hong beside her nodded repeatedly when she heard Yi Xiaotian's question. Sure enough, although Yi Xiaotian was young, only 19 years old, his experience and means of handling things were very experienced. Do you think I will tell you? The leopard-headed man said with disdain. Sister Hong, who was following behind, was trying to persuade Yi Xiaotian that there was no need to be polite to the defeated aliens, just kill them directly. It was impossible to get any effective information from the other party. To be honest, the aliens were still very tough in this regard. Then Yi Xiaotian pointed a finger at the leopard-headed man's forehead. She saw a mysterious power pouring into the leopard-headed man's mind from Yi Xiaotian's finger. The leopard-headed man screamed miserably. Fortunately, the scream stopped soon, so Sister Hong's words of persuasion were not said. Yi Xiaotian withdrew his hand. The leopard-headed man regained his composure and then returned to his original form as a spotted leopard. The spotted leopard, the size of a buffalo, looked very imposing. Xiaotian, retreat quickly. Sister Hong reminded. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, Sister Hong, it's okay, it won't hurt me. The leopard-headed man returned to his original form, the spotted leopard, and growled. Yi Xiaotian said, Sun Yao, treat it. Sun Yao didn't ask any more questions, and directly raised her staff to treat the spotted leopard. Sister Hong didn't know what to say. What was going on? She wanted to ask, but she didn't know how to start. She always felt that Yi Xiaotian still had a big secret, and it was not good for her to find out when the other party didn't take the initiative to explain. Huang Jie pulled Sister Hong and said, Sister Hong, just leave it to Brother Tian. Take us to where you came from. Yi Xiao Tian ordered the spotted leopard. The spotted leopard recovered from his injuries, and after hearing Yi Xiao Tian's order, he opened his mouth and responded, Yes, Master. After that, the body of the spotted leopard, which was originally the size of a buffalo, began to swell again. Soon, a giant spotted leopard more than ten meters high and dozens of meters long appeared in front of them. Even more imposing. Even Sister Hong was stunned, feeling that what was happening in front of her was beyond her comprehension. Yi Xiaotian called everyone, everyone, sit up, the place is spacious, sit wherever you want. After that, Yi Xiaotian pulled Han Xuyao and jumped onto the back of the leopard as soon as possible. The huge leopard has a wider back than a bus. So it is very convenient to sit. The leopard felt very aggrieved, a master of A-level alien awakeners, but he was reduced to a mount. But this was Yi Xiaotian's intention, and he could only obey and could not object. Sister Hong looked confused, while others jumped onto the giant leopard and sat down. They had seen the same thing on the giant spider crab, so there was nothing to be curious about. Ping Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng, because they joined later, also saw it for the first time. But they didn't ask much, nor did they show it. That was Brother Tian, and everything he did was normal. Just treat it with a normal mind. Huang Jie said, Sister Hong, you just need to know that Brother Tian is omnipotent. Sister Hong rolled her eyes, saying this is the same as saying nothing. Besides, omnipotent, do you really think he is a god? He is only an S-level awakener now. Only when an awakener reaches the level of a supreme strongman can he possess magical powers and display various magical abilities. In other words, an awakener at the level of a supreme strongman has already left the scope of ordinary humans. For example, Lord Sword God can be in the capital with just a thought, and a spiritual sword can destroy the Shen family in the magic city. And the SS-level initial awakener of the Shen family was destroyed without even a little resistance. This is the real magical power. And before that, it was still considered the scope of ordinary humans. Even if it has not reached the level of a god, it is estimated that it is not far away. It is a pity that the supreme realm is too difficult. 
In more than a hundred years, there have been countless awakeners of the human beings on Blue Star, and only five of this level have emerged. As for the realm above the Supreme, there is actually the realm of the Omnipotent Dominant, which is the legendary SS level awakener. However, so far, humans have not yet produced such a strong person. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be such a strong man on the alien side. Otherwise, the humans on Blue Star would have given up long ago. Whichever side can first produce a master level awakening strongman will gain an absolute advantage. It's just that the master level is too difficult. Just the hundreds of millions of attribute points have made 99% of the awakened people of Infinite Nine despair. Even the awakened strongmen of the supreme level are probably a little desperate. They spent hundreds of years and finally touched the ceiling of the supreme strongman, but there is always a layer of separation from the floor of the master. They need to spend hundreds of years, or even hundreds of years, before they can touch the floor of the master. As for whether they can stand on the floor of the master in the end, it is still an unknown. Sister Hong herself is only an A-level strongman. Her understanding of high-level awakeners is all from the records of the family. Even about the supreme-level awakened strongmen, even the family records are very few, and many are based on speculation. Even, what exactly is a supreme strongman, and how to be promoted to a supreme strongman, or even a dominant strongman, she doesn't know. Everything is speculation. Speculation based on the previous awakening level promotion. But she also understands that many things, relying on such speculation, are often far away from the real answer. Omnipotent, I'm afraid only the real dominant boss dares to say that he is omnipotent. But Yi Xiao Tian is indeed an exception. Many incredible things have been done by him. Chapter, 343 For example, right now, he just put his finger on the leopard-headed man's forehead, and then the leopard-headed man, who was not even afraid of death, obeyed and even called Yi Xiao Tian his master. I have never heard of such a thing. She quickly pulled out the samsara mall and checked it out. Spirit growing technique? Soon, according to the conditions she entered, only one spirit growing technique met the criteria. It's just that the price of this spiritual technique is very touching. Produced by Samsara Mall, it is naturally not a low grade rubbish talent skill. So the price is really worth 99.00%. The remaining 0. Point infinite one part of the awakened person looked at it and said, Damn, are you kidding me? What use do I have with such innate skills? Worse than tasteless. So Sister Hong quickly closed the Samsara Mall, thinking silently, where did Yi Xiao Tian come from such spiritual skills? Born to be awakened? I'm afraid this is the only possibility. It's impossible to buy it. With those reincarnation points, wouldn't it be good to improve your strength? It has to be said that the Leopard Clan speed is really incredible. In Yi Xiao Tian's opinion, even the plane in his previous life was not so fast. How do you feel? Yi Xiao Tian asked Han Xuyao and the others. The original plan was to be on the road for a few days to give them enough time to adapt. But now the plan can't keep up with the changes. Very good, very cool. Han Xuyao was the first to open his arms and said loudly against the strong wind. This is the awakened one, and ordinary people have no idea where they have blown it. Everyone else nodded. Yi Xiao Tian was puzzled after hearing this. He was really happy. Nothing uncomfortable. How is this going? He felt it, and it seemed that the smell of blood before had become lighter. Could it be because of the wind? Forget it, as long as he is here, it will be no problem. After all, this place is still under the control of the awakened humans. Even if there are alien races, their number will not be large. But there is a loophole in the defense line, which is a big deal. Once the alien race seizes this loophole, and then a large number of alien awakened people pass through this loophole, and when the time comes to cooperate inside and outside, then the human awakened people will be attacked from both sides. That's why Yi Xiao Tian will ignore the leak and directly use spirit planting technique on the leopard headed man in front of Sister Hong. It's not that Yi Xiao Tian doesn't trust Sister Hong. After all, they just met her not long ago. Even if she is taking care of Huang Jie, Yi Xiao Tian has to observe her for a while before talking. Sister Hong, do you know which direction this is? 
Yi Xiao Tian asked Sister Hong. Sister Hong said solemnly, if I read it correctly, this should be the middle area between the first and third frontal battlefields. The middle area of the frontal battlefield? The expression on Yi Xiaotian's face became more solemn. The frontal battlefield is so important, but now, the middle of the two frontal battlefields is actually infiltrated by aliens. Sister Hong's face also changed drastically. She just came back to her senses now and her brain started to work normally again. The defense lines on the frontal battlefield have been penetrated, which is a major security incident. Therefore, they must rush to the first and third frontal battlefields as soon as possible to plug this loophole. Sister Hong urged, Xiao Tian, can you go faster? She couldn't believe what the consequences would be if this loophole was known to the aliens and exploited. So before that, let's plug this loophole. Yi Xiao Tian said, Bao Air, speed up. Leopard 2 is the name Yi Xiao Tian gave his second alien spiritual pet. As for the first one, let's call him Zhu Yi, simple and crude. Why do you call it Bao Air? Sister Hong couldn't help but asked curiously. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's nothing, I just think this name is easy to remember. Sister Hong was speechless. Sure enough, she had the right to be willful. Under Yi Xiaotian's order, Bao Er's speed suddenly increased a lot. Yi Xiaotian ordered, Fat man, give Leopard 2 some agility attributes. Huang Jia received Yi Xiaotian's order and said with some difficulty, Brother Tian, it's a bit difficult. The wind was too strong, he was a little fat, the force bearing area was a little large, and he couldn't bear it. Xiao Shi, hold up the golden bell. Yi Xiaotian said again. Chang Xiaoxi responded, and a golden bell locked everyone inside. Suddenly, everyone inside the golden bell felt relaxed. In particular, a few superpowers felt extremely relaxed, as if a huge mountain had been moved away from their bodies. Wang Hao said a little worriedly, Xiao Shi, can you hold on? Chang Xiaoxi said, I can do it. At this moment, Chang Xiaoxi felt that her presence was overwhelming. There has never been a moment like this. Even when fighting, her presence was not as strong as it is now. Okay, when you are tired, tell me and I will take over for you. Wang Hao said. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes and said, Can you really take over my job? Wang Hao was stunned for a moment, and then he wanted to answer, but was glared at by Yi Xiao Tian, and then he shut up. Of course not. Wang Hao's expression changed for a while before he said with a sneer. Chang Xiaoxi snorted and said, as long as you understand, that's all. Just sit down and don't disturb me. Wang Hao took a few steps back, then sat near Yi Xiao Tian and touched Yi Xiao Tian with his hand. He didn't understand why Yi Xiao Tian stopped him. Wouldn't it be better to let him replace Chang Xiaoxi? It would be very tiring for Chang Xiaoxi to do things alone. He is a man, so of course he can't just watch. Yi Xiao Tian first made a gesture, and then whispered, are you stupid? Chang Xiaoxi finally found a good position, why do you want to deprive her? Wang Hao was confused, and he didn't understand for a while. Han Xuyao beside him couldn't help but say, how can you be a boyfriend? Haven't you noticed Xiaoxi's abnormality recently? Wang Hao also whispered, I must have noticed it, she just thinks she has a talent. At this point, Wang Hao paused. He looked at Chang Xiaoxi standing at the neck of the spotted leopard and whispered, Thank you. At this moment, he finally reacted. Although Chang Xiaoxi can also appear as the protector of the team during the battle. But unfortunately, the battles of the Haotian team have always been quick and decisive, so it is difficult for her to find a sense of accomplishment. Now it is different. From here to the destination, Chang Xiaoxi will protect the entire team. Such a sense of accomplishment is simply overwhelming. Han Xuyao said, although Brother Tian has said that he will help her strengthen her talent level, Xiaoxi is very sensitive and feels that she has the lowest talent level in the entire team. She will feel that she is holding us back. Don't tell me that you won't have such a mentality, and we won't have such a mentality either, but Xiaoxi herself will think so, what can we do? Chapter, 344 It's okay in the short term, but over time, this will become Xiaoxi's inner demon. Of course, if I wasn't in the team, she would have given up long ago with you careless men. 
Han Xuyao stared at Wang Hao fiercely and concluded. Wang Hao immediately said with shame, I was careless. Han Xuyao saw him like this and said, forget it, let's not talk about this for the time being. Xiaoxi's psychology is very sensitive now, don't tell her about these things. Just pay more attention in the subsequent battles, don't protect her too much, and let her feel more involved. Han Xuyao reminded. Wang Hao said, I will, thank you, sister-in-law. After Wang Hao finished speaking, he walked forward and sat down near Chang Xiaoxi, not disturbing her, but just guarding her silently. I didn't expect that you also have the talent to be a spiritual mentor. Yi Xiaotian smiled at Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao said, I am not a spiritual mentor. I just told him what I saw and thought. Brother Tian, this matter really can't be delayed any longer. Xiaoxi and I grew up together. I hope she is happy. I don't want her to always feel that she is a burden to the whole team. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, I promise you that if you can't get the talent enhancement spirit liquid by hunting high level alien beast awakeners, then I will exchange it from the Samsara Mall. Although the Awakener Association also has a reserve of talent enhancement spirit liquid, the quantity is very small. Yi Xiaotian felt that he could solve this kind of thing by himself, so he didn't bother them. After all, the more you take, the more you owe. And using it yourself and giving it to the team members are two different concepts. So he wisely didn't make this request to the Awakener Association. Even if he paid for it, it would not be appropriate. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan sat together. Sun Yao was fine, but Mu Bingyan's face was even paler. But she gritted her teeth and didn't say anything. Bingyan, are you feeling better? Sun Yao asked. Mu Bingyan nodded. After Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell rose, she felt much better. Although the smell was still very strong in this limited space, at least there was no strong wind, which relieved her physical pressure a lot. But her face was still very ugly. Yao Yao, aren't you feeling bad? Mu Bingyan asked Sun Yao. Sun Yao shook her head and said, not too bad, just a little chest tightness at the beginning, but now it's much better, basically nothing abnormal. This smell is so bad, can't you feel it? Mu Bingyan couldn't help asking. They are all girls, Chang Xiaoxi is fine, she is a warrior, and her physical fitness is much better than them. Han Xuyao didn't see her feeling much, just a little nauseous at the beginning, now she is sitting with Yi Xiaotian and talking and laughing. Is it really true that love is enough? But even Sun Yao, who has always been weak, is stronger than her, she can't stand it. Could it be that they have some special skills that I didn't light up? Sun Yao sniffed and replied, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. Maybe I grew up in the slums, so my nose has a natural resistance to these odors. Mu Bingyan heard it and it seemed to make sense. She has been a big lady since she was a child and has never suffered. Before going to Jiangcheng, it can be said that she grew up under the care of her family. The food and clothes are all the best. It is even more different from the place where Sun Yao grew up. So she has a slight cleanliness obsession. In this environment, she is definitely the most uncomfortable one. After a period of adaptation, the others have almost recovered. As for whether there will be a relapse later, it is unclear. After all, the place where they are now cannot be compared with the real battlefield. Sister Hong, why is it so bare here, there are no plants. Huang Jia and Sister Hong sat together. Although the leopard is very fast and the scenery next to it is like a phantom, as an awakener, it is definitely not just relying on the eyes to see. The alien battlefield has only one characteristic, that is, desolation. Sister Hong smiled and said, the awakened people of the two races have been fighting here for hundreds of years. The space of the alien battlefield is so large. What else do you think there is here except desolation? Huang Jie thought it made sense. Unless the plants become spirits, it would be strange if they could stay. In the hundreds of years of war between the two races, no one knows how many awakened people of the two races died here. It is normal that there is no grass here. Here, even the earth is soaked with the blood of the two races. It is strange that plants can grow in such a place. I heard that the scenery here was also very good in the past. The sea has changed a lot, 
and the alien battlefield has witnessed the changes between the two races. Sister Hong said faintly. Oh no! Huang Jie suddenly shouted. What's wrong? Everyone else was startled, even Chang Xiaoxi was startled, and even the golden bell cover began to shake. Wang Hao hurried forward to help, and then stabilized it. Fatty, what are you yelling about? Wang Hao yelled angrily. No, Brother Hao, I just thought of a very serious question. We came here, but there is nothing here. How can we live? Huang Jia lost his momentum after being yelled at by Wang Hao, and hurriedly explained. How do you live? Wang Hao didn't understand. Huang Jia said, Brother Hao, there is nothing here, it's bare, how can we survive here? Wang Hao was stunned, this question is indeed a problem. In the past, it seems that there is no need to consider this problem. Hunting alien beasts, there is a direct source, no need to bring, just roast it with fire. But when we got here, there was not even firewood, what to do? If I had known earlier, I would have brought some firewood from outside. It seems that before coming in, they didn't know that this alien battlefield would be like this. Sister Hong, how did you solve the food problem? You can't really eat raw meat. Sister Hong smiled and said, Don't worry, there will be all kinds of supplies at the base camp, just buy some when the time comes. Tell me about it. Huang Jia said. Sister Hong said, We have a base camp here, and every once in a while, there will be special people to transport supplies. Here, you can buy it with money, exchange it with military merits, or exchange it with the bodies of aliens. So don't worry, you won't starve. Sister Hong smiled and looked at Huang Jia. Huang Jia explained awkwardly, I'm not afraid of starving, but I don't even have a piece of wood to make a fire. How can we eat raw meat? We are all civilized people. Yes, we are all civilized people, but fatty, don't worry, it's okay even if you starve for a few days, you have a lot of meat. Wang Hao teased. Brother Hao, you really misunderstood, I really didn't mean that. Huang Jia emphasized again. Chapter, 345 At the beginning, even the girls were shocked, thinking that they were going to eat raw meat this time. But after hearing Sister Hong's explanation, they all breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that they don't have to worry about the following trading methods. There is no shortage of money, nor of the corpses of strange beasts. Master, we are about to enter the patrol range of human awakeners. Leopard 2 slowed down and reported to Yi Xiaotian. Going further, it is the patrol range of human awakeners. If you rush in like this, you will definitely be discovered. After all, when Leopard 2 came, his body shrunk to the smallest state, and then came carefully. Yi Xiaotian asked Leopard 2 to stop, and after getting off the ground, he asked Leopard 2 to shrink his body to the size of an ordinary spotted leopard, and then said to Sister Hong, Sister Hong, what should we do next? Sister Hong was a little entangled. She wanted to take another trip along the original path of Leopard 2 to warn the Awakeners defending this side. But she was worried that one such behavior was discovered by the patrol guards, they would have no reason to explain. Empty words, I'm afraid the person in charge here will definitely not admit it. After all, this will take a lot of responsibility. There was such a big loophole in his defense area, and not everyone can bear such a responsibility. She couldn't predict what the consequences would be. In the face of life and death, all rationality and humanity must be put aside. Sister Hong told Yi Xiaotian about her concerns, and then said, This is the situation. Let's think about how to decide. Sister Hong, Brother Tian, I think we should go directly to the base camp and report the loopholes here to the base camp. Anyway, there are no serious consequences now, and I think the base camp will not punish too severely. Xiao Cheng was the first to speak. Oh, tell me in detail. Yi Xiao Tian saw that Xiao Cheng looked like he was sure of victory, and said quickly. Xiao Cheng continued, We came here because we were afraid that a large number of aliens would cross here. Now that such a thing has not happened, there is no need for us to directly clash with the defenders here. At the base camp, my family and the Peng family have awakened teams here, so they can speak for themselves and don't have to worry about being suspected. Based on the principle of less trouble, 
I think it is more reasonable for us to go directly to the base camp. Xiao Cheng's answer made sense, so he was recognized by many people. I agree. I agree too. Lian Hongjie also said, Xiao Tian, I think what Xiao Cheng said makes sense. Now is a special period, and we have to be cautious. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, I agree too. Anyway, there are no serious consequences. They just need to report the news to the base camp and let them make some adjustments. It is indeed inappropriate to go in directly and clash with the defenders here. No one is saintly, and no one can be without mistakes. As long as you know your mistakes and correct them, it is a great kindness. But they didn't want to cause trouble, but trouble would come. As long as they stayed here, they were discovered by the patrolling guards. As soon as a team of ten night watchmen found them, they immediately surrounded them. The team leader said sternly, heretics. Wait. Sister Hong hurriedly said, don't get me wrong, we are not heretics. The team leader was not easy to fool, pointing at Leopard 2, saying, with strange beasts around, you still say you are not heretics, do you think I am a fool? Sister Hong held her forehead, she knew it would cause misunderstanding, so she didn't go in directly before. Unexpectedly, they were finally discovered by the night watchman. We are really not heretics, we are the awakened team that just came from Blue Star to participate in the war. Sister Hong explained. The team leader snorted, make up, keep making up. While speaking, their encirclement had been formed. The reason why he just talked nonsense with Sister Hong was to delay time and let his brothers complete the encirclement. He had already determined that the people of the Houtian team were all heretics. Only heretics can live in peace with alien beasts and alien races. We are really not heretics. We have identity certificates. Yi Xiaotian also spoke quickly. If a fight really breaks out, it will be even more difficult to explain. And no matter who wins or loses, the loss is the defense force of the human race. After speaking, he showed the identity certificate issued by the Awakener Association to the team leader. Not only does it have the special mark of the Awakener Association, but all the checkpoints along the way will be stamped with their marks. Unexpectedly, the team leader did not even answer and said directly, such an identity certificate is very simple to forge. Then how can we prove our identity? Yi Xiaotian frowned. Unexpectedly, such an identity certificate is useless. He suspected that the other party was making things difficult for them. This is the identity certificate issued by the Awakener Association, and we have been here all the way, and there are stamps stamped by the checkpoints along the way. How can it not be proved? Huang Jie couldn't help but speak. Are you teaching me how to do things? We have our own way of distinguishing whether you are heretics or not. If this ID card can prove your identity, then our defense line would have been breached by the aliens long ago. The team leader insisted. Huang Jie was speechless. After all, what the other party said made sense. I am Xiao Cheng from the Xiao family in Beijing, this is Mu Bingyan from the Mu family in Beijing, this is Peng Xiangyu from the Peng family in Jiangnan, this is Huang Jie from the Huang family in Wanshan city, and this is the famous Haokin god. It doesn't matter if you don't know us, as long as someone from our family or ask for help from the Awakener Association, they will definitely know the identity of Haotian God. Seeing that the atmosphere was getting more and more tense, Xiao Cheng hurriedly told everyone's identity. They all came from the top families in the major base cities of Xia country and were very well known. And their identities were all the children of the head of the family. As long as they were from the family, there were very few people who didn't know them. Not to mention Yi Xiao Tian, his name of Haotian God, not to mention the Awakeners of Xia country, even the Awakeners of other countries on Blue Star, probably have heard of it. Even if you say it to the sky, I won't believe it, so just follow us honestly. The team leader said. Some of what Xiao Qing said had been heard, and some had not. After all, he was just a small team leader with limited knowledge. He knew the name of Haotian God, and so did his teammates. But they didn't know who Haotian God was and what he looked like. After all, they had never seen him in person, and they had only heard about him from others. Who would dare to believe it? Chapter 346 
seal your talents and come back to camp with us. After the captain identifies your identities, he will naturally let you go. The captain still knew what was going on. No matter what, the identities reported by this kid are no small matter. It's okay if it's fake, but if it's true, he won't be able to eat it and walk around. Although this is a foreign battlefield, the basic law must be observed. If the identities of these people are true and they come here, they will naturally have someone to rely on. This kind of thing should be left to the captain to deal with the headache. Impossible, Brother Tian, don't listen to him. Huang Jia was the first to object, my father is Huang Xiongying of Wanshan City. Who dares to grant me a talent? Once the talent is blocked, even great abilities cannot be used. They are not fools, how could they put their lives in the hands of others? The reason why the awakened are called awakened is because all abilities must be talented before they can be used. Once talents are banned, they will become meat on someone else's chopping board and be slaughtered by others. Yi Xiaotian also knows it very well, although his current physical attribute points have reached more than 2 million points. But the reason why these attribute points can exert their proper power is because of their talent. Without talent, even if he has hundreds of millions of attribute points, he won't be able to use them at all. This is the rule of reincarnation. Fortunately, he has a lot of talent, so even if one or two are banned, it won't have much impact on him. As soon as Huang Jie's words came out, the atmosphere between the two parties suddenly became tense again. The night watchmen had already raised their weapons and were just waiting for the captain's order to take the men. Sister Hong became anxious and said, Xiao Tian, Xiao Jie, don't be impatient. I'll talk to them first. Among this group of people, only Sister Hong has been to the foreign battlefield and knows the rules here very well. In this special period, the rules everywhere are very strict, and there is absolutely no reason to raise a hand. If this is really the case, then this squad leader is derelict in his duty. Captain, I am Huang Hong from the Huang family in Wanshan City. I am also known as Sister Hong. I often travel between the foreign battlefields and Wanshan City. I know several squadron leaders of your Night Watch army. I don't know if I can be accommodating. For a moment. Sister Hong tentatively named a few names. They were all squadron leader level figures in the Night Watch army that she knew. The squadron leaders of the Night Watch army are at least A level awakened masters, while the captains are S level awakened masters. For example, Wang Ju, the fortress of the Demon City. As an A-level Awakener Master of the Huang family, Sister Hong can make friends with Awakener Masters corresponding to her Awakening level. This squad leader has heard of the names of several squadron leaders. But Sister Hong said she was their friend, which he didn't know, and he knew the names of several squadron leaders. Who knew if Sister Hong was really their friend? Needless to say any more, our rules here are to either ban your talents and follow us, or we will capture you and take you away as heretics. Of course, you can also resist, but when the time comes, you will be killed without mercy. The squad leader held up a signal device in his hand. He said to Sister Hong, since you often come to alien battlefields, I believe you also know what this is, right? I know, this is a specially designed signal device for the battlefield. Sister Hong nodded. That's good. No need for me to talk nonsense. A large group of our night watch troops is stationed in this area. As soon as I sound the signal, the army will arrive in an instant. The squad leader warned. He was a little nervous. Originally, the people in this team were young and were students, so he was a little overconfident. But after listening to Sister Hong's words, I discovered that there was actually an A-level Awakener master in this team. He is just a small team of B-level Awakened Ones, but they have no chance of winning against A-level Awakened Ones. Therefore, the rescue signal is his greatest reliance. Once there is any change in Sister Hong, he will activate it without hesitation. This signal device has been in his hand since he came out for patrol, just for convenience. After all, in this foreign battlefield, any accident may happen. This is also the rule of the Night's Watch. They can die, but the message must be delivered. Of course Sister Hong knows about this signal device, and what she just said about her friends who are squadron leaders is also true. 
After all, she is a member of the Huang family, she is also an A-level Awakener master, and she knows several squadron leaders of the Night Watch army, so it is normal. Therefore, some of the rules of the Night Watch army are also very clear. This is wartime, and once this signal device is used, the nature of the matter will be different. Of course, with the status of Great God Haotian and the status of his teammates, everything will be fine in the end. But if this signal causes a big commotion, there will definitely be some unlucky people. After thinking about it, it seems that the only way to avoid making a big fuss is to go with them. Xiao Tian, why don't we go with them? Our identities are all real anyway. Once we get there, as long as we verify our identities, we'll be fine. Sister Hong said to Yi Xiao Tian. Huang Jia said anxiously, Sister Hong, what are you talking about? How can we go with them? This means banning talents, and we will really be at the mercy of others. Yes, Sister Hong, it's okay to go with them, but it's definitely not okay to ban talents. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu also expressed their opinions. As someone from a big family, any danger must be considered beforehand. The elders told them that if you are outside, you should hold your life in your own hands. They are night watchmen and will not mess around. Sister Hong said. The pioneer, the night watchman. The two strongest legions under the Xia kingdom's highest defense. Among the group of awakened people, he is definitely famous. The leader of the Wasteland Legion fights against the aliens, and the leader of the Night Watch Legion protects the city. In other words, the main battlefield of the Land Reclamation Corps used to be fighting the aliens outside the city, and later it was on the alien battlefield and the alien battlefield. The Night Watchman's previous duty was to protect the base city, but later it was changed to resisting and eradicating the local alien beasts of Blue Star. As for the responsibility of defending the city, it was left to the city defense department. Nowadays, the alien battlefield is tight, so the main force of the Night Watch Legion has been transferred to the alien battlefield. There are very few Night Watch troops left in the Blue Star mainland. Only a few major large base cities are guarded by Night Watch troops. For example, even one of the largest base cities like the Demon City is guarded by only one brigade of Night Watchmen. It is not an exaggeration to say that the Pioneering Army and the Night Watch Army are the patron saints of the Xia Kingdom. After thinking about it, Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, then let's go with them. Brother Tian. Huang Jia was shocked. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, It's okay. The Night Watch Army is our own. We'll explain it to them and it'll be fine. Don't you have people from each of your families on this alien battlefield? Just call them over to pick them up. He didn't expect that things would develop like this. It can only be said that it was a coincidence. Chapter, 347 In the alien battlefield, anyone who stays with alien beasts or aliens can be regarded as a heretic. Don't say that the team leader just surrounded them. Even if he attacked them directly, it would be understandable. If they were not young and looked more like students from the Human Awakening University, he would have ordered them to start and even activated the signal device. When he heard that Yi Xiao Tian and the others agreed, he was relieved. Whoosh! Bang! At this moment, a ray of light shot into the sky and then bloomed. The team leader was stunned. He quickly looked at the signal device in his hand. It was still there, so he breathed a sigh of relief. But soon, he was stunned. Damn, how can he be relieved at this time? He looked in the direction of the signal launch, his expression changed drastically, quick, hurry back to the base. At this time, he didn't care about Yi Xiao Tian and the others. Even the old nest was stolen, so how could he have time to take care of a few young people here? Looking at the departing Night Watch team, Yi Xiao Tian and the others looked at each other. Sister Hong finally reacted and shouted, hurry up and help. At this time, the Night Watchman's garrison sent out a distress signal, which must have been a big deal. Otherwise, the Night Watchman would not have abandoned them just now. This change came so quickly that even Sister Hong was stunned for a few seconds. Yi Xiao Tian is also a responsible person. He reacted and immediately gave everyone assistance. At the same time, he said to Huang Jia, Fatty, give everyone assistance. 
Now they are in a walking state, and agility assistance is indispensable. Huan Jia reacted quickly and followed Yi Xiaotian to give everyone assistance. Let's go. Yi Xiaotian took the lead and chased the direction where the night watchman disappeared. They were very fast. In just a few breaths, they saw the figures of the night watchman again. Yi Xiaotian waved the staff in his hand repeatedly to give the night watchman assistance. According to the weapons in their hands, it was easy to tell what assistance they needed. As soon as Huang Jia saw it, he immediately gave them assistance without Yi Xiaotian's instructions. The people in the night watch team were all stunned. Suddenly, their strength increased by more than ten times. This was really amazing. They felt that they had never been so powerful before. The improvement of a great realm was simply too cool. Then they found that their speed had increased several times. At this time, they had no doubts about Yi Xiaotian and his team. At this time, Yi Xiaotian and his team not only did not take the opportunity to attack them, but also provided them with assistance. This was definitely their own people. Yi Xiaotian said, Brothers, come on up, we can be faster. Anyway, Leopard 2's back is very wide and can carry more people. Leopard 2 felt a little wronged. The captain of the Night Watch team hesitated for half a second, and then asked everyone to get on Leopard 2's back. I have never seen Leopard 2's true body before, but now I see that this Leopard can wipe out their team. This team may really be the legendary Haokian team. But he still couldn't let go of why this spotted leopard became Yi Xiaotian's mount. In just over ten minutes, they had already arrived at the garrison. The sound of the battle reached their ears. Yi Xiaotian tapped his feet lightly and flew up. The situation in this garrison was not good, otherwise there would be no signal for help. The night watchman placed a large group of troops in this direction, about three zero zero people. Excluding those who went out for patrol, there were about two zero zero night watchmen left in the camp. But when he saw the troops of the aliens, they were everywhere in the mountains and plains, and they couldn't be counted. Leopard 2, didn't you say that no one knew about the defense loopholes in this direction? Wang Hao knocked on Leopard 2's head and asked. I really don't know. Leopard 2 was very aggrieved. He really didn't know this, and he just sneaked over from this direction today. Who knew that it had only been half a day, and the large army had already attacked from this direction? Okay, stop talking nonsense, and join the battle quickly. Chang Xiaoxi reminded. The warriors of the two teams, Wang Hao and Xiao Cheng, immediately jumped off the back of Leopard 2, activated their innate skills, and joined the battle. Sister Hong was not to be outdone and drew out the A-level Tianjin battle sword and rushed into the battle group. And the superpowers such as Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan stood on the back of Leopard 2 and cast spells directly to release the supernatural arts. The Night Watch team also jumped to the ground and joined the battle. Huang Jia and Sun Yao were not idle either, especially Huang Jia, who gave agility assistance to the warriors who could reach them, greatly increasing their agility. Both the dodge speed and the attack speed increased several times. And Sun Yao was looking for anyone who was seriously injured and treated them in time. Yi Xiaotian held the staff and stood in the sky. He glanced down and saw that the awakened people of the human race and the awakened people of the alien race were already mixed together. Large-scale supernatural arts could not be performed, which would hurt their own people. So he had to activate the innate skill nightmare. He waved his staff, and in an instant, countless clones scattered out, holding the sky gold sword, and countless alien awakeners were killed with one blow. Many human awakeners who were fighting with alien awakeners were stunned by the changes in front of them. This is the support. But when they saw that Yi Xiaotian's clone disappeared after killing the alien awakener, they were frightened again. This is really disappearing, not fast. And this scene happened too many times. It can be said that the whole screen is full of such scenes. They were all shocked by such a scene, it was too weird. Fortunately, these reinforcements that appeared and disappeared instantly killed all the alien awakeners. This made them feel a little relieved. Then, they saw that the battlefield was far away from them. Those reinforcements that appeared and disappeared strangely directly killed all the alien awakeners in front of them, and chased the alien awakener army behind them. 
Then, the scene where Wang Hao and his team couldn't find an opponent appeared again. Sister Hong just killed two alien awakeners, and couldn't find an opponent. She asked Wang Hao, is your team's battle like this? Wang Hao put away the shield and stood, leaning on it, a little bored. He wanted to catch up, but unfortunately he couldn't catch up with Yi Xiaotian's hand speed, so he just gave up. At different times, like now, when we are trying to buy time, Brother Tian always takes action. When we are not in a hurry, Brother Tian always asks us to kill first, and he will only take action when someone is in danger. Wang Hao explained. Sister Hong nodded when she heard this, it was very reasonable. But for Yi Xiaotian, she had a new understanding. With a wave of the staff, countless clones appeared in front of those alien awakeners. What kind of experience is this? Do you know what kind of strange skill he is using? Sister Hong pointed at the clones and asked. Chapter, 348 This is an innate skill. Wang Hao didn't hide anything and answered directly. Innate skills? Sister Hong was shocked. Over the past few days, she had seen Yi Xiaotian display many innate skills. It's okay to have many skills, but the problem is that these skills come from various talents, which is a big problem. This shows that Yi Xiaotian is a multi-talented person. The rumored great god Haotian seems to be a dual-talented person. But as far as she saw with her own eyes, there were more than five kinds. Has he opened the magic box of talent? How could a normal human being have so many talents? Unless he is the biological son of the will of reincarnation. Wang Hao continued, Anyway, let's remember one sentence, whatever brother Tian does is normal. Sister Hong's eyes widened even more. You don't have any doubts and haven't asked. Sister Hong couldn't help but ask. What's there to be suspicious of, what's there to ask? Wang Hao asked. Sister Hong's expression froze. There are so many questions to be suspicious of. Why can you turn a blind eye? But she wised up and kept her mouth shut. Because she discovered the fact that Wang Hao was completely a fan of Yi Xiaotian. Then, she discovered that Wang Hao was not the only fan of Yi Xiaotian, but also Huang Jie, whom she single-handedly raised. There was nothing but admiration in his eyes. Sister Hong is convinced. Sure enough, he is worthy of being the great god Haokian. According to legend, the person who is most likely to break through the supreme power and become the master. This is not only the son of destiny, this is simply the son of reincarnation. Soon, the army composed of tens of thousands of alien awakeners was killed by Yi Xiaotian. Some of the scattered fish that slipped through the net either ran away or were killed by the night watchman. In less than ten minutes, there were only countless alien corpses left on the battlefield. Also, the blood of aliens is constantly flowing. Of course, there are also the corpses and blood of the awakened humans. This is how the earth was crippled and dyed red. Yi Xiaotian put away his staff and landed on the ground. The people from the Haotian team immediately came to greet him. Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiaotian's side immediately and asked with concern, Are you okay? Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, It's okay, I'm just a little over-exhausted. I'll just take a rest and it'll be fine. This is hidden clumsiness. Except in front of teammates, at any other time, you cannot show all your cards unless you have to. Although Yi Xiaotian has a lot of trump cards. But it would be nice to be a little less bright. His natural skill nightmare, is scary enough. If he could continue to use it without any restrictions, many people would probably be unable to sleep. Therefore, showing weakness at the right time is also a strategy. Huang Hong, why are you here? At this moment, a surprised voice sounded. Lao Yu, why are you here too? Sister Hong also looked surprised when she saw the person coming. Lao Yu replied, aren't I here to make some extra money? I didn't expect this to happen. If you hadn't saved me, my life would have been lost. Sister Hong said, don't say that. By the way, didn't you go back? Lao Yu asked. Sister Hong said, I'm going out for a walk with our young master. Only then did Sister Hong remember to introduce everyone, and said, Lao Yu, let me introduce to you. This is Haotian great god Yi Xiaotian, and these are his teammates. 
no further introduction is needed, just the name of great god Haotian is enough. Sure enough, Lao Yu was shocked. This is the great god Haotian, and his actions are indeed extraordinary. They had witnessed with their own eyes the scene where Yi Xiaotian killed tens of thousands of alien troops by himself just now. I am really impressed by this Haotian god who is the best in the world of reincarnation. Such a method is simply unheard of. They didn't even know what kind of magic Yi Xiaotian was performing. All I know is that he is so handsome and cool. Lao Yu, why don't you introduce it to us quickly? At this time, a middle-aged man wearing a night watch uniform came over. Only then did Lao Yu wake up and quickly introduced, Xiao Hong, this is Captain Qin Haoqin. Lao Qin, this is my teammate Huang Hong, who is a direct descendant of the Huang family in Wanshan City. I would like to solemnly introduce to you Mr. Yi Zai Oshini, the great god of Haotian whom we all admire very much. When Yi Xiao Tian was introduced, it was indeed very grand and his tone was very solemn. It can be seen that they really respect Yi Xiao Tian. Although they are on a foreign battlefield, they probably know all the major events on the Blue Star mainland. After all, this place is also connected to the world of reincarnation, and major events happening in Blue Star will soon spread to the alien battlefield. On the contrary, the news on the alien battlefield will be controlled. After all, a piece of news here is likely to cause turmoil in Blue Star's homeland. The reason why the soldiers on the foreign battlefield fight desperately to kill the enemy is to protect the parents, wives, and children of the Blue Star native land behind them. Once there is turmoil in the Blue Star native land, it is likely to shake the morale of the soldiers on the foreign battlefield. But the feats that Yi Xiaotian accomplished in Blue Star's homeland naturally had to be vigorously publicized. Let the soldiers who fought desperately on the foreign battlefield know that there is no problem on the Blue Star mainland. At this time, Yu Rong and Qin Hao naturally admired Yi Xiaotian greatly when they saw him. With Yi Xiaotian's situation, there is no need to run to the alien battlefield. If he stays in the Blue Star and is protected by the Lord Sword God, he can definitely grow up smoothly. But he resolutely ran to the alien battlefield. Just this determination is worthy of their admiration. Hello, Mr. Haotian. Qin Hao and Yu Rong saluted Yi Xiaotian very solemnly. Afterwards, the captains of the Night Watch who arranged their men to clean up the battlefield and came to report the situation to Qin Hao also came to salute Yi Xiaotian. The captain who had previously suspected Yi Xiaotian's identity was very nervous at this time, but he had to come to Yi Xiaotian to apologize. Hearing that the captain under his command had suspected that Yi Xiaotian and his group were pagans, Qin Hao's scalp numbed. This person's current identity is not something he can afford to provoke. If he offends this person, he, the captain of the Night Watch Army, is not qualified to beg for mercy. This person is protected by the Supreme Strongman. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Ignorance is not a crime, what crime have you committed? Moreover, as a patrol officer, you naturally have to strictly check those with unknown identities. Your suspicion is correct, you are not only innocent, but also meritorious. If all our soldiers can be like this captain, why should we fear aliens? After listening to Yi Xiaotian's words, everyone felt excited. With such a supreme in the future, there is no need to worry about not being able to accomplish great things. Captain Qin, in fact, we came here this time to tell you that there is a loophole in your defense line. This leopard slipped through you and was captured by us. I just didn't expect that things happened so coincidentally. Fortunately, no major disaster occurred. Yi Xiao Tian was also very grateful. Chapter 349 It seems that the foreigners should have discovered the defensive loopholes in our direction for a long time, otherwise their army would not be able to come over so quickly. Sister Hong said. Yu Rong also said at this time, but it's fortunate that Lao Qin and the others discovered it early. Otherwise, if this alien army passed here and joined forces from the front battlefield, our human race would be in danger. Qin Hao said with a solemn expression, we have personally formulated the defense in this direction. There are thousands of patrol personnel alone. There should be no loopholes. Yu Rong said, Old Qin, this is not your fault. The defense line of your brigade is hundreds of kilometers long. 
even if there are any omissions, it is normal. Hundreds of kilometers of defense lines are patrolled by people alone. It is not surprising that there are omissions. Fortunately, a small number of fish that slipped through the net were defenseless, and it was impossible for the alien army of awakened people to pass through. But I didn't expect that this time the aliens would be so frantic and directly send an army to attack here. Fortunately, Yi Xiao Tian and the others rescued them in time, otherwise the aliens would really succeed this time. Thinking of this, Qin Hao started to sweat from behind. Mr. Hao Tian, on behalf of all the brothers in our brigade, I would like to express my gratitude to you again. Don't worry, we will classify the corpses of these aliens and put them away. When the time comes, Mr. Hao Tian will only need to take them into the reincarnation space. Qin Hao said to him again. Yi Xiao Tian thanked him. He then ordered his men to quickly clean up another place and let everyone sit down and rest. Because of the war, their strongholds were destroyed. The battle between the awakened ones is like this, because the power is too strong and the scope involved is also large. It is also one of the reasons why the alien battlefield is deserted. Yi Xiao Tian said, No need, Captain Qin, the bodies of those awakened aliens belong to you. No, that's absolutely not possible. Qin Hao refused very firmly. Their lives were all saved by Yi Xiao Tian. If the bodies of these awakened aliens were collected, then how could they have the face to face Yi Xiao Tian? Yi Xiao Tian said, Captain Qin, listen to me. To me, these alien corpses are just a burden, so don't refuse. Qin Hao was stunned. What a shame, what he said made sense, but I was speechless. These tens of thousands of alien corpses, and the weakest alien corpses were all mid-level awakened ones, turned out to be nothing more than a burden. Damn it! Ruthless! If he hadn't known that this person in front of him was the great god Haotian, and if he hadn't seen his abilities with his own eyes before, he would really have suspected that he was pretending to be cool with him. But now, he feels that what Yi Xiao Tian said makes sense. In the face of such strength, the corpses of alien beasts with only mid-level awakened strength can really only be regarded as a burden. That's fine, but the military merit must be credited to you. Qin Hao took a step back and said. Yi Xiao Tian stopped being pretentious and said, Okay, just watch and do it. By the way, do you have any living supplies here? Qin Hao said, Yes, but not much. It's almost the end of the month, and the living supplies for next month haven't been delivered yet. But there should be no shortage at the base camp. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, prepare our daily necessities for a few days and wait until I get to the base camp. Qin Hao immediately said there was no problem. The night watchmen were so happy when they heard that the bodies of the aliens belonged to them. There were huge cheers at the scene, all thanks to Yi Xiao Tian. With so many corpses of awakened aliens, each of them can get a lot of money. As for military merit, that is another matter. If you have repelled an attack by tens of thousands of alien troops, how can you convince the public if you have no military merit? Why make people fight so hard? In this battle, without Yi Xiao Tian, they would not even be able to save their lives, let alone their military exploits. It is absolutely correct to say that Yi Xiao Tian is their savior. Now that he had gotten such a huge benefit for nothing, every one of the night watchmen in the entire brigade owed Yi Xiao a huge favor. Yi Xiao Tian and his team members received the highest standards of treatment, but the environment in this camp was a bit poor. There was no way, the previous camp was destroyed in the battle, not even the roots were left. The current camp is full of spare materials, so it is naturally very crude. There wasn't even a chair. Everyone could only spread a piece of cloth on the ground and sit on the ground. As for why not just sit on the ground, well, the smell is too strong. Then Captain Qin arranged a meal for them, which tasted average. Then when they ate in such a strong-smelling environment, the taste dropped several levels. This is already the best-tasting exotic animal meat that we have picked out. In this case, the best food is the exotic animal meat. The dead awakened aliens will all show their true colors, so there is no psychological pressure when eating them. What they eat now is alien beef. Everyone, there is stewed dog meat over there. It will be ready to eat soon. Qin Hao asked everyone to eat slowly and not to be in a hurry. 
It's just that Yi Xiao Tian and the others really don't have much taste. When I first came in today, I was very uncomfortable with the new environment here. No appetite. After Qin Hao finished speaking, he found that no one moved much. This roast beef, the stewed dog meat over there, the fragrance is so fragrant, why don't they move? Are you not hungry? But now it's time to eat. We just experienced a big battle. Everyone else ate happily. Mr. Houtian, is this food not to your taste? Otherwise, tell me what you want to eat and I'll ask them to make it. Qin Hao asked Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian smiled bitterly and said, Captain Qin, don't bother. It's not that the meat is not delicious, but we just don't have an appetite. We just came from the mainland of Blue Star today and are not familiar with the environment here, so you know. Qin Hao slapped his forehead and said awkwardly, I forgot about this. The smell here is really bad, especially for the awakened people who come in for the first time. They will be very uncomfortable and need some time to adapt. Unlike us, we have been here for a long time and can't smell the special smell here. But there is no good way to do this. We can only adapt slowly. But I think you are still very good. You just came in and can still participate in the battle. Many awakened people who just came in, let alone fighting, some even need others to take care of their basic lives. Yi Xiaotian said, so don't worry about us. Go eat first. There are still many jobs for you later. Qin Hao heard that it was indeed the case. Although they had just experienced a great battle, there were still more things waiting for them. The patrol route had to be replanned to fill in the previous loopholes. Also, someone had to report to the base camp and report the achievements to everyone. Moreover, the camp had to be replanned and rebuilt, which required a large amount of supplies, and they had to apply for them from the base camp. So he had been busy in the past two days. Chapter, 350 If you can't eat, then take a good rest. Fortunately, they are all awakened masters, and they won't starve to death if they don't eat for a few meals. We are advancing too fast, and we didn't give you any time to adapt you can't go without food or drink like this, otherwise your body won't be able to bear it. Sister Hong reminded. This is the third day since they entered the alien battlefield. They have been resting in Qin Hao's camp for the past two days, and no one has eaten much. Sister Hong had to remind them. A big battle just happened here, and tens of thousands of alien beasts died here. The bloody smell is much stronger than before. It made Han Xuyao and the others feel very uncomfortable. Even if they controlled the frequency of breathing, it didn't help much. This is the same as the altitude reaction of ordinary people. Even if the awakened have much stronger adaptability, they still need a process of adaptation. Otherwise, I'll help you roast some ice rabbit meat to see if you have an appetite. Yi Xiaotian was also worried that Han Xuyao and the others would have problems with their bodies. They all like to eat the barbecued ice rabbit very much. Let's see if it can adjust Han Xuyao and the others' appetite. Okay, okay. Huang Jie was the first to agree. He hadn't eaten properly for several days and was almost starving. When he heard about the ice rabbit barbecue, something suddenly came to his mind, and then his saliva overflowed crazily, and he couldn't even control it. Hey, fatty, you're so disgusting. Wang Hao saw that fatty was drooling, and immediately said with disgust. Huang Jie said embarrassedly, Sorry, I can't help it. I have no appetite these days, and it's even harder to swallow food. The night watchmen ate roast beef and stewed dog meat with relish, but they had no appetite at all, and they felt disgusted after eating. Now when it comes to the ice rabbit barbecue, they immediately have the primitive reaction of quenching thirst by looking at plums. Ice rabbit meat, you still have this good thing. Sister Hong said in surprise. It is recognized by everyone that the ice rabbit meat is delicious, but this kind of thing is about to become extinct. In Blue Star, no matter how much money you have, you can't buy it. Sister Hong, we brought this from the secret realm of the summer camp. Huang Jie said in a boastful tone. You actually encountered the ice rabbit in the secret realm of the summer camp, are you so lucky? Sister Hong looked envious. She had eaten the meat of the ice rabbit once, but that was more than ten years ago. 
At that time, she was still young, and now even the fat boy Huang Jia has grown up. The ice rabbits native to Blue Star have long been killed. Where there is demand, there will be killing, this sentence is more correct. The meat of the ice rabbit is getting more and more expensive, and more and more masters have joined the ranks of hunting. No matter how dangerous it is outside, there will be people to get it. With the power of the Huang family and Sister Hong's identity, there is no chance to eat the meat of the ice rabbit again. As for the fat boy Huang Jia, he was still a little kid when he first ate this meat. Yes, it was really lucky. That time we met a tribe of ice rabbits, more than ten, zero zero ice rabbits. Huang Jia said. Huang Jia was stunned and said, Did you kill them all? Huang Jia shook his head, indicating that he didn't. Hong Jia felt sorry, but said, Don't be disappointed. Such good things depend on fate. But a tribe of more than ten, zero zero, even if you kill fewer, at least not less than one hundred, right? The meat of hundreds of ice rabbits is a huge sum of money. However, with Mr. Houkin here, it seems that they are not short of money. So it is reasonable to keep these ice rabbits for themselves. It's okay, just a few ran away, it doesn't matter. Huang Jia said. Huang Jia wanted to beat him to death, but this is the legitimate son of the head of the family. What to do? Waiting online, it's urgent. Ah! Huang Jia screamed. Sure enough, there is a price to pay for pretending. His ears were grabbed by Hong Jia. Beating him up is not an option, but pulling his ears and teaching him a lesson is fine. This little brat dared to tease her. Ha ha ha. Everyone laughed when they saw Huang Jia's fierce wolf look. For a moment, the boredom in their hearts seemed to be relieved a little. Yi Xiao Tian borrowed tools from the night watchman and roasted the ice rabbit. His roasting skills are still good. Soon, the irresistible fragrance began to spread. The night watchmen who stayed in the camp were attracted one after another. Qin Hao came, and Lao Yu also came. These two are knowledgeable people. Lao Yu came directly to Sister Hong and whispered, Xiao Hong, what kind of meat is this, why is it so fragrant? Ice rabbit meat. Sister Hong did not hide it. Ice rabbit meat. Lao Yu and Qin Hao both exclaimed. They have heard of the name, but have never eaten it. After all, when they are qualified and have the conditions to eat this delicacy, there is no chance. I didn't expect that I could actually see the meat of the ice rabbit with my own eyes and smell the fragrance of the ice rabbit meat. As expected, he is the great god Haokian. He is different. He even has such a delicious food as the ice rabbit. Sister Hong explained, this is what they hunted in the secret realm when they participated in the school summer camp. Old Yu and Qin Hao's eyes suddenly turned red. Are they so lucky? They also participated in the school's summer camp that year, so why didn't they have such good luck? The meat of the ice rabbit is extremely delicious, but it is only the lowest grade of exotic beasts. It would be strange if such a tribe did not die. It is estimated that there are no ice rabbits on Blue Star anymore. It is also a great luck to encounter them in the secret realm of the summer camp. This thing is now sold at a sky-high price. Smelling this fragrance, everyone swallowed their saliva involuntarily. But the more they swallowed, the more saliva they spit, and they couldn't stop. Qin Hao even heard the sound of his men's throats constantly moving. This shows how hungry they are. Yi Xiao Tian felt the green eyes around him, and his scalp was a little numb. It's careless. Yi Xiao Tian regretted that he shouldn't have taken out the ice rabbit meat in this place. There are too many people here, and he is not generous enough to treat everyone to ice rabbit meat. Yi Xiaotian's movements were a little stiff. Noticing his strangeness, Sister Hong sympathetically reminded Qin Hao, Captain Qin, your people have scared Mr. Haokian. Qin Hao then reacted and quickly ordered, go back quickly. If you are really hungry, grill meat yourself. There are so many exotic meats, you can pick whatever you want. Soldiers should obey orders as their first duty. For a while, the night watchmen left one after another, and some actually went to the logistics department to get the exotic meat and continue to grill and eat. Yi Xiao Tian saw that there was no way, so he could only say to Chang Xiaosi, Xiaosi, please help me, 
don't let this smell drift out again. Chang Xiaozi was stunned. My innate skills can actually be used like this. Chapter 351 Hearing Yi Xiaotian's request, Chang Xiaozi was stunned. That's my innate skill, the most powerful skill in my body, and you actually asked me to use it to help you control the smell from leaking out. Are you still human? Brother Tian, this is not good, right? Wang Hao felt distressed before Chang Xiaoxi could react. I don't know how long it will take to grill this meat, what if Xiaoxi is exhausted? Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said to Ping Xiangyu without any nonsense, Ping Xiangyu, you come. Ping Xiangyu did not hesitate, and directly summoned the staff, and then raised a water curtain, to cover the place where they were. Sister Hong, Qin Hao and Lao Yu were all numb. The young people nowadays are really amazing. I can only say that they are really good at playing. The smell was blocked by the water curtain, and it would soon be covered by the strong smell outside. Inside the water curtain, the fragrance became stronger and stronger. Everyone was salivating. Qin Hao winked at Lao Yu, and Lao Yu pretended not to see it. Then Qin Hao winked at Sister Hong again. Sister Hong was a little hesitant. She definitely wanted to stay here. The meat of the ice rabbit was so delicious, but it was so rare. She didn't know how much Yi Xiaotian was going to roast. If he didn't prepare some for them, wouldn't it be awkward for them to stay? Xiaotian, we have something else to do, so we'll leave first. Sister Hong thought about it, and finally reason overcame her appetite. Yi Xiaotian hurriedly said, Don't worry, try my barbecue first. No need. Sister Hong said insincerely. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay. Although I can't afford to supply the whole team, it's enough for you guys. Hearing what he said, Sister Hong was not polite. Qin Hao and Lao Yu exchanged glances and thanked Yi Xiaotian. The meat of the ice rabbit is well known. Forget about that little effect, it can be ignored for them now. The key is the taste. And the style. After today, when they chatted with friends, they had another thing to brag about. Especially Qin Hao, he was almost cracked by his smile. He believed that today's meal would soon be heard by the awakened people of other battalions of the Night Watch Army. Rounding up, the entire Night Watch Army would know it soon. He, Qin Hao, was the one who had eaten the ice rabbit meat. He could imagine the envious eyes of his brothers and colleagues. Finally, he, Qin Hao, could also shake up. Among the many captains of the Night Watch Army, Qin Hao's strength was the bottom one. Because he had just been promoted from A-level Awakener to S-level not long ago, and he had been the captain not long ago, and he had the lowest qualifications in the Night Watch Army. This was also the reason why he could become friends with Lao Yu. When he was still an A-level Awakener, he was already an old friend of Lao Yu. But now he has been promoted to S-level Awakener. And Lao Yu is still at the level of A-level High-level Awakener. Where there are people, there are rivers and lakes, and there is competition. This is true both externally and internally. Outside, the Night Watch Army competes with the Land Reclamation Army. In everyone's impression, the Night Watch Army has always been less powerful than the Land Reclamation Army. But the Night Watch Army itself does not think so. They think that the reason why everyone thinks that the Land Reclamation Army is stronger is just because the nature of the Land Reclamation Army is different, which gives everyone the illusion that the Land Reclamation Army is stronger. If the Night Watch Army and the Land Reclamation Army are swapped, the Night Watch Army can still do the best. And in the Contempt Chain, the Land Reclamation Army is also higher than the Night Watch Army. This makes the Night Watchmen of the Night Watch Army always feel aggrieved. And within the Night Watch Army, the competition is not small. Many captains have to compete, so do the squadron leaders, and the team leaders. Strength, fame, and resources have to compete. But for now, these competitions are all benign. It is also tacitly approved by higher levels. Without competition, there is no motivation. If everyone does not compete and starts to be Buddhist, then it will really be over. As the new captain of the Night Watch, Qin Hao is definitely at the bottom of the contempt chain of all captains. If he wants to climb higher, he can't rely on strength. Then he can only start from other aspects. 
for example, the power behind him, the connections he has made, etc. are all helpers. Now, there is an opportunity in front of him. When the news that he has eaten the ice rabbit meat spreads, people will ask him, where did you eat it, who gave it to you? Then he can tell the other party that it was Haukian God who personally invited me to eat it. When people heard it, Nima, he actually knew Haukian God, this is incredible. And people personally invited him to eat ice rabbit meat, this friendship is incredible. The same thing depends on how to use and handle it. If it is a brainless person. After this meeting, everyone may not see each other again. Although they owe Yi Xiaotian a life-saving grace. But there are too many people who owe him a life-saving grace. Do they have to have contact in the future? But it's different for those who are quick-witted. Take advantage of this opportunity to get in touch with a big shot like Yi Xiaotian. At the very least, you can borrow some fame. And big shots also need followers. Look at those supreme strong men, which one doesn't have a lot of followers. Moreover, only those who have awakened the strong are qualified to become followers of the boss. Qin Hao felt that he was already an S-class awakened person and already qualified for this. With a captain of the Night Watch army as a follower, I believe that great god Haotian will not refuse. After all, he is still in the growth stage and has not yet started to form his own team and power. Therefore, this is a good opportunity for Qin Hao. Moreover, he and Lao Yu were friends, Lao Yu and Huang Hong were comrades in arms, Huang Hong and Huang Jia were cousins, and Huang Jia was a comrade in arms of great god Haotian. Rounding things off, he is equivalent to a comrade level friend of great god Haotian. Although it's a bit reluctant, isn't this how relationships between people are established? Taking advantage of the opportunity to eat meat, Qin Hao thanked Yi Xiao Tian again. Old Yu and Sister Hong blushed a little after hearing this. Isn't this guy very good at talking? This flattering person, those who didn't know it, thought he got into the position of captain by relying on his glib words. Yi Xiao Tian also couldn't stand it. He was originally a quiet person, but Qin Hao kept talking around him, which made him very resistant. But it was difficult to chase people away, so I could only say openly, Captain Qin, is there something you want to tell me? Qin Hao breathed a sigh of relief, Boss, you finally asked this question. Do you know how long I have been waiting for your words? Three years as promised, three years and three years. Sorry, I got distracted. Mr. Haotian, I want to follow you. Qin Hao finally stated his purpose. He did not avoid Lao Yu and Sister Hong with these words. The two of them were stunned for a moment, then relaxed. Chapter 352 Qin Hao's identity is very suitable to be Yi Xiaotian's follower. In other words, his current identity and strength are qualified to find a big boss to follow. Qin Hao is not only an S-level awakener, but also has a captain of the night watch in his hands. This is both powerful and influential. Such people are the favorite followers of those big bosses. Such a follower not only has a powerful follower, but also a considerable force. Sister Hong and Lao Yu are all aware of this unwritten rule. But Yi Xiaotian doesn't know. His rise is too fast, and a lot of common sense knowledge is what he lacks the most. So after listening to Qin Hao's words, he was stunned. Aren't you the captain of the Night Watch? Yi Xiaotian asked. Qin Hao was a little disappointed at first, thinking that Yi Xiaotian would not agree, but after hearing what he said. Confidence returned immediately, and he quickly said, Sir, my identity as a night watchman does not conflict with being your follower. Yi Xiaotian was even more confused, looking at Sister Hong, hoping that she could explain it to him. Sister Hong also knew about Yi Xiaotian's situation and said, Xiaotian, what Captain Qin said is true. His identity as a night watchman does not prevent him from becoming your follower. In fact, as long as the boss agrees, even a figure at the level of the night watch corps commander can become a follower of the boss. Yi Xiaotian frowned and said, will the official have no objection? Sister Hong laughed and asked, then do you think Lord Sword God is stronger or the official is stronger? In other words, is Lord Sword God's words effective? or the official. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. He could actually think about the problem in this way. 
How to Say the Relationship Between Lord Sword God and the Official In fact, to put it bluntly, the power of the Xia state official depends on the power of Lord Sword God. Because of the support of Lord Sword God, the power of the Xia state official is the strongest. If it is separated from the support of Lord Sword God, the Xia state official is an empty institution. What right does an institution without power support have to speak? This is not only the case for Xia state, but also for all countries and alliances on Blue Star. As for the official institution, it is just a representative used by many powerful people to manage. With Sister Hung's explanation, Yi Xiaotian gradually understood the relationship between them. He suddenly felt that he had really learned a lot. He understood that the so-called Supreme Defense, the Awakener Association, and the official agencies at all levels below, to put it bluntly, are the extension of the power of Lord Sword God. In the final analysis, the real decision-maker of Xia country is still Lord Sword God. Because his strength is strong enough. And the reason why those aristocratic families are afraid of official agencies is that, in the final analysis, they are afraid of Lord Sword God behind these official agencies. Yi Xiaotian immediately understood. Sure enough, it is only useful to speak with a big fist. At this moment, he finally fully understood the essence of this world. The so-called power is an extension of the power of the fist. If the fist power behind is gone, then no matter how powerful the power is, it will collapse. For example, the reason why those aristocratic families can have many privileges is because they have powerful awakened elders behind them. This is the case with the Shen family in the Magic City. This is also the case with the Peng family in Jiangnan. This is the case with the Supreme Committee. This is also the case with the Awakener Association. The reason why he accepted Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng is not an extension of his right to speak. Since he can accept Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng, he can also accept Qin Hao. This is not only an S-level awakening strongman, but also has a night watch brigade in his hands, which is also a great help. Very good. As a future boss, you can't do everything yourself. Captain Qin, if one day my order conflicts with the Night Watch Army, what will you choose? Yi Xiaotian suddenly asked. Listen to you. Qin Hao answered directly without any hesitation. Yi Xiaotian was surprised and said, Don't you think about it? Qin Hao shook his head and said, No need to think about it, you must be right. Why? Aren't you afraid that I will ask you to do something harmful to the human race? Yi Xiaotian reminded. Qin Hao said, Mr. Haotian, although this is the first time we meet, I still know Mr. Haotian's character. I have also heard about what Mr. Haotian did on Blue Star. It may be a bit too much to say that you are the savior of the human race, but you have saved tens of millions of people in two large base cities. This is a true fact. So no matter what your order is, it will not cause harm to the human race. Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a few seconds before speaking. I can agree to this matter. You stay here and fight against the aliens. Thank you, sir, no problem, sir. Qin Hao was overjoyed. From now on, he is also a person with a big backer. What a good life. It just happened that he met Mr. Haotian. Otherwise, he would definitely have nothing to do. Sure enough, life is so wonderful. For a big man like Yi Xiaotian, he, Qin Hao, can only be regarded as a small role. He manages thousands of people, and the number of people in a team is almost equivalent to a regiment. Compared with ordinary awakeners, he is definitely a leader. But Qin Hao is a self-aware man. Compared to the followers of those big guys, he is really not good enough. The followers of the five supreme beings of the human race on Blue Star are either SS-level powerful or provincial governors who control a large force. Compared with them, Qin Hao is really a scumbag. Ahem. Yi Xiaotian felt that Qin Hao was a little modest. An S-level awakener is already a high-level awakener. Although not the top, it is not bad. After all, he himself is only an S-level awakener now. You say you are a scumbag, I suspect you are implying me. Captain Qin, there is no need to be modest. You are still young and have a long way to go in the future. I believe you can definitely go to the next level. 
Yi Xiaotian encouraged. Qin Hao was happy at first after hearing this, but soon calmed down. He awakened an S-level talent. His highest achievement in this life is probably an S-level awakener. Unless he can strengthen the talent grade to SS level, or higher. But with his own ability, there is no hope in this life. But now he has a backer, if his backer helps him, then there will be no problem. This is not impossible. After all, he is Yi Xiaotian's first follower, so he should be more valued. Thank you for your encouragement, sir. I will definitely work hard. Qin Hao said so. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, well, I will help you when I have the chance. Now, Qin Hao was really ecstatic. The promise of the future boss is very valuable. Chapter, 353 Old Yu and Sister Hong were envious and jealous. They also wanted to be like Qin Hao, but unfortunately, they were not qualified. Yes, A-level awakeners were not even qualified to be followers of the big guys. Not only were they not strong enough, but they also did not have any power, which was even worse. So they could only envy and be jealous. But soon, Sister Hong felt much better. Because Huang Jie was Yi Xiaotian's comrade in arms, that was good. Huang Jie had been following her since she was a child, so it was not an exaggeration to say that she had brought him up. The relationship between the two of them was extraordinary. As long as Huang Jie had a promising future, that would be enough. Old Yu looked at Qin Hao with envy, thinking in his heart how to get closer to him. Otherwise, I would also join the Night Watch army and be under Qin Hao's command. In this way, wouldn't I also become Mr. Haotian's prospective follower in disguise? When he is promoted to S-level Awakener and becomes the captain of the Night Watch army in the future, he will have a chance to become a regular in the reserve. Thinking of this, Lao Yu smiled. I am so smart. If the direct way doesn't work, then take a roundabout way. Qin Hao looked at their constantly changing expressions and admired them very much. This skill of changing faces is really strong. Lao Yu didn't pay attention to him. He was still building his own plan in his mind. It's not enough for him alone. He has to bring in all the brothers in the team. As for Xiao Hong, forget it. I will discuss it with her later. She was born in the Huang family of Wanshan City. Whether she can join the Night Watch army is still an unknown. After all, the Huang family is a force of its own. What if joining the Night Watch army conflicts with the interests of the Night Watch army? Therefore, when selecting people, the Night Watch army or the Pioneer army will choose those free awakeners. Of course, it doesn't mean that people from aristocratic families are not wanted. It's just that when choosing, there will be an extra layer of consideration. The Pioneer Army and the Night Watch Army are both directly under the Supreme Committee. In many cases, their interests conflict with those of the aristocratic families. So although there are people from aristocratic families in these two legions, their number is small. There is another reason for doing this, which is to prevent the aristocratic families from intervening in the two legions. So he must have a good talk with Xiao Hong about this matter. The followers' matter was discussed, and the barbecue of the ice rabbit was also eaten. Everyone had a big appetite, and it was not known whether it was because the meat of the ice rabbit was too delicious, or because Peng Xianyu's water curtain isolated the smell outside, so their appetite was not greatly affected. After a full meal, Qin Hao and Lao Yu said goodbye and left. Before leaving, Lao Yu also called Sister Hong away, saying that he had something to discuss with her. Peng Xiangyu also removed the water curtain. Now that the meal is over, these smells can no longer be isolated, and they have to adapt. After they left, Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, have you recruited a night watchman team? When they were studying in school, the two major corps that they envied the most, or the places they wanted to go the most, were the two major corps of land reclamation and night watch. There was no way, the teacher would talk about the deeds of these two corps at any time. Most students regarded the Land Reclamation Army and the Night Watch Army as idols, and vowed to join the two corps after becoming awakened in the future. But now, Yi Xiaotian has actually recruited a captain of the Night Watch Army as a follower. Such a reversal made Wang Hao very excited. On the contrary, Xiao Cheng, Peng Xiangyu and Huang Jie, 
perhaps because they received different education since childhood, were not surprised by such things. If Qin Hao did not seize this opportunity, they would be surprised. Or they looked down on Qin Hao. Choosing to follow Yi Xiao Tian now cannot be said to be a timely help, but it is definitely the best time. First of all, Yi Xiao Tian has not fully grown up. In addition, Yi Xiao Tian has no followers now. Choosing this time to follow Yi Xiao Tian has the highest probability of success. It won't be so easy later. Even if you don't look at the quality, you have to consider controlling the quantity. Han Xuyao is very happy for Yi Xiao Tian. Mu Binyan has no expression on her face. Sun Yao and Chang Xiaoxi are indifferent. Well, in their minds, Yi Xiao Tian is really omnipotent. Not to mention a captain of the Night Watch becomes a follower. Even if the entire Night Watch Corps becomes his followers, they are not surprised. But with Yi Xiaotian's ability, it seems that he doesn't need followers. Even the clone has S-level strength, what else does he need a bicycle? Yi Xiaotian can conquer the world alone. Even, they think that with Yi Xiaotian's strength, he doesn't even need teammates. But how can they know the limitations of the nightmare, skill? It's not exposed now because Yi Xiao Tian hasn't met a real master yet. For example, if there is a great SS level leader leading the invasion of tens of thousands of alien troops, Yi Xiao Tian would not have the spare time to deal with the alien troops. So whether it is teammates or followers, they are very necessary. And training and training are also an achievement. Yi Xiao Tian called Qin Hao over and asked, Qin Hao, do you know that there is a talent strengthening spirit liquid in the base camp? Qin Hao heard this and shook his head and said, Sir, I haven't asked this, so I don't know for the time being. But if you want to know, I can ask someone right away. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, you ask someone to see if there are any SA level or higher talent strengthening spiritual liquids dropped there. Originally, Yi Xiaotian wanted to ask for S level or higher talent spiritual liquids. Later, he thought about it and included A level talent spiritual liquid in the list. Although a level talent spiritual liquid is useless to others, Chang Xiaosi can still take it. It's just that the success rate is very touching. If there is S level, it would be the best. If not, you can only make do with it. At least it can give Chang Xiaosi some hope. Qin Hao immediately said, Yes, sir, I will send someone to contact the base camp immediately, and there should be news soon. But sir, the price of talent spiritual liquids above A level is very expensive, and this level of materials requires military merit to exchange. Now it is a special period, so many materials that could be purchased by other means before are now unified and can only be exchanged with military merit. The purpose is to let people from major families go to the alien battlefield to fight against aliens. In addition, let the soldiers of major legions fight harder. This is also a great opportunity for them. Whether they can catch it depends on whether they fight hard enough. Yi Xiaotian said, No problem, as long as there is the goods, military merit is not a problem for me. Qin Hao was shocked when he heard this. As expected, the master is domineering. Military merit, which is difficult for them to obtain, is extremely easy in Yi Xiaotian's eyes. However, thinking of Yi Xiaotian's previous method of killing aliens, it is true. In the previous battle, Yi Xiaotian's military merits have exceeded 100. 0, 0. Chapter 354. In a battle a few days ago, Yi Xiaotian killed tens of thousands of alien troops alone. These alien troops can be awarded different numbers of military merits according to their ranks. Although there are not many military merits for killing low and medium level aliens, the base number is large. Have you ever seen anyone who can kill tens of thousands of aliens in one battle? Being able to kill more than a dozen or twenty alien awakeners in a battle is already very powerful. There are only dozens of them. Those who can kill hundreds of people are all gods. People like Yi Xiao Tian who killed tens of thousands of alien awakeners in a battle don't know how to describe it. So Qin Hao is very convinced of his words that he is not short of military merits. The boss really is not short of it. Okay, sir, I will arrange someone to find out the news right away. Qin Hao said, and went to do things. Yi Xiaotian sighed, as expected, it is good to have subordinates. 
This kind of news is naturally best for Qin Hao to find out, after all, it is internal news. Although Huang Jie could also get information through the Huang family's intelligence network, it was definitely not that easy. And Yi Xiaotian also felt that the reliance on the little fat man's intelligence had to gradually change. It was okay to fight a little in the past, but in the future, the intelligence of the Haotian team must not go through the Huang family. You have to find the right opportunity to build your own intelligence system. The best way is to collect followers. Now Yi Xiaotian has woken up. There is actually such a way to lie flat, which is really great. In other words, he rose too fast, and he didn't know many unwritten rules among awakeners. He didn't realize it until others said it. For example, the saying of followers. In school, no one tells you these things. Really envy those big guys, who can take over a big force without spending a single soldier, just a follower title. Later, he heard from several young masters in the team that, not to mention captains like Qin Hao, even some aristocratic families have become followers of the big guys. Take Lord Sword God for example. Among his followers, there are several powerful aristocratic families. However, these aristocratic families are very low-key. But as long as they have a good eye, they will not provoke them. How can they provoke the forces that Lord Sword God likes? And with the support and cultivation of Lord Sword God, will such aristocratic families be weak? They will only become stronger and stronger, otherwise, wouldn't it be said that Lord Sword God is incompetent? Yi Xiaotian is really envious. I don't know when he can reach the height of Lord Sword God. As for the other supreme masters abroad, forget it. Yi Xiaotian is too lazy to envy them. A group of big noses, there is nothing to envy, mainly ugly. Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiaotian, and the two walked around the camp hand in hand. Brother Tian, they asked me to ask you, when are we leaving? Han Xuyao asked. Although this is the range of the front battlefield, it is still a defensive front after all, and the probability of a real battle is not high. The team members all wanted to fight a few real battles and feel the cruelty of the alien battlefield. After a few days of adaptation, they are now much better. At least, the diet is very normal now. Yi Xiaotian heard this and began to think about this matter. They came here to participate in the war. The reason why they are here is also a coincidence. Then because of physical reasons, they stayed here for a few more days. Now that they have adapted almost, it is time to go out and participate in the battle. Okay, we will leave tomorrow. It just so happens that Qin Hao's news should come by then. If there is any goods, we can go to the base camp. By the way, I asked Qin Hao to go to the base camp to inquire about the news of the talent spirit liquid. Our next stop is the base camp. Yi Xiaotian said to Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao said, Okay, then I will inform them of the next destination later. Yi Xiaotian said strangely, Why don't they come to tell me themselves? Maybe they think you are too majestic, and I am easier to talk to. Han Xuyao said uncertainly. Yi Xiaotian held his chin and said, How is it possible? I am so approachable, how can I be difficult to talk to? Han Xuyao said, You are now a big boss with followers. They naturally have to keep a certain distance from you to maintain your image as a big boss. For things like asking for information, of course I have to come. Yi Xiaotian smiled and knew that Han Xuyao was teasing him. Qin Hao's men reported the news to him, and he came to find Yi Xiaotian, but when he saw Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao walking hand in hand, he hesitated. Such a beautiful moment, do you want to disturb it? Such a warm and beautiful scene is really rare on the battlefield of foreign races. What's more, Yi Xiaotian is his husband. In ancient times, he would be the master. The master and the mistress were having a romance, and he interrupted them, which was too rude. So he turned around decisively. Qin Hao. Qin Hao didn't want to disturb them, but he was still discovered by Yi Xiaotian. Just kidding, in this alien battlefield, it's better to be in the camp, but Yi Xiaotian dare not be careless. So he had already noticed Qin Hao coming. Originally thought Qin Hao would come directly, but unexpectedly Qin Hao just hesitated for a moment and turned around and left. 
Yi Xiao Tian called him to ask him about the gifted spiritual liquid. They were leaving tomorrow, so of course they had to confirm the news first. Qin Hao came over with a brave face and said, Sir, Madam. Han Xu Yao blushed and nodded, which was considered a response. Yi Xiao Tian said, Well, is there any news? Qin Hao hurriedly said, Yes, sir, the news came back from the base camp. The base camp has the gifted spiritual liquid you want. What level? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Qin Hao said, A level, no S level. Yi Xiao Tian was a little disappointed, but still said, Okay, I know, by the way, we will go to the base camp tomorrow. Ah, uh, sir, won't you stay for a while? If you want the gifted spiritual liquid, I can send someone to the base camp to exchange it. Qin Hao said. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, No, we came to the alien battlefield to fight. Now their bodies have adapted to it, and we have to continue fighting. You have your responsibilities, and we have ours. After hearing this, Qin Hao stopped persuading him and said, Okay, sir, I will arrange for someone to make dry food for you for a few days. This time, Yi Xiao Tian did not refuse. From here to the base camp, if the journey goes smoothly, with the speed of Leopard 2, it may take only one day. But who can be sure that there will be no accidents along the way? So it is also good to prepare dry food for a few more days. This is called being prepared. Chapter 355 Sir, there may be S-level talent spirit liquid in the base camp, but because of our low status, we generally don't disclose the information to the outside world. Before leaving, Qin Hao revealed a piece of information to Yi Xiao Tian. Sitting on the back of Leopard 2, he ran wildly towards the base camp. Brother Tian, what are you thinking about? Han Xu Yao asked when he saw Yi Xiao Tian in a trance. Yi Xiao Tian came back to his senses and said, Nothing, I just feel that the class system in this world is strict, and a lot of information is only circulated among the top. Han Xu Yao said, What's so strange about this? It's not just us, any force is like this, whether it's a country or a team. Strength varies, responsibilities vary, and information is naturally asymmetric. If everything is completely public, it will be difficult to manage. Yi Xiao Tian said in surprise, How do you know this? Han Xu Yao smiled and said, Of course my father taught me. He trained me as the next head of the Han family. This is the truth. If it weren't for Yi Xiao Tian, Han Xu Yao would definitely be the next head of the Han family. After all, she has awakened the S level thunder attack talent. Being the head of the Han family is more than enough. Yi Xiao Tian understood that even Han Xu Yao was like this, not to mention the direct descendants of several other big families. The education received since childhood must be different from that of orphans like them at the lowest level. To be precise, the education they received was how to control and manage. And people like him and Wang Hao learned the most about how to survive. For low-level personnel like them, survival is the most important thing. If Yi Xiao Tian hadn't traveled through time and accidentally awakened the supreme talent. With his and Wang Hao's C-level combat talent alone, at best, they would be cannon fodder. The best enlightenment for a cannon fodder is to keep himself alive. Yi Xiao Tian found that although his strength improved rapidly, he had more and more things to learn. He was completely clueless about many common sense things that belonged to the high level awakener's pyramid. Often, they realized it afterward. Brother Tian, don't worry, take your time, as long as you are strong enough, others will come to you. Han Xu Yao comforted. Puff. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help laughing after hearing this. This was true, but it always sounded awkward. Boom! While running at high speed, a mountain suddenly appeared in front of him. Leopard 2 didn't have time to break and crashed into it directly. Chang Xiaoxi only lasted for a second before her golden bell shattered and a mouthful of blood spurted out. Yi Xiao Tian reacted very quickly and immediately raised a water curtain to protect everyone. Ping Xiangyu raised his staff and then put it down with a look of shock on his face. Whether it was reaction speed or the power of the magic, he could not compare with Yi Xiao Tian. Although he had been prepared for a long time, he still felt very depressed at this moment. He felt that he was dispensable in this team. 
well, strictly speaking, everyone in their team was dispensable. So far, it is estimated that only Sun Yao can help. For the others, even if they were not there, Yi Xiao Tian could take care of all their functions. Hao Tian, the boss, is a real almighty awakener. He always felt that one day, even Sun Yao would become redundant. Although Yi Xiaotian's water defense skill water curtain, protected them, except for Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao, everyone else was in a very bad state. There was no way, it happened too suddenly. Even if everyone was mentally prepared, they didn't have time to react. Fortunately, they were all B-level awakeners. Although they were a little embarrassed, they recovered quickly. Yi Xiao Tian held the staff in one hand and held Han Xuyao's slender waist with the other hand. Eye of Insight was turned on, and suddenly, everything in front of him became bright. What surprised him was that the one who attacked them this time was not an awakener of a foreign race. Not even a heretic. But an orthodox human. In the dust and smoke, Yi Xiao Tian could clearly see the surprise on the faces of the other group of people. I didn't expect that the water-based magic that Yi Xiao Tian used was so powerful. If they knew that Yi Xiao Tian also had an SS-level water-based talent water god borrowing magic, they would probably be scared to death. Water god borrowing magic is a talent that fully amplifies water-based magic. Many awakeners, the talents of awakeners, can only amplify a single system. For example, amplify attack magic or defense magic, or auxiliary magic. For example, Han Xuyao's thunder talent is to increase the thunder attack skills. She can only get the power increase of her talent when she performs thunder attack skills. The defensive power of the skill water curtain, performed by Yi Xiao Tian is much stronger than that performed by Peng Xiangyu. It is not an exaggeration to say that he is not even worthy of carrying shoes. Yi Xiao Tian can see clearly, but the vision of other teammates is blocked by dust. However, they are not idle either. They all took out their weapons. Huang Jie gave everyone agility assistance. Sun Yao held the staff tightly, ready to rescue any teammates who were injured in time. Sister Hong was better than them. She came to Yi Xiao Tian and asked softly, Do you know? She also saw that the enemy was not a foreign race or a pagan. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Not sure. Sister Hong said, We have just been in the alien battlefield for a few days. The news must have been leaked from the night watch. The other party is very capable of finding out information. It must be no ordinary person. Yi Xiao Tian did not doubt Qin Hao. After all, Qin Hao was not the only one there. In fact, in Qin Hao's camp. In addition to a battalion of the Night Watch, there are also many free awakeners. The purpose of their being here is naturally to gain military merit. As long as they are here, even if they do not participate in the battle in the end, they can still gain military merit. It is definitely not the same level to just get military merit and to earn military merit. And Yi Xiao Tian did not deliberately conceal his identity, so it is very normal for someone to spread the news. Even when he left the camp today, Yi Xiao Tian did not hide his destination. But even so, it is not something that ordinary people can do to know this news. There must be a huge force behind these people. It's just that Yi Xiao Tian has some guesses in his mind about who it is, but he is not 100% sure. But at this time, they are still thinking about internal fighting. No matter how big such a force is, Yi Xiao Tian doesn't care about it. There is only one word when encountering it, kill. Who are you? Who asked you to come? Sister Hong saw that Yi Xiao Tian didn't say anything, so she stepped forward and shouted. Chapter, 356 Sister Hong, don't ask, they are from the Qian family in Beijing. At this time, Yi Xiao Tian suddenly shouted to Sister Hong. Sister Hong was stunned for a moment. Didn't she just say she didn't know? How come she knew it in the blink of an eye? Brother, the identity has been discovered, kill them. A big man on the other side suddenly shouted. As soon as this was said, even a fool would know who sent them. The leader Yi Hu on the opposite side had a very ugly face. He didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian could guess their identities so accurately. 
What he didn't expect was that Eru would be so stupid and admitted his identity according to Yi Xiaotian's words. This, he almost vomited blood. Yi Xiaotian also smiled and said, I didn't expect there would be an unexpected gain. Sister Hong said, you don't know their identities. Yi Xiaotian said, of course I don't know, it's just a guess. Sister Hong secretly said that she was lucky, or she was really lucky. Yi Hu on the opposite side heard the conversation between Yi Xiaotian and Sister Hong, and was so angry that he couldn't breathe. Now, the only way is to kill all the guys on the opposite side. Otherwise, the consequences will be very serious. Originally, they acted secretly this time. As long as they killed Yi Xiaotian and the others, they could put the blame on the aliens. But forget it, even if the other party knows their identities, what does it matter? As long as they are all killed, no one will know. Go. Don't hold back, kill them directly. Yi Hu shouted lightly, and he rushed towards Yi Xiaotian and the others with a big knife. This is an S-level awakening team, and the five people in the team are all S-level awakeners. Such a team is definitely a top-notch combat force. It's just a pity that it was used in the wrong place. Although Yi Xiaotian killed tens of thousands of alien troops alone when he was in Qin Hao's team. But Yi Hu and the others didn't care, it was just a low-level alien army. As long as they were given enough time, they could do it. In the Houtian team, only Houtian is an S-level awakener, and the others are still B-level awakeners. So as long as you are careful, there is no problem in destroying the Houtian team. The auxiliary staff on the opposite side raised, and several rays of light fell on the other teammates. Two melee fighters rushed towards Yi Xiaotian. The two psychics waved their staffs and prepared to attack with psychic skills. Sister Hong was about to fight, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian, saying, Sister Hong, you stay to protect them. Although he was protected by his water curtain, Yi Xiaotian did not dare to be careless. The enemy he encountered this time was definitely the strongest enemy. A team of five people are all S-level awakening masters. Such a configuration, plus rich experience, and years of cooperation. He can't help but be on guard. He himself has nothing to worry about, but his teammates are still too weak to face such a strong team. Even with his talent and skills, they are far from being opponents. After all, the basic level gap is here. Even his innate skills could not make up for such a huge gap, let alone his teammates. After giving himself assistance, Huang Jie's agility attribute assistance also arrived. His casting speed and movement speed increased several times. He waved his staff, and a flying dragon composed of water vapor appeared out of thin air and pounced on Yi Hu and Er Hu. The water dragon held up the sky, and its spirit penetrated the heaven and earth. Roar! The water dragon roared to the sky, shaking the sky, and the divine power descended. The water dragon rushed towards Yi Hu and Er Hu with unparalleled power. Yi Hu and Er Hu were shocked and immediately raised their swords to block. But it was useless. Their bodies were directly overturned by a great force and flew into the sky. The force hit their internal organs, and blood mixed with fragments of internal organs spurted out of their mouths. After the water dragon dealt with the two of them, it did not stop, but roared again and rushed towards the other three psychics of the Five Tigers Awakening team. Defense Sanhu was shocked and shouted loudly. The three psychics didn't care about the attack and used defensive skills. Several light shields rose around them to protect them. However, these defensive skills were like bubbles under the impact of the water dragon. With a bang, they shattered instantly. The three S-level psychics flew into the sky under the impact of the water dragon. After the water dragon cleaned up, it turned its head again, danced in the sky, and then circled and looked down. The people of the Houtian team and Sister Hong were dumbfounded. This is really something that an S-level awakener can do. What a powerful water dragon technique. They don't know that this is a water-based technique that has been amplified by SS-level talent. Coupled with Yi Xiaotian's own strength, the strength of this water dragon technique is definitely beyond that of ordinary SS-level awakened beasts. A series of sounds of bodies falling to the ground came. 
the members of the five tigers fell to the ground one after another, like dead dogs. They were so arrogant just now, but in just a blink of an eye, they were all crippled. Sister Hong opened her mouth and wanted to say something, but she couldn't. Too scary. She originally thought that Yi Xiaotian's nightmare, skill was already very scary. After all, the tens of thousands of alien troops were able to be killed so quickly, all thanks to Yi Xiaotian's skill. Now she suddenly realized that Yi Xiaotian was unmatched in group attack and invincible in single combat. 5S level awakeners were all killed in one blow. Such a record, even if an SS level awakener came, it would be impossible to do it so neatly. Yi Xiaotian put away his staff, then took out the S level Tianjin war knife snatched from the Qian family, and walked towards Yi Hu and the others. Yi Hu lay on the ground, unable to move, and a piercing pain spread throughout his body. He found that his bones seemed to be broken and his internal organs were burning. He knew very well that if there was no professional treatment for such injuries, the Awakener would be dead. Why is this Yi Xiaotian so terrifying? Isn't he an S-level Awakener? Why is his attack so powerful? He is an S-level mid-level Awakener, and his four teammates are all S-level primary Awakeners. Together, even SS level powers can resist one or two. But in the hands of Yi Xiaotian, the newly promoted S level awakener, they couldn't even defeat him. What a monster! The reason why he dared to take on this task was because he was confident that his five tigers team could defeat Yi Xiaotian. But now he realized that the gap between his five tigers team and Yi Xiaotian was no different from a firefly competing with the bright moon. Haotian God, indeed lived up to his reputation. Chapter, 357 A single water dragon technique crippled an S-class awakening team, shocking everyone on both sides. Yi Xiaotian came to Yi Hu with a sword in hand. He already knew that this guy was their captain. He was the one who just gave the order. And among this awakening team, Yi Hu is also the strongest. S-level mid-level awakener. So Yi Xiaotian was the first to find him. Are you the Qian family's private army? Yi Xiaotian asked. Yi Hu didn't answer or make a sound. Although he was in severe pain all over his body, he endured it and was a tough guy. Seeing that Yi Hu didn't answer, Yi Xiaotian said, it seems that I guessed it right. If the Qian family hired him with money, he would definitely not be so loyal. Yi Hu is going to be autistic. What the hell, he's not going to let anyone live anymore. But in this situation, they might not be able to survive. Do you want to live? Yi Xiaotian asked again. Yi Hu still didn't say anything. Yi Xiaotian didn't pay attention. He stretched out his hand and a force lifted Er Hu and fell to Yi Hu's side. Yi Xiaotian pointed his sword at Er Hu and said, Let me put it another way, do you want them to live? Yi Hu was shocked and his eyes changed, but he soon returned to indifference. Yi Xiaotian caught the change in his eyes and understood in his heart. Threatening him with his own life was useless. But threatening his teammates with their lives will have unexpected effects. If you can cooperate with me, I can keep them alive and heal their injuries. If you don't cooperate, then I will chop them up one by one. Yi Xiaotian said in a cold tone. Yi Xiaotian, after all, they have killed countless aliens and made contributions to the human race. If you do this, where is your conscience? Yi Hu struggled and said angrily. Yi Xiaotian sneered, you have the nerve to raise your conscience with me. Did I provoke you to provoke you? I'm here to kill aliens, what are you doing? Are you worthy of talking to me about your conscience? Yi Hu said coldly, at the very least, we have killed foreign races and made countless contributions to the human race. So what? If you really want to say that, if you have done meritorious service for the human race, does that mean you can even betray the human race as a matter of course? Yi Xiaotian asked. Yi Hu said, you are using strong words to make excuses. Yi Xiaotian said, I'm just talking about the matter. The war on the front line is tense now. As awakened people of the human race, you don't want to contribute to the human race, but you are here to do things that make your relatives and enemies happy. Why do you have the face to talk about your contribution to the human race? 
Ye who snorted coldly and said, Whether we have made contributions to the human race or not is not your decision. Okay, then I have no grudges against you, but you bring people to kill me. I can take care of this, right? Yi Xiaotian said. Yi Hu said, The Qian family is a meritorious family of Xia Kingdom. Yi Xiaotian said disdainfully, So what? Who hasn't made contributions to the human race? I also saved tens of millions of people in the two major base cities of Xia Kingdom. Am I going to be hunted down by you? TSK. Yi Hu sneered. Obviously, he felt that Yi Xiaotian was bragging. Yi Xiaotian said, You don't believe it? Of course I don't believe it. Yi Hu definitely didn't believe it, otherwise he would never have followed the Qian family's order to intercept and kill Yi Xiaotian. According to the description of the Qian family, although Yi Xiaotian is talented, he is an arrogant person who has talent but no virtue. The Qian family even speculated that once Yi Xiaotian grows up, it is still unknown whether it will be a blessing or a curse to the human race. Based on this premise, Yi Hu came with his brothers. With the accurate intelligence support of the Qian family, Yi Xiaotian was blocked here. It's a pity that their strength is too weak, and they will be defeated in just one encounter. Is Yi Xiaotian like this, with such strength, really as unbearable as the rich family says? But then again, if Yi Xiaotian like this really betrays the human race, the consequences are unimaginable. Yi Xiaotian said, I have killed more than a million strange beasts with my own hands. Otherwise, how do you think I got this strength? It seems that you all go out without thinking. One last question, are you worthy of cooperation? Yi Xiaotian once again grabbed Yi Hu's other comrades and threw them on the ground. Looking at his comrades who were lively and vigorous a few minutes ago but now as dead as dogs, Yi Hu's heart was bleeding. They are the Five Tigers team. On the battlefield are the famous S-Class Awakening teams with outstanding achievements. Across the alien battlefield, it can be said that it is an awakening team that makes those who have awakened alien races change their colors. But now, it is useless. If it is not treated in time, it will definitely die. Yi Hu closed his eyes, struggling internally. How do you want me to cooperate? Yi Hu didn't care about his own life. But he couldn't care less about the lives of these old brothers. The five members of their five tigers team have been fighting enemies together for decades. They have killed countless aliens and made countless contributions. Of course, all the achievements they made were exchanged for various strength-enhancing materials. How could ye who turn a blind eye to the decades of brotherly love? Seeing several brothers, even if they were unconscious, still moaning in pain from time to time, his heart was as sharp as a knife. Finally, he gave in. Yi Xiaotian said, just record a short video for us. As long as you tell us that we were attacked by the Qian family in Beijing, I will not only let you go, but also let the therapist treat us. Yi Hu took a deep breath, causing a cough, and then a suppressed cry of pain. Okay, I promise you. After a while, Yi Hu recovered a little. Yi Xiaotian was naturally not polite, and directly asked Sister Hong and the others to come over, and then picked up the phone and started recording. After recording, Sister Hong still looked puzzled and said, What's the point of recording this? Yi Xiaotian said, Why is it useless? Sister Hong said, You don't really think that the Qian family will admit it? Yi Xiaotian said, What does it have to do with me whether they admit it or not? Sister Hong was directly beaten by Yi Xiaotian. Didn't you take this video to confront the Qian family? Why doesn't it matter? Aren't you going to report the Qian family with this? Sister Hong asked. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, I won't do such boring things. I might as well kill a few more aliens with this time. Sister Hong was really puzzled. If you don't take the video to cause trouble for the Qian family, why did you record it? Let alone Sister Hong, everyone else was also confused, but based on their trust in Yi Xiaotian, they didn't ask more questions. Sun Yao, treat them and don't let them die. After all, these are the living forces of our human race. After recording the video, Yi Xiaotian instructed Sun Yao. Sun Yao did not hesitate, waved the staff, and several green healing lights fell on Yi Hu and others. 
Soon, Yi Hu and his comrades' faces became visibly ruddy. Chapter 358 Although Yi Hu and the other five are not completely healed, they can still protect themselves here. Yi Xiao Tian directly told them to get lost. Brother Tian, it would be too easy for them to just let them go. Wang Hao was the first to speak, feeling it was a pity. He felt that Yi Hu and the others should be killed to make them miserable. Otherwise, just chop it into pieces and feed it to the dog. To actually dare to come and assassinate him is simply lawless. But Yi Xiao Tian let them go so lightly and treated their injuries, which he really couldn't understand. Revenge when there is hatred, revenge when there is hatred, this is Wang Hao's central idea. In fact, others were also wondering why Yi Xiao Tian was so easy to talk to this time and let them go directly. You know, Every time we encountered something like this before, the final result was that the entire army was annihilated. No matter what, they are all heroes of the human race. I don't want them to die like this because of the conflict between me and the Qian family. Yi Xiao Tian sighed. It is up to him and the Qian family to settle his grudges. Of course, Yi Hu knew the current affairs, which was also one of the reasons. The most important thing is that he heard from Yi Hu's words that the reason why they took action was because they were deceived by the Qian family. I believe that after letting them go back this time, they will definitely investigate it carefully. Once they see clearly the true face of the Qian family, there will be a few more great masters on the human race's resistance front. S level awakeners, each one is extremely precious. But it cannot be wasted in internal fighting. They are still needed on the alien battlefield. Let them take advantage of their crimes and perform meritorious service. They are needed on the battlefield. Yi Xiao Tian added. Suddenly, Wang Hao and the others were speechless. Sister Hong asked at this time, I'm curious about one thing. You recorded this video and didn't confront the Qian family. Why did you film it? Your kid doesn't have any special quirks, right? Yi Xiao Tian had a dark look on his face and said, Sister Hong, please don't accuse me unjustly. Okay, let me tell you, I just want to keep some evidence so that I can show it to everyone when we face off. Everyone else was stunned, what kind of operation is this? Collect criminal evidence in advance. Is this necessary? Sister Hong opened her mouth, but in the end she didn't say anything. In fact, she wanted to ask Yi Xiao Tian if he planned to destroy the Qian family after he became a god in the future. But in the end she gave up. Such a question would easily give Yi Xiao Tian an excuse. Okay, let's continue to the base camp. Yi Xiao Tian greeted everyone, got on Bao Er's back, and continued to the base camp. There were no surprises this time. One day later, they arrived at the base camp. Since Qin Hao had greeted the base camp in advance, there was no misunderstanding this time. And the people at the base camp were very happy when they learned that Yi Xiao Tian was here. The people who came out to greet them were all big shots, the powerful SS level awakener of Yi Shue. There are senior leaders of the two major legions, as well as elders of aristocratic families. These boss level figures know very well what Yi Xiao Tian has done in Blue Star. Especially outside Jiangnan City, Yi Xiao Tian not only destroyed the millions of high clan troops, but even singled out an SS level powerful Kanglin dragon from the high clan. Among the many SS level awakened human masters present, not many thought they could defeat a sea master in a duel. Most human awakened people will be at a disadvantage when fighting against foreign awakened people of the same level. But this one killed an SS level awakened member of the sea tribe with force. Even in the legend, this one only used one sword. This is a bit too much. They still believed that this man had killed an SS level powerful awakener. As for the sword, it was definitely rumored. But no matter what, the SS level C clan power outside Jiangnan city was really killed by Yi Xiao Tian. Therefore, no one dares to underestimate this great Haotian god who is famous all over the world of reincarnation. Of course, there is another biggest reason, that is, Yi Xiao Tian is only 19 years old now. It is only more than half a year before he awakens his talent. Comparing people with others will lead to death, and comparing goods with goods will lead to throwing away. Compared with this one, they all have to lie on the beach. 
wouldn't it be a fool if he didn't curry favor with the future supreme being now? In fact, this kind of situation is what Yi Xiaotian is least good at. In his opinion, the purpose of my coming here is to change something and then kill foreigners. Just tell me where the material exchange office is. But the scene of receiving hundreds of people really made him feel a little at a loss. His comrades in arms were all young people and lacked experience in dealing with these big guys, so they all seemed sluggish. This is true even for those from big families. Even with their status, they have never seen these big figures before them a few times. Sister Hong, on the other hand, is a sweetheart. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian didn't seem to be very good at this kind of situation, she stepped forward. He became Yi Xiaotian's agent on the spot. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief. Now he just needs to keep a smile on his face. Some bosses are angry, some bosses are not. Naturally, I feel angry because I think Yi Xiaotian is too arrogant and you haven't become a god yet. As for those who were not angry, they saw that Yi Xiaotian was still young and very shy. Facing their goodwill, he didn't know how to deal with it. So Sister Hong came forward for him, which was the best choice. Under Sister Hong's call, these big guys finally went back first, and Yi Xiaotian and the others returned to the assigned room. This place, called the base camp, can actually be regarded as a small city. After all, the pioneering army is stationed here all year round, and many human awakeners also hunt aliens here all year round. As the saying goes, where there is demand, there will be supply. Over time, a city was formed here, which is not even smaller than Jiangqing. Of course, the conditions cannot be completely compared with the cities on Blue Star. Of course, if you want to live in a house here, it is not free, but requires a price. Money, military merits, and the bodies of aliens can all be used as currency transactions. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao are legal husband and wife, so naturally they live in the same room. Yi Xiaotian admired his own wisdom. He got the certificate early and didn't have to live in the same room with those stinky men. Sister Hong, I plan to go to the quartermaster this afternoon. Do you know him? Yi Xiaotian asked Sister Hong. Sister Hong smiled and said, You are a popular person in the base camp now. Just go to the quartermaster's office and explain your purpose. But I think your communication skills are really worrying. But geniuses have privileges. I'll accompany you this afternoon. Sister Hong was really afraid that a good thing would be messed up by Yi Xiaotian. Sure enough, no matter how comprehensive a genius is, there are shortcomings. Chapter 359. The time spent with Yi Xiaotian has exceeded one month. In Sister Hong's opinion, Yi Xiaotian is an all-rounder. Even his appearance is one of the best. There is no shortcoming. Today, she finally found a shortcoming of Yi Xiaotian. That is, when facing such a large social scene, Yi Xiaotian will not adapt. Of course, for ordinary people, this cannot be considered a shortcoming. But for Yi Xiao Xiao, this is a shortcoming. Fortunately, this shortcoming can be improved through acquired training. In the afternoon, Yi Xiao Tian and Sister Hong went to the quartermaster's office, and Han Xu Yao and the others were resting in the room. After this trip to the base camp, they will carry out a hunting operation of aliens for at least a month. So there is not much time left for them to rest. Under the leadership of Sister Hong, the two came to the quartermaster's office. The quartermaster's office was very busy with people coming and going. Sister Hong explained, the quartermaster department is the busiest unit in the base camp. It controls all the materials related to food, clothing, housing, transportation and cultivation for millions of middle and high-level awakeners in the alien battlefield. After these materials are sent from the Blue Star mainland, they will be stored here, and then everyone will come to buy or exchange them. Also, once you get some good things like secret treasures in the alien battlefield, you can also bring them here to sell or exchange for other things you need. The most important thing is that the prices here are very fair. They will not deliberately raise or lower the prices just because this is an alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian nodded continuously after listening. After all, this is the first line of the human race against the alien race. If such a place is all about profit, it is driving the awakened back. 
Even the prices of the things sold here will be lower than those in the Blue Star mainland. And the prices of purchasing various resources will generally be higher. The purpose is to encourage the Free Awakening team in the Blue Star mainland to come to the alien battlefield. Sister Hong kept popularizing some common sense to Yi Xiaotian. She finally understood that Yi Xiaotian, this little guy, was good in everything except that he rose too fast. What he lacked most now was this common sense information. Yi Xiaotian said, These decisions are very correct, which can mobilize the enthusiasm of the awakened to the greatest extent. Sister Hong said, Yes, it is said that this was decided by several supreme masters personally, which is very bold. Yi Xiaotian said, Indeed. Such a military supply department will definitely lose money during the war, let alone making money. I'm afraid that only a few supreme masters can support such a large loss. Hong. At this moment, a somewhat awkward name sounded. Yi Xiaotian turned his head and saw a blonde white young man looking at Sister Hong with surprise. Sister Hong was also surprised to see him, Hi, Mike. The two of them hugged each other, and Mike said, Hong, I heard that you are not from Blue Star. Sister Hong said, Yes, but I am here again. You know, I am used to staying here. Mike said, Hong, you are really a responsible awakener. Hong, who is this? Sister Hong hurriedly said, Mike, let me introduce you, this is my friend Yi Xiaotian, Xiaotian, this is my friend Mike, he works in the quartermaster department. Hello, Mr. Yi. Mike saw that Yi Xiaotian was very young and more like a student, so he shook hands with Yi Xiaotian very politely. Hello, Mr. Mike. Yi Xiaotian also responded. Hong, are you here for something? Mike's attention returned to Sister Hong again. Yi Xiaotian could see that Mike was interested in Sister Hong. I just don't know what Sister Hong thinks of him. Sister Hong said, Yes, Mike, we are here to exchange some supplies. Oh, these are all small matters, just tell me what supplies you need, and I will help you get it. Mike was very enthusiastic. Sister Hong looked at Yi Xiaotian, and seeing that he had no objection, she said, Okay, Mike, everything else is fine, they are all some daily necessities, but there is one thing that I need your help with, Mike. No problem, Hong, just tell me what you want to exchange, and I can check the storage capacity of the warehouse. Mike said generously. Sister Hong was not polite and said directly, We want to exchange for A-level and S-level talent spirit liquid. When Mike heard this, the smile on his face slowly faded, and he turned to say solemnly, Hong, we are very good friends, I will speak frankly. Talent spirit liquid is a strategic material, which is very strictly controlled. Not everyone can exchange it. Sister Hong said, Of course I know, Mike, don't worry, I will never make it difficult for you. Mike said, Hong, you know, I don't mean that. Sister Hong said, Mike, I know the rules very well. Your quartermaster department has the responsibility to protect strategic materials from falling into the hands of the enemy. Mike, let me formally introduce you, this is Mr. Houtian. Mr. Houtian? Houtian? Oh my god, you are Mr. Houtian. Mike obviously didn't like the name Yi Xiaotian. After all, foreigners are confused about the names of Chinese people. If they hadn't been together for a long time, Mike would probably have forgotten what Yi Xiaotian was called after a while. But when it comes to the name Houtian, it's different. The entire awakened people in Blue Star have been brainwashed by the reincarnation ID of Houtian. Regardless of whether they are at home or abroad, this reincarnation ID has a magnet attraction for them. Mike grabbed Yi Xiaotian's hand and wouldn't let go, shaking it hard. Yi Xiaotian felt so bad that he couldn't bear it. What was it like to be grabbed by an old man's hands, and he was so enthusiastic that he wanted to eat you? Anyway, Yi Xiaotian was really going to vomit. He quickly took his hand out of Mike's hand and said, Mr. Mike, calm down, calm down. Mike was very excited, his whole face was flushed with excitement, he couldn't calm down at all, and kept muttering in his mouth. Yi Xiaotian looked at Sister Hong and asked her what to do. Sister Hong said, It's okay. I'll be fine later. It was Sister Hong who understood her friend. After a while, Mike's excitement finally calmed down. Mr. Houtian, please forgive me, I was really too excited just now. 
Do you know? I know everything about you, including your saving of two major base cities in your country. Do you know? Now, the people in my country very much hope that you can save them. Do you know? You are their Superman. Mike started to get excited again as he spoke. Calm down, calm down. Yi Xiaotian was really scared. Chapter 360 Mike was very enthusiastic, so enthusiastic that Yi Xiaotian could not imagine it. He now regretted letting Sister Hong tell Mike her identity. Seeing that Mike was on the verge of becoming a crazy fan, Yi Xiaotian decisively interrupted him. Mr. Mike, why don't you take us to change things first? Yi Xiaotian said. Mike was stunned for a moment, slapped his forehead, and said, Okay, Mr. Haotian, please follow me. With Yi Xiaotian, he didn't even lick Sister Hong anymore. Sister Hong followed them with a depressed look. It's not that she has any fondness for Mike. The main reason is that she was originally her dog licker, but suddenly went to lick someone else, which made her a little unhappy. And it was in front of her. Is her sister Hong shameless? But what can she do? Now she was redundant. Mr. Haotian, it's like this. I can make the decision on the A-level spiritual liquid, but the S-level spiritual liquid needs the approval of our supervisor. Please forgive me. Having said this, Mike just paused for a moment, and then immediately said, But don't worry, with your status, the supervisor will definitely approve it. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, Mr. Mike, how much inventory of these two levels of gifted spiritual liquid does the military supplies department have now? Mike was taken aback and said, Mr. Haotian, are you in great demand? Treasures like gifted spiritual fluid are very rare, otherwise they wouldn't be so expensive. What's more, what Yi Xiaotian wants is a level or above talented spiritual liquid, which is even rarer. Generally speaking, when an awakened person comes to redeem the gifted spiritual liquid, it only costs one bottle, and they may not be able to afford the exchange for several years. But Yi Xiaotian said how much inventory he had, so why did he think he was going to wholesale? Yi Xiaotian said, That's right, Mr. Mike, my teammates need this kind of talented spirit liquid, but I'm worried that the success rate is not high, so I want to prepare more. Mike didn't even know what to say. Is there still such an operation? As expected of the great god Haotian, he is indeed different from ordinary people. He is also so kind to his teammates that he even prepared treasures such as talent ectoplasm for them. Being his teammate is such a blessing. Mr. Haotian, just call me Mike. There is still some storage capacity of A-level spiritual liquid, but there is only one bottle of S-level spiritual liquid. However, I can contact you to see other awakened people's hands. Is there any S-level talent spirit fluid that you are willing to sell? Mike said. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. Yi Xiaotian said. Mike said with a smile on his face, It is my honor to serve you, sir. Sister Hong was almost getting goosebumps as she listened from behind. Mike, Mike, is it necessary to kneel down and lick like this? Hong, you and Mr. Haotian have a rest here for a while. I'll go ask our supervisor for instructions. Mike took them to a lounge, then asked Yi Xiaotian and Sister Hong to sit down, and after serving tea, he left. After he left, Yi Xiaotian breathed a long sigh of relief, as if he had finally left. Sister Hong covered her mouth and chuckled, saying, If he sees you like this, he will definitely be very sad. I don't care if he's hurt or not, I can't stand it anymore anyway. Yi Xiaotian complained. Sister Hong said, Xiaotian, you can't do this. Your future is limitless, and some things cannot be avoided. Unless you have no contact with the outside world at all. Then I won't have any contact with the outside world. I always feel tired. Yi Xiaotian said. Sister Hong rolled her eyes, you are the boss, everything you say is right. It seems that if you really want to become a god, you really don't have to worry about other people's feelings. Look at the supreme adults of Blue Star. When do they need to look good to others? Even if you keep a cold face, there will still be a lot of people coming to your door to curry favor with you. So in Sister Hong's opinion, it is a shortcoming, but when it comes to Yi Xiaotian, it seems to be nothing more than that. Fake, damn Anuzaburo, you will pay the price for your stupid decision. 
At this moment, Mike's angry voice came from outside. Then the door to the room was pushed open, and Mike walked in with an angry face. Mike, what's wrong? Why are you so angry? Sister Hong stood up immediately and asked. Yi Xiao Tian was also very confused. Mike took a few deep breaths to calm down his anger. Mr. Houtian, Hong, I'm sorry, I messed up. Mike said apologetically. Sister Hong didn't speak, looked at Yi Xiao Tian, and said, It's okay, Mike, this is not your fault, is it? It turned out that after Mike found a Nuzaburo, the director of the military supplies department, and told Yi Xiao Tian's story, he thought there was no problem. But unexpectedly, Quan Jianlang not only refused Yi Xiaotian's request to buy S-level talent spiritual liquid, but also refused to sell A-level talent spiritual liquid. No exchange is allowed either. His reason was that the inventory was too low, and he needed to leave his gifted spiritual liquid to the awakened ones who would make greater contributions to the Blue Star human race. What a bullshit reason this is. On the spot, Mike went crazy. But it's a pity that he is just a manager of the munitions department. The real caller here is in Nuzaburo. So there is no doubt that Mike was kicked out of the office by Inazanro. Mike became even more angry and said loudly, Fake, damn Inuzaburo, I must report this matter to the base camp. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Sister Hong, who then said, Mike, forget it. Their reasons are legitimate, aren't they? Hong, this damn Inu Sanlang must be lying. Mike didn't believe what Inu Sanlang said. Sister Hong and Yi Xiao Tian naturally didn't believe it either. How could it be so coincidental? When Yi Xiao Tian came to buy the talent spirit liquid, so many awakeners who wanted to buy the talent spirit liquid appeared, and they made great contributions to the human race. This was intentional. We understand, but we don't have evidence, right? Mike. Sister Hong said. Mike was speechless. He was even more angry because he knew this. This Inu Sanlang was just fooling him like a fool. Yi Xiao Tian said at this time, Mike, do you think other Awakeners still have talent spirit liquid in their hands? Mike's eyes lit up and said, of course there is. After that, he said a little frustrated, but they didn't sell it to the military supply department, so they should not lack anything, so they may ask for barter. Yi Xiao Tian Haotian's name is loud, but he rose too quickly, and his foundation is insufficient. He must not have any treasures that people would like. Yi Xiao Tian said, If there is no one, Mr. Mike, don't worry. Please do me a favor and spread the news that I want to purchase A-level and S-level talent spirit liquid. As long as you are willing to trade, no matter what your requirements are, you can put them forward first. Chapter, 361 There are several reasons why Mike was asked to release such news. The first is timeliness. Mike is from the quartermaster department after all. If he releases such news, it will soon spread throughout the alien battlefield, and even the Blue Star will know it soon. Feedback the news to the alien battlefield. Another reason is authority. Although Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation ID is Haotian. But to be honest, there are very few people who really know Yi Xiaotian. But with Mike, an official from the quartermaster department, endorsement, it's different. Everyone will believe him, and there is no need to waste more time to verify Yi Xiaotian's identity information. It can make everyone believe him and believe that he can afford A-level or even S-level talent spirit liquid. Otherwise, even if he puts up a sign at the door of the quartermaster department, no one will pay attention to him, and they will only think he is a lunatic. Naturally, Mike will not refuse Yi Xiaotian's request. He was worried that he couldn't find a chance to curry favor with Yi Xiao Tian, so he immediately said, No problem, Mr. Hao Tian, I'll do it right away. And I have some friends too, I can ask them to see if they have the gifted spiritual liquid you need. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, then I'll trouble Mr. Mike, and I'll thank you after the matter is done. Mr. Hao Tian is too polite, it's my honor to be able to do things for you. Mike said humbly, bowing and saluting. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, Sister Hong, tell Mr. Mike where we live, and we'll go back first. The purpose of his coming here this time was the gifted spiritual liquid, as for daily necessities, he didn't need to go out in person. Yi Xiao Tian and Sister Hong were escorted out of the gate of the military supply department by Mike, 
until Yi Xiao Tian and the others disappeared around the corner, Mike's face darkened, and he turned back. He cursed the dam in Isaburo again in his heart. He could have taken the opportunity to curry favor with Yi Xiao Tian today, but it was all messed up by Inusaburo. So his hatred for Inu Saburo reached its peak, and he had to teach Inu Saburo a lesson. Although his position was not as good as Inu Saburo's, he could find someone who could teach Inu Saburo a lesson. On the way, Sister Hong asked Yi Xiao Tian, What are you going to do? What to do? Yi Xiao Tian asked back. Sister Hong smiled, like a hundred flowers blooming, and said with a smile, that Inu Saburo is obviously targeting you, don't tell me you don't have any ideas at all. Yi Xiao Tian did not answer immediately after hearing this, but pondered for a while before saying, that Inu Saburo, listening to the name, is he from Ko Island? Sister Hong replied, yes, Ko Island has always been very hostile to us in Xia country. Yi Xiao Tian said, is it because of history? Sister Hong said, there is part of this reason, but more of it is fear of Xia country. After the advent of reincarnation, Xia country's strength has greatly increased, and even a supreme being like Lord Sword God has emerged. So Ko Island dare not target it openly, it can only in secret, they even clung to the pretty alliance at all costs. Willing to be the lackey of the pretty alliance. But these are nothing. What really makes Ko Dao and even the Pretty Alliance behind them more afraid is that some small countries around us want to form the Yen Huang Alliance with our Xia country. Yi Xiao Tian heard this and said, I have heard about the Yen Huang Alliance. What stage has it reached now? Sister Hong said, I don't know either. I haven't learned about it. Yi Xiao Tian said, Oh, forget it. It has nothing to do with us anyway. There are many small countries around Xia country, but a large part of them were destroyed in the early days of the arrival of the will of reincarnation. Those who can survive can only be considered lucky. They naturally want to cling to the thighs. And the one with the biggest thigh nearby is naturally Xia country. This is a country with a supreme strongman. As for giving up the near and seeking the far to cling to the thigh of the pretty alliance, they could do it before, but not now. Distant water cannot quench nearby fire. This is a truth that everyone knows. What's more, if the country is destroyed, the people of these small countries can only hide in Xia country. Can they still cross the ocean to hide in the beautiful alliance? What a joke! So they know very well that it is safest to throw themselves into the arms of Xia country. Even if the country is destroyed in the future, at least they can survive under the protection of Xia country. In the reincarnation era, survival is the most important thing. As for the country, it is secondary. For such things, the most feared is Ko Island. There is a national hatred between Ko Island and Xia country. They are worried that once Xia country really forms the Yen Huang alliance, Ko Island will have a harder time. Although the beautiful alliance is powerful, distant water cannot save nearby fire. The sword god can destroy his Ko Island with a thought. But now the alien race is the biggest enemy, and all the major countries in Blue Star have united to fight against the alien race. So Ko Island has survived to this day. What are you going to do? Sister Hong asked again. Yi Xiao Tian said, How about we wait until it gets dark, put a sack on him, and beat him up? Sister Hong stared with her beautiful big eyes, as if she couldn't believe that such words came from Yi Xiao Tian's mouth. What's wrong, is it not possible? Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but say when he saw Sister Hong's appearance. Sister Hong laughed when she heard this. She didn't expect that Yi Xiao Tian, who was always serious, actually had such a lovely side. What she thought of was to put him in a sack and beat him up. What kind of revenge method is this in this era? Have you ever thought of killing him? Sister Hong asked. Yi Xiao Tian was shocked and said, Sister Hong, you are not kidding, are you? He is the head of the quartermaster department, with a high position and power. Is it appropriate to kill him? What's inappropriate? As long as you have the ability, you can kill even the boss of the base camp. Sister Hong said with a look of disapproval. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned and speechless. Sister Hong said, is it strange? To put it bluntly, this world is a cannibalistic world. Whoever is stronger can eat meat. 
the so-called rules are made by the strong. If you are strong, you have the right to make rules. Even if you kill this Inu Saburo, no one will think it is wrong. Yi Xiaotian said, what about the power behind him? Sister Hong smiled and said, didn't I say it? You must have enough strength. Yi Xiaotian was immediately confused. He suddenly realized that Sister Hong was a person who was afraid of chaos in the world. He would not let the matter of Inu Saburo go, but Sister Hong dared to tease him. He rolled his eyes and suddenly said, Sister Hong, I see that Mike is very enthusiastic about you. Is there any other story between you two? Chapter 362 I'm not, I didn't, don't talk nonsense. Sister Hong denied three times in a row, fearing that Yi Xiaotian would misunderstand. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, I didn't say anything, why are you so anxious to deny it? Sister Hong was even more angry now, stop talking. Seeing that she was really angry, Yi Xiaotian was very curious about the story between her and Mike, but he didn't continue to ask. Instead, he said, just now you asked about Inu Saburo. I can tell you that in fact, we don't have to care about this matter at all. After the news about Mike spreads, someone will naturally deal with him for us. Sister Hong said in confusion, but Inu Saburo's reason is very legitimate. Yi Xiaotian said, it doesn't matter whether it's legitimate or not. I just know that there must be many people in the base camp who are eyeing his position. Sister Hong thought about it, and then she suddenly said, so that's it. But she was a little curious about how Yi Xiaotian saw this clearly. In her impression, Yi Xiaotian was just an innocent student who had just graduated from school. How could he have such a complicated fighting technique? Yi Xiaotian really didn't know how to fight, but he understood one thing, that is, such a lucrative position, it is impossible that no one is watching. And Inu Saburo should never offend him. Who is he? Reincarnation ID Houtian. He saved tens of millions of people in the Blue Star and killed the powerful Sea Clan Kanglinlong in a single fight. Such a record is not something that a mere quartermaster can provoke. This is the rhythm of forcing Yi Xiaotian to the alien race. Yi Xiaotian estimated that once several supreme masters knew the news, they would definitely take action personally. As for Mike, he first used his personal connections to publicize the two things that Yi Xiaotian had told him. Then he left the quartermaster's office and went directly to the base camp to complain to the commander-in-chief of the base camp, reporting that Inu Saburo deliberately targeted Yi Xiaotian. The commander-in-chief of the base camp, Skov, was very burly, more than two meters tall, with a strong body, standing there like a small mountain. A fierce breath emanated from him. The breath of the terrifying SS-level awakener made Mike's calves tremble a little. Is everything you said true? Skov's voice was buzzing, and Mike felt that his diaphragm was about to be pierced. He even regretted that he should not have come directly to Skov. If he had reported to other deputy commanders first, he would not have felt so uncomfortable. In the base camp, everyone knew that the commander-in-chief's style of doing things was very violent and cruel. Cruel to aliens, even more cruel to himself. Once you fall into his hands, you will not be able to retreat completely. Take Mike for example. He originally came to complain, but Skov did not restrain his momentum at all, and almost crushed Mike to death. Yes, Commander, I have not lied to you, and every word is true. Mike said quickly. Skov said, Okay, I know about this matter, you can go back. Mike was a little confused. He didn't know what Skov meant, and whether he would take care of this matter or not. But Skov asked him to go, and he dared not not go. With a lot of doubts in his heart, Mike left. And in Skov's eyes, a cruel and bloodthirsty light appeared. In the base camp, a message soon spread that the great god Houtian Yi Xiaotian wanted to buy A-level and S-level talent spirit liquid. Yes, you can first register with Mr. Mike, the deacon of the quartermaster's office, write down the things you need to exchange, and trade two days later. The quantity is limited, first come first served. When this news came out, everyone didn't think there was anything wrong at first. But soon, they realized something was wrong. If Yi Xiaotian wanted talent spirit liquid, shouldn't he go to the quartermaster's office first? And Mike seemed to be a member of the quartermaster's office. 
This is wrong. How could the quartermaster's office not have these things? Especially after the message came a sentence of limited quantity, first come first served. It was even more unreasonable. Soon, someone found out the news. Because the head of the quartermaster's office, Inu Saburo, deliberately targeted and refused to exchange talent spirit liquid for the great god Haukyan. As soon as the news came out, there was an uproar, and the awakened people in the entire base camp were boiling. They started to discuss. Inu Saburo, this bastard, dared to deduct even the things of the great god Haukyan. Damn it! It's not deduction, he is obviously changing the concept. Yeah, this cunning guy has even found a way out. Damn it, this guy deserves to die. I don't believe it, it's such a coincidence that so many awakened people are going to exchange for the gifted spirit liquid at this time. This kind of thing, you can find out by checking it out. Soon, more news came out. The inventory of the gifted spirit liquid in the quartermaster's office is still there, and no appointment for exchange has been received. And Inu Saburo did not issue an order to the warehouse for someone to make an appointment to exchange the gifted spirit liquid. Now the public opinion is surging, and all the staff of the quartermaster's office are trembling. Faced with the questioning of thousands of awakened people, they didn't care about hiding it, all the data was retrieved by them, and then announced. Now Inu Saburo was in a dilemma. In fact, he just wanted to embarrass Yi Xiao Tian. As long as Yi Xiao Tian gave in and begged him personally, he would let the matter go. Who knew that Mike, this fool, didn't understand what he meant at all, and Yi Xiao Tian didn't mean to see him at all. He just left and released the news. He was caught off guard. When he wanted to make up for the loophole, it was too late. And he underestimated the public opinion. He didn't expect that just because he embarrassed Yi Xiao Tian, everyone seemed to have their ancestors' graves dug up. When he realized that the matter had become a big deal and couldn't be suppressed, he rushed to his master like a stray dog to ask for help. His master was one of the deputy commanders of the base camp, named Johnson. This middle-aged man with blonde hair and a wretched face was hugging a woman in revealing clothes. Master, save me. As soon as Inu Saburo came in, he knelt down directly. Johnson frowned and said, What's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm busy? Inu Saburo said, Master, this is what happened. He didn't dare to hide it and told everything directly. Of course, in his narration, it was definitely not for his own selfishness, but all he did was to show the existence of his master. This Yi Xiao Tian is too arrogant. I have to let him know who has the final say in this base camp. Inu Saburo looked loyal to his master. After listening to his narration, Johnson immediately looked like a dog, and looked at Inu Saburo with dead eyes, without any anger. It was like looking at a dead person. Inu Saburo, do you really think I'm a fool? Johnson roared. Chapter, 363 Inu Saburo, do you think I'm a fool? Johnson is not a fool, so of course he doesn't believe what Inu Saburo said. I know that your co-island has a feud with Xia country. But you dare to do something like this, you are courting death. Inusaburo was almost scared when he heard this. Master, I really did it for you. At this time, Inusaburo could only insist, otherwise he would have no chance at all. His behavior, to put it mildly, was a personal revenge. To put it more seriously, it was shaking the morale of the army. It would not be an exaggeration to cut him into pieces. Inusaburo was too late to cry at this time. This Yi Xiao Tian really didn't play by the rules. All his routines were completely ineffective. And it was a direct dimensionality reduction attack, leaving him no chance to remedy. The sudden attack directly hit him on the beach. He also saw from this incident that Yi Xiao Tian's influence was too great, and he was not someone he could provoke at all. If it were someone else, he would be suppressed and there would be no waves. But the target was Yi Xiao Tian whose reincarnation ID was Haokian. He had countless fans in the reincarnation world. And Mike was behind him, so the storm of this matter blew up instantly, and he didn't have any extra time to react. By the time he realized that something was wrong, it was too late. He could only come to Johnson. He hoped that Johnson could use his identity to help him settle this matter. 
but it was obvious that Johnson was not a fool. For some things, he could intervene because Inu Saburo was his dog. But this matter was obviously beyond his expectations. He would not let himself suffer any losses for a dog. He could have as many dogs as Inu Saburo as he wanted, so why should he help him? But he had to find a way to keep the position under Inu Saburo's butt. It would be best to replace him directly. Johnson thought about it for a while before saying, Inu Saburo, there is only one chance, I hope you can seize it. Master, you say, I will do it. Seeing Johnson's resignation, Inusaburo quickly crawled forward a few steps, saying with tears and snot. Johnson looked disgusted and wanted to kick Inusaburo, the dog-like thing, out. Give up your position, then disappear for a while, let the heat of the matter cool down, and then you can come back to help me. Johnson said. After hearing this, Inusaburo was stunned. His intuition told him that Johnson had bad intentions. Without the position under his butt, he would be nothing. Johnson could not protect him. He would die even more ugly at that time. Seeing him hesitate, Johnson had to continue, You also know Mr. Haukian's reputation among the human race. I know why you want to provoke him. This is your only chance. As long as you stay here, those people will not let you go, and may even shake the morale of the army. The consequences are definitely not something you can afford. Only by taking this opportunity to take down your position can everyone calm down. Do you understand? After listening to Johnson's explanation, Inusaburo felt a little relieved. What he said made sense. He even doubted whether he had wronged Johnson. Okay, master, I'll listen to you. Inusaburo could only say. A smile appeared on Johnson's face instantly, and he said, Very good, I will arrange this matter, you can leave now. Sir, where should I go? Inusaburo asked. You'd better go back to Blue Star, stay there for a while, and wait for my news to come back. Johnson's eyes flashed with murderous intent. It is impossible to go back to Blue Star. Only if he dies here can he convince the people. But Johnson still needs Inu Saburo to do one last thing for him. He must get Inu Saburo's position smoothly, and then he will have no use value. But his plan failed. Because Inu Saburo was taken away as soon as he returned to the military supply department. Inu Saburo was horrified, who are you? We are here under the order of Commander-in-Chief Skov. I hope you don't make it difficult for us, otherwise you know the consequences. Looking at the two majestic bear awakeners in front of him, Inu Saburo collapsed on the ground, and a stream of yellow water flowed out. He was actually scared to pee. Waste. One of the bear awakeners cursed. The fighting nation hated this kind of soft egg the most. Inu Saburo felt wronged. Why did this matter involve Skov? He regretted it so much that his intestines turned green. If he had known that this would be the result, he would never provoke Yi Xiaotian. A difference of one thought. A difference of one thought. Damn Yi Xiaotian, you will not die well. Desperate, Inusaburo could only vent all his resentment on Yi Xiaotian. Johnson soon received the news. After learning that Skov had intervened directly in this matter, he sighed, even though he had acted quickly enough. But now it seems that he still failed. Sure enough, the struggle for power requires speed. Inusaburo was taken away by Skov, and Johnson, as his master, must have a certain degree of joint responsibility. If Johnson had taken action in advance, this matter could have been fooled. But now that Skov has taken action, it is not so easy to talk. And God knows what that bastard Inusaburo will say. So this time, Johnson must be making wedding clothes for others. Even if he suffers a loss, he still has to face a smile. Johnson thought about it and went to find Skov. Yi Xiaotian sighed. After Sister Hong got the news from Mike, she told Yi Xiaotian as soon as possible. Although the news outside was a buzz, it was true and false, and it was difficult to distinguish the true from the false. And the news from Mike was absolutely true. Xiaotian, Inusaburo was arrested. It is said that he was scared to pee when he was arrested. Sister Hong covered her face and laughed. That charm made Yi Xiaotian lose his mind for a moment. 
Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised and said, so fast. He thought it would take a day or two to ferment, but he didn't expect that it would progress to this step in just half a day. Sister Hong laughed and said, Mike, this guy, directly reported the matter to Skov, and this big guy took action and decided the outcome. Skov. Who is he? It was the first time Yi Xiaotian heard of this name. Sister Hong laughed and said, I forgot that Skov is the commander-in-chief of the base camp, or the chief steward of the base camp. It is said that he is only one step away from becoming a god. One step away, it is possible to take it tomorrow. It is also possible that you will never take it in your lifetime. Chapter 364 Skov, the commander-in-chief of the alien battlefield base camp, is an SS-level high-level shield warrior awakener. He is the patron saint of the base camp, guarding the base camp, and has never made any mistakes. He is deeply trusted by several supreme masters. That's why such an important place as the base camp is handed over to him. So Skov is definitely the boss in the base camp. However, he usually doesn't take care of things. Several deputy commanders are in charge of various departments under the base camp. As one of the most important departments of the base camp, the managers of the quartermaster department are naturally the top priority. However, Johnson is the deputy commander in charge of the quartermaster department, and behind him is the beautiful alliance, so he ordered the dog Inu Saburo to do things for him. Skov didn't bother much. Johnson's face doesn't need to be given, but the face of the beautiful alliance cannot be given. Before Johnson and Inu Saburo make mistakes, he won't act. But now, Inu Saburo is actually killing himself. What to do next depends on his mood. Skov naturally doesn't care about Inu Saburo's life or death. What he needs to consider is how to deal with Johnson. This matter can be big or small. It all depends on Skov's thoughts. To put it in a big way, Johnson has to take all the blame for this matter. To put it in a small way, this matter was caused by Inu Saburo, and it has nothing to do with Johnson. Johnson understood the considerations here very well, so he rushed to Skov in a hurry. Sir, this matter really has nothing to do with me. It's all the damned self-willed by Inusaburo. It really has nothing to do with me. Johnson looked pitiful. In front of Skov, he really couldn't be tough. Skov said coldly, Do you think I will believe it? Johnson's forehead began to sweat coldly. Sure enough, he guessed it right. But people are not suspicious for no reason. It's Inusaburo who does things without thinking. Who is Yi Xiaotian? He is the great god Haotian. Everyone knows it. And there is Mike, the witness. Even if Inusaburo wants to defend himself, he has no chance. The problem now is that Inusaburo deserves to die, but I, Johnson, really don't know it. Sir, I really didn't know about this matter, but as Inusaburo's superior, I should bear some responsibility for his stupid behavior. Don't worry, sir, there are some things I don't know. Besides, it's time for you to manage the quartermaster department. Johnson gritted his teeth and said so. People outside must be confused when they hear this, but Skov knows very well what Johnson means. He nodded with satisfaction and said, Very good, this matter is indeed Inu Saburo's fault alone, and it has nothing to do with Mr. Johnson. Damn bear country guy. Johnson cursed in his heart, but his face was full of smiles, thank you sir for clearing my name, then I won't bother you anymore. Skov nodded and said nothing. The two reached a tacit understanding on some things. As for the unfair treatment of Yi Xiaotian, it was Inu Saburo's personal behavior and had nothing to do with other people in the base camp. Skov's means were very tough. He corrected these mistakes on the same day, took down Inu Saburo, and sent his men to the quartermaster department as supervisors. Then send someone to Yi Xiaotian's residence to try to get his forgiveness. After listening to Sister Hong's explanation, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but say, I really didn't expect that there would be so many bullshit things in this alien battlefield. Sister Hong said, What can we do about it? Where there are people, there are rivers and lakes. As long as it's not excessive, everyone will turn a blind eye. If it weren't for you being involved in this matter, it would definitely be left unresolved in the end. Behind Inusaburo is Johnson. 
He is the deputy commander of the base camp and the representative of the beautiful alliance in the base camp. Fortunately, you blocked Qin Hao's matter last time in time. Otherwise, if it was passed to the base camp, it would definitely be severely punished. Yi Xiao Tian nodded in understanding. The situation in the alien battlefield is much more complicated than that in the Blue Star mainland. Here, so many countries and alliance forces in the Blue Star mainland gather here. In addition to the common goal of fighting against aliens, everyone also has their own gains and losses and conflicts. So it is inevitable that contradictions will exist. And as time goes by, these contradictions will become more and more acute. Even though there are supreme masters suppressing them, they are also very clear that suppression is only temporary. After this race war is over, these accumulated conflicts will explode. Therefore, the principle followed by the five supreme masters has always been that as long as it does not affect the overall situation, small-scale fights are allowed. For example, now, Skov wants to take down Inusaburo, and then threatens Johnson to help him take down the quartermaster department and another very important department. After this time, Skov has more say in the base camp. In the past, he was just afraid of him because of his tyrannical strength. He wanted to do things, but he couldn't avoid all kinds of shirking and wrangling. Now it is naturally much better. For example, in the quartermaster department, if he wanted to order the quartermaster department to do something, Inusaburo had to report to Johnson first, and then he started to do things after getting the order. Now Skov has promoted his own people, so there is naturally no such process. At the command, it is handled immediately. Brother Tian, the quartermaster department has sent someone to see you. Huang Jie came to report to Yi Xiao Tian. Sister Hong smiled and said, Here they are. Yi Xiao Tian said, Sister Hong, are you so sure? Sister Hong said, Unless the other party is a fool, there is no second possibility. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it and felt that what Sister Hong said made sense. Under the general trend of public opinion, if the quartermaster department still commits suicide like in Usaburo, then they can really die. Raf, the head of the quartermaster department, has met Mr. Houtian. Raf is the new head of the quartermaster department. His first task after taking office is to obtain Yi Xiaotian's forgiveness. Even with Skov's tyranny, he dare not be careless about this matter. He knows how much the supreme masters value Yi Xiaotian. The big guys are very tired and need a helper. And Yi Xiao Tian is the helper they value. For this reason, although Skov did not meet Yi Xiao Tian in person, he would not sabotage behind his back. The best way is to win over Yi Xiao Tian. Mr. Laugh, you are welcome. After both parties sat down, Yi Xiao Tian said, I wonder what Mr. Laugh came here for this time. Laugh immediately stood up again and said respectfully, Mr. Hao Tian, the former head of the quartermaster department, in Usaburo, deliberately suppressed you and has been dismissed by Commander-in-Chief Skov. This time, on behalf of the Quartermaster Department, I express my highest apologies to you by order of the Commander-in-Chief. Chapter, 365 As a fighting nation, Lav admires the strong the most. Although Yi Xiao Tian is young, he is very strong. He even single-handedly killed an SS-level sea creature in the Blue Star. Such a strong man is naturally one of the people Lav admires. So his politeness and enthusiasm are real, not pretended. Whether he can sit firmly as the head of the quartermaster department has another prerequisite, that is, to obtain Yi Xiaotian's forgiveness. If not, then change someone. In a word, whoever can handle Yi Xiaotian will be the head of the quartermaster department. Of course, Skov's meaning was not spread out, and only Lav and other Slavic confidants knew it. The reason why Lav was able to be the first was just because he had more seniority. So if he wanted to sit firmly in this position, he had to serve Yi Xiao Tian comfortably. Mr. Hao Tian, don't worry. We won't let the damned Inusaburo go. After we find out the dirty things he has done over the years, we will throw him directly to the front line. Mr. Hao Tian, our quartermaster department has a very firm attitude. Also, I have brought all the talent spirit liquid in our quartermaster department. After Lav finished speaking, he waved his hand, and the staff behind him immediately placed the boxes of talent spirit liquid in front of Yi Xiao Tian. 
two boxes, one containing A-level talent spirit liquid, and the other containing S-level talent spirit liquid. But unfortunately, there is only one bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid. But this is already very shocking. Sister Hong moved her lips and wanted to curse, but she finally held back. She couldn't afford to offend Lav. Slav's men all have one thing in common, that is, tyranny. These guys are fierce to aliens and humans, and you must not fall into their hands. She was just emotional for a while. I have been in the alien battlefield for more than ten years, and I have never heard of the military supply department delivering treasures directly to the door. Everyone goes to the military supply department honestly and queues up obediently. Seeing that others are so obedient, Yi Xiaotian would be hypocritical if he insisted. Moreover, he is most afraid of arguing. Since the guy in Isaburo has been dealt with, he will just let it go. He believes that the name of the Slav will definitely not let him down. If an Isaburo arrives on the battlefield, he will probably die there directly. Letting him perish together with the aliens is his best destination. It can also be regarded as a waste utilization. Mr. Laugh, I won't say anything extra. These things are the responsibility of Anissa Bureau and have nothing to do with you. Let's talk about the talent spirit liquid. Yi Xiaotian doesn't have time to argue with Laugh here. He just wants to buy the talent spirit liquid and then improve Chang Xiaoxi's talent grade first. As for the rest of the people, they can only take their time. First, raise Chang Xiaoxi's talent to the same level as others, so that a hidden danger in the team will be solved. Raf said, Mr. Houtian, Mr. Skov has instructed that we only charge the cost for these talent spirit liquids. As for the payment method, it is up to Mr. Houtian to decide. Sister Hong's mouth twitched wildly, damn, do you have to treat them differently? Where is the style of your quartermaster department? Where is the domineering of your base camp? Why do you kneel and lick Yi Xiaotian like this? Does Mr. Slav really know that you do this? I'm afraid that except for a few supreme strongmen, the base camp has never flattered others like this. And the secret treasure of talent spirit liquid, which is in short supply, is only charged at cost price. It's selling at a loss. Yes, the things of the quartermaster department are sold at cost price, which means they are selling at a loss. Yi Xiaotian obviously knew it, so he said, no, it's as much as it should be. Laugh explained, Mr. Houtian, don't think too much. This is what Mr. Skov told you. He said that you have made great contributions to mankind and should have given you a lower discount. But he also knew that Mr. Houtian would not agree, so he gave it to you at cost price. Yi Xiaotian was stunned when he heard this. He didn't expect that Mr. Slav, the commander-in-chief of the base camp, whom he had never met, would have such an impression of him. In this case, I won't be hypocritical. Please inform Mr. Laff when you go back and inform Mr. Slav. When he has time, I will visit him. The sedan chair was carried by everyone. Slav gave such a big face, so he had to keep it and return it. No matter how brilliant Yi Xiaotian's future achievements are, he is far inferior to Slav in terms of status, strength and contribution to the human race. So he should have the respect he deserves. As for Slav not taking the initiative to meet him, Yi Xiaotian didn't care at all. Slav doesn't want to get any benefit from him, so why should he lick him? Those who chase after him and lick him just want to get benefits from him. Even if you can't get it now, build a good relationship first, because you won't have this opportunity in the future. In comparison, Yi Xiaotian prefers people like Slav. Straightforward, neat, say what you want to say, and won't beat around the bush. What Yi Xiaotian hates most is that kind of people who have to talk about things that can be explained clearly in one sentence, and don't talk about tens of thousands of words, as if they can't show their cultural heritage. Even after chatting for tens of thousands of words, you still don't know what the other person is talking about. Tired. Laugh was overjoyed when he heard this, and said on the spot, Mr. Slav will definitely be very happy if he knows. Both parties were very happy about this meeting, and both received respect and understanding from each other. Soon, Laugh took his people away, leaving the gifted spiritual liquid to Yi Xiaotian. As for the settlement, he said that when Mr. Houtian was convenient, he could come to the military supply department to settle the account. 
Sister Hong was stunned again. Damn, if Laugh and the others were not there, she really wanted to swear. We are the same people, why are the treatments so different? Yi Xiao Tian was also very satisfied with this result. It just so happened that he didn't know how much of these gifted spiritual liquids he would use. Maybe one bottle would be enough, or maybe he would drink all of them and fail. He asked Wang Hao to call Chang Xiaoxi over, pointed at the two boxes of gifted spiritual liquid, and said, Xiaoxi, these are all yours. Chang Xiaoxi looked at the seven or six bottles of gifted spiritual liquid in the box, and even a bottle of S-level, and was stunned and speechless. This is too extravagant. Each bottle of gifted spiritual liquid above A-level is sky-high, and it has always been in short supply. Even her father has no way to buy it. But when it comes to Yi Xiao Tian, you can choose whatever you want. This bottle is S-level gifted spiritual liquid. If you are lucky, then these A-level gifted spiritual liquids can be saved. But don't feel psychologically burdened. With so many gifted spiritual liquids, I don't believe that my luck will be so bad. After hearing what Yi Xiao Tian said, Chang Xiaoxi cried. Chapter 366 Chang Xiaoxi cried, and the more she cried, the louder she cried. In the end, she burst into tears regardless of her image. Fortunately, those present were all comrades who shared life and death, so there was no idle talk. But they didn't understand what it meant when Chang Xiaoxi cried so violently. Wang Hao was even more at a loss. Standing next to Chang Xiaoxi, he didn't know what to say. If there were only the two of them here, he would definitely hold Chang Xiaoxi in his arms for comfort. But he was still embarrassed in front of so many people. Han Xuyao pushed Wang Hao away, then hugged Chang Xiaoxi and said, Xiaoxi, what's wrong with you? Is there something we did wrong? Wang Hao is still bullying you. It doesn't matter. Just say it and I will make the decision for you. Wang Hao stood aside, feeling aggrieved. But in front of Chang Xiaoxi, he couldn't defend himself and could only suffer in silence. Yi Xiao Tian was also dumbfounded. Sister Hong seems to have seen some clues. Huang Jia and Peng Xiangyu were also confused. They didn't know why they were crying like this all of a sudden because of such a great thing. Although Chang Xiaoxi's talent is only A level, no one looks down on her. Especially the comrades in the team will pay great attention to this aspect. Yi Xiao Tian had specifically warned them about this matter. And they all firmly believe that with Yi Xiao Tian's support, talent level and other things will not matter at all. If Chang Xiaoxi laughed loudly at this time, they would understand. Just crying like this, they really don't understand. Under Han Xuyao's comfort, Chang Xiaoxi gradually stopped crying. And the first thing she did was bow to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was startled and said, What's going on with you? Are you going to give me a spirit? Chang Xiaoxi couldn't help but burst into laughter, and her laughter and tears flew together. Then Chang Xiaoxi bowed to the other comrades and thanked them for their care. When Yi Xiao Tian saw this, he almost understood what Chang Xiaoxi meant. He was touched, so he felt relieved. Okay, we are all comrades, and we should support each other. We are comrades who can trust each other with our lives. Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile. Others also expressed their opinions. Sister Hong looked at this scene, and to be honest, she was very envious. She has her own awakening team, but she is currently on vacation, so she is at home. This time I came with the team to the foreign battlefield, just to help Yi Xiao Tian and others lead the way. After all, there was Huang Jia in the team, the fat little boy she had raised since childhood, and she didn't trust them coming. He had no experience at all, and he had no idea about foreign battlefields. Now is the time of war between the two races, so she wants to follow him and keep an eye on him. The atmosphere within the Haokian team is very good, without the messy things that happen in many other teams. She was relieved about this and was happy that her beloved cousin could join such a team. But this time, she was really moved by what Yi Xiao Tian did. Generally speaking, the composition of the awakening team is based on the awakening talent level. In other words, under normal circumstances, it is simply impossible for Haokian team to accept an awakener like Chang Xiaoxi who is not even high level in talent level. 
But Yi Xiaotian not only took her with him, but also spent huge sums of money to help her buy her gifted spiritual liquid. She also heard that Wang Hao was only a sea-level talent awakener before, but it was because of Yi Xiaotian that his talent exploded and his talent level was promoted to S-level. This kind of good thing would never happen in other awakened teams. Although the comrades of the awakening team can live and die together. But in order to avoid conflicts, the benefits are distributed according to the contributions made. Only in this way can we achieve the most fairness. Otherwise, a team will have problems sooner or later. But this set of rules is simply not applicable to the Houtian team. Among this team, the one who contributed the most was of course Yi Xiaotian, and the others were almost negligible. But in terms of income, Yi Xiaotian distributed most of the profits to other teammates. In his words, those things were of no use to him. Listen, is this human talk? But for Yi Xiaotian, what he told was the truth. Okay, calm down and get ready to take the gifted spirit liquid. Yi Xiaotian reminded. Sister Hong suggested, otherwise, let's do it tomorrow. Her mood will affect the success rate. Yi Xiaotian said in surprise, is there such a thing? Sister Hong said, of course, a good mood can increase the success rate a lot. Yi Xiaotian said, who said that? Is there any factual basis? Sister Hong rolled her eyes and said, no. Yi Xiaotian was immediately shocked. There is no factual basis at all. How dare you say it so confidently? Sister Hong said helplessly, Okay, I was just talking nonsense, but Xiao Shi's current state is indeed not suitable for taking the gifted spiritual fluid. Chang Xiaoxi also knew that her current condition was not good, so she said, Okay, Sister Hong, I understand. I will adjust my emotions now and strive to be in the best condition to take the gifted spiritual liquid tomorrow. Sister Hong said helplessly, You and Wang Hao go out for a walk. How can you adjust your state by hiding in the room? Go shopping and go shopping. Xiao Shi, I'll go with you, Bing Yan, Sun Yao, you guys will come too. Today we're going on a shopping spree. Han Xu Yao said suddenly. Wang Hao felt bitter in his heart. The opportunity to spend time alone was gone. Wang Hao, go help us carry the bags. Han Xu Yao said to Wang Hao again. Wang Hao said unhappily, everyone, this is an alien battlefield. You really think this is our base city? Hong Jie said disapprovingly, what's wrong with the alien battlefield? I tell you, the base camp is a base city. Whatever the base city has, we have here. Wang Hao couldn't help but be shocked and said, really, Hong Jie, you are not fooling us, right? Hong Jie rolled her eyes again and said, you will know if you go and see for yourself. Wang Hao said, but we didn't see it when we went out before. Hong Jie said, that's because the leisure shopping area is set up in a special area. Wang Hao was speechless. This base camp is really fun. It actually set up a special leisure shopping area in such a place. Sister Hong said, although it is a special period now, in the end, the alien battlefield is in a normal period most of the time. The awakened people who hunt aliens here for a long time also have various needs. Do you really think they are all ascetics? Others heard it and thought so. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, Okay, let's go and see what the leisure shopping area of the alien battlefield is like. To be honest, he was really curious about what this leisure shopping area was like in such a tense and exciting war atmosphere. Chapter, 367 This time, the whole team set out, led by Sister Hong, and headed for the leisure shopping area of the base camp. The leisure shopping area is located in the center of the base camp, because of the special situation here, even the base camp may be attacked by aliens at any time. So it is safe only if the leisure area is placed in the center. Although this is a bit fucked up, it is true. The leisure area is used for business, providing various services to the awakened in the alien battlefield. Although daily necessities can be purchased and exchanged at the military supply department. But a person cannot only eat and sleep. There are other needs. So the leisure area came into being. With the leisure area, the time awakened in the alien battlefield can be greatly extended, 
which is very helpful for the human race to fight against the aliens. So the top leaders also turned a blind eye to this matter. As long as it does not affect the overall situation, there is no problem. And the leisure area has everything you need. Even the red light district has it. This is astonishing. Sister Hong said disapprovingly, what's so surprising? Awakeners are also human beings, and human beings have physiological needs. Yi Xiaotian really wanted to ask Sister Hong, how can you, a woman, say such words without blushing or panting? Didn't you see that several female teammates in his team were already blushing after hearing this? Okay, the core area of the leisure area is in front, Wanda Plaza, the shopping paradise of the base camp. Sister Hong pointed to the front and said to them. Wanda Group is really awesome. It has opened Wanda Plaza to the alien battlefield. Huang Jia said with great admiration. It is worthy of being a professional commercial real estate group. It is strong. It can even intervene in a place like the base camp. And looking at the scale, one word, big. Two words, prosperous. Yi Xiaotian stood on Wanda Plaza, looking at the crowds around him, and felt a very absurd feeling. In his impression, the battlefield should be cruel and bloody. But when he got here, he couldn't see it at all. It was full of the breath of life. This place doesn't look like a battlefield, but more like a comfortable living town. Although this is not the front line of the battlefield, even if it is in the rear, you should have that kind of tense atmosphere. Instead of being noisy and relaxed like now. This is not taking the battlefield seriously at all. Walking into the mall, Yi Xiaotian understood what Sister Hong said. What is there in the mall in the Bay City, what is here also? If you are in the mall, you can't imagine that this is an alien battlefield. I thought it was really in the mall in the Bay City. He even saw a movie theater. There is even a movie theater here. Yi Xiaotian was simply stunned. Sister Hong looked like you have never seen the world, and said, Why can't there be a movie theater here? Can't you watch movies when you awaken in the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian was speechless. Sister Hong continued to explain, in fact, as long as you open your mind a little, you can think of it. Although this is an alien battlefield, the base camp can also be regarded as the rear area. This is also the largest and most complete supply station in the alien battlefield. Do you know how long the longest awakener stayed here? Sister Hong asked. How long? Huang Jia is a good supporting role. As soon as Sister Hong asked, he immediately supported it. Sister Hong said, 28 years. Fuck. Oh my god. As soon as this was said, there was only a burst of swearing. Sister Hong was very satisfied with their performance and finally calmed down these little bastards. Why do you think he can stay here for so long? Is it really because he wants to hunt aliens and improve his strength? Sister Hong asked, and then without waiting for others to answer, she said directly, this is just one of the reasons. If it weren't for the very complete lifeline here, no one would stay here for long. Everyone was silent for a while. That's right. That's true. Without such logistical support, who would be willing to stay longer in the alien battlefield? Sister Hong sighed and said, you have already experienced the difference between the alien battlefield and the Blue Star mainland. After adapting to the environment here, you will not be able to adapt to the Blue Star mainland. So many awakened people will not travel frequently unless it is necessary. This is a waste of time, and there is also a problem of state. Han Xuyao asked curiously, what if you are tired of killing? Sister Hong pointed to where they were and said, come here. Han Xuyao originally just asked subconsciously, and only now realized that she seemed to have asked a very stupid question. Everyone now fully realized that the reason why this leisure area was built and built so comprehensively. It is to allow the awakened people who are on the front line of fighting against aliens to have a place to relieve their homesickness when they are tired. Although this is not the real hometown. But everything here has the taste of hometown. In addition to those who have relatives in the Blue Star mainland, they will travel back and forth to the Blue Star mainland every once in a while. For example, Sister Hong. There will be a fixed time to go home to visit relatives. The rest of the time, 
they basically spent time in the alien battlefield. When the Awakeners reach the A level or above, there is basically no room for improvement in the Blue Star, and most of them will come to the alien battlefield. The alien battlefield is their paradise. Sister Hong popularized some knowledge that they could not learn at ordinary times. Yi Xiao Tian was very useful, he has always lacked this knowledge. So he listened with relish. However, their main goal this time was to come shopping. And Chang Xiaoxi and Han Xuyao were the main force. These two grew up in a well-off family, at least much better than Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao. So their spending power has always been very good. Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao, on the other hand, don't seem to be very good. Mu Bingyan admitted that she seldom went shopping, and the daily necessities she needed were usually prepared by her mother. As for Sun Yao, it was completely because of her poor family conditions. As for the men, forget it, it's better not to say. There are very few men who really like shopping, and those who do are the best. However, women are born shopping maniacs, the kind who will not get tired no matter how long they shop. One de mall has five floors in total, designed in the shape of a round table. Yi Xiao Tian didn't know exactly how much space it occupied. He only knew that after shopping on five floors, no, four floors, he was a little exhausted. This is too scary. Going shopping with a woman is indeed the nightmare of all men. Wang Hao, on the other hand, was very excited. Even though both of his hands were full, he didn't say he was tired. Chapter, 368 Don't be nervous, just think of it as drinking a bottle of beverage. By the way, Haozi, you have experience in this kind of thing, come and tell Xiaoxi. Chang Xiaoxi went crazy shopping for two days and completely adjusted her mentality to the best. Then she started to take the talent strengthening spirit liquid. Yi Xiao Tian gave a few suggestions and then pulled Wang Hao over. Wang Hao is the only one in the team who has taken the talent spirit liquid. It is perfect for him to talk about his feelings. And the two of them are still lovers now. It must be said that this is also a kind of fate. Wang Hao scratched his head and said under Chang Xiaoxi's expectant eyes, Actually, I don't have any feelings. I just feel that after taking this talent spirit liquid, I am more in line with this world. That's right. Yi Xiao Tian also knew that Wang Hao was not good at talking, and it was rare for him to say this. The so-called talent is actually a channel for the awakened to borrow power from the will of reincarnation. The higher the talent, the stronger the power that can be borrowed. And our world is already full of reincarnation rules. The higher your talent level, the more in tune with the world you are. After listening to Yi Xiaotian's explanation, Sister Hong was very shocked. Yi Xiaotian's remarks really opened her eyes. On Blue Star, everyone believes that talent is inherent in the body, but it cannot be awakened before the arrival of the reincarnation tower. And their power also comes from themselves. There has never been a saying of borrowing power from the will of reincarnation. After Yi Xiao Tian said this, Sister Hong thought about it again and felt that what he said made a lot of sense. That's exactly the case. The talent level is the degree of fit between oneself and the rules of reincarnation. Xiao Tian, do you know how much of a sensation it will cause if your statement is spread? Sister Hong was very excited. Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused and said, Sister Hong, what you said caused such a sensation. My statement is just my personal opinion. If you say it out, people may not believe it. Yi Xiao Tian was not interested in the theory. At least not at this stage. Or, at this stage, he was not interested. In fact, he had heard too many examples of people being killed because of speeches in his previous life. He didn't want to let the world regard him as a heretic and be burned on a cross because of a sentence. Even if you want to develop your own speech theory, you must have enough capital. To put it bluntly, you have to stand at a high enough height before interpreting your theory. Only at this time will people listen to you and think about whether what you said makes sense. Instead of being denied directly and then killed. As for whether it makes sense or not, who cares? So Yi Xiao Tian immediately stopped Sister Hong from spreading the idea. Why? I think your statement makes sense, and it is very likely to have a huge impact on the pattern of us awakeners. 
Sister Hong didn't understand. Now many big countries on Blue Star are studying Awakeners. They tried every means to improve the awakening talent level of the people, but after so many years, there is still no good effect. The talent level can only be determined later. In the final analysis, the biggest reason is that there is no correct theoretical basis. For research, the guiding ideology is very important. Without sufficient theoretical basis, you don't even know the direction of research. Sister Hong thinks that Yi Xiaotian's theory is very feasible. The Huang family also has its own research institute. If this theory is told to them, perhaps they can research out certain results. But she had to listen to Yi Xiaotian's opinion. After all, I am just a small role now. The so-called status is all based on praise. I don't want to cause trouble at this time. Yi Xiaotian said so. After hearing this, Sister Hong fell silent. She is not the kind of young people who don't know anything. She understood what Yi Xiaotian said, so she didn't force it. Wang Hao comforted Chang Xiaoxi. Chang Xiaoxi calmed down completely, and then everyone went out. As for the next result, it depends on her own luck. However, the success rate of the S-level talent spirit liquid to strengthen the talent grade to S-level is 70%, and the success rate of the SS level is 30%. As for the success rate of the SS level, it is 1%. No one expects the latter too, after all, not everyone is Wang Hao. This guy is really lucky. The reality is that even with a 70% success rate, many people fail. As long as it is not 100%, there is still a possibility of failure. And the S-level talent spirit liquid is expensive and very rare, and there is no market for it. So it would be a lie to say that she is not nervous. Not to mention Chang Xiaoxi, the person involved, even Yi Xiaotian and others are a little nervous. But the most nervous one is actually Chang Xiaoxi, after all, the pressure is very high. Although Yi Xiaotian repeatedly told her not to be stressed. But can pressure be dealt with by just talking? She didn't know how much she owed Yi Xiaotian. Even if the Chang family went bankrupt, they couldn't afford the S-level talent spirit liquid. No, they didn't even have a way to buy it. So, even if the Chang family wanted to sell their property, they couldn't find a way to buy it. If it wasn't for Yi Xiaotian's face, the quartermaster department would definitely not give it out so readily. It is conceivable how much psychological pressure Chang Xiaoxi is under. If she fails, how can she face Yi Xiaotian? As for what Yi Xiaotian said, there are still several bottles of A-level talent spirit liquid behind, so she doesn't have to worry. Chang Xiaoxi is not a fool, she is an A-level talent. The success rate of taking A-level talent spirit liquid to upgrade to S-level is less than 10%, and as for higher, there is no such probability at all. If it is a talent awakener of B level or below, there will be a few more chances of success. Although it is low, it is there after all. Therefore, although Yi Xiaotian prepared five or six bottles of talent spirit liquid for her, in fact, the only thing she can really count on is this bottle of S level talent spirit liquid. Taking a deep breath, Chang Xiaoxi picked up the talent spirit liquid and drank it directly into her mouth. If you stick your head out, you will be cut off and if you shrink your head, you will also be cut off, it depends on your own life. The success rate of 70% is actually quite high. But it can't control the unlucky ones. It is said that the most unlucky ones failed after taking three bottles in a row. Let's not talk about whether it's unlucky or not. The key is how much capital one must have to withstand such a waste. The taste is still good, this is Chang Xiaoxi's first feeling. Then she found that her whole body was wrapped in a strange energy. At that moment, she felt more, as if the world opened its arms to her. She immersed herself in it, emptying her mind and thinking about nothing. Chapter, 369 Outside the room, Yi Xiaotian and the others were sitting, and only Wang Hao was walking around anxiously in the living room. Haozi, can you sit down? You'll make me dizzy. Huang Jia said angrily. Wang Hao said, I can't sit still. Huang Jia said, you are the only one here who has taken the gifted spirit liquid. If you can't even sit still, what do you want us to do? Peng Xiangyu also said, Haozi, don't worry, we will definitely succeed. 
the success rate of 70% is already very high. Seeing that everyone was talking, Xiao Cheng looked out of place without saying a word, so he also said, yes, you are the European emperor. With you giving her European energy, what else do you have to worry about? Upon hearing this, Huang Jie's eyes lit up and he praised, Old Xiao, what you said is very good. Haozi, think about how you were directly promoted from C-level talent to S-level talent. That's a one in a million chance. You are the Emperor of Europe. Chang Xiaosi has been with you for so long, and he must have picked up a lot of your European spirit. If he becomes stable, he might even surprise us. Peng Xiangyu said angrily, Fat man, you are the only one who talks so much nonsense. Do you really think that everyone is as lucky as Haozi? Wang Hao's bottle of B-level talent spiritual liquid sent him directly from a C-level talent awakener to an S-level talent awakener. Not to mention that I have seen such a heaven-defying incident, even if I have heard about it, except for Wang Hao, I have never heard of anyone else. Peng Xiangyu is afraid that Huang Jie's lies will be blown out and everyone will have a sense of expectation. Once it fails, the higher the expectations, the greater the disappointment. So it's better to be more stable. As long as you can advance to S-level talent awakener, it should be worth the price. From A-level talent to S-level talent, although it is only related to one level, it is a qualitative leap. At least among the group of awakened people, those with S-level talent are considered to be at the top of the despised chain. After all, those above S-level can be called high-level talent awakeners. And among the group of high-level talent awakeners, S-level occupies the mainstream. After all, SS level and SS level are only a minority. Therefore, awakeners with S level talents are still very popular, and they are also the envy of others. Han Shuyao also said, Haozi, don't worry, Xiaoxi will definitely succeed, I believe in her. After hearing what they said, Wang Hao thought it was okay, so he sat down and waited for the people inside to come in. Fortunately, there is no life threatening risk when taking the gifted spiritual liquid. So no one had to worry about Chang Xiaoxi being in danger or anything like that, and started chatting about other things. Yi Xiaotian spoke first, changing the topic and said, after Xiao Xi has strengthened her talents, the next step is for us to go to the front line, so if you have anything to add in the past few days, please hurry up. Everyone knows what he means, and they should supplement and improve their skills according to their position in the team. When I got to the battlefield, I realized that even my skills were not perfected. On the battlefield, there is no time for you to choose skills and become familiar with them. Yi Xiaotian is not worried about the others. Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng who joined later are the focus. The two of them were promoted to B-level awakeners, they also saved a certain amount of reincarnation points, and they joined the team newly. Their positioning was somewhat different from their previous teams. So you have to think about it carefully. Both of them nodded honestly, indicating that they would get it done before setting off. Sister Hong will definitely not go to the front line with them. Her mission this time is to help them better adapt to the alien battlefield. Now her mission is complete. After Yi Xiaotian and the others set off, it was time for her to continue her journey. While chatting, the door to the room opened with a click. Chang Xiaoxi walked out of it with a gloomy look. When everyone saw it, their hearts trembled. This was a failure. Although it was a bit unacceptable, everyone had to cheer up to comfort Chang Xiaoxi. Xiao Xi, it's okay. Aren't there several bottles of gifted spirit liquid behind? It will definitely succeed. If not, we can just buy it when the military supplies department has the gifted spirit liquid. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi played together since childhood. Growing up, she was definitely the most die-hard best friend. The first one walked to Chang Xiaoxi, hugged her and comforted her. Even Wang Hao didn't snatch her away. Yes, Xiaoxi, don't be sad, we need to calm down. Wang Hao said. Yi Xiaotian stood aside and said, Xiaoxi, don't worry, it won't be a problem even if the next few bottles of gifted spiritual fluid fail. It's not like you don't know my abilities. It's just gifted spiritual fluid, so there's nothing great about it. Next we can go to the front line. I don't believe it anymore. I can't kill the gifted spiritual liquid. Even if you kill the alien plane, 
I will still find enough spiritual liquid for you. Next, other comrades comforted Chang Xiaoxi one after another. Everyone felt that Chang Xiaoxi's mood must have hit rock bottom after such a high success rate failed. Ping Xiangyu even put the blame on Wang Hao, Wang Hao, this is all your fault. When you took the gifted spiritual liquid, you must have taken away Xiao Xi's luck. Ah! Wang Hao was stunned. Can this be blamed on him? However, after receiving Peng Xiangyu's constant gestures, he decisively gave up his principle and immediately said, Yes, 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 it's all my fault. It's my fault. Xiaoxi, don't be sad. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, Chang Xiaoxi, who was full of frustration, laughed wildly. Is this crazy? Everyone thought so. Humans will become mentally ill when they are greatly stimulated. Han Xuyao was about to cry. Wang Hao was also anxious and stamped his feet. Yi Xiaotian was thinking whether to knock Chang Xiaoxi out first, but saw a golden light rising from Chang Xiaoxi's body. From the initial light gold, to the later gold, it all condensed into substance, a transparent golden light shield-like crystal. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and knocked on the light shield, making a sound of metal clashing. Everyone realized that they were all fooled by Chang Xiaoxi. Looking at everyone's unfriendly eyes, Chang Xiaoxi immediately took a few steps back and protected himself with the golden bell cover. Except for Wang Hao, everyone else stepped forward to try. But unfortunately, with their strength, they couldn't break Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell cover, and they couldn't even threaten him at all. Xiao Qing even took out his sword in close combat, but there was nothing he could do. Later, other superpowers also took out their weapons, saying that they wanted to test the quality of Chang Xiaoxi's innate skills. No. Wang Hao stood in front of Chang Xiaoxi, domineering to protect his wife. Wang Hao, please get out of the way and let everyone try. Chang Xiaoxi's tone was very calm, not worried at all. Chapter 370 After a series of tests, no one could break Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell. Even after Yi Xiaotian gave them an amplification, it still couldn't cause any impact on Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell. All the attacks that fell on Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell made a sound of metal clashing. Very stable. Chang Xiaoxi was protected inside, calm and relaxed. Xiaoxi, what grade is your talent now? Han Xuyao and the others stopped and asked quickly. Looking at the power of this golden bell, it doesn't look like S level. They are all B-level awakeners, and their talents are at least S-level. If Chang Xiaoxi also has S-level talent, her talent skills will not be so strong. The only explanation is that Chang Xiaoxi may have been lucky. SS level. Chang Xiaoxi said with a smile on her face. What? Everyone was stunned. This is impossible. Their eyes turned back and forth between Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao. These two are a perfect match, even their luck is the same. Sister Hong was also shocked, too shocked. What kind of perverts are in the Haokian team? She also heard about Wang Hao's story. A bottle of B-level talent spirit liquid raised his talent from C-level to S-level. Now it's even more outrageous. Chang Xiaoxi's bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid directly strengthened her talent from A-level to SS-level, which is thousands of times more difficult than Wang Hao's. This is fucking unfair. To be honest, Yi Xiaotian was also a little dumbfounded. He even considered that Chang Xiaoxi would fail, otherwise he would not have prepared so many talent spirit liquids for her. But now, a bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid directly raised Chang Xiaoxi's talent level to the maximum. This luck is unmatched. What Huang Jia and the others said was also right, these two people are worthy of being together, they are both possessed by the Emperor of Europe. Could it be that I have been with Housi, the European Emperor, for a long time, so I have also been infected with the European Emperor's aura, otherwise I will buy a bottle of talent spirit liquid to try. Huang Jia said with his chin in his hand. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were both a little tempted. Originally, they were the two with the highest talent grade in the team, except Yi Xiaotian. But now, Chang Xiaoxi has directly surpassed them. Fatty, I think this possibility is very high, we support you. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu quickly gave up that plan. 
Their talent grades are all SS level, and only taking SS level or above talent spirit liquid will have an effect. But unfortunately, there is really no market for talent spirit liquid above SS level. I have never heard of anyone selling this level of talent spirit liquid. As for exchanging it from the Samsara Mall, forget it. They can't even afford the level of the supreme power, so they might as well go to bed. The two looked at the SS level talent spirit liquid that cost 10 million Samsara points per bottle, and the SS level talent spirit liquid that cost 100 million Samsara points per bottle, and closed the Samsara Mall very simply. Damn, it hurts my heart to see it. It is indeed a treasure that even the supreme powers cannot afford, it is really unbearable to look at. The more I look at it, the more my heart hurts. Although the Samsara Mall has everything, and it has everything, and there is no limit on the exchange, the problem is that it is expensive. Compared with these two, the S-level talent spirit liquid that costs 1 million Samsara points per bottle is already very friendly. Although it is still unaffordable. Huang Jia rolled his eyes and said, Can you two stop fooling me like a fool? I am bankrupt, what good will you get? Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu would not be ashamed or anything, anyway, it was just a joke. In fact, the talent spirit liquid on the market is not exchanged from the Samsara Mall, it is too expensive. With so many points, why should I exchange for talent spirit liquid? Some of the low and medium grade talent spirit liquids are dropped by hunting aliens. Some are artificially synthesized. However, the technology of artificial synthesis is not very mature. So far, only talent spirit liquids below grade B can be synthesized. Higher grade ones are dropped by hunting high-level aliens. Especially on the alien battlefield, the probability of encountering high-level aliens is much greater. However, the drops are also very touching. The war between the two races has been going on for so long, and the headquarters quartermaster department only has one bottle of S-level and five bottles of A-level talent spirit liquid in stock. In fact, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu have both given up the idea of strengthening their talents. It is really that talent spirit liquids above SS level are too rare. And even if they take it, the success rate is very touching, 1%. Even if it is SS level talent spirit liquid, the success rate is only 10%. The price is against the sky, and the success rate is so touching. Even if they have more wealth, it is not enough to smash it. So at this time, they all began to envy Chang Xiaoxi. Although her talent grade is relatively low at the beginning, only a grade, but at least there is a great hope for improvement. There are also S-grade talent awakeners in the team. They can at least take S-grade talent spirit liquid, and there is also the possibility of ascending to the sky in one step and directly being promoted to SS-grade talent awakener. But the two of them have almost no such possibility. Even with Yi Xiaotian's help. The drop of high-level talent spirit liquid is already very rare, plus the success rate of eating people without spitting out bones, so forget it. It's a luxury to think about it. Everyone was playing around for a while, and then Chang Xiaoxi started crying again. She came to Yi Xiaotian again and bowed solemnly to express her gratitude. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Xiaoxi, there's no need to thank me. Just be nicer to my brother in the future. Howzi and I grew up together. Although we don't have the same parents, we are better than brothers. Chang Xiaoxi nodded hurriedly with tears on her face and said, I will. Yi Xiaotian said, that's fine. Speaking of which, you saved me a lot of money. The remaining bottles of A-level talent spirit liquid can be sent back to laugh. At this point, Yi Xiaotian paused, looked at Sister Hong, and said, Sister Hong, how about you accompany me? Sister Hong was stunned for a moment, and said a little touched, Thank you. Yi Xiaotian said, What's there to thank me for? I haven't thanked you properly yet. Sister Hong knew very well that the reason why Yi Xiaotian asked her to accompany him was to let Laugh and the others know about her relationship with Yi Xiaotian. In the future, Sister Hong will be taken care of when dealing with the quartermaster department or even the top leaders of the base camp. She is Mr. Haotian's friend and no one dares to underestimate her with this identity. At the moment, Yi Xiaotian asked Chang Xiaoxi to get familiar with her new talent first, and then add some skills. Chang Xiaoxi's talent is defensive, 
and she can also learn other defensive skills, even if the effect is not as good as the talent skill golden bell cover. But with more skills, there are more choices in cooperation. Although the golden bell cover skill is very powerful, the corresponding consumption is definitely not low. There is no need to use this killer at every turn. Chapter 371 Yi Xiaotian set a precedent for the military supply department, that is, to buy on credit. A bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid is sold for 1 million reincarnation points in the Samsara Mall. In the military supply department, of course, the first choice is military merit, after all, this is a battlefield. The second choice is the corpse of the alien beast. No matter which one, Yi Xiaotian is not enough. First of all, 10 million military merits are needed. Yi Xiaotian only has hundreds of thousands of them now, which is far from enough. Or it is the corpses of a thousand S-level alien beasts. As for those below S-level, no. Neither of the two conditions is met. But it doesn't matter. There are many alien races in the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian may not be able to handle a thousand S-level alien beast corpses. But 10 million military merits are definitely no problem. After friendly negotiations, the two sides owed it first. Mr. Laugh said that there was no problem at all, and Mr. Houtian could come to settle the bill whenever he wanted. He actually scoffed behind him, can still handle this matter. Yi Xiaotian was still very moved, and he said on the spot that he would visit Mr. Slav. Slav contacted him and found out that Mr. Slav was free, so Yi Xiaotian brought Sister Hong to visit him immediately. Slav welcomed Yi Xiaotian's visit, and he, who was always serious and majestic, also showed a very happy smile on his face. The two talked for nearly two hours before Yi Xiaotian said goodbye. After Yi Xiaotian and Sister Hong left, Slav's men asked in confusion, Sir, why do you value them so much? Slav was in a good mood, so he was happy to answer his questions. Lord Ali is very optimistic about him, saying that he will definitely be the sixth supreme powerhouse on Blue Star, and even that he can break through the dominance realm that Lord Ali and others have always longed for. Slav said. Lord Ali the men were shocked, he didn't expect that such words would come out of Lord Ali's mouth. Ali, the god of war of the bear country, one of the five supreme powers of the human race. Moreover, among the five greats, Ail's combat power is definitely in the top three. As for how strong he is, no one knows where his limit is. Because there has never been a real life and death battle between the five greats. But his strength is absolutely recognized. Ail is also very proud, and is definitely the belief in the hearts of all awakened people in the bear country. Even he is so optimistic about Yi Xiaotian, so it is no wonder that Slav is so polite. Let alone just on credit, it is estimated that Slav wanted to give it away for free, but was afraid that others would not accept it, so he did not make such a request in order not to embarrass himself. Young people who can be valued by Lord Ale will care about your little favor. Yes, for ordinary awakened people, a bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid is definitely a great favor of reborn parents. But for Yi Xiaotian, it is a small favor. So Slav was very wise not to do such a thing, but now this approach can win Yi Xiaotian's friendship. This is the future supreme power. If Yi Xiaotian can really be promoted to a master level awakener, with today's friendship, the benefits that Slav and the bear country behind him can obtain are obvious. After coming out from Slav, Yi Xiaotian took his team to the front line of the war. Sister Hong stayed in the base camp to contact his comrades. As for whether to continue to rest or fight, it was none of Yi Xiaotian's business. Sister Hong took them to familiarize themselves with the alien battlefield, which was the cause. Yi Xiaotian used his personal connections to repay her, which was the result. This time, Yi Xiaotian and his team were not going to the first battlefield, but chose the third battlefield. One of the reasons for choosing this direction was the strength issue. Although Yi Xiaotian was very powerful, their team was only B-level after all. The confrontation on the first front battlefield was too fierce, so they had to adapt first. Another thing was that the main force of the third front battlefield was Xia's pioneering army and night watch army. Yes, because the sword god did not come, Xia's main force was arranged in the third battlefield. 
The first and second battlefields, where the tasks were the most difficult, were mainly fought by the United States and their alliances and the Bear Country and their alliances. Moreover, Tony, the supreme thunder god of the United States, and Ale, the supreme god of war of the Bear Country, were in charge of these two battlefields. As for the remaining two supreme masters, they bypassed other battlefields and patrolled the side battlefields. They could not let the alien race find an opportunity to take advantage of them. Fortunately, the real main force of the alien race was also placed in the three frontal battlefields. Because both sides knew very well that if they did not defeat the main force of the other side, even if the side attack was successful, it would be useless for the overall situation. Especially for several supreme masters, in the final analysis, what both sides really fought for was the big guys who suppressed one side. In general, the first and second frontal battlefields were definitely the most tragic. Although the third frontal battlefield was also very tragic, it was still slightly inferior in terms of strength. The reason why the main force of the Xia country was placed in this battlefield was also because the sword god was under tremendous pressure in the Blue Star. Facing the entire C clan alone. Before coming here, I thought that Sword God's task was easier, so I asked him to protect Haokian at home. After all, they are compatriots. Unexpectedly, the C tribe suddenly came ashore, and all of a sudden, Sword God's pressure was greater than theirs. If we don't take care of the awakened people of Xia country on the battlefield of foreign races, it will really be unreasonable. At the level of several supreme masters, those so-called fights are too petty. What they value is really the entire Blue Star human race. They know very well that if the five of them cannot abandon their racial prejudices and unite, then the Blue Star human race will really be hopeless. No matter how the people below fight, the five of them must unify their opinions. As long as the five of them do not fight among themselves, the Blue Star human race will not fall. In this war between the two races, almost all of the pioneering corps were sent to the alien battlefield, and most of the troops of the Night Watch Corps were also transferred here. Even the largest base city like the Magic City has only one battalion of the Night Watch Army for defense, which is evident. In the third battlefield, the atmosphere in the general's tent was a little depressing. The commanders of the pioneering corps and the Night Watch Corps were all there, and there were more than a dozen deputy commanders in attendance. They were in a meeting. As time went on, the battle between the two races became more and more intense, and their pressure became greater and greater. There is no way there will be reinforcements. The pressure on the mainland is already great enough, and the troops are seriously insufficient. It is impossible to send more awakened people. So everything depends on them. Every day that passes, their pressure increases. The aliens are already crazy and they will not stop until they break through the human defense line, and they don't care about life or death. In the past few days, the casualties of the two legions have continued to increase. If this continues, they will die before they can repel the aliens. Chapter, 372 The situation in the country is very bad. If Haotian hadn't taken action, both Jiangnan Bay City and Jigu Bay City might have been breached by the High Clan. A deputy commander spoke. Master Sword God goes deep into the sea, and his pressure is also very high. If we cannot end the war with the aliens as soon as possible, the rear may be lost. In fact, the rear was already lost. But it was not the Xia Kingdom, but some small coastal countries. They were not destroyed under the attack of the foreign tribes, but they had been declared annihilated by the high tribes' attacks. Those who were still alive entered the nearest bordering country. How lucky these coastal countries were back then, how unlucky they are now. Sure enough, everything is fair under the will of reincarnation. When foreigners invaded, they suffered few attacks because most of their borders were along the coast. So their kingdom and people were preserved. But this time the sea tribe came ashore, catching them off guard, and there was not much effective defense at all. Under the powerful offensive of the High Clan, within a month or so, the entire territory had been lost, and they had to give up their country. How about the beautiful country and the bear country? Du Qingwu, the commander-in-chief of the Land Reclamation Army, asked. Beautiful country and bear country, like our Xia country, 
both have long coastlines, and some directions directly border the deep sea, so the situation is not optimistic. The deputy commander of the Land Reclamation Army said in a low tone and his mood was also very low. Internal and external troubles. On the battlefield, when is the worst time, it's this time. Blue Star's homeland is the rear area and the source of their struggle here. If they can't even protect the rear, then what's the point of working hard here? You know, there are their relatives, friends, and even their beliefs on the home front. Once all this is gone, then they lose the meaning of continuing to fight. So there is only one way now. They have the same idea as Yi Xiao Tian, and they must end the war with the alien race as soon as possible. Only in this way can the local crisis of Blue Star be solved. However, this war with the alien race, both in terms of manpower and material resources invested, is the highest in history, so how can it be ended so easily? You can end it if you want. Where will you put my powerful alien race? Herein lies the crux of the matter. The war with the alien race cannot end so quickly unless something unexpected happens. Or large-scale internal fighting breaks out again among the alien races. Either the human race has added crushing power. Judging from the current situation, both scenarios are unlikely to occur. I heard that Haukin came to the alien battlefield. At this time, a deputy commander of the Night Watch Army said. Qin Hao is the captain of the Night Watch Army. If Yi Xiao Tian comes to such a big event, he will naturally report it. The person who just spoke was Sun Weiman, the deputy commander in charge of information of the Night Watch Army. Are you sure? Han Zhan, commander-in-chief of the Night Watch Army, asked. Sun Weiman said, yes, this news was sent by a captain below. Two days ago, the defense line they were stationed in was suddenly attacked by tens of thousands of foreign troops, and they almost lost it. If Yi Xiao Tian hadn't led the team to arrive in time and wiped out the alien army, our third line of defense might have been crumbling. The senior leaders of the Night Watch Army present could not help but break out in a cold sweat. There is still such a thing, so where has Mr. Haojin gone now? Han Zhan also asked with some fear. If the alien army really breaks through the defense line of the Night Watch Army, then naturally he, the commander-in-chief of the Night Watch Army, will bear the brunt. Sun Weiman replied, according to the news sent by Qin Hao, Mr. Haotian went to the base camp. I have sent someone to contact the base camp. I believe there will be news soon. Just as he was talking, a young man with a stern expression shouted loudly outside, report. When Sun Weiman heard this, his face suddenly lit up and he said, I should be here to report the news about Mr. Haotian. Han Zhan glanced at Du Qingwu, and then Sun Weiman said, call him in. Sun Weiman immediately shouted, Come in. Soon, the young man came in and saluted, Luo Shan reports to the commanders. Okay, let's report the news you heard. Sun Weiman said directly. At this time, they really didn't have time to listen to his nonsense. Luo Shan also felt the depressing atmosphere in the commander's tent, and said directly, Report to the chief, based on the news our people found at the base camp. After Luo Shan finished speaking, everyone in the handsome tent was stunned. It is indeed you, Mr. Haotian. Without making a sound or saying a word, the director of the military supplies department of the base camp was taken down. No one else has this kind of face. If Yi Xiao Tian made a big fuss in the munitions department and then the base camp punished him, they would be relieved. But judging from what Luo Shan reported, the two parties never met at all. And Yi Xiao Tian didn't say anything. After being rejected, he left the munitions office directly, and then asked Mike to announce the purchase of gifted spiritual liquid from the outside world. Damn it, everything is normal. If you can't buy it at the military supply office, it's normal to buy it privately from outside. This is what everyone does. Why is it different when you get to Yi Xiao Tian? Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were both envious when they heard that the position of director of the munitions department had returned to Slavic hands again. This is an absolute fat spot. Before, Johnson from the Beautiful Alliance was in control. Even if Slav had any opinions, he could only bear it. This time, with the help of Yi Xiao Tian, he directly took back the position and sold it to Yi Xiao Tian with a huge face. 
He even sold the S-level talent spirit liquid on credit, and he was not afraid of other people looking for trouble with him. Such courage is not something that everyone has. The most important thing is that they did not block the news at all, so the news spread quickly. Where is Mr. Houghton now? Sun Wayman asked. Although he is an SS level initial awakening power. But for Yi Xiao Tian, he dare not underestimate him at all. Even a big man like Slav is praising him like this, what qualifications does he have to underestimate him? What's more, Yi Xiao Tian is a Xia countryman. Having such a compatriot should be an honor. Luo Shan hurriedly said, Report to the commander, according to the news we have inquired, Mr. Houtian should be coming to us. Really? Several people spoke at the same time, scaring Luo Shan. Luo Shan said, If Mr. Houtian had not changed his schedule, he should have come to our side. Where did you get this news? Sun Weiman asked. This news is very important, he needs 100% confirmation. Luo Shan said, Our people found Huang Hong who came with Mr. Houtian in the base camp. She was born in the Huang family of Wanshan City. She told us personally that Mr. Houtian and his team came to our third battlefield. Chapter 373 Everyone was very happy to learn that Yi Xiao Tian was coming to the third battlefield. I just heard about what he did in Blue Star and what Qin Hao did there. I was very impressed. To sum it up, Yi Xiao Tian alone can stop a legion of aliens. Isn't it too optimistic? A deputy commander of the pioneering army frowned and said when he saw that everyone was so optimistic about Yi Xiaotian's arrival. He was worried about pinning hopes on such a young awakener. Even if this person is Houtian. Even if the five supremes are optimistic about Houtian, he is too young and is only an S-level awakener. Just an S-level awakener. Such a big tone, when can an S-level awakener be looked down upon so much? Besides, don't you look at Mr. Houtian's age and his record. Sun Weiman directly retorted. This guy, Yin and Yang, who are you disgusting? What he hates most is this kind of guy who is obviously dissatisfied with others but dare not say it out loud. If you have the guts to say it out loud, I'd admire you. Sun Weiman, we're in a meeting, why are you targeting me? Am I wrong? Said the deputy commander of the Pioneer Army. Sun Weiman was not in a good mood, saying, You have no right to speak without investigation. Who are you trying to imply with your sarcasm? Do you think I'm a fool and can't hear it? Please find out about Yi Xiaotian's record before you speak. Even if the record is good, so what? He is just an S-level awakener. Do you really think he is the savior? The deputy commander of the Pioneer Army was also annoyed. He couldn't pretend anymore. He just couldn't stand everyone treating Yi Xiao Tian as the savior, just a young man, why? Which of them hasn't resisted alien races for decades, and even they can't do it, how can a young man do it? Are you kidding? But as soon as he finished speaking, he felt that the atmosphere was a bit wrong, as if everyone was looking at him in a wrong way. He was a little unsure, but still said stubbornly, you don't think he can really solve our current predicament, do you? He looked like he was asking for advice humbly, but he was very contemptuous in his heart. Ahem, Deputy Commander Wei, if it was Yi Xiao Tian, then it would really work. Another Deputy Commander of the Night Watch Army spoke. Yi Xiao Tian's two most dazzling achievements in the Blue Star mainland were outside the Jiangnan Bay City and outside the Zhigu Bay City. In the two battles, Yi Xiao Tian killed no less than one, five million awakened Sea Clan members. And it took a very short time. From this, it can be inferred that Yi Xiaotian's role in the Battle of the Large Army is very powerful. Especially the battle outside the Jiangnan city, which made Yi Xiaotian directly become a god in one battle. Not only did he kill hundreds of thousands of Sea Clan troops, but he also killed an SS-level awakened Sea Clan member in a single fight. It is definitely a heaven-defying existence. And what is the most troublesome thing for them here? It's not the high-level awakened aliens. It's the low and middle level awakened aliens. There are too many of them. It's like a swarm of locusts passing through. Although the mid and low level awakened aliens pose little threat to the awakened human beings. But there is a saying that goes, ants can kill elephants. 
Although the awakened people on the human side are generally stronger, they are limited after all. And killing too many will also make you tired. This is the crux of the problem. The aliens don't need masters to come forward, and they will tire the awakened people on the human side to death. Compared with the aliens, the number of awakened people on the human side is still too small. Compared with the alien space plane, Blue Star is too small. Compared with the alien world, the human race is too small. On the human side, awakened people above the mid-level are qualified to come to the alien battlefield. But there is no such saying on the alien side. In the alien race, the lives of the tribe members are never taken seriously. In this case, Yi Xiaotian's role can be infinitely highlighted. Of course, the masters of the alien race are also a headache. But if there are no cannon fodder, the masters of the alien race can't shrink back and do nothing. This is the current situation. The cannon fodder keeps rushing, and the masters hide behind and wait for the opportunity. The top leaders of the two legions are very entangled. They can't take action. Once there is consumption, the masters of the alien race will definitely not miss such an opportunity. But if they don't take action, the awakened people below can't hold on for too long. In the end, the loser of this war is still the Blue Star human race. Deputy Commander Wei, we really need Yi Xiaotian in our current situation. This time it was a deputy commander of the Reclamation Army who spoke. His position in the Reclamation Army, like Sun Weiman, is responsible for information work. So his understanding of Yi Xiaotian is much more comprehensive than that of Deputy Commander Wei. Especially the two battles in the Blue Star mainland, which caused a sensation in the Blue Star mainland. When he learned about this news in the reincarnation world, he felt it was too exaggerated. This is to put Yi Xiaotian on the altar. The higher you are praised, the worse you fall. He thinks someone is making trouble here. So he sent people to inquire and prepare to suggest to the top leaders that they should guide by power. The training of Yi Xiaotian should not be rushed. It is not advisable to force the growth of seedlings. But after investigation, it was found that all this was true. Even he was dumbfounded. One person killed hundreds of thousands of Sea Clan Awakeners in one battle. He was not sure if there would be anyone who could match such a record, but it was definitely unprecedented. Even if it was hundreds of thousands of pigs, it would take a lot of effort to kill them all. But Yi Xiaotian would not do that. After killing hundreds of thousands of awakened sea tribes, he turned around and killed the SS level sea tribesmen single handedly. He really had nothing to say about such a record. If it weren't for the fact that Deputy Commander Wei was a senior member of his pioneering army, he would have been afraid that he would continue to talk and cause a bigger joke, so he really didn't want to say it. Deputy Commander Wei was dumbfounded, but for the sake of his own face, he still said very toughly, impossible. Just an S-level awakener, so what if he was a genius? Even if he was the most powerful genius in history, so what? Unless he could be promoted to a supreme awakener, maybe he could change this war. Yi Xiaotian was still far from it now. Deputy Commander Wei, we also find some things unbelievable, but they just happened. We have always acted based on facts. This matter is irrefutable. Du Qingwu could no longer sit still, and immediately made a decision, send out scouts to find Comrade Yi Xiaotian as quickly as possible and send him to the commander's tent as soon as possible. He gave the order, and naturally no one in the pioneering army dared to object. Then Han Zhan also gave an order to Sun Weiman, asking him to send all his intelligence personnel from here to the base camp, keep a distance, and find Yi Xiaotian and his Haotian team as soon as possible. Chapter 374 Although the news shows that Yi Xiaotian is coming to the third battlefield. But no one can guarantee whether there will be any accidents in the middle. Will the people in other battlefields kidnap Yi Xiaotian or something like that? Although the cruelty of the other two battlefields is much stronger than that of the third battlefield. But they each have a supreme level strongman in charge. So the defense line is more stable. Only in the third battlefield, because the Lord Sword God is in charge of the Blue Star mainland, there are only two main forces of the two legions, plus a large number of awakened people from Xia country to help here. Unless the other two supreme strongmen patrol here, they will appear in the third battlefield. 
but how can they count on such a probabilistic thing? Moreover, these two supreme strongmen who patrolled would go deep into the alien defense line from time to time, making the nerves of the aliens tense and not letting them be too presumptuous. In general, neither side regarded this war as something that could be ended in a short time. For a war of this scale, it would take several years, or even more than ten years, to end it. Look at how many years the last war between the two races lasted, that was decades. If we count the beginning, the war that almost wiped out the race lasted for a full 80 years. So after this war started, the leaders of both sides knew that it would not end in the short term. They were all prepared for a protracted war. But unexpectedly, the alien race was so shameless this time that they actually lured out the sea race from the Blue Star. The pressure on the Blue Star mainland increased greatly, and the pressure on the human forces in the alien battlefield increased greatly. When the pressure is high, mistakes will be made. The alien race is waiting for the human race to make mistakes. The two supreme strong men went deep into the alien race to patrol, which can increase the pressure on the alien race and reduce the pressure on the human race. Of course, there are also strong men of the same level on the alien race. But there is a tacit understanding between the two races, that is, the supreme awakened strong men cannot act casually. Because of the visit to Slav, Yi Xiaotian also learned a lot of high-level intelligence on the alien battlefield from him. He also knew a lot of unwritten rules between the two races. While walking, Yi Xiaotian also told his comrades about this news. What do you mean you can't just do it casually? Han Xuyao asked in confusion. This time, it was Peng Xiangyu who came to protect them. Chang Xiaoxi successfully promoted to SS level talent awakener. It would be a waste of talent to do such a small thing again. Originally, Chang Xiaoxi wanted her to come. But in the end, Peng Xiangyu took over the job and directly performed a water defense technique to block the strong wind outside. Among this group of people, there was only Yi Xiaotian besides him. If he didn't do it, would Yi Xiaotian come? So this time Peng Xiangyu was very conscious and even gave Chang Xiaoxi a little flattery. It was the first time for Chang Xiaoxi to enjoy such treatment. She was a little flattered. Everyone treated her very well before, but she always felt very inferior in her heart. Now that her talent grade is full, her mentality is different, and her interpretation of everyone's attitude is also different. In the past, she felt that everyone pitied her. Now it's good, the opposite, she herself will feel that if she is not sincere enough, she is pitying others. What do you want them to think? So Chang Xiaoxi was very careful in getting along with her teammates. She was afraid that they would think that she was superior because of her talent. She had to fight with Peng Xiangyu for several rounds for the temporary bodyguard job before letting him go. Yi Xiaotian said, the lethality of the supreme level strongman is too great. The strongman who is praised as God, do you really think it's a joke? When a strongman of this level takes action, the casualties are too great, which is not a good thing for both races. So both sides have a tacit understanding. Unless a strongman of the same level takes action, their existence can only be a deterrent. And you also know that the number of supreme strongmen of the alien race is much larger than ours. If the strongmen of this level of the alien race really take action, then we are finished. Wang Hao said, isn't it said that the alien race is fighting fiercely, so their supreme strongmen dare not move, for fear that their homes will be stolen? Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, There are reasons in this regard, but it must be more than that. Everyone understood it immediately, only Wang Hao said, This matter is too complicated, can't it be simpler? Where there are people, there are rivers and lakes, and there are fights. This is not just for our human race, but also for the alien race. Yi Xiaotian said. No one spoke, because this sentence is too true. At the base camp, they were taught a lesson. That Inusaburo, who was unknown whether he was dead or not, didn't even meet him. He just heard his name and directly suppressed their deal. This is the world. The aliens are much more impulsive than humans. They may just start fighting after saying one more word. Their situation is much more complicated than that of humans. It's too difficult to figure it out completely. It's estimated that even the boss of the headquarters of the heretic organization can't figure it out. 
In fact, what Skov told Yi Xiaotian were all the information he got on the alien battlefield. It's too difficult to investigate in the alien space plane. This is the gap. The aliens can learn about the information of the Blue Star through the Heretic Organization. But the human race can only find out information about the cold faces in the alien space in the alien battlefield. Why do we have to fight? Isn't it good to live in peace? Wang Hao sighed. The reason why he and Yi Xiaotian are orphans is because of the invasion of aliens. So he can be said to be the person who hates war the most in the team. Because Yi Xiaotian came from a time travel, he didn't have such a deep feeling. Huang Jie continued, because of benefits, do you think it is faster to improve your strength by brushing dungeons in the reincarnation space, or by hunting alien beasts? Of course it's hunting alien beasts. Wang Hao said righteously. Huang Jia said, this is the reason. There are shortcuts, why do we have to follow the rules? Wang Hao was speechless. Yes, brushing dungeons may not necessarily improve one awakening level in a year. But hunting alien beasts can improve several awakening levels in a year. With such a big gap, even a fool would know how to choose. It's not just this reason, there is also the will of reincarnation. At this time, Xiaoqing spoke. If it weren't for the will of reincarnation pushing behind, the two planes wouldn't be connected. This really makes sense. Although I don't know what the will of reincarnation is planning, based on the current situation, he is indeed very happy to see the races of the two planes fight to the death. Boom! Just as they were chatting, the sound of fighting came to their ears. Yi Xiaotian quickly stopped Leopard 2, adjusted the direction, and ran towards the place where the battle was taking place. Chapter, 375 This battle was between a team of alien awakeners and a human awakener. When Yi Xiaotian and his team arrived, they didn't need to ask any questions, they just helped. Between aliens and humans, it is definitely right to help one's own race. As for whether this human is a pagan of a heretical organization, we will find out after rescuing him. The human awakener was surrounded by six or seven alien awakeners, and the close combat and long-range cooperation were already in danger. Yi Xiaotian raised his hand directly and cast a defensive magic on the human awakener. The human awakener was overjoyed. He didn't expect that he would encounter a small alien awakening team that infiltrated the defense line when he came out to pick someone up this time. Others also took out their weapons, aimed at their targets, and started to attack. Wang Hao was the first to rush over with a large shield. Chang Xiaoxi opened the golden bell to protect her own long-range attacks and assistance. From this moment on, she is the protector of the Houtian team. But their attacks were too sharp. When Wang Hao rushed to the battlefield, all the enemies had died. You are too mean. You didn't even leave me some. Wang Hao said angrily. But soon, he picked up the big shield again and said to the panting human awakener, Are you a pagan? The ferocious look made the panting human awakener have no doubt that if he gave an inappropriate answer, he would definitely be beaten to death by the big shield. No, no, I am a member of the Night Watch. He quickly clarified. If he didn't die at the hands of the aliens, it would be too unfair if he died under Wang Hao's shield. Wang Hao said a little unexpectedly, You are a member of the Night Watch, so why are you here alone? This is a battlefield. The awakened people of the human race usually go out in the form of a team. Even the awakened soldiers of the Pioneer Army and the Night Watch Army go out in small teams. How could he be floating outside alone, and he happened to meet the alien awakened team? I'm a scout of the Night Watch Army, and I'm here to get information. By the way, who are you? The scout didn't reveal his real purpose. The news that Mr. Houtian came to the third battlefield must not be leaked out casually. Wang Hao said casually, Oh, we are all the awakening team going to the third battlefield to help. He was not stupid, and didn't tell everything. This was Yi Xiaotian's repeated instructions. He knew Wang Hao too well. It might be an exaggeration to say that he was heartless. But it would be absolutely correct to say that he had no scheming at all. In the battlefield of alien races, you have to be more careful. No one knows whether the person in front of you is a friend or an enemy. Even if it's a human race, so what? 
putting aside the pagans, there will be people like Inusaburo in your own camp. Oh, thank you so much, you can reach the third battlefield if you keep going in this direction. The night watch scout pointed a direction to Wang Hao and the others. He didn't lie. It was just an awakening team. He didn't worry about causing any damage to the general's tent. That was the strongest place in the entire third battlefield. The commander-in-chief and deputy commander of the two legions were waiting for the appearance of the Haokian team. Wang Hao collected several corpses of the alien awakening team on the ground, and then said, Okay, then we'll go. Wait. Suddenly, the human awakener saw Leopard 2, and asked Wang Hao, Is this leopard called Leopard 2? Wang Hao said strangely, Hey, how did you know? The scout was overjoyed and said, You are the Haotian team. Who is Mr. Haotian? Yi Shao Tian took two steps forward and said, I am Yi Shao Tian. Hello, Mr. Haotian. The night watchman scout saluted quickly, his face full of joy, we followed the order from above and came out to welcome Mr. Haotian and everyone from the Haotian team. Yi Shao Tian said strangely, How did you know I was coming? He remembered that he had not informed the third battlefield, and was still thinking about entering the village quietly. The night watchman scout said, Mr. Haotian, we already knew that you came to the alien battlefield. Our deputy commander son sent people to Qin Hao's battalion and went to the base camp. It's a pity that we didn't meet Mr. Haotian, but we learned your whereabouts from M.S. Huang Hong. The two commanders-in-chief knew that you were coming to the third battlefield. They were afraid that you would go in the wrong direction, so they sent all the scouts of the two legions to find Mr. Haotian. Hearing him say this, Yi Shao Tian immediately understood. It turned out that the news came from Sister Hong. There is no problem then. Being able to mention Sister Hong means that the identity of the person in front of him is credible. Although the other party was injured, Yi Shao Tian did not let Sun Yao treat him, but invited him to get on the back of Leopard 2. How far is it from here to the third battlefield commander's tent? Yi Shao Tian asked the night watchman scout. The scout replied, only a few hundred kilometers. Leopard 2 is very fast, you point the direction. Yi Shao Tian ordered. At the speed of Leopard 2, a distance of several hundred kilometers can be covered in just ten minutes. This still needs to take into account the feelings of the passengers. If Leopard 2 is allowed to run freely, this distance can be covered in minutes. The Leopard family is famous for its speed. Although the Spotted Leopard is not the fastest among the Leopard family, it is also very powerful. This is especially true after Huang Jie gave him the agility assistance. Under the guidance of the scout, they could see the outline of the third battlefield's general tent after a few minutes. Yi Shao Tian truly believed what the scout said. The layout of this general tent was obviously human, and the aliens would not do these things. In their view, this was a waste of time. Wouldn't it be nice to just lie on the ground? Only the human camp would have various buildings and defensive fortifications. Everyone, we are here. Although the night watchman scout was still injured, he was very excited. This time he was able to pick up Yi Shao Tian, which was definitely a great achievement. Yi Shao Tian said to Sun Yao, heal him. Sun Yao cast a healing spell, and the scout's injury was healed immediately. He was even more excited. As expected of the Haotian team, they even have a rare configuration like a healer. What the alien battlefield lacks most now is a healer. Having a high-level healer can greatly improve the combat endurance of the awakened people of the human race. Minor injuries do not leave the front line, and serious injuries can be cured immediately and continue to fight. Moreover, with the presence of a healer, the awakened can be more relaxed when fighting, which invisibly increases their combat effectiveness. Unfortunately, even in the two major legions, healers are very scarce. However, considering the special status of the Haotian team, it is normal for them to have a healer. Chapter, 376 The scout of the Night Watch army was very grateful. After thanking Yi Shao Tian and Sun Yao, he said, Mr. Haotian, please wait here for a while. I will go and report. Just as they were talking, someone had already discovered where they were and started talking. Who are these people? Why is there a strange beast following them? Yeah, this combination is a bit weird. 
we all know that humans and aliens are mortal enemies. Such a combination is indeed rare. If they hadn't seen a Night's Watch scout next to this team, they would have raised the alarm. Anyone who often hangs out on foreign battlefields will basically know what kind of clothes the scouts of the two legions wear. And those who can live in peace with the scouts are friends rather than enemies. So they just stood in the distance, looked at and discussed, and took no other action. The most important thing is that no one would think that such a young awakening team would be sent by the enemy. What are you doing here? Looking for death. So they are all waiting for news. Coming to the alien battlefield at such a young age, he either has real abilities or has a very strong relationship. But coming here at this time, you should have real skills. If you have a strong relationship, you won't choose this time to let them come over. After all, the alien battlefield at this time is the most dangerous. Even with expert protection, it cannot be said that it is always safe. Accidents can happen at any time. Too many things like this happened during the period when the war started. Countless tribesmen who were chatting and laughing with them one moment were already dead at the hands of foreigners the next moment. It's really cruel. At this time, sending the juniors here to practice, unless they have a crazy brain. The news that Yi Xiaotian and the others were coming to the third battlefield was only known to the top brass of the two armies, and also to the scouts of the two armies. And they are strictly prohibited from leaking information. So no one thought about it. Soon, they saw a group of high-level officials from the two legions coming together. Only then did they realize that things were not as simple as they thought. If it were just a few young awakened people with background, it would be impossible to alarm so many high-ranking members of the legion. The only ones who can work so many high-level officials to greet them at once are probably those few supreme experts. Even Slav, the commander-in-chief of the base camp, did not receive such treatment. Could it be that great god Houtian is here? Someone turned the corner and exclaimed. Apart from those few, I am afraid that only the great god Houtian, who caused a sensation in the world of reincarnation, would receive such treatment. Impossible, even if the great god Houtian comes, I'm afraid he won't be treated like this. Some people didn't believe it. Who else can receive such treatment besides him? Is he a direct descendant of Lord Sword God? Someone speculated. No, Master Sword God is not married and has children. Suddenly, the discussion became louder. There are speculations and all. Seeing Scout Zhao Jia coming with a group of people, Yi Xiao Tian was also a little confused. FCK. Several teammates from aristocratic families even swore harshly. They were more knowledgeable, and they could tell from their clothing that the people who came were extraordinary. They were all important figures above the level of deputy commanders of the two major legions. They actually came out to greet him en masse. What kind of treatment was this? Commanders, this is Mr. Houtian, and these are his comrades. Mr. Houtian, this is Commander-in-Chief Han of our Night Watch Army, and this is Commander-in-Chief Du of the Land Reclamation Army. The others are all deputy commanders of the two armies. Commander. Although Zhao Jia is very nervous now, after all, it is the first time for him to see so many big shots. But while he was excited, he also knew that this was a good opportunity for him. As long as this mission is completed, a great achievement will be achieved. Although a great achievement cannot directly promote him like an ordinary army. But the direct benchmark of great merit is military merit, and military merit can be exchanged for various materials that enhance strength. So he must seize this opportunity. Maybe after today, he can break away from the rank of ordinary scouts. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were both very polite. Yi Xiaotian's character is to take soft things rather than hard ones. If you are polite to me, I will be even more polite to you. The subsequent exchange was very friendly on both sides. Even the deputy commander of Wei, who didn't believe Yi Xiaotian before, had nothing to say after learning about Yi Xiaotian's record. He also had to admit that the arrival of this young man might really have a decisive impact on the third battlefield. It's true that his hand can create countless clones. It's so abnormal. Of course, the most perverted thing is the clones he created, they are all very powerful. At higher levels, they can only be killed instantly. 
even the S-level alien awakeners were killed. You know, Yi Xiaotian himself is only an S-level awakener. This completely violates the basic law. The clone can also have the same strength as the main body. There is no such talent and skill in Samsara Mall. However, considering that Yi Xiaotian was a genius who defeated the powerful SS level C clan in single combat with the strength of an S level awakener, it all seemed reasonable. At this time, those who were watching the excitement of the two legions and the freedom awakeners all knew Yi Xiaotian's identity and gasped. Although some people had guessed Yi Xiaotian's identity before, they still didn't dare to believe it after confirming it. One is why Yi Xiaotian came to the alien battlefield at this time. The second is that the high-level officials of the two legions went out collectively just to welcome Yi Xiaotian. Isn't this standard too high? At the invitation of Du Qingwu and Han Zhan, a group of people entered the general's tent. Even Han Xuyao and others were treated very well. In fact, Yi Xiaotian is the worst at dealing with this kind of scene, but there is no way, he still has to say polite words. Originally, according to his previous plan, after entering the third battlefield, he would not deal with the general's tent, but directly enter the battlefield to kill aliens. These things in front of him are all a waste of time. Dear leaders, I want to get into the battle immediately. Yi Xiaotian immediately put forward his request. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were both stunned. They were originally thinking about asking Yi Xiaotian for help. Now it's good, he has taken the initiative to ask. In this way, it's the two of them who are embarrassed. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian's identity was special, and they were a little worried that something might happen to him. Mr. Haotian, how about you take a few days off? Du Qingwu asked. Commander-in-chief Du, please call me Xiaotian, so I'm more used to it. Yi Xiaotian asked. Du Qingwu naturally followed suit and said, Okay, Xiaotian, You've been traveling all the way from the base camp, and you've worked hard. Take a few days off before talking about the battle, okay? Chapter, 377 The two commanders-in-chief were so enthusiastic that Yi Xiaotian and his men had no choice but to follow suit. The two commanders-in-chief breathed a sigh of relief after successfully receiving Yi Xiaotian and his men. They needed Yi Xiaotian, but they also needed to ensure his safety. He was a Xia countryman. If he could really become the sixth supreme powerhouse on Blue Star, then Xia would be unique among the supreme powers on Blue Star. They were not sure how to use Yi Xiaotian, and they still needed to contact the local Blue Star for this matter. Especially Lord Sword God. He valued Yi Xiaotian very much, and it would be best if he could directly ask about his attitude. It was just a pity that they did not contact Lord Sword God himself. Instead, they contacted Lord Sword God's chief follower, and his reply was that Yi Xiaotian's actions were decided by himself. Let them not interfere. Finally, he emphasized that this was Lord Sword God's intention. After receiving this reply, Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were a little confused. What does this mean? What do you think the Lord Sword God means? Du Qingwu was a little undecided. Han Zhan was also a little confused. He said that the Lord Sword God did not value Yi Xiaotian. For him, the Lord Sword God personally took action and destroyed the Shen family in the Magic City. If the Lord Sword God valued Yi Xiaotian, at this time and in this place, it was a bit of a joke to let Yi Xiaotian decide on his own. How dangerous it is here! Yi Xiaotian is a young man, with a few young people. Can he really hold on in this dangerous alien battlefield? Although Yi Xiaotian is powerful, there are still many people who can take his life in this alien battlefield. Here, there are many SS level middle level or even high level awakening powers in the alien race, and even supreme level bosses. What if these alien bosses know Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts and attack him? The most feared thing is that young people like Yi Xiaotian think they are very powerful, get hot-headed, and come without caring and go deep into the enemy camp, which will be even worse. In their opinion, the best place for Yi Xiaotian is to stay with them. When there is a big war, let Yi Xiaotian go on the field. After the war, protect him. This is really good for Yi Xiaotian. With the protection of the two of them, unless the supreme leader of the alien race attacks, there will be no threat to Yi Xiaotian's safety. 
this is a good way to train young descendants. Maybe Lord Sword God trusts Xiao Tian's strength? Han Zhang guessed. But he couldn't grasp it. Du Qinwu's scalp was about to break, but he still couldn't figure it out. It's a bit nonsense to believe in Yi Xiaotian's strength. Yi Xiaotian's strength is naturally very strong, but it depends on the occasion. This is the alien battlefield, and the two races are fighting a genocide war. There are countless awakened people from the two races here, and there are many masters. Even the two commanders-in-chief who control two large legions are unsure. Not to mention Yi Xiaotian. Of course, Yi Xiaotian's role is also very obvious. Then what should we do? Really let him out? Du Qingwu asked again. Han Zhan was also a little confused. This is fucking undecided. We must listen to Lord Sword God, but we can't listen to everything. We have to make certain adjustments based on facts. This is also for Yi Xiaotian's good. After thinking for a while, Han Zhan said, How about this? We use the excuse that there will be a large-scale war in the near future and need their help to keep Yi Xiaotian and his party here first. Fight first, let us also see the quality of Mr. Haotian with our own eyes. If he is really okay, then listen to Lord Sword God and let him go to kill aliens freely. If not, then we are also protecting his safety, not disobeying Lord Sword God. Although the two legions belong to the Supreme Defense Committee of Xia Country, in the final analysis, the Supreme Defense Committee also listens to the Sword God. There is no problem in saying that both of them are subordinates of Lord Sword God. So they need to consider Lord Sword God. That's it, then you go to Mr. Haotian. Du Qingwu said to Han Zhan. Han Zhan shook his head and said, You should go. I have something to do. I have something to do, too. Du Qingwu said. The two old foxes looked at each other and smiled knowingly. Of course, this matter was left to the people below. Although they were also for Yi Xiaotian's good, in the final analysis, they still calculated Yi Xiaotian. They disobeyed Yi Xiaotian's intention. So it would be embarrassing to let them go by themselves. What if Yi Xiaotian saw their intentions on the spot? Say they underestimated Yi Xiaotian. For such an offending thing, naturally the subordinates would take the blame. Anyway, their intentions were definitely good. There was no intention to underestimate or disobey. Yi Xiaotian and his party lived in a separate three-story western-style building that was arranged. It was actually quite simple for the awakened to build such a house. So such houses can be seen everywhere in this general's tent. He received Sun Weiman who came in the lobby on the first floor. Sun Weiman's face was full of hesitation. Han Zhan sold him out and called him over to complete this mission with Du Qingwu. After Sun Weiman heard this, he cursed his two superiors for being shameless. But it is the duty of a soldier to obey orders. So he came. Mr. Haotian, I came here today to discuss something with you. Sun Weiman said carefully. Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to correct his address. Since they were willing to call him that, let it be. Please tell me if you have anything, Commander Sun. Yi Xiaotian said politely. Sun Weiman said, it's like this. According to the information we have learned, a large-scale war will happen in the near future. Commander-in-Chief Han and Commander-in-Chief Du want to ask Mr. Haotian to stay and help. This makes much more sense. As for whether the war will really happen, he is not sure. Anyway, small and medium-sized wars have never stopped recently. But the war that really involves the general's tent is indeed not so easy to happen. But this tiger skin must be pulled up. Only in this way can Yi Xiaotian stay willingly. As for if the war does not happen at that time, at most he can tell him that there was an accident. In this way, everyone can be happy. The best thing is that, in this way, he can also arrange Yi Xiaotian and his team to participate in the ongoing small and medium-sized battles. This way, he can keep track of Yi Xiaotian and his team's whereabouts and guarantee their safety to the greatest extent. In small and medium-sized battles, at most S-level awakeners will participate. For Yi Xiaotian, there is no danger at all. Large-scale battles are different. Such battles often involve SS-level awakened masters. 
Yi Xiao Tian cannot be let out casually. When Yi Xiao Tian heard this, he didn't think much and agreed directly. Chapter 378 Small and Medium Sized Battles Yi Xiao Tian was immediately happy when he heard this. Isn't this exactly what he needs? For him, the scale of the battle does not matter, as long as he can kill foreigners. His purpose in coming to the alien battlefield is very clear. On a larger scale, it is for the human race and against alien races. To put it more simply, it is just to improve the strength and gain resources. Nowadays, humans and aliens have invested countless troops in the alien battlefield. Even in small and medium-sized battles, the number of troops on both sides is at least tens of thousands. It suits him and his team very well. It was too big a battle, although Yi Xiaotian could handle it by himself. But for his team, the pressure was too much and danger could easily occur. Yi Xiaotian's purpose is not only to improve himself, but also to improve the strength of the entire team, or even sublimate it. If the Houtian team can be promoted to the S-level Awakening team, under his leadership, they can definitely run rampant on the alien battlefield. Even more, they can enter another dimension and turn the foreign tribe's lair upside down, leaving no peace. But the road must be walked step by step, and the meal must be eaten one bite at a time. You can't become fat by eating in one sitting. So Yi Xiaotian happily accepted Sun Weiman's proposal. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian's happiness did not seem to be fake, Sun Weiman was a little confused. This is different from what he imagined before coming here. He thought Yi Xiaotian would be angry and look ugly. After confirming again and again, Sun Weiman had to sigh that the magnanimity of Mr. Houtian was indeed extraordinary. If Yi Xiaotian knew what he was thinking, he would definitely laugh. I'm not a fool, I know the right choice. Deputy Commander Sun, when can we go to the battlefield? Yi Xiaotian asked again. Are you in such a hurry? Sun Weiman didn't understand. People always rest as much as they can. Why are you so anxious? Yi Xiaotian continued, Deputy Commander Sun, we had leopard tooths when we came, so we didn't actually consume much. Bao Er. Sun Weiman was a little confused. Yi Xiaotian explained, It's the leopard I brought. I tamed it and it is considered my spiritual pet. Spiritual pet. Is there such a saying these days? Isn't this a setting that only exists in the game? This is the real world, how do you get a spiritual pet? Is it safe? Sun Weiman couldn't help asking. It is not that no one has done it before to recruit alien beasts as subordinates, but almost no one can really succeed. Either the spiritual pet strength is too poor, it is equal to nothing and it will drag down one's body. So in the end, no one would do such a thankless job. As for taking powerful alien beasts as spiritual pets, some people have done it. But without any effective control means, it is simply not feasible. Rebellions occurred frequently, and even he himself died under the spiritual favor. Then no one mentioned the matter of spiritual pets. Yi Xiaotian is one of the hopes of the human race, and he doesn't want Yi Xiaotian to make a mistake. The best way, of course, is to kill the leopard. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, I have a way to control it and I promise not to rebel. Sun Weiman hesitated for a moment. There was such an innate skill in Samsara Mall, but it was not only expensive, but also not of high quality. So no one does this stuff. No one is wasting their spiritual liquid on this kind of talent. But since Yi Xiaotian is so confident, Sun Weiman will not be a villain in vain. He just reminded, you just have to know what's going on. Once you can't control it, you must take action in time. Yi Xiaotian said, yes. With the spiritual technique, Leopard Air cannot escape from his control, so this kind of thing will never happen. Sun Weiman did not dwell on this matter. He believed that Yi Xiaotian was sensible. He turned and said, this time our two legions have a total strength of 500 0, 0, all of which are composed of intermediate level awakened people and above. Together with soldiers from civilians and aristocratic families, our strength in the third battlefield exceeds 1 million. Delay the front line for thousands of miles. On this front, countless battles, big or small, take place every day. 
the number of casualties every day is also an astronomical number. Seriously, we really want you to join the fight right away. But I always think that you have just arrived and need to rest and get familiar with the situation here. Since you are so eager to challenge, I won't hold you back. You can take this token and keep this map. On this map, there are all the war zones of our third battlefield. As for which war zone to go to, you can decide for yourself. Remember, this map must be kept well and must not be lost. After Sun Wayman finished speaking, he warned again and again. On this map, there is a division of the force size of all the war zones in the third battlefield. If this falls into the hands of a foreign race, the third battlefield will be finished. This is Yi Xiao Tian. In the entire third battlefield, only the two commanders in chief have such detailed battlefield maps. There is not even a deputy commander for the two legions. Not to mention the commanders of each war zone. They all only have the troop layout map of their respective war zone, and then the location map of adjacent war zones. Just let them know who is next to their war zone. Facilitate their joint operations. Yi Xiao Tian immediately said that the plan is to destroy people and destroy them. Sun Weiman was shocked and said, even if the map is destroyed, the people must be there. You are much more important than this map. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, I understand, I understand. Sun Weiman saw that everything had been explained, so he said goodbye. After Yi Xiao Tian sent Sun Weiman away, he called everyone over and said to them, everyone come and take a look. This is the battle line map of the major battle zones in the third battlefield. Let's discuss where to start. Everyone crowded over and checked the map. The location of the general's tent is here, and it is still hundreds of miles away from the battle line. And the nearest battle zone to the general's tent is here, Brother Tian, otherwise we should start from the nearest one. Huang Jie pointed on the map for a while and suggested to Yi Xiao Tian. His suggestion was recognized by everyone. However, Yi Xiao Tian had a different idea. He said, the closer the battle zone is to the commander's tent, the fewer enemies there are. You can tell by looking at the distribution of troops. Too few enemies will slow down our improvement, so my opinion is that we should go to where there are the most enemies. Everyone was stunned. No one plays like you. You start with the highest difficulty. You are worthy of it. When you meet such a captain, what else can you do? Naturally, you have to do whatever he says. Who let him have this strength? We are here to help. Of course, we will go to where it is more difficult. Yi Xiao Tian shrugged and said. Chapter, 379 Are they gone? Han Zhan asked Sun Weiman. Sun Weiman was a little unhappy, but still replied, Yes, Commander-in-Chief. Where did they go? Han Zhan asked again. Sun Weiman shook his head and said, I'm not sure, but I guess they should choose the nearest war zone. Han Zhan nodded and said, Always keep track of their movements and never lose them. Sun Weiman nodded to show that he understood. However, one day later, he did not receive any news from the nearest war zone, and he was a little anxious. Two days later, there was still no news, and Sun Weiman could no longer sit still. He immediately sent people to the 19th war zone closest to the general's tent, and the news sent back surprised him. Yi Xiao Tian and his men did not go to the 19th war zone. As for the people he sent to follow Yi Xiao Tian, they had been left behind and could not even see their shadows. Sun Weiman began to sweat on his forehead, and he was a little afraid to think about it. A large number of scouts were immediately sent out, with the 19th war zone as the center, spreading to all the war zones upstream and downstream to inquire about Yi Xiaotian's news. But the news reported back made him feel half disappointed. Fifteen consecutive war zones said that they had not seen Yi Xiaotian and his team. Sun Weiman couldn't stand it anymore, and quickly reported the news to Han Zhan. Han Zhan was furious when he heard it, and said, Why did you come to report it now? Sun Weiman said, I didn't expect that he didn't go to the 19th war zone, and even didn't go to the dozen or so war zones around. Han Zhan said with a worried look on his face, Do you think there was an accident? Sun Weiman's heart jumped, this was what he was most worried about. If Yi Xiao Tian went to other war zones, it would be fine, but if there was an accident, 
it would be terrible. It shouldn't be that bad. We haven't found any aliens nearby recently. Sun Wayman replied again. But he was completely unsure in his heart. It was not until half a month later that they received a message from the First War Zone, saying that Yi Xiao Tian and his Haokian team had arrived there. Sun Wayman finally let go of his worries after half a month, and then he became confused again. Why did Yi Xiao Tian go to the First War Zone instead of going far away? It doesn't make sense. If you want to kill aliens, the nearest 19th War Zone has them. Wasting half a month to go to the First War Zone, does he have any special hobbies? Sun Wayman didn't know whether Yi Xiao Tian had any special hobbies, he only knew that he had to report this news to the commander in chief. Otherwise, this person would go crazy. The task of keeping track of the whereabouts of the Haokian team fell on the shoulders of the Night Watch. If Yi Xiao Tian had any accidents, the first person to be held responsible would be Han Zhan. So during this period, he couldn't eat or sleep well. A great SS level awakener actually lost a lot of weight. What a sin. After hearing Sun Weiman's report, Han Zhan was indeed relieved, but he was also very confused, and said, why did he go far away instead of near? Sun Weiman shouted in his heart, sir, I want to know too. Maybe it's because there are more alien races there. Sun Weiman casually found a reason. Unexpectedly, Han Zhan's eyes lit up and said, yes, it must be this reason. Sun Weiman was shocked and shouted in his heart, brother, I really just said it casually, don't believe it. Han Zhan continued, think about where Yi Xiaotian's advantage is? He is the kind of person who can have an absolute upper hand in large-scale wars. His clone skill has no advantage in a single battle, but in a group battle, it is unique. Think about it again. Han Zhan's face was full of smiles. Sun Weiman was stunned, damn, I just said it casually, is it really right? He felt that Han Zhan's analysis made sense. Yi Xiaotian's skills can play a greater role in larger scale battles. Is killing one alien awakener the same as killing a hundred alien awakeners? Of course they are not. Killing aliens can drop attribute points, obtain alien corpses, and obtain corresponding military merits. It can be said that the harvest is full. Thinking of this, Sun Weiman was a little jealous. With Yi Xiaotian's skill advantage, he can definitely gain countless in a place like the First War Zone. Imagine if he killed 1 million or even 10 million aliens in the First War Zone, how much could he gain? Not to mention attribute points, the alien corpses alone and military merits are already astronomical figures. How many resources can be exchanged? This number is extremely difficult for other Awakeners, but it is very easy for Yi Xiaotian. This is too unfair. Sun Weiman pulled his scalp hard, he was really jealous. He worked hard for decades and climbed to the position of deputy commander of the Night Watch Army. But the military merits he earned are probably not as good as what others get from a battle. This is too unfair. On the other side, Yi Xiaotian and his team used the token to obtain the warrant from the commander of the first battle zone of the third front battlefield of the alien battlefield. With this warrant, their awakening team can come and go freely in the first battle zone. This is the proof of identity. After getting the warrant, Yi Xiaotian and his team came to the battlefield as soon as possible. The closer they got, the stronger the smell of blood rushed into their noses, making their breathing stagnate. They had lived in the alien battlefield for almost a month and had adapted to the environment here. But such a strong smell of blood still made the people of the Haokian team feel a little stuffy. Then there were the deafening shouts of killing. The ground shook, as if a dragon was turning over. In fact, this was just the bombardment of skills, and the movement of the huge bodies of the aliens stepping on the ground. When they climbed up a ridge across the battlefield, a plain that stretched as far as the eye could see appeared in front of them. And on this vast plain, countless awakened people of the human race and awakened people of the alien race fought together. Boundless. The fierce fighting was shocking. For a moment, except Yi Xiaotian, everyone was stunned. They were also considered to have participated in the war. Outside the Jiangnan Bay city, they had also seen the million-strong army of the sea race. 
But at that time, the million-strong army was divided into several groups, and compared with the scale of the battlefield in front of them, it was still not enough. Yi Xiaotian was very excited. As expected, he made the right choice. The first war zone was the largest battlefield in the third front battlefield. Millions, even tens of millions of people were fighting together. Just thinking about it was shocking. But now, they saw it with their own eyes. All they saw was fighting, fighting, and fighting again. There was no rules at all for a battle of this scale. They just had to fight in groups. Chapter, 380 The members of the Houtian team stood on the ridge, their legs trembling. Maybe they were excited. Maybe. Was it scary? But one thing is certain, that is, Yi Xiaotian was definitely excited. With so many alien races, how many talents and skills would they have? How many attribute points would they have? How much life essence would they have? As for the corpses and military merits of the alien races, they were secondary to him. Every time a talent skill was added, Yi Xiaotian's strength would increase by one point. It's a pity that the talents of the sea race are too simple. I don't know if the talents of the alien races are as rich as those of the human race. I think it shouldn't be wrong, after all, all his talents and skills were killed from the alien beasts. So Yi Xiaotian couldn't wait. He needed more attribute points, more life essence, and more talents and skills. He knew very well that after such a big battle, his strength would definitely increase significantly. So he couldn't control himself anymore. Brothers, I'm leaving first, you guys follow the plan. Yi Xiaotian first activated various amplification talents. His aura continued to surge. Then he summoned the second soul. After that, he blessed everyone with amplification skills. The main body and the second soul amplified the four attributes together. Then Yi Xiaotian's main body flew directly to the battlefield. As for the Haotian team, it was left to the second soul to lead. Now, it is no longer a secret that he has the skill of clone. So there is no need to worry about the existence of the second soul. Those who know it are the second soul. Those who don't know it are the clone. There is nothing to say. Huang Jia almost cried, Brother Tian, you are not kind. But fortunately, he now has a set of auxiliary skills, which is not just agility amplification. He can also bless each team member with attack amplification and defense amplification. For example, giving Han Shuyao another thunder type attack power amplification, even if it is only a few times the amplification, it is already very good. Yi Xiaotian did not leave the team of Haotian team, so he could see the countdown of each teammate's auxiliary skills on his reincarnation system attribute panel. Just come back at the right time. Even, with the second soul, he doesn't need to come back. As long as he kills fast enough. Let's go, let's go down quickly, if we go too late, there will be nothing. Yi Xiaotian's main body was not there, and Huang Jie took over the command. This was Yi Xiaotian's special instruction. One is that Huang Jie has such ability, and the other is that he is the only one who is the most idle in the whole team. After hearing this, Huang Jie almost rolled his eyes to the sky. Is this praising me or belittling me? Wang Hao grabbed the big shield and took the lead. After a few jumps, he was already at the foot of the mountain. As for the rest of the people, they can only go by themselves. Leopard 2 Leopard 2 is impossible to appear on the battlefield, at least not now. What if it causes misunderstanding? The Houtian team joined the battlefield without causing any splashes. On this battlefield, there are millions of awakened people from the human race and alien races. The joining of a team is like a drop of water falling into the sea. Yi Xiaotian caused quite a stir. This guy actually flew in the air. Damn, he is so showy, does your mother know? Flying on the battlefield, this behavior of treating oneself as a target is simply too brave. If there is no adjective called seeking death, they almost really worshipped Yi Xiaotian. But what happened next made them stunned. Yi Xiaotian blessed himself with a water defense technique. Isn't he a wind type ability user? How can he also have water type skills? The awakened people below were shocked. 
Is he a dual-talented person? Unexpectedly, this suicidal person is actually a dual-talented genius. But it's a pity that he is so young and suicidal like this. Flying on such a battlefield, it is estimated that he will be greeted by a bunch of skills before flying a few hundred meters. As expected. In the sky, Yi Xiaotian was flying, and then hundreds of strange arts fell on him. Flying high in such a place, who are you looking down on? The awakened people of the human race may think it's nothing. But the awakened people of the alien race will not be spoiled, will they not kill them and keep them for the new year? Young man, hide quickly. Someone below reminded Yi Xiaotian loudly, asking him to dodge the attack quickly. But Yi Xiaotian didn't care and continued to fly. Those hundreds of strange arts fell on him. Many human awakened people below felt sorry in their hearts. What a pity. A double talented awakening genius fell just like that. But how could such a young awakened person run to the alien battlefield? Don't the elders in their family care? Ran here alone to die. However, the scene of Yi Xiaotian being killed and the body falling that they expected did not happen. After those attacks fell on Yi Xiaotian, there was no reaction at all, and he was directly swallowed by the water curtain. What's going on? Such a dense attack, even if they are all the most basic magical skills, has considerable lethality. Even they dare not withstand it. But it had no effect on Yi Xiaotian. He didn't move much, and hundreds of clones fell from the sky. The next scene was even more shocking. Hundreds of clones fell in front of those alien awakeners, and then killed them with one knife, and the clones disappeared. From beginning to end, I don't know if there were two seconds. This is. I thought it was a bronze, but it turned out to be a king. The clown turned out to be me. Damn, where did this great god come from? Hundreds of attacks were not damaged at all, and then he waved his hand and killed hundreds of alien awakeners in seconds. What kind of magical method is this? Could it be that the supreme boss of our side has come? But it's not right. The person flying in the sky is obviously a Xia countryman. There is only one supreme boss in Xia country, that is the sword god. The sword god is not a superpower, but a sword warrior. And the sword god is in charge of the blue star native land, and he didn't come to the alien battlefield. When Yi Xiaotian was far away, they still didn't figure out who this person was. Hundreds of alien awakeners were killed instantly, which made their opponents feel much more relaxed, and they all seized the opportunity to attack the fallen dogs. Originally, these teams were evenly matched. If one person is reduced, the whole team coordination will have loopholes. In a moment, hundreds of alien awakening teams were killed by the human awakening team. The battlefield is so cruel. Any negligence will cost your life. Although Yi Xiaotian only did something he thought was insignificant, he left behind a legend. Chapter 381 Senior, help me. Yi Xiaotian was flying in the air, and continued to move forward. He didn't want to snatch prey from the awakened people of the human race. This is not fair. But he thought so, but the awakened people of the human race didn't think so. They were tired of killing. If it weren't for the belief and the danger of the human race's extinction, they would also want to have a good rest. Now that Yi Xiaotian is so brave, of course they want to ask for help. No matter whether it works or not, give it a try. Yi Xiaotian, who was in the sky, heard it, what, you actually have such a request, then I won't be polite. This is not me snatching the fruits of your labor, but you begging me for help. I'll take the attribute points and military merits, and I'll leave the bodies to you. Yi Xiaotian waved his staff, and his clones fell down one after another, killing the aliens. Suddenly, there were cheers from below. More and more voices for help joined in. Yi Xiaotian seemed to have realized it. It seemed that he wanted to fork at the beginning. They needed help, not humility. What else is there to say? Since that's the case, Yi Xiaotian won't be polite. Countless clones fell, killing the alien awakeners who were with the human awakener team with one knife each. Countless corpses were left behind. Now it was the turn of these human awakeners to be dumbfounded. The people of the two legions were fine. They had discipline. 
All the corpses that had restored the original bodies of the alien beasts were moved back and then registered one by one. Whoever it was belonged to. Although they didn't know Yi Xiaotian's identity now, they would definitely know it after going back to check. After all, human awakeners need to register when they go to the battlefield. But those people in the Free Awakener team scratched their heads. People have already gone far away, what should I do with the corpses of these alien beasts? Leave them here. Obviously not. The senior has ordered that the corpses of the alien beasts belong to each team. Just when they were in trouble, a shout came from the front. Then the shouting became louder and louder, and more and more people shouted. Everyone was shocked. This senior was really generous. Not only did he help them kill the enemy, he even didn't want the corpse of the alien beast. What a favor. Thank you, senior. On the battlefield, shouts resounded through the world. Regardless of age or awakening level, everyone shouted. Wherever Yi Xiaotian passed, the alien race was wiped out. No one doubted Yi Xiaotian's strength, and no one doubted Yi Xiaotian's age. Because of the protection of the water curtain, everyone could only see a vague outline, and could clearly distinguish that it was a human awakener. But the specific appearance was not very clear. Although some strong ones could see clearly that this was a very young awakener. But they instinctively thought that they had seen it wrong. This must be an older senior. Otherwise, how could he have such strength? As Yi Xiaotian moved forward, he killed more and more alien races, and more and more human awakeners joined this ranks. They didn't know who Yi Xiaotian was, but it didn't stop them from thanking him. Yi Xiaotian flew in the sky on a battlefield that stretched as far as the eye could see. The water curtain protected him, and the attacks of the alien awakeners below could not hurt him at all. In such a big melee, the number of high-level awakeners was very small. Even an S-level alien awakener could not break Yi Xiaotian's water curtain protection. This was not only an S-level water defense technique, but also had the amplification of the SS-level water talent water god borrowing method. Not to mention an S-level awakener, even if an SS-level alien awakener came, it would be impossible to break his defense in a short time. So he was not afraid at all, and he moved freely on the battlefield. No alien awakener was a match for his clone. Thousands of alien awakeners fell under the knife of his clone in an instant. Countless human awakeners were stunned. This is too awesome. No matter who it is, just kneel down and lick it. For a while, wherever Yi Xiaotian passed, all the human awakeners knelt down. A large group of them knelt down, and the two tribes in front were stunned. Damn, we are fighting a big war, can we be more serious? They actually knelt down at this time, do they not want to fight anymore, do they want to surrender? Just as this thought came up, they felt that their eyes went black and they were dead. Humans, you have no martial ethics. This was their final realization. Looking at the surge in attribute points, Yi Xiaotian was in a very good mood. Sure enough, a large battlefield can show his advantages to the greatest extent. Although the probability of attribute points dropping for mid-level alien awakeners is very small, the base number is large. And as he went forward, the level of alien awakeners became higher. Attribute points, life essence, talent skills, and military merits. Except for the increase of a few talent skills, the other three items soared. Finally, the aliens noticed Yi Xiaotian's existence. In just half an hour, 100 alien awakeners died in Yi Xiaotian's hands. He was a butcher. The high level awakeners of the alien race were very angry. As a strong man of the human race, you actually slaughtered our low and middle level awakeners here. It was too shameless. After seeing Yi Xiaotian, the SS level awakener of the alien race was stunned. It was just an S level awakener. How could such a human awakener kill so many people on the battlefield? In just half an hour, although there were not many S level alien awakeners who died at the hands of Yi Xiaotian, there were already more than a dozen. Such a loss made the alien race feel a little distressed. Otherwise, the SS level awakener of the alien race would not have come in person. This is a bit embarrassing. He is just an S-level awakener, which is a bit embarrassing. But putting aside whether it is embarrassing or not, 
this guy must die. His lethality is really too strong. If this continues, the aliens in the first war zone must be killed by him. A hundred thousand troops. He only held on for half an hour. How many people will die if he kills here for a day? Even if this number is cut in half, it is not something the alien race can bear. So this alien SS level awakened great power personally took action to stop Yi Xiaotian. What he didn't expect was that Yi Xiaotian used the nightmare skill while confronting him. He simply didn't take the other party seriously. This alien SS level awakened great power was so angry that he screamed and punched one of Yi Xiaotian's clones into slag. Shameless human race, fight me if you have the guts. The other party roared, resounding through the earth. Yi Xiaotian smiled indifferently and said, aren't I fighting with you? Countless clones appeared again, this time they were clones of aliens. And these clones did not pounce on the alien awakeners on the ground. Instead, they raised their staffs and attacked the alien SS level awakeners. Chapter, 382 Human, you have no moral principles. Such a thought flashed through the mind of the SS level awakener of the alien race, and then he was furious. What a fool. You are just an S level awakener, so what if you have more clones? What can you do to me? Most alien races are known for their strong bodies. Only a few can awaken their supernatural talents. Therefore, among alien races, supernatural talents generally have a higher status. The Tiger Awakener in front of him is also famous for his strong body. With his awakening level, even if he stands there and only resists with his body, it is not something that an S-level Awakener can break through. No matter how many there are. Even if the opponent has an SS level or even SS level magic weapon in his hand, it is the same. Without the corresponding strength, even if you have a master level magic weapon, you cannot exert the power you should have. The human race can awaken a talent that increases tenfold, and the awakeners of alien races can naturally do so. This tiger awakener was very confident in his own strength. He stood there and activated his innate skill of increasing physical defense. Just like Yi Xiaotian before, he waited for countless attacks to fall on him, and then he was safe and sound. He had already thought about it. After Yi Xiaotian's round of attack was over, he would taunt him. Only in this way can the self-confidence of the human awakener be hit to the greatest extent. He learned this trick from the human race. Although the human race is very weak, it must be admitted that their brains are really useful. Various strategies emerged one after another, making them unable to defend themselves. If you are not careful, you will be hit again. Twenty years ago, the reason why the alien race had a large-scale civil strife was because of the human race. He is still very clear about this. As an SS-level Tiger Awakener, he is qualified to know many secrets of the tribe. The reason why each race still left a large part of its military force was to prevent the human race from making another move and causing them to fight each other again. The same loss, once is enough, it is stupid to do it again. So this time, there are alien wise men who set a trap for the human race. Judging from the feedback from the heretic organization, the effect is still good. Although it did not fully meet the expectations of the alien wise men, the alien leaders were already very satisfied. He believed that as long as he persisted for a period of time, the collapse of the human race was inevitable. Just as he sneered and mocked Yi Xiaotian's childish fantasy. Suddenly, he felt his strength was draining away, and his majestic body seemed to be shrinking. Even his awakening level seemed to have dropped. Damn it! The Tiger Clan's great power was going crazy. What's going on? He was just an SS level awakener, how could his strength be lost? How could a small S level human awakener on the other side lower his awakening level? This is unreasonable. An extremely empty feeling surged in his heart, and the loss of power in an instant almost made the Tiger Clan mighty unable to stand. At this moment, countless attacks fell on him. To deal with a powerful alien awakener like him, the best way is to use magic. First, the curse skill directly reduced the combat effectiveness of the Tiger Clan Mighty by more than ten times. Then he was beaten by a bunch of water magic. Even if the Tiger Clan Mighty was fierce, he couldn't stand it. 
There is a natural restraint between the superpowers and the warriors. There is no way, the main attributes of the two are just opposite, and the corresponding resistance must not be very good. Yi Xiao Tian seized this weakness and played to his strengths and avoided his weaknesses. Under a series of blows, the Tiger Clan mighty fell directly from a high altitude to the ground, smashing a huge deep pit. A real meteorite fell. Everyone was dumbfounded. The awakened people of the human and alien races forgot to take action at this moment. Originally thought it would be a battle that lasted for several days, and even they emptied the battlefield for the two. But the reality gave them a hard slap in the face. A powerful alien awakener. In the past, they could only look up to him, and a sneeze could kill them. He was defeated just like that. Apart from the huge pit that was smashed, there was really no big movement. Generally speaking, the battles between awakeners of this powerful level are time-consuming and destructive. It is not surprising to fight for several days and nights. It is not surprising to punch a hole in the area of 10,000 miles. But the battle in front of them shattered their three views. A tiger clan powerful, just gone like that? No way. The awakened people of the human race couldn't believe it. The awakened people of the alien race were more devastated than the death of their parents. Could it be that the supreme of the human race joined the battlefield? It is impossible. If the supreme power really joined, the tiger clan powerful would have discovered it long ago, and it is impossible for them to be stupid and bear it. Moreover, tiger commander said that this human was only an S-level awakener. An S-level awakener of the human race defeated their SS-level awakener in one round. This is Tiger Commander. One of the three commanders in this war zone is gone just like that. Just when they were all confused, their Tiger Commander climbed out of the giant pit with his head shaking. He restored his true form, and a giant tiger hundreds of meters long and hundreds of meters tall appeared in front of them. It roared to the sky, staring at Yi Xiaotian with a pair of copper bell-sized eyes, almost spitting fire. Damn, it almost capsized in the gutter. It was a great shame that a tiger commander was beaten into this state by a human s level awakener. Human, I will cut you into pieces. The giant tiger roared again. When the alien awakeners saw their tiger commander stand up again, they immediately cheered loudly. But the giant tiger's face was not very good. Such an embarrassing scene of it was actually seen by so many subordinates. Once it was spread out, it would be a lifetime of shame. Only by cutting Yi Xiaotian into pieces can this shame be washed away. But just after it finished its heroic words, a hundred-foot-long water dragon appeared with a dragon roar, and slapped the giant tiger away with a slap. Then the giant tiger was pressed to the ground and beaten violently by the dragon. This must be an illusion, it is definitely not real. Ah, it hurts, why are you pinching me? Suddenly, a human awakener cried out in pain, breaking the atmosphere. I want to see if I'm dreaming. Said his teammate. Yes, everyone thought they were dreaming. No one dared to believe it was real. A human awakener used the water dragon, technique to press an SS level tiger to the ground. Such a scene, let alone seeing it with your own eyes, even thinking about it is unimaginable. Is this something that a human awakener can do? No, the supreme power may be able to do it. But are they qualified to see such a thing? Chapter, 383 The water dragon summoned by Yi Xiaotian with his magic technique directly pinned the SS-level tiger clan power to the ground and beat him up, making the two clans of awakened warriors dumbfounded. What exactly is going on? Is this something they can see? Can an S-level awakener be able to grasp this kind of thing? Well, not only did they grasp it, but they also succeeded. They didn't understand how many secrets there were, but they knew one thing. That means Yi Xiaotian wins. A human S-level awakener actually crushed an SS-level foreign power. This kind of thing exploded immediately. The morale of the human awakening warriors has been raised to the top. They continued to fight, suppressing the alien awakened warriors and fighting all the way. At this moment, the combat effectiveness of all human awakened warriors has invisibly increased by several levels. All the foreign awakened warriors were stunned. This unscientific. 
Why did the mighty tiger clan of my own family fail? Why do the awakened people of the human race suddenly seem to have been injected with chicken blood? Is this the end of the day? This is leadership on the battlefield. Once one side achieves a certain victory in advantage, it will boost the morale of the entire team. For example, for ancient fighting generals, winning or losing had a great impact on the morale of the army. Many times it can play a decisive role. Even being at a disadvantage can turn into an advantage in an instant, and finally turn the tables against the wind. The human race has always been in a weak position in this battle. The giant tiger was pinned to the ground by the water dragon and roared repeatedly, but it could only be incompetent and furious. Its power and powerful body are not enough in front of the water dragon. Of course, what makes it most frustrating is its strength. Even the good ones have been weakened ten times. Is there any justice in this? It still hasn't figured out what's going on. Of course it doesn't believe that Yi Xiaotian did it. It is impossible for an S-class human awakener to have such ability. The last person who didn't believe it was the Kanglin Dragon, an SS-level awakened person from the Sea Tribe. The grass on its grave was now over three feet long. There was another dragon roar. Another water dragon formed by condensed water magic appeared and joined in the beating of the giant tiger. The giant tiger was stunned. Human being, you don't have martial ethics. But it's also strange. A skill like water dragon, will probably consume two-thirds of your mental power once it's used. This guy doesn't even know how to use his mental energy sparingly. It also knew that there was a shortcut for Yi Xiaotian to restore his mental strength and energy. Unless you are physically and mentally exhausted from a long battle, it will take time to slowly recover. With his current physique and mental attributes, and with the fighting style of a superhuman, he would have no problem fighting continuously for 10 or 20 days. It's a bit wasteful to fight two giant dragons against one giant tiger, but it's worth it and can save time. For Yi Xiaotian, time is the most precious thing. As for energy types such as mental power and blood power, it really doesn't matter. One attribute point can resurrect with full health. I have to say that his plug-in is indeed a bit outrageous. The two giant dragons beat each other violently, and the giant tiger's voice became weaker and weaker. Finally there was no sound. Yi Xiaotian fell to the ground and looked at the giant tiger that was no longer moving in the giant pit. In fact, the giant tiger was not dead, but was seriously injured and still had his last breath left. Two giant dragons were guarding the surroundings and did not disperse. Isolated from curious eyes who wanted to find out. Yi Xiaotian tried to use spirit seed technique on the giant tiger. But failed. His spirit seed technique is only S level and has no effect on SS level ones, even if he only has his last breath left at this moment. That's the rule. So Yi Xiaotian either gave up or raised the spirit planting technique to a higher level. It's just that strengthening the talent skill from S level to SS level requires 100 million life essence, so he was a little hesitant. After hesitating for a second, Yi Xiaotian finally decided to strengthen. The life essence he had just accumulated was emptied again, which made Yi Xiaotian a little depressed. But thinking that he would soon be able to harvest an SS level spiritual pet, his mood improved again. A spirit seed technique penetrated the giant tiger's soul, and then took it back into the spiritual pet space. In the eyes of outsiders, Yi Xiaotian killed the giant tiger and then put its body into the reincarnation space. The harvest brought to Yi Xiaotian by just this corpse can be worth the income of their first war zone for a whole year. But envy is envy, and they won't learn it. This kind of thing cannot be compared. Otherwise you'll get mad. It's like no one considers how much the supreme power can earn in a year. There is no comparison, it hurts your self-esteem. Yi Xiaotian did not stop, but continued to hunt the alien awakeners. His attribute points are constantly rising, and this rising trend makes him very happy. In the previous half hour, his surrounding attributes had already been accounted for more than 50 zero zero points. According to this calculation. At the end of the day, he can at least acquire 1 million surrounding attributes. This is not an increase in a single attribute, but an increase in all four attributes together. 
In less than 10 days, he can be promoted to SS level awakened person. Of course, the premise is that there are so many aliens in the first war zone for him to kill. After all, the aliens are not fools. Once they find out about Yi Xiaoqian's hunting method, they will definitely not send people to die. Everyone knows that killing the other awakeners can improve the awakening level. This way of sending heads is completely helping the enemy. So Yi Xiaotian has to improve more before the aliens react. But it's good that the aliens retreat, and the human race can breathe a sigh of relief. In any case, Yi Xiaotian is the winner. Thinking of this, he killed more vigorously. And his four attributes gradually broke through three million points. This has reached the top of the S-level beginner awakener. Going forward is the S-level mid-level awakener. Generally speaking, a normal awakener wants to upgrade from the S-level beginner to the S-level mid-level, at least a few years, at most decades, and the unlucky ones can't get through it for a lifetime. Yi Xiaotian achieved this achievement in one day. On the other side of the alien general's tent, after receiving the news, the remaining two generals were dumbfounded. How long has Tiger General been out, and he's gone? They quickly discussed how to deal with the crisis in front of them. And the first war zone's general's tent also received this news. When Sun Weiman saw this news, his first reaction was disbelief. An SS-level awakened great power participated in the war. It's unlikely. The SS-level awakened great powers of both sides are in the open, and they haven't been deployed. How come a tiger great power fell on the alien side? He quickly reported this news to Han Zhan and Du Qingwu. Chapter 384 Du Qingwu and Han Zhan, the two core commanders, were also stunned after hearing Sun Weiman's report. Deputy Commander Sun, are you kidding us? After a while, Du Qingwu was the first to wake up and asked repeatedly. Sun Weiman also said helplessly, although it is outrageous, Commander Du, this is true. Du Qingwu was speechless. Although they thought that Yi Xiaotian's arrival could help. But they didn't expect it to be so fast. Yi Xiaotian had just joined the battle and had killed hundreds of thousands of awakened aliens, and then killed an SS-level Tiger Clan master. This is much more efficient than theirs. Both of them are high-level SS-level awakened people. On this battlefield, they can really be said to be top masters. But in terms of efficiency, they can't catch up with Yi Xiaotian. Well, they also expected this. After all, he did this when he was on Blue Star, so there was nothing surprising. What surprised them was the Tiger Clan Master. That was an existence that even they dared not underestimate. As a result, Yi Xiaotian solved it in a few strokes without any trouble. He used the Water Dragon, technique twice, summoned two water dragons, and directly pinned the alien tiger commander to the ground and beat him to death. They would never have thought of such a method. It was too brutal to beat a powerful alien awakener to death. Even they felt terrified. They gave due respect to opponents of the same level. But Yi Xiaotian used this method. Yi Xiaotian, do you have such strength? Han Zhan said, he was only an S-level awakener. Even an S-level high-level awakener has a huge gap in strength with an SS-level primary awakener. In addition to the difference in attribute points, there is also the effect of the awakening level on the talent. For high-level awakeners, a 1% increase is a very large difference. Generally speaking, an S-level awakener has no chance of winning against an SS-level awakener. After all, those who can be promoted to SS-level awakeners have a talent grade of at least SS-level, and most of them are SS-level talent awakeners. So if an S-level awakener wants to turn the tables in front of an SS-level awakener, the success rate is basically zero. Of course, if the S-level awakener has team help, and the SS-level awakener has no team support. Now Yi Xiaotian seems to have an all-round support. Not only can he increase his own strength 10 or 100 times, but he can also reduce the enemy's strength by more than 10 times. With one increase and one decrease, the gap between them is huge. However, in the eyes of Du Qingwu and Han Zhan, and even in the eyes of other human and alien awakeners, Yi Xiaotian did not bring a team, and he killed the Tiger Clan master alone. The Tiger Commander of the Alien Army in the First War Zone 
This alien master who pressured the entire first war zone is gone. After confirming that there was no problem with the news, Du Qingwu and Han Zhan both breathed a sigh of relief. In any case, after getting rid of such a master of the alien race, the human race in the first war zone has gained a certain advantage in the top combat power level. Before, they have always been at a disadvantage in terms of high-end combat power, which makes them very worried. Once the general attack is launched, will the human race be unable to stop it? Now, with the addition of Yi Shao Tian, everything is solved. This Yi Shao Tian really gave them too many surprises. There is no need to worry about the first war zone, how to solve the remaining war zones. This is the problem they have to consider. No, the news from the Blue Star mainland said that the Si clan master was killed by Yi Shao Tian with a knife. Suddenly, Du Qingwu seemed to remember something. Han Zhan was stunned. Du Qingwu didn't say it, and he actually ignored this problem. Then he looked at Sun Weiman. Sun Weiman replied, it seems that the news from Blue Star said so. How is this possible? Du Qingwu and Han Zhan didn't quite believe it. Sun Weiman quickly confirmed it, and then replied again, two commanders-in-chief, the news is indeed true. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan looked at each other, and their three views were refreshed again, shattered. It's not that you can't practice both. But a person's energy is limited. With so many attribute points, of course the main attribute is the first choice. Yi Xiaotian's awakening level has been incredibly fast. Now come this dual cultivation of different martial arts, this is not going to let people live. The most outrageous thing is that Yi Xiaotian can not only kill SS level C clan masters in martial arts. He can also kill a tiger clan master as a superpower. This is so powerful, how can you let us live? At this moment, Du Qingwu and Han Zhan both felt a little bit in their hearts. We have lived like dogs for so many years. As for Sun Weiman, he stood there obediently, waiting for the orders from the two bosses. In fact, his mind was a little satisfied at the moment. Their current knowledge reserves were no longer enough to explain the impact caused by Yi Xiaotian. It can only be said that this is the biological son of the will of reincarnation. No, biological sons probably don't have this kind of thing, this should be the biological father. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan felt a little unbalanced. It was too bullying. I have never seen anything like this. But, forget it, who made him a human? I just want to say, give me a dozen of such geniuses. Fortunately, he is a human. Han Zhan sighed. Du Qingwu also sighed, yes, fortunately he is a human, fortunately he is a Xia nationality. Han Zhan looked at him and nodded in agreement, yes, fortunately he is a Xia nationality. Xia has a sword god, which can make Xia one of the five major powers. But if Yi Xiaotian can fully grow up, then Xia can become the only superpower on Blue Star. As the only country with two supreme awakeners, Xia's prestige will be unparalleled. At that time, who dares to stop Xia from forming the Yanhuang Alliance? Why is the United States the first on Blue Star now? It is because they formed the United States Alliance, absorbed the power of surrounding countries, and strengthened their own strength. As long as Yi Xiaotian can grow up, he doesn't need to speak, everyone will know what to do. The two commanders-in-chief had mixed feelings, happy and depressed. It's not like they haven't seen geniuses before. In fact, they were geniuses themselves back then. But compared to Yi Xiaotian, these geniuses are too worthless. It's both lucky and unfortunate to be in the same period as someone like Yi Xiaotian. Chapter 385 Yi Xiaotian's hunting continued. Soon, the remaining two alien marshals issued an order to withdraw. They had to withdraw. If they continued like this, all their men would die. Where did this damn guy come from? They ordered to investigate and find out the identity of the other party. If it wasn't the supreme strongman who took action, they wouldn't be able to invite the supreme level masters to deal with it. If this rule was really broken, it would be hard to say which side would suffer more. But for those non-supreme strongmen, they naturally hoped that the strongmen of that level would never take action. After all, once the strongmen of that level took action, the situation would not be under their control. 
In other words, the power in their hands would be gone. Moreover, their lives could be in danger at any time. After all, no one knew when the strongmen of that level would take action against them. So both the human race and the alien race did not want the supreme level strongmen to take action. Their existence is at most a deterrent, letting both sides understand that we all have such strong people, so we should be careful. Once a strong person of that level goes crazy, it is very terrifying. Although the aliens are very arrogant, they dare not underestimate the supreme strong people. Even if they want to occupy Blue Star, they must act according to the rules. If you really piss off the supremes of the human race, they will not play with you and will kill into the alien space plane. When the five of them join forces, no race can resist. So no matter how much hatred or resentment the two races have, no one can say anything if they act within the rules. Even if they lose in the end and the race is destroyed, they have to admit it. The reason for this rule. Or because the supreme level strong people have surpassed the level of ordinary awakeners, and their lives have leaped to another height. In layman's terms, they have all become gods. It is too difficult to kill a strong person of this level. Once failed, the backlash is too great. So neither side dared to take the lead in proposing such a plan. Everyone wants to be a hunter, but no one dares to do it. So the two alien commanders wisely chose to withdraw their troops. Yi Xiao Tian felt it was a pity to see the aliens withdraw their troops. But he has already gained a lot now, and he can't force the aliens too much. His current strategy is to accumulate strength. So after the aliens withdrew their troops, he also took his team back to the war zone camp. Brother Tian, what should we do next? What if the aliens don't send troops for a long time? Huang Jia asked Yi Xiao Tian. They also gained a lot in this battle. In addition to the corpses and military merits of the aliens, the biggest gain is of course the attribute points. Although their gains are far less than Yi Xiaotian's, compared with other awakeners, it is already a huge amount. This battle is a gain of thousands of attribute points. What's the difference between this and riding a rocket? So they are also very excited at the moment, and they wish there would be a few more such battles. Yi Xiaotian casually said, the battle here is over, we have to rush to the next one. Everyone was stunned and a little bit unresponsive. Yi Xiaotian said, you don't want to stay here forever, do you? Of course we will move to another place after each shot. It's a waste of time to stay here. After that, Yi Xiaotian directly got Leopard 2 out, then held Han Xuyao and sat on it, and said to everyone, are you going to sit and walk, or walk by yourself? Others quickly got on the back of Leopard 2. What a joke, of course they sat on Leopard 2 to hurry. The speed of Leopard 2 is absolutely unparalleled. Only by riding on the road can they conserve their energy and wait until they reach the battlefield to immediately engage in battle. So Yi Xiao Tian and his men immediately rushed to the second war zone. When they arrived at the second war zone, they went to meet the commander of the second war zone. When the commander of the second war zone heard that Yi Xiao Tian was coming, he was confused at first, and then excited. This is the great god Houtian. It is said that he went to the first war zone, and then the aliens in the first war zone withdrew their troops. Damn, he said that this matter had nothing to do with him, and he would never believe it. Ordinary soldiers don't know, but they know. Before, they were envious of the first war zone, wondering if there was a way to get the great god Houtian to their war zone to help. Unexpectedly, before they came up with a solution, the great god Houtian had already come. The commander of the second war zone saw Yi Xiao Tian and said nothing. He directly threw him an identity certificate and said that the great god could do as he pleased. Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised, but he felt it was reasonable. Although these war zones were far apart, the news was connected. The news from the first war zone must have spread here. What he has to do now is to make a fortune before the aliens react. So Yi Xiao Tian didn't say anything and took his team to repeat the battle in the first war zone. But unfortunately, the aliens did not send a great commander this time. After leaving behind more than 200 corpses of aliens, they immediately withdrew their troops. The aliens were not fools. After losing more than 200 troops, they finally realized that the killer from the first war zone had arrived. 
so they quickly withdrew their troops and thought of countermeasures. But they estimated that after withdrawing, the god of killing would go to the next war zone. Sure enough, within a few days, they received news from the third war zone that the god of killing had indeed gone there. The aliens did not withdraw their troops in advance because Yi Xiaotian had killed several war zones in a row. It was not that they were not well informed, but that different races were in charge of the major war zones on the alien side. Hundreds of thousands of people died on my side, but none of them died on your side. Is this fair? Of course it is not fair. So under this mentality. Although the war zones behind heard about Yi Xiaotian, they did not withdraw their troops immediately. After Yi Xiaotian came here and witnessed Yi Xiaotian's lethality with his own eyes, they decided to withdraw their troops. Then they put pressure on the heretic organization at the same time, and they must dig out Yi Xiaotian's identity. This guy is too destructive. If he is not killed, the aliens will simply stop the war. Or, simply launch a war of gods. Yi Xiaotian made a big noise in the third battlefield. Not only did the base camp know about it, but also several supreme masters of the human race knew about it. After they knew about it, they were very happy at first, and then began to make arrangements. The god war may not happen. But there is no guarantee that the supreme masters of the alien race will not personally attack Yi Xiaotian. Once Yi Xiaotian dies, can the human race really launch a god war? So it is better not to let this happen. In addition to the two supreme masters who were stationed in the first and second battlefields, the remaining two supreme masters who were patrolling were called back to take turns to protect Yi Xiaotian's safety. Of course, Yi Xiaotian didn't know about these things. He is very satisfied now. The gains from this trip to the alien battlefield are off the charts. Chapter 386 Not many talents have been added. Actually, it can't be said that there are not many, but most of them are repetitive, so they are directly covered by high-grade ones. The only talent that really caught Yi Xiaotian's eye was the A-level talent True Body. This talent is common to all alien races, and the frequency of dropping is also the highest. The function of this alien talent is to restore the True Body and greatly increase combat effectiveness. After Yi Xiaotian obtained this talent, he can change the size of his body to improve the combat effectiveness of his physical body. The effect is similar to the legendary law of heaven and earth. Yi Xiaotian is very interested in this talent and is going to strengthen it first, and then test how much combat effectiveness can be improved. Law of Heaven and Earth This is a magical power in myths and legends. The effect is absolutely awesome. He can't wait. Then there are the attribute points. The four attributes have exceeded four million and reached about four and a half million. It doesn't seem to be too difficult to upgrade to SS level Awakener. His friend's physical attributes have also reached the standard of A level Awakeners, but they have not had time to upgrade to the dungeon. As for the life essence, it is also rushing towards the number of 100 million. Yi Xiaotian did not hesitate to strengthen true body, by one level, reaching S level. As for whether to continue to strengthen it, it depends on the effect of the skill true body. The camp of the seventh war zone. Yi Xiaotian and his teammate rest here. Just after coming down from the battlefield, the aliens have withdrawn their troops. The commander of the seventh war zone almost treated Yi Xiaotian like a god. Now, they can finally breathe a sigh of relief and let the soldiers below have a good rest. This war has been going on for more than two months and has never stopped. No matter how big or small, there are battles every day. Let them not dare to relax for a moment. This string is too tight and has been stretched for a long time. Sooner or later, there will be problems. They had long wanted to let their awakened ones take a rest, but this was originally the strategy of the aliens, so how could they let them do as they wished? Now, because of Yi Xiaotian's appearance, the aliens were beaten and retreated. Student Haotian, you must stay here for a few more days so that we can entertain you well. The commander of the Seventh War Zone said. Yi Xiaotian said, Seventh Commander, I'm sorry, we don't have time. We have to seize the time and rush to the Eighth War Zone. Seventh Commander. Are you in such a hurry? It has been so many days, don't you need to take a rest? 
He knew that since the first war zone, Yi Xiao Tian has not rested. He rushed on the road after killing, and started fighting as soon as he arrived. He had no extra time to rest. And we have mounts to travel, so we can rest on the road, so thank you for your kindness, 7th Commander. Yi Xiao Tian said. After hearing this, 7th Commander couldn't say anything else. After all, the days in other war zones are not easy, and it is naturally good for Yi Xiao Tian to rush over to help earlier. He was just worried that if Yi Xiao Tian kept fighting at such a high intensity, his body would have problems. Since they could rest on the road, there would be no problem. On Leopard 2's back, Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian, we have all reached the standard for promotion, and the main attributes have been locked and cannot be improved. When will we play the promotion dungeon? The highest four attributes of a B-level Awakener are 100, 0, 0 points. This is also the minimum standard for reaching an A-level Awakener. Only after passing the promotion dungeon can they continue to improve their attribute points. If they cannot pass the promotion dungeon, the attribute will be locked. When we get to the 8th war zone, you will go through the promotion dungeon in the camp, and I will go to kill the aliens. Yi Xiao Tian said casually. When the others heard it, although they felt a little pity, they also thought it was a good idea. After seven consecutive war zones, they really realized that the situation on the human camp side was indeed not optimistic. If Yi Xiao Tian had taken action earlier, he could have freed the soldiers in the 8th war zone earlier and let them get more rest time. The 8th commander of the 8th war zone was eagerly waiting. He had received news from the 7th commander that Yi Xiao Tian had arrived. According to the distance between the two war zones, it would only take half an hour for Yi Xiao Tian to come here. It was only a few hundred kilometers away. This was the speed of Leopard 2. Although he knew that Yi Xiao Tian and his team would be there soon, the 8th commander was still very worried, fearing that something would go wrong in the middle. Fortunately, Yi Xiao Tian and his team arrived without any surprises or dangers. At the same time, the alien base camp was also holding a meeting in full swing. Seven war zones in the third war zone have already ceased fighting. In my opinion, the eighth war zone is expected to cease fighting soon. A powerful alien said. This is the worst news they have received since the war began. Or, since the war began, all they have received are good news. But since Yi Xiao Tian came, bad news has come one after another. Up to now, they have not figured out who this guy is who caused their alien race to withdraw troops from seven war zones in a row. But what is certain is that the other party is not a supreme strongman. They have already made two plans. While investigating Yi Xiao Tian's identity, he asked the Supreme Strongman to prepare to kill Yi Xiao Tian. How did those lowly humans do it? It has been so many days, and there is no news. I have said that humans are unreliable. Said another alien powerful. Everyone was silent for a while. Although the aliens have a bad temper. But at their level, they are already past the age of being bad tempered. Unless it really touches their vital interests. But it is obvious that what Yi Xiao Tian has done now has not reached this level. Now we can only say that Yi Xiao Tian's actions have made them lose a little face. After all, the aliens actually retreated on the battlefield. This has never happened before. Alien warriors would rather die than retreat. The last time they were driven back to the alien space plane by the human race, it was not because they really couldn't beat the human race, but because they had to go back to protect their nest because of the internal chaos. This time, they actually withdrew from the front battlefield. This has always been something that only humans would do. How embarrassing! At this moment, a Leopard Awakener came in and whispered to a Leopard Great Power. Soon, the Leopard Awakener went out, and the Leopard Great Power said loudly, There is news, that mysterious strong man is the genius of the human race, Reincarnation I.D. Houtian. It's him, he must be killed. As soon as the leopard great power finished speaking, a shout of killing rang out. Chapter, 387 The aliens finally confirmed Yi Xiaotian's identity. Then they unanimously requested to send out the supreme level bosses to kill Yi Xiaotian. And now Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts seemed to be easy to investigate. This guy, almost without exception, went straight from the first war zone to the seventh war zone, all the way. 
At this time, another Leopard Awakener came in and reported loudly, report, just received news that the 8th War Zone lost 300-00 Awakeners, and the three commanders of the 8th War Zone have ordered the withdrawal of troops. There are really no exceptions, from the 1st War Zone to the 8th War Zone. Next, Yi Xiaotian will go to the 9th War Zone. Do we need to notify the 9th War Zone and the other War Zones to cease fire first? In the conference room, after a period of silence, an alien mighty asked. No, if we stop all the war zones behind, where can we find Haokin? Said an alien mighty. Yes, if all the wars stopped, then Yi Xiaotian would definitely hide in the base camp of the human awakeners and not come out. That's right, we just want to take advantage of Haokin's time outside to kill him, so that the human race can't catch any handle on us. For a while, everyone expressed their opinions. In order to kill Yi Xiaotian, no matter how much it costs, it is worth it. After all, Yi Xiaotian's growth rate is too amazing. It's not that they didn't try to kill Yi Xiaotian before, but unfortunately, every action ended in failure. According to the feedback from the Heretic Organization, the Heretic Organization suffered heavy losses. But Yi Xiaotian was not hurt at all. Even under the pursuit of the Heretic Organization, Yi Xiaotian's strength became stronger and stronger. In the most amazing battle on the Blue Star mainland, he killed an SS level C clan Kanglin dragon alone. If it was before the war in the first war zone, they would definitely sneer at the last news. But after Tiger General was killed by Yi Xiaotian, they had to admit that Yi Xiaotian really had this strength. Here comes the point. Yi Xiaotian, whose actual combat power exceeds that of SS level, is actually a little guy who has awakened for less than a year. No one can guarantee how much this guy will grow after he grows up. Even in the internal evaluation of the alien race, Yi Xiaotian's threat is even greater than the five supreme beings of the human race. It is an object that must be killed. They once placed their hopes on the heretic organization. After all, the heretic organization has helped them successfully kill many super geniuses of the human race. This time, they also have the same expectations. The result made them fail. Now, they need to do it themselves. We have notified our supreme strongman to take action, but I don't know if it will succeed. The leopard race is one of the fastest races among the alien races. It is the most suitable as an intelligence officer. With their ability, it is naturally the fastest to transmit information. Although they have already guessed Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts, no one can guarantee that there is no supreme strongman protecting Yi Xiaotian. Once the two sides start fighting, uncontrollable situations may occur. Even, a war of gods will happen in the end. Even if a war of gods happens, we must take this opportunity to kill Yi Xiaotian. This is a great opportunity. In the Eighth War Zone, Yi Xiaotian withdrew his troops and returned to the camp, receiving the highest standard of reception. If it weren't for Han Xuyao and the others who were still going through the promotion copy, he would not have stayed to waste time. Mr. Haotian, you are worthy of you. All of us in the Eighth War Zone have to thank you. On behalf of the soldiers of the Eighth War Zone, I toast you a glass. The Eighth Commander raised the glass and drank it very straightforwardly. Yi Xiaotian was a little entangled. Should he drink this wine or not? Seeing this, the Eighth Commander said, Mr. Haotian, you can do whatever you want. Yi Xiaotian said, Eighth Commander, I'm sorry, I've never drunk alcohol, so. The Eighth Commander said with a smile, I understand. Mr. Haotian just graduated from school, it's normal that he hasn't drunk alcohol. Everyone seemed to have overlooked one thing before, that is, Yi Xiaotian's age. Now they remembered that Yi Xiaotian was still a teenager under 20 years old. It's very normal that he hasn't drunk alcohol. Unlike them, they are in the midst of killing all year round and need alcohol from time to time to relieve stress. All of them are almost like wine jars. Yi Xiaotian picked up the wine glass and took a sip gently. The smell is very strong. In his previous life, he was a teetotaler. He was even a little allergic to alcohol. Naturally, he didn't like alcohol. In his new life, he never thought about drinking alcohol before. When they ate barbecue before, Wang Hao and Huang Jia would drink wine. Only Yi Xiaotian didn't drink a drop of alcohol. 
At first, Wang Hao and Huang Jia would try to persuade him. But after a long time, they also understood that no one could force Yi Xiaotian to make a decision. Now that he can take a sip of wine, he has given the 8th commander a lot of face. Seeing Yi Xiaotian frowning, the 8th commander quickly asked someone to bring tea and drinks. Mr. Haotian, I'm sorry, we didn't know you don't drink. You can have tea and drinks as you like, or if you have anything you want to drink, you can ask for it. The 8th commander said apologetically. Yi Xiaotian said, it's okay, I'll just drink some tea. While drinking tea, he chatted perfunctorily with the 8th commander and the others. It would be too humiliating not to participate in such an occasion, but he would feel uncomfortable if he participated. Although Sister Hong had told him many times to learn how to deal with such things. But he was still not used to it and had always been resistant in his heart. Probably because he stayed at home for too long in his previous life. In this life, he focused on improving his strength, so he had no chance to adjust. Fortunately, he was saved soon. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were the first to come out. The two young men from big families were too good at socializing. Especially Peng Xiangyu, who was a veteran in the field. Xiao Cheng was more restrained. Then came Chang Xiaoxi. She was only a defensive type. If she was an offensive type, she would be the first to succeed. Then came Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. Then came Wang Hao. Finally came Sun Yao and Huang Jie. Although the two assistants were a little slow, they were safe. With the addition of these people, the 8th commander and his men finally didn't have to feel embarrassed. When facing Yi Xiaotian, they didn't even know where to flatter him. This person's personality was too cold. A grand feast, both the host and the guests were happy. Yi Xiaotian took the opportunity to propose to continue their journey. The eighth commander couldn't stay. You can't just solve the problem here and then stop people from leaving. There are still so many war zones waiting for Yi Xiaotian to help. As a war zone commander, he knows too well the current situation of other colleagues. He dreams of reinforcements coming to help. They need time to recuperate. Chapter 388 Stop On the way to the ninth war zone, Yi Xiaotian stopped Leopard 2. What's wrong? Han Xuyao beside him felt Yi Xiaotian's nervousness at the first time. Yi Xiaotian said solemnly, There is murderous aura. Murderous aura. Han Xuyao was stunned. She had only heard of this kind of thing and had never really felt it. She couldn't feel it before, but now she is also an A-level awakener. In theory, she can also feel it. It's just obvious that the object emitting murderous aura is of a very high level. And the breath is very weak, so Han Xuyao and the others didn't feel it. They didn't feel it, but Yi Xiaotian felt it. He didn't hesitate and immediately took out the staff, summoned the second soul, and then blessed all the amplification skills. After blessing Leopard 2 with a water curtain, skill, he told Leopard 2 to stay where he was, and then flew forward. Brother Tian, where are you going? Han Xuya was anxious. Yi Xiaotian said, Leopard 2, you take them to continue on their journey, Xuyao, remember, don't stop, go directly to the ninth war zone, with the second soul, I can return to you in an instant. Intuition told Yi Xiaotian that the enemy this time was very strong. So he didn't dare to be careless and sent Han Xuyao and the others away directly. And he also deliberately called out the second soul, which could save his life at a critical moment. Leopard 2 drove everyone to the ninth war zone, and Yi Xiaotian walked towards the place where the murderous aura was emitted. He didn't walk too fast, just at his own pace. Just let Han Xuyao and the others leave. Fortunately, the other party's target was him, and he didn't care whether Han Xuyao and the others left. Soon, Yi Xiaotian saw the other party. Is this a human? Seeing the other party, Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. Originally, he thought it was a master sent by the alien race, but now looking at the other party, there is no obvious sign of the alien race. The other party is a standard human in both appearance and clothing. Senior, who are you? Yi Xiaotian thought that the Qian family had sent assassins again, and he felt a little regretful that he had not dealt with these guys earlier. Originally, 
he thought that at this critical moment, keeping the Qian family could help the human race resist the attack of the Si clan. It seems that these guys are not determined to die. Yi Xiaotian. The other party did not answer Yi Xiaotian's question, but asked in an inquiring tone. Yi Xiaotian nodded. It was pointless to deny it at this time. They must have investigated and knew what they looked like to find this place. Otherwise, why would they wait here specifically? Reincarnation ID Houtian. The other party asked again. Yi Xiaotian nodded again and said, Who are you? My name is Hu Jiu. The other party replied. Hu Jiu. Not Hu Jiu. It's an alien race. Yi Xiaotian's mind was instantly shocked. Alien race, the appearance is exactly the same as humans, then there is only one explanation, the other party is the supreme power of the alien race. I have heard that the supreme masters of the alien race look no different from humans. The reason why Yi Xiaotian didn't think about it at first was because he didn't believe that the alien race would really send a supreme master to attack. Isn't this breaking the rules? Isn't the other party afraid of a war of gods? However, after a little thought, he suddenly realized that if an awakener like himself appeared in the alien race, I am afraid that the human race would get rid of him at all costs. Hu Jiu said, the tiger clan master who died in your hands before was a younger generation of my clan. Yi Xiaotian said, senior tiger, aren't you afraid of causing a war of gods? Hu Jiu said, no one wants a war of gods, but it doesn't matter to kill you. Yi Xiaotian was shocked. Sure enough, the other party would do anything to get rid of him. Even if a war of gods really happened in the end, he would do it. Hu Jiu said, no need to talk nonsense, your friends have left, and I have no interest in them. Of course, if you don't listen, I will kill them first. Now, I'll give you a chance and let you have three moves. It's my respect for Houtian's reincarnation ID. Yi Xiaotian wanted to scold him, what is this? Is he both a master and a hero? Are all aliens so shameless? You are a supreme power, but you actually personally take action against me, an S-level awakener. Where is your face as a supreme power? But being targeted by such a strong man, Yi Xiaotian is also very clear that running is definitely useless. Han Xuyao and the others are still there. If this guy really disregards his identity and attacks Han Xuyao and the others, there is really no chance at all. At least he has to delay time, and when Han Xuyao arrives at the Ninth War Zone, he will be fine for the time being. No matter how Hu Jiu disregards the rules, he will not directly kill into the Ninth War Zone. Hu Jiu can fight a god to kill him, but for Han Xuyao and the others, he will definitely not. In that case, then don't be polite. Let's try and see how big the gap is between me and the Supreme Strongman. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how strong he was in the end. After all, he had never really used all his strength. Yi Xiaotian waved his staff, and a water dragon appeared and pounced towards Hu Jiu. But Hu Jiu stood there, with a faint light on his body. One water dragon after another hit him, and he raised his fist and punched a little kid. The water dragon was broken up and the water fell to the ground. The water dragon technique that pressed the tiger clan mighty to the ground was like a chick in front of Hujo. Not to mention attack, it was completely useless. Defense was also not good, and was beaten down by Hujo one by one. Yi Xiaotian was shocked. He is indeed a supreme powerhouse. It is said that supreme powerhouses have become gods, and they are completely different from other awakened people. Now it seems that this is true. Of course, there should also be a reason why Hu Jiu's strength was not weakened. The Tiger Clan Mighty was beaten violently because his strength was weakened by more than ten times by Yi Xiaotian's curse skill. But facing a supreme powerhouse like Hu Jiu, his curse skill is invalid. This is the rule of reincarnation. Talent grade and awakening level have unshakable iron laws. It is really that the life essence required to strengthen the talent from SS level to SS level is too much, 1 billion. Yi Xiaotian has not earned enough life essence since he became an awakened person. If he could kill dozens of battle zones in the third battlefield, he might be able to earn enough life essence. Unfortunately, there is no such opportunity now, and it is too late. 
In addition to his innate supreme talent, he now has only one SS level talent, which is Water God Borrowing Method. The water based special skills can gain a 15 fold increase in power. In addition to the increase in awakening level, the power of Water Dragon technique, performed by Yi Xiao Tian, has increased by at least 20 times. But his awakening level is too different from that of Hu Jiu. So his skills cannot break through Hu Jiu's defense. Chapter 389 As for changing to other skills, Yi Xiao Tian had not considered it. The water talent increase has been the maximum. The water dragon skill is also the highest grade among all his water skills. In other words, if even the water dragon skill can't break the defense of Hu Jiu, then other skills are even more so. So if even the water dragon skill can't do anything, then you can only change to other skills. Yi Xiao Tian still wants to give it a try, so he hits Hu Jiu with the curse skill. The talent grade and awakening level are insufficient, and the skill is invalid. Sure enough, the reincarnation system fed back the information. Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to change his profession. That's right, awakening warrior. All kinds of melee talent skills are activated, even the newly obtained true body, is no exception. This is the first time Yi Xiao Tian uses the talent skill true body. It's just right, try it on Hu Jiu to see how it works. Hu Jiu on the opposite side is also testing Yi Xiao Tian's strength. I have to admit that this young human is really strong. Although Yi Xiao Tian's water dragon technique did not cause any damage to him just now, in terms of attack power alone, it has surpassed the average SS level awakened power. No wonder the younger generation of the clan died in his hands. No wonder he was able to kill a C clan powerhouse on the Blue Star mainland. This little guy is really strong. The most important thing is that he has only been an awakener for less than a year. Such a promotion speed is absolutely unprecedented. It is estimated that it is unlikely for the later comers to reach such a level. Hu Jiu likes Yi Xiao Tian very much. Why can't such a super genius appear in the alien race? He admires Yi Xiao Tian very much. If he can take this little guy back and let him join the alien race and let him become a so called heretic, it would be great. So Hu Jiu did not rush to act. He wanted to take Yi Xiao Tian back. As for whether Yi Xiao Tian can become a heretic in the end, it depends on the ability of those below. Even if Yi Xiao Tian is unwilling in the end, it is not too late to kill him. As long as Yi Xiao Tian is not allowed to go to the battlefield, his strength will slow down. So seeing Yi Xiao Tian's body expand to 10 feet tall. Such a body size is naturally very common in alien races. But in the human race, it is already considered magical. The more magical Yi Xiao Tian showed, the more determined Hu Jiu was. Yi Xiao Tian, who was covered with light, punched Hu Jiu with unparalleled momentum. The two meter tall Hu Jiu stood there like a little man. I saw it stretch out a finger and then hit it on Yi Xiao Tian's huge fist. Boom! The fist burst, and the ground was scraped thinner again. Under such a fist, even a building would be blown to pieces. But Hu Jiu did not move at all. One finger resisted Yi Xiao Tian's full strength punch. Yi Xiao Tian was really shocked. I saw Hu Jiu's fingers lightly bent, and then bounced. An unmatched force came, and Yi Xiao Tian's huge body flew out and fell to the ground. Vomited blood. Injured. This was the first time Yi Xiao Tian enjoyed himself since he successfully woke up. There had never been a battle that was as powerless as this one. Yi Xiao Tian did not hesitate and immediately treated himself. When Hu Jiu saw it, his eyes lit up. This little guy really has a treasure hidden in him. He can even treat. It seems that the intelligence investigation of the little guys below is really too bad. He is sure that Yi Xiao Tian must have hidden cards that have not been used. For example, his clone skill. It must be because the clone is useless to him, so it is useless. Then, are there many similar skills hidden in Yi Xiao Tian? Then how many talents and skills does Yi Xiao Tian have that have not been exposed? A water-based mutant, all-round assistance, melee transformation, and now even treatment. It is indeed all-round. Those who don't know would think he is the son of the will of reincarnation. 
such a super genius must either die or be used by the alien race. There is no other possibility. Yi Xiaotian's body returned to its original state. This is because he has the Tianjin armor, otherwise he would be naked at this moment. Boy, I'll give you a chance. Join our alien race. I can promise you that I will make you stronger. Hu Jiu said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, people with different paths cannot work together. You should give up this idea. Hu Jiu said, different paths lead to the same destination. Our paths are actually the same. After becoming gods, we should not have racial differences. Yi Xiaotian sneered, really? Then what are you doing now? Hu Jiu's expression stagnated, and then he said, I haven't become a god yet, so there is still racial difference. Yi Xiaotian was confused. He didn't become a god. Didn't they say that the supreme strongmen have become gods and their lives have reached another level? Seeing this, Hu Jiu immediately said, Yi Xiaotian, believe me, join us, you will definitely become the first creature to become a god under the will of reincarnation. By that time, you will be a god, no longer a human or an alien. Race is just a bondage to you. Yi Xiaotian didn't believe a word of what he said. Then you can join our human race. I allow you to become my follower. When I become a god, I will be the first to help you become a god. How about that? Yi Xiaotian said with a smile. Hu Jiu's face was stunned at first, then became stiffer and uglier. Originally, he thought Yi Xiaotian was just a young man, and he would believe it after a few words. Become a god. What a great temptation. But this guy, not only did not fall for it, but he actually persuaded him to become his follower. When he, a supreme strong man, becomes a follower of humans. This is a huge insult to him. Boy, don't refuse to drink the toast. Do you really think I can't do anything to you? I will catch you and lock you up for a hundred or eighty years, and you will be useless. Hu Jiu threatened. Yi Xiaotian said, the true face is exposed, right? But I didn't expect that you aliens actually have such a brain, not bad. You are looking for death. Hu Jiu became even more angry. Is this mocking their aliens for being brainless? Although they are of the same ancestry as wild beasts, they have long since left the category of wild beasts. Their intelligence has evolved to be comparable to that of humans. It can be said that except for the difference in appearance, there is really no difference between them and humans in other aspects. Since you don't know what's good for you, then follow me. After saying that, the tiger dove grabbed a handful of vitality in the air, condensed it into a palm, and grabbed Yi Xiaotian. Chapter 390 The giant palm with supreme divine power grabbed Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian understood that this was the gap. Under this giant palm, he had no power to resist. Is this the strength of the supreme power? It is said that after reaching this state, divinity will be born in the body, and every time you make a move, there will be a trace of divine essence in it. Although it is only a trace of divine essence, for ordinary awakeners, it is the means of gods. For example, now, Yi Xiaotian clearly saw the giant palm grabbing him, he wanted to dodge, but his body could not move, and he could only watch the giant palm fall towards him. At this time, a light arrow shot from the sky and directly shot through the giant palm, and the giant palm dissipated directly. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief, the giant palm gave him too much pressure. He realized that he was wet all over. The supreme power is so terrifying. Hu Jiu's expression changed, and he regretted it in his heart and was about to leave. Brother Hu Jiu, are you going to leave now? At this time, an elegant figure appeared in the air, looking down at Hu Jiu. Hu Jiu looked very unhappy, and his body also floated up to the same height as the elegant figure. Afar, what do you want? Hu Jiu said. The elegant man Afar smiled indifferently and said, You broke the rules first, and now you ask me what I want. I said I want to kill a lot in your alien army, do you agree? Afar, don't go too far. Hu Jiu said angrily. Let a supreme strongman go to kill a lot in the army, and the alien army will definitely die. They are both supreme strongmen, and he knows the lethality of the supreme strongman too well. 
why do both sides have to set such unspoken rules? Isn't it because of this? Once the supreme strongman intervenes in the war, the tribes of both sides will probably die. Even Yi Xiao Tian, a master who can press the SS level awakening power to the ground, has no resistance in front of the supreme strongman. What about other awakeners? Take a far in front of him, for example. With one arrow, hundreds of thousands of troops can be wiped out. Tiger Dove, the current situation is that you aliens broke the rules first. In fact, you are bullying too much. Afar is an elegant gentleman, he doesn't quarrel with others. Yi Xiao Tian listened to the conversation between the two and had a rough idea in his mind. The Afar who came to save him should be the Arrow God Afar, one of the five supreme masters of the Blue Star human race. I hate you humans to do this the most. Tell me, what do you want? Tiger Dove knew that with Afar coming, he would definitely have no chance to kill Yi Xiao Tian. Unless another supreme master comes. So just deal with this matter, and the rest will be dealt with when we go back. Afar said, you broke the rules and wanted to kill our human genius. Don't you think you should give him some compensation? Compensation? Tiger Dove understood that these hypocritical humans were really too troublesome. If you have something to say, just say it directly. You always like to talk a lot of useless things, but end up saying a lot of nonsense and not a single useful word. Not straightforward at all. It's still like this now. What do you want? Just say it clearly. Let me do it myself. I'll throw a pile of dirt at you. Do you want it? But he didn't say it, so as not to intensify the conflict. He broke the rules first, and was caught by others. He had to make up for the fault. What do you want? Hu Jiu looked at Yi Xiao Tian, hoping that this was a straightforward human boy. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at Afar, and heard him say, Just ask, whatever you want. Hu Jiu's mouth twitched. This bastard, who always claims to be an elegant gentleman, is actually a complete bandit in his bones. To be honest, Yi Xiao Tian really didn't know what to ask for. So he looked at Afar and said, Senior, I don't know what to ask for how about you help me? Afar smiled knowingly and said, what I like most is to help the younger generation. Asking me for help in this matter is the most correct decision you have made in your life. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes. This guy is so pretentious. Isn't he afraid of being beaten? Well, he is a supreme strong man, no one dares to beat him. He can only beat people. Even masters of the same level like Hu Jiu can only choose to be blackmailed by him. As an awakener, talent and skills are the foundation, so classmate Yi Xiao Tian, do you want talent or skills? Afar asked him. Yi Xiao Tian was confused and said, Senior, I can understand skills, but I don't understand talent. Afar suddenly realized, Oh, you are still an S-level awakener now, I am used to treating you as my peer. This is my mistake. You may not have heard of it, but it doesn't matter. I will tell you now that there is something called Talent Stone in this world. The function of Talent Stone is to allow people to awaken one more talent. Yi Xiaotian's eyes widened when he heard it. There is such a good thing. Why haven't you heard of it? Even Huang Jia and other outstanding disciples from big families don't know about it. Afar added, this Talent Stone is very rare. It is not even available in the Samsara Mall, so it's not surprising that you don't know about it. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. There is something that is not even in the Samsara Mall. It's really unexpected. Doesn't it mean that Samsara Mall covers everything? It can't be said that there is none. It's just that the grade of talent stones in the Samsara Mall is too low. It means there is none, and it's expensive. Afar added. Yi Xiao Tian quickly pulled out the Samsara Mall and entered the words Talent Stone. Sure enough, there is a lot of talent in it. As Afar said, they are all low level, completely useless, and only have 10, 0, 0 reincarnation points. For such a worthless thing to be so expensive, it is indeed the same thing as nothing. No, just because someone else is useless, it doesn't mean he is useless. Thinking of this, Yi Xiao Tian's heart began to tremble. How about it, classmate Yi Xiao Tian, what do you think about it? I suggest you choose the talent stone. 
This old guy Hujio has been a supreme powerhouse for so many years, so he must have something good in his hands. Afar said. Good stuff. What level is considered good stuff? Yi Xiaotian was a little curious. Senior, what grade is the talent stone in his hand? Yi Xiaotian asked. Afar said, at least they are all S level or above, but this time I caught it, so naturally it will bleed heavily. How about I get you an SS level talent stone? Yi Xiaotian was stunned, is this possible? Are the SS level talent stones meant to give the awakened an additional SS level talent? This damn guy is simply creating another top genius. Chapter, 391. However, Yi Xiaotian did not agree immediately. Although the SS level talent stone is good, he has no shortage of talent, especially after knowing that low grade talent stones can be purchased in the Samsara Mall. And he can also use life essence to strengthen the SS level talent. At most, he can kill more aliens and earn more life essence. So in terms of conversion, even the SS level talent stone is not necessary. As long as there is enough time, he can have countless SS level talents. I heard that this old guy has an SS level curse talent stone. How about it? Do you want it? A farce tempting voice sounded. Fuck. Yi Xiaotian only had fuck in his heart. Damn, my curse talent and talent skills have been strengthened to SS level. At this time, I have to curse the SS level talent stone. Isn't this a huge waste? Uh, it doesn't seem right. From F level to SS level, it only takes more than 100 million life essences. But it takes 1 billion to strengthen from SS level to SS level. This is indeed a good choice. If possible, he would certainly choose the SS level curse talent stone. But he also knew that this matter was not that simple. Even if he could really get this talent stone from Hujio, it would not be that easy to successfully extract the talent skills from the talent stone. So he asked Afar, Senior, what is the success rate of extracting the talent skills from this talent stone? The smile on Afar's face froze. Yi Xiaotian knew what was going on as soon as he saw it. It was as expected. Afar sighed and said, Yes, I ignored this problem. If it was so easy to extract the talent skills from the talent stone, people would have used it long ago. Is it very low? Yi Xiaotian asked casually. Afar said, It's not low or not low, this is calculated according to the latter. What do you mean? Yi Xiaotian was confused. Afar said, If you don't have a curse talent, then the success rate is only 1%. If you have an F-level curse talent, then the success rate is 5%, and so on. Yi Xiaotian's eyes lit up and said, in other words, if you have an SS-level curse talent, the success rate is 40%. Afar shook his head and said, no, if you have an SS-level curse talent, then the success rate is 100%. Uh, Afar's answer made Yi Xiaotian confused. Didn't you say by analogy? What analogy are you using? Afar knew that he was questioned when he saw Yi Xiaotian's expression, so for the sake of his dignity, he added. If it is an S-level talent, then the success rate is only 35%, and with an SS-level talent, it is 100%, understand? Yi Xiaotian was speechless, I don't understand shit. This span is too embarrassing. Afar saw Yi Xiaotian's confused look, and couldn't help complaining in his heart, is this really a super genius? Why is his IQ so worrying? Other grades need to cross levels, but SS grade is promoted. Do you understand the difference? Afar reminded. He felt that with Yi Xiaotian's IQ, there should be no need to explain too much in detail. Yi Xiaotian nodded, but there was a hesitant look on his face. Does he understand? Somewhat, but not quite. All I can say is that I know the fact, but not the reason. Fortunately, as long as I know that there is such a rule mechanism, it will be fine. He already has an SS level curse talent, that is, if he can get the SS level talent stone from Hujio. Then his curse talent can be directly upgraded to SS level. At that time, his talent skill decay can also be successfully promoted to SS level. There will no longer be a prompt that it is invalid when casting a spell on a supreme strongman. 
The SS level talent skill has a 15-fold amplification effect, plus the amplification of the awakening level. When Yi Xiao Tian sends decay, the enemy's strength will be greatly reduced by dozens of times. He didn't believe it. Even if you are a supreme strongman, you will be reduced to the level of an ordinary awakener. Then, he looked at his four attributes again. He was only halfway to be promoted to SS level, and it would probably not take too long. The most abundant thing on this alien battlefield is aliens. As long as he is promoted to SS level awakener, plus the SS level cursed talent skill, even if he can't beat the supreme strongman, at least he won't have no power to fight back. If you can't beat the opponent, the best way is to pull the opponent to the same level as yourself. Although he is not sure whether the power of the divine essence will disappear after lowering the realm of the supreme strongman to the realm of awakened great power. But it's better than not being able to do anything, right? In order to save his life, Yi Xiao Tian said decisively, Okay, I want this talent stone. Or you should change what? Afar was about to ask Yi Xiao Tian to change a compensation, but he didn't expect Yi Xiao Tian to decide so quickly. Or you should think about it again. Afar blushed a little. Damn, if the others knew that this was a bad idea he gave to Yi Xiao Tian, they would blame him. He finally got the opportunity to blackmail him, but he got something like this that was good to look at but not to eat. No, I've made up my mind. Yi Xiao Tian said firmly. For now, I'm afraid that only this can greatly increase his ability to save his life. Neither attack nor defense. Even if it may be that after a period of time, he can use the essence of life to strengthen the curse talent to SS level. But he can't wait any longer. The battle with Hu Jiu just now made him feel completely insecure. Although he has a far by his side, he doesn't need to entrust his life safety to others. It's better to keep this kind of thing in your own hands. Seeing that Yi Xiao Tian was determined, Afar didn't say much. Let's just laugh at it. Who let him choose it? Hu Jiu, you heard it, take out your talent stone. Afar said to Hu Jiu. Hu Jiu was happy. This fool actually chose this. Although it took him a lot of effort to get this talent stone. But to be honest, the effect of this talent stone is not obvious. Strictly speaking, it's a bit tasteless. This kind of thing, you say it's precious, it's extremely precious. You say it's not precious, so it's just like that, it depends on who you are talking to. For Hu Jiu, it doesn't matter. But he can't bear to give it away casually. Now that he has such an opportunity, he is naturally happy. Give the thing away, both sides are clear. And he also believes that this thing is definitely useless to Yi Xiao Tian. It's a deal, you can't regret it. Hu Jiu took out the talent stone from the reincarnation space and threw it over. Afar caught the talent stone and sneered, We humans value our promises the most, unlike you, who change your face faster than turning the pages of a book. Hu Jiu was stunned for a moment, and then he complained wildly in his heart. Damn, this is talking about you guys, right? Chapter, 392 When it comes to making promises like farting, and turning the page faster than turning the page in a book, is there anyone better than you humans? But now it doesn't want to cause trouble. Solve this matter quickly. Don't give the supreme power of the human race a chance to get angry. God's war is God's war. Once the supreme experts on both sides let go of their restrictions and attack at will, the result will be unbearable for both sides. Therefore, what the top leaders of both sides really want to do is to kill the other party's most powerful person first. Unfortunately, such an opportunity is too difficult. The talent stone was obtained, and Hu Jiu left. Afar gave the talent stone to Yi Xiao Tian and sighed, It's sloppy, I should have gotten something better. Yi Xiao Tian said, That's good. Afar said, But the success rate is too low. Even if you have low-level curse talents, the possibility of success is not high. That disgusting guy does have many disciples with curse talents, otherwise you and he changed. That meal. Disgusting guy. Yi Xiao Tian didn't know who Afar was talking about. Seeing his confused look, Afar said, You don't even know our names, do you? Yi Xiao Tian looked at him with a should-I-know expression. Afar said helplessly, 
well, your boy's promotion speed is too fast. Indeed, you don't know many things that you should know. It is a good thing to improve your strength too quickly, but not everything is a good thing. The shortcoming was that he didn't have time to understand some of the secrets that should have been unlocked when he reached the S-level or A-level awakening realm. Afar could only say, let me tell you a little bit, we blue star humans have five supreme powerhouses. Do you know this? Yi Xiao Tian nodded to express his understanding. Afar was relieved. If he didn't know this, he would be blinded. Fortunately, the basic education of the human race is quite reliable. How about finding an opportunity to let them write our names into the textbooks? Afar thought in his mind. All humans know about the five supreme powerhouses, but only the high-level awakened ones know which five they are, what their occupations are, and what their names are. Everyone seems to be consciously keeping secrets from humans below high level. What's the point of this? It seems to have no meaning, it just elevates the strength of the five supreme beings in disguise. Bullshit. Do we, the top five, need this to improve our performance? What a joke. Seeing that Afar stopped talking, Yi Xiao Tian urged, Senior, please continue talking. Afar came back to his senses, collected his thoughts, and said, The five supreme beings, among them are Zhuang Bufan, the sword god of your Xia kingdom, and Tony, the thunder god of the beautiful kingdom. Isn't Tony a barber? Yi Xiao Tian frowned. Afar. Keep talking, I'm just kidding. Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile. Afar ignored him and continued, Then there is Ali, the god of war of the Bear Kingdom, and the fourth one is Natan, the evil god of the Yama Alliance. Evil god. Doesn't it sound good? Yi Xiao Tian muttered. Afar was also speechless. If Natan wants such a title, what can they do? No matter if his title is not very good, as long as people's hearts are towards the human race. In the end, everyone is loved, flowers bloom, cars have flat tires, the only elf in the world, an elegant gentleman a thousand words are omitted arrow god afar. After afar finished speaking, staring at Yi Xiao Tian, Yi Xiao Tian was stared at. Yi Xiao Tian. Does this guy praise himself so much? When talking about other people, they all have only one profession and then their name. When it comes to himself, a series of exaggerated adjectives. Yi Xiaotian's ears almost started to float. Is it really okay to praise yourself so much? Why don't you blush at all? Is this something a normal person can do? Afar was very disappointed when he didn't get a response from Yi Xiaotian and asked. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, you haven't met any of the other supreme experts, have you? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said no. Afar said, when you meet them, you will understand that what I said is the truth. The god of thunder is a slovenly fat man, the god of war is just a big guy with no brains, and the god of evil is a lunatic. Well, speaking of it, although the god of swords is not as handsome, elegant, and gentleman as me, he is still more like a human being. Yi Xiao Tian started to sweat on his forehead. Can I listen to these words? Afar said, don't worry, what I said is true. Sitting with them, I felt like I was in a doghouse. But now it's better, you're here. I hope you can promise me one thing. Stick to your heart and never become disabled. The cold sweat on Yi Xiaotian's forehead became more intense. Damn it, he had heard some incredible secret. Are you sure he won't be killed and silenced? Listening to a farce words, the image of the supreme powerhouse completely collapsed in his mind. Okay, you are no longer in danger for the time being, continue to do your thing. After finishing speaking, Afar stepped away. Yi Xiao Tian was just about to ask him if he would protect him in the future, but he was already gone. So he could only put his thoughts away and fly towards the Ninth War Zone. When Yi Xiao Tian arrived at the Ninth War Zone, Han Xuyao and the others were following a large group of people and preparing to rescue him. Didn't I tell you to wait for me here? Yi Xiao Tian patted Han Xuyao's back to calm her down. We are worried about you. Han Xuyao said with an aggrieved look. Yi Xiao Tian said, I know, Yama is here. If you ask him what's going on with me, you will know. He said you were injured. Han Xuyao said. He actually forgot about this. 
It seems that he will have to explain to Yama in the future and let him know what it means to report good things and not bad things. Commander Jio was very happy to see Yi Xiaotian return safely. He also learned about Yi Xiaotian's injury and planned to let Yi Xiaotian have a good rest. But he was rejected by Yi Xiaotian and said, Ninth Commander, don't forget, there are healers in our team. There is no need to rest, we can just go to the battlefield directly. Commander Jio said, isn't this bad? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm afraid that the alien army will escape. Yi Xiaotian said. Ninth Commander. Damn, he feels very complicated. He wants to curse but can't. He wants to explain but doesn't know where to start. In the end it could only turn into a sigh. It hurts my heart. Leopard 2 immediately turned around and rushed towards the battlefield. Yi Xiaotian is really worried that the alien army has withdrawn, and there may not be many such good opportunities to brush attribute points in the future. Chapter, 393 After Yi Xiaotian arrived at the Ninth War Zone, he did not immediately draw the Talent Stone. Instead, he took his teammates to the War Zone. He did not tell his teammates about Hu Jiu and Afar, fearing that they would be scared. He said that he met a master of the alien race, and after a battle, he killed the other party, and Yi Xiaotian himself was slightly injured. Han Xuyao and the others did not doubt it. After all, Yi Xiaotian did come back intact. Since you are injured, you should rest in the camp for a few days. Why are you in such a hurry? Han Xuyao complained a little. Yi Xiaotian said, I'm afraid they will run away. Run away. Han Xuyao didn't know how to understand this word for a while. The alien army ran away. Isn't this what Yi Xiaotian expected? Why don't you want it now? The reason why Yi Xiaotian was so anxious to come to the alien battlefield was because the situation on Blue Star was getting worse and worse under the pressure of the Sea Clan. As long as the alien battlefield stopped fighting, the Sea Clan would take the initiative to retreat back to the ocean. Listening to Yi Xiaotian's tone now, it seems that he is not asking for a ceasefire between the two sides, but to kill all the aliens. Yi Xiaotian did not explain too much. Can he say that I met a supreme alien before and almost died at his hands? Can he say that I urgently need to improve my strength now so that I can escape from the hands of the supreme strongman? He was afraid that these words would scare Han Xuyao to death. This is a supreme strongman. That is a person standing at the height of God. Such a strong man actually attacked Yi Xiaotian personally, so will there be a peaceful life in the future. As for Yi Xiaotian's words that he can escape from the hands of the supreme strongman at the SS level, it has no effect except to increase their psychological pressure. If the SS level awakener can compete, or just escape from the hands of the supreme strongman, then the status of the five supremes is not that high. The five supremes of Blue Star are the existence of the word of the law on Blue Star. In Xia country, even the Awakener Association, the largest Awakener organization, is decided by the word of the Lord Sword God. And the supreme power is higher than the Awakening Mighty, but lower than the Awakening Overlord. It is a very awkward situation between the two major levels. They are said to be gods, but they have not yet completely become gods. If they say they have not become gods, they can use a trace of the power of the gods. Such masters, even SS-level high-level awakeners, are not a match. Han Xuyao and others know this better. If they are told that they are being targeted by the supreme power, let alone fighting, they probably won't be able to sleep well. Yi Xiaotian doesn't want to distract them. With Yi Xiaotian and his team joining the battlefield, the war soon subsided. Not to mention Yi Xiaotian, even the killing power of the Haotian team is amazing now. After all, this is a serious A-level Awakener team. And with the blessing of Yi Xiaotian's talent skills, the actual combat power of each one has reached S-level. Such a team joining the battlefield can definitely kill all around. After all, in such a large-scale Legion battle, the number of high-level Awakeners is very small. Most of them are low- and medium-level Awakeners. Moreover, this is the third front battlefield, which is the weakest enemy among the three front battlefields. After the battle, tens of thousands of points of the four attributes were added, and it was one step closer to the SS level. 
Back to the Ninth War Zone camp, the Ninth Commander prepared a banquet for Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian didn't want to participate, but finally agreed to rest here for a day. One is the assassination of the aliens. If you go there as soon as the war stops, the aliens may block you. Delaying it for one day may disrupt the opponent's deployment. And Yi Xiaotian also needs to upgrade his curse talent. Accompanied by Han Xuyao, Yi Xiaotian behaved well in this banquet. Although he can't compare with Huang Jia and other wine veterans, it is much better than before. At least when people toast, he will smile and drink with them. Then say some flattering words. In the past, he would not even think about it, and it was good enough to give a smile. You still want me to drink with you, how shameless you are. As for flattery, don't even think about it. You performed very well today, I hope you can keep it up. Han Xuyao praised. Yi Xiaotian also knew that Han Xuyao was doing this for his own good. No matter how great your future achievements are, communication is necessary. Yi Xiaotian performed very well when communicating with his teammates. But once he encountered a slightly larger scene, he would become at a loss. Han Xuyao felt that this was related to the environment in which Yi Xiaotian grew up. If you want to change this kind of personality, you have to participate in more such big scenes. Her husband will be a superior person in the future, how can he become a lonely person? Isn't this a slap in her face? Okay. I'll change it slowly. By the way, you take a rest first. I have something to do in the reincarnation world. Yi Xiaotian said to Han Xuyao. The reason why he entered the reincarnation world to extract the talent stone and strengthen the cursed talent was that he didn't want to cause any trouble in the camp. Seeing this, Han Xuyao didn't ask any more questions, but just nodded in agreement. Yi Xiaotian entered the reincarnation world. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian came into the world of reincarnation, and there were other things. He opened a room and successfully pulled out the SS level talent curse in the talent stone. Looking at the SS level decay, in the talent skill list, Yi Xiaotian was full of confidence. He came out of the hotel and went to the Association of Awakeners. Deacon Wu was very enthusiastic about his arrival. Now Yi Xiaotian is getting more and more awesome. He just hugged the thigh early. Otherwise he, the person who was connecting, would have been replaced. After respectfully inviting Yi Xiaotian into the backyard of the Awakened Persons Association, Deacon Wu served Yi Xiaotian a cup of tea, and then asked, Sir, why did you come to see me this time? He knew that Yi Xiaotian really did not go to the Three Treasures Hall for anything. Yi Xiaotian said, Do you have any images or photos of the five supreme beings here? Deacon Wu was stunned for a moment, What kind of request is this? After being stunned for a while, he said, Yes, but sir, there are photos of the five supreme beings on the internet. Have you never seen them before? Yi Xiaotian said, The ones online are all beauty photos, I want their ID photos. Deacon Wu was confused again. What kind of strange request was this? Five supremes, what is the difference between beauty photos and ID photos? Just being able to get to know them is enough. Someone told me that the god of thunder is a sloppy fat man, the god of war is a big brainless man, the god of evil is a scrawny madman, and the god of swords is an ordinary mortal. I want to know if what he said is true. Yi Xiaotian said. Chapter, 394 Deacon Wu was dumbfounded. What the hell is this? Why can't I understand a word? Is this what I should listen to? I won't listen. I don't know anything. Don't try to silence me. Deacon Wu was so scared that he was shaking all over. He wanted to cover his ears. But Yi Xiaotian's voice kept pouring into his ears. He couldn't stop it. After Yi Xiaotian finished speaking, he had collapsed on the ground. Deacon Wu, what's wrong with you? Yi Xiaotian asked strangely. Deacon Wu wanted to cry but had no tears. Brother, I haven't offended you. Why are you trying to hurt me? Deacon Wu, are you okay? Yi Xiaotian asked again. Seeing that Deacon Wu still looked like he had no desire to live, he really couldn't figure it out. This was very sudden. He was fine before. Why did he become like this after he said a word? 
Is it because of what he said? Don't be afraid. What kind of person is the Supreme? Would he bother a deacon like you? They are not that idle. After Yi Xiaotian figured out the reason, he comforted him. Really? Deacon Wu immediately resurrected on the spot and asked with expectation. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Really, really, all right, get up quickly. It seems that you don't have it here either. Forget it, I'm leaving. Looking at the disappearing Yi Xiaotian, Deacon Wu really cried. What is this? He has not gotten any benefit yet, and his life is in danger. No, he has to report this matter to the higher authorities. Even if he has to die, he has to take everyone with him. If Yi Xiaotian knew about Deacon Wu's operation, he would definitely give him a thumbs up. After returning from the reincarnation world, Han Shuyao was leaning on the bed reading a book. When he saw him coming back, he immediately asked, Have you finished your work? Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Yes. Han Shuyao did not ask any more questions and continued to read. Yi Xiaotian said, What are you reading? Han Shuyao said, Oh, the books I borrowed from the camp library are all about the alien battlefield. I'll read more to avoid knowing nothing. Didn't Sister Hong say a lot? Yi Xiaotian said. Han Shuyao said, Sister Hong did say a lot, but there is no system. They are all some places that need attention. But Sister Hong is only an A-level awakener and knows limited things, so you should read books to systematically understand the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian said, What Sister Hong doesn't know will be written in this book. Han Shuyao was stunned and said, What do you mean? Yi Xiaotian said, What can really be left in the book and then put in the library is actually not a secret. If you want to know the secret, you will definitely not see it in the book. Han Shuyao closed the book and threw it on the cabinet next to him, saying, That's right. Then I have no books to read. What should I do next? Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Of course, do what we like to do. Ah! Han Shuyao exclaimed, and then her mouth was blocked. The next morning, Wang Hao and Huang Jia all got up very early. After a night's rest, they thought that with Yi Xiaotian's character, he would definitely rush to the tenth war zone. But they waited until ten o'clock in the morning, and did not see Yi Xiaotian get up. What's going on? Brother Tian is sleeping in. Huang Jie found it incredible. Others were also confused. Sister-in-law didn't see it either. Did they go out? Peng Xiang Yu said. It's possible. After all, the two of them have always gotten up earlier than us. It's not surprising to go out for a walk. Wang Hao said. Then what should we do now? Should we continue to wait, or go out for a walk? Sun Yao suddenly became interested. Girls, after all, like to go shopping. Speaking of which, they haven't been shopping for many days. They only went shopping once when they were in the base camp. But the protagonist that time was Chang Xiaozi. They had something on their minds and didn't go shopping well. Although the street market in the Ninth War Zone can't be compared with the base camp, it shouldn't be too bad. Or let's go shopping. Anyway, we shouldn't be in a hurry today. Sun Yao jumped up and pulled Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan was a little depressed, although she had restrained herself. But when Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao showed off their love in front of her for no reason, she would still get angry. For example, today, Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao did not appear in front of her, but in her opinion, they were still showing off their love. Okay, let's go. She also wanted to go shopping to vent. If both of them went, there was no reason for Chang Xiaoxi not to go. If she went, there was no reason for Wang Hao not to go. If they all went, there was no need for the remaining three men to stay. What if a few girls were bullied? The group went out shopping in a mighty manner. When Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao got up, there was no one in the whole house. What's the situation? Where did they go? Han Shuyao asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, How should I know? Maybe they saw that we were not awake yet, so they went out for a walk. Han Shuyao blushed and said angrily, It's all your fault. They will definitely laugh at you now. The two of them exercised a little too much last night, which led to getting up late today. 
even if it is the body of an awakened person, there should be some restraint. Yi Xiaotian said, What's so funny? We are a serious couple. What should we do now? Should we wait here for them to come back, or should we go out for a walk? Han Xuyao said, We should go for a walk, and then we can tell them that we went out early in the morning. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, That's a good idea. The two went out hand in hand. But they didn't go shopping, because it would be easy to bump into the main force. So they chose to leave the camp and go out. What? The scenery outside is ugly. There is no scenery on the battlefield of alien races. What does it matter? Have you heard of love is enough to drink water? When you are with your loved one, wherever you go, there is a beautiful scenery. After walking around the barren land for a while, the two couldn't stand it. This is nothing but the bloody red land and the strong fishy smell. No matter how affectionate you are, you have to consider the reality. Do you really think that you can live without food and drink if you are affectionate? Otherwise, let's go back. It's really too desolate outside. Han Xuyao suggested. Yi Xiaotian said, I don't care. Anything is fine. They had traveled a long distance in this alien battlefield, but they really hadn't seen a single plant. No, there were still some plants in the base camp and the camps of the major war zones. It is said that they were all cultivated by the pioneers and night watchmen. It doesn't matter outside, but it would be too bad if there were no plants even in the place where you live. These plants were brought from the native land of Blue Star, even the soil was brought here. It is said that it is difficult to cultivate, most of them have dried up, and only a few have survived, and they are still half dead. It can only be said that the natural environment of the alien battlefield has been destroyed too seriously. Chapter 395 It is said that just a hundred years ago, when the alien battlefield was first discovered, this was still an alien space with very beautiful scenery. Hundreds of years of reincarnation and countless wars have turned this place into a purgatory on earth. Even if the war stops, it will not take more than a hundred years to bring the land on the alien battlefield back to life. This means that it is easier to destroy than to control. But these have nothing to do with Yi Xiaotian. He just felt that in this environment, over time, it would have an impact on people's psychology. If there is a good environment, there will be no problem even if you live here for a longer time. He kept this in mind. Maybe when I have the ability, I can solve this problem for the human army. Back at the camp, the two strolled toward the neighborhood. Soon, I met Sun Yao's group of people who were scanning goods. Looking at the various packaging bags hanging in the hands of several boys, one can see how terrifying the fighting power of these girls is. Hey, Xu Yao, didn't you buy anything? Sun Yao asked when she saw Yi Xiaotian and Han Xu Yao were empty handed. Han Xu Yao's face felt a little unnatural. Although he had done some mental preparation before, it still didn't look natural in front of him. After all, she is not a professional actor. Oh, Brother Tian and I went outside for a walk and found that the area around here was too desolate, so we decided to come back and take a stroll. Han Xu Yao said seriously. When Sun Yao and the others heard this, they all looked astonished. Wang Hao, a straight man, smiled and said, Xiao Tian, are you stupid? We came in from outside. Don't you know what's going on outside? You even went outside to hang out, so full that you were full. Yi Xiao Tian just replied lightly, I feel really sad for Xiao Si. What do you mean? Wang Hao was stunned. I asked you, why do you feel sad for Xiao Xi? Chang Xiaoxi was so angry that she kicked Wang Hao and yelled, Shut up. Fortunately, she knew Wang Hao's character and was not really angry. It's just this guy's brain. Falling in love with such a person is indeed quite boring. But fortunately, such people don't have so many tricks and don't have to be so tired. So Chang Xiaoxi is still very satisfied with Wang Hao. Unlike Han Xuyao, who always has to beware of Yi Xiaotian being snatched away. Don't think that you are safe just by getting the certificate. In this era of high mortality, a marriage certificate is really no different from a piece of paper. That's just more of a psychological effect. Love isn't really that important either. 
If you are old enough and cannot go to college, you can either find one yourself or the organization will arrange one for you. Just have children honestly, it's too luxurious to fall in love. Only Mu Bingyan stared at Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao for a while, then snorted coldly, but said nothing. Sun Yao asked in a low voice, what's wrong? Mu Bingyan shook her head. Could she say there was something wrong between Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao? Cannot. They have already obtained the certificates, they live together openly, and everything they do is legal. What can she say? Having said that, it's better not to embarrass yourself. Sun Yao looked at Mu Bingyan's look and understood a little bit what was going on. Seeing Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao showing affection, she felt uncomfortable. Sun Yao also felt it was a pity for Mu Bingyan. This is not Mu Bingyan's fault, it can only be blamed on Yi Xiaotian being too good. She even created a second soul, which made her fall in love with Yi Xiaotian without even realizing it. Moreover, after his identity was exposed, Yi Xiaotian became better and better, making it difficult for Mu Bingyan who wanted to forget him. It was because she joined late, and Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao had a good relationship. Otherwise she would have to fall into it too. But she wasn't having it easy either. Now every time I meet a man, I will unconsciously compare him with Yi Xiaotian. Then I discovered that none of those men could compare to Yi Xiaotian. Not even half of it. Most don't even come close to a tenth. How can I choose this? How else to love? So forget about Mu Bingyan, even she is having a hard time. Fortunately, they are still young now and still have time, so they should take their time. But if you want to find someone who can compare with Yi Xiaotian, I'm afraid it will be impossible in this life. I can only pray for luck and find a good one. In fact, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu in their team are also good, with SS level talents, and are now A level awakeners. They are also handsome and have good backgrounds. Outside, he is definitely a great genius. But who told them there was a super genius named Yi Xiaotian beside them? Put outside, a 19 year old A level awakened person must be a bunch of young ladies risking their lives to snatch him as a groom. But Sun Yao just couldn't arouse the slightest interest. Sometimes, she envied Chang Xiaoxi. Being able to look at Wang Hao when Yi Xiaotian was mediocre. Sun Yao felt that after going back, Mu Bingyan should have a good chat. Although they are young now, time is running like water. If this problem is not solved, they will never find their right husband. As for leaving the Houtian team. She hadn't thought about this. You would do something like this only if you have a brain defect. Yi Xiaotian didn't know that Sun Yao had such complicated psychological activities, so he said, okay, have you finished shopping? If not, continue shopping. When you're done, get ready to eat. Han Xuyao said, it's time for dinner now, why don't we eat first and then continue shopping after dinner? The latter sentence was asked to the girls. The girls all agreed with Han Xuyao's idea. The boys looked hopeless. Especially Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, they really regretted it. You can only say that they were inexperienced when they were fooled last time, but being fooled twice in a row is stupid. The two glared at Huang Jie fiercely. It was this fat guy who encouraged them to go shopping. This is not shopping, it's simply suffering. These women, shopping is not for shopping at all, they are shopping purely for shopping. This sounds wrong, but it's actually not wrong at all. Even if they don't buy anything, they can shop for a whole day and a night without complaining. This is the big secret they just discovered. Even someone as cold as Mu Bingyan was talking and laughing while walking around the street. The group found a restaurant, asked for a private room, and ordered a table of dishes. Business here is pretty good. If you open a store here, you can make a lot of money. Huang Jia sat down and started yelling. Fatty, then you stay and open a store. Peng Xiangyu said unhappily. Huang Jia said, when did I say I was going to open a store? Didn't you just say you can make a lot of money? Peng Xiangyu said. It's true that you can make a lot of money. Look at the stores outside. Which one is not crowded? How can you make less money? Huang Jia countered. Then you can open a store and be a rich man. Peng Xiangyu said. I'm not short of money. 
Huang Jia said very generously. The group played and chatted while eating. The atmosphere was very lively. Chapter 396 Brother Tian, when are we going to leave? Huang Jia asked Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian said, Don't talk here, let's talk after we finish eating. When everyone heard this, they knew what was going on. After a quick meal, everyone had no intention of continuing to stroll around, and went back to discuss the next itinerary. According to Yi Xiaotian's previous plan, they would kill their way through one war zone after another. As for rest. Does he need to rest? Not at all. Even the people in the team didn't seem to have much consumption, and meditating on the road was enough. The previous war zones were all like this. But after the matter in the ninth war zone was over this time, Yi Xiaotian did not take them to the next war zone immediately. Not only did he attend the banquet, but he also stayed overnight. The next day, he actually went for a walk with his wife. This is too abnormal. Our whereabouts have been leaked, and the aliens have sent people to block us, so we have to change our strategy. In the hall, Yi Xiaotian checked and then cast a water curtain to cover everyone. Seeing him so cautious, everyone realized that things didn't seem that simple. It seems that what Yi Xiao Tian encountered yesterday was not small. So Brother Tian, did you meet someone from the alien race yesterday? Huang Jia asked. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, it was a master. No one doubted Yi Xiao Tian's words. The one who could hurt Yi Xiao Tian must be a master among masters. He could even beat up the Tiger Clan masters. The one who could hurt Yi Xiao Tian must be at least a mid-level SS level master, or even a high-level SS level awakened alien master. Unexpectedly, the alien race sent out such a master. They didn't even think about the supreme master. Because they didn't dare to think about it. If the supreme master of the alien race really took action, Yi Xiao Tian would definitely not be lucky. Then how should we change it? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, we change the itinerary and the route. Brother Tian means that we won't go to the tenth war zone today. Peng Xiang Yu said. Yi Xiao Tian said, yes, we won't go today or tomorrow. We will go directly to the eleventh war zone. Although Hu Jiu has retreated, and Afar has protected him. But Afar never said that he would always protect him. So Yi Xiao Tian had to consider this issue. Be patient for a while, and you won't have to be patient after you are promoted to SS level Awakener. At least, when he faces the Supreme Strongman again, he will not be powerless to fight back. After all, in terms of Awakening level, even the Supreme Strongman still belongs to the category of SS level Awakener. At that time, all his innate skills will be effective. After all, under the reincarnation rules, whether a skill is effective depends on two levels, one is the awakening level, and the other is the grade of the innate skill. As long as one of them meets the requirements, it can take effect. Especially some special skills. For example, curse-type skills that weaken the enemy's strength. There are also mental control and illusion skills. This is also the reason why Yi Xiao Tian did not use illusion skills when he met Hu Jiu. Because it is useless. Even if he used it, it would give you an invalid prompt like the curse skills. But once he was promoted to SS level Awakener, it was different. Let's not talk about the success rate. At least it will not be directly judged as invalid. However, the scenes in the following battle zones were smaller and smaller, which made Yi Xiao Tian very annoyed. The aliens were too shameless. Although they did not withdraw all their troops, they withdrew most of the troops. Every day, they sent one or two squadrons to play with you and asked if you were interested. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned by the operation of the aliens. After contacting Du Qingwu and Han Zhan, it was said that all other battle zones were in the same situation. It seems that the aliens are afraid, but they don't want the human race to gossip, so they use this negative attitude. However, it can also be judged from this that the aliens are definitely still trying to get rid of Yi Xiao Tian. If the aliens really want to withdraw, then they will all withdraw. What they are doing now is to keep you hanging so that they can keep track of your whereabouts and find you at any time. Sun Weiman analyzed the current situation for Yi Xiaotian on behalf of the two commanders-in-chief. 
what they meant was that they hoped Yi Xiao Tian could be more careful. They didn't know that Yi Xiao Tian had been attacked by aliens. Being able to make such a judgment is entirely based on rich experience. This made Yi Xiao Tian very impressed. They have a plan, and I will come up with a ladder. So Yi Xiao Tian took his team away from the third battlefield very simply. Seeing this, Afar, who was hiding in the dark, nodded repeatedly. It can be seen from here that Yi Xiao Tian is the partner they need. However, the operation of Yi Xiao Tian and his friends next made Afar more satisfied. Brother Tian, I have a suggestion, please consider it. Han Shuyao suddenly proposed when the team was about to leave the third battlefield. Yi Xiao Tian said, Oh, tell me what you think. Han Shuyao said, My idea is this, we stay here and you maneuver outside. Yi Xiao Tian didn't react to what Han Shuyao meant for a while. Han Shuyao said, We can stay here to attract the attention of the aliens and let them know that we are still in the third battlefield. Then you can leave quietly and go to the first battlefield or the second battlefield. You can catch the aliens off guard. And to be honest, you can act faster alone. Wait until the aliens react, and you can come back. After some explanation, Yi Xiao Tian finally understood what she meant. Thinking carefully, this is indeed a good idea, but he is not very confident about letting the team stay here. What if they are targeted by the masters of the aliens? You can leave the second soul here and let everyone know that you are still here. Han Xuyao added. Yi Xiao Tian's eyes lit up, and the others also smiled. Although the second soul is not as abnormal as Yi Xiaotian's body, it is also very powerful compared to them. I think it will be unlikely to be exposed for a while, or if there is no SS level power coming. This is indeed a very good idea. You can launch a huge satellite to confuse the aliens. By the time they react, Yi Xiaotian's goal may have been achieved. Of course, this is Yi Xiaotian's additional idea. The only drawback is that he is reluctant to leave Han Shuyao for a while. In the end, he could only grit his teeth and say, Okay, then use this method. I will leave Leopard 2 as your mount. You don't have to go too far away. Just wander around the war zone closest to the Legion headquarters. I will inform the two commanders in chief and ask them to worry more. Chapter 397 Next, the aliens on the third battlefield were surprised to find that Yi Xiao Tian had stopped taking action and only his team was fighting. But they were not too surprised. After all, in such a small scene, Yi Xiao Tian was overkill. Not that anyone suspected anything. But when the news came from the second battlefield, the aliens were immediately confused. In the foreign race base camp, the high ranking foreign race officials roared like thunder. What the hell is going on? Let those damn low-level biological heretics investigate and find out these two people. The angry voice of a senior executive penetrated the handsome tent and spread far away. However, no one in the alien base camp was surprised by this. Every time there is a high-level meeting, it would be an accident if something like this didn't happen. Yes, that damn guy Yi Xiaotian is in the third battlefield. Why does Yi Xiaotian also appear in the second battlefield? No one would believe that both of them were Yi Xiao Tian, this was completely beyond their knowledge. Even within the human race, this is a secret that only a few people know. This time Yi Xiao Tian went to the second battlefield without saying hello to the human race at all. He entered the battlefield directly. But after everyone saw Yi Xiao Tian's fighting style, they naturally thought it was him. So no one asked him whether he had reported it or not. His signature clone attack is enough to prove his identity. As for why his team is not here, what does it matter? As long as the great god Haotian comes. As for the existence of Yi Xiao Tian on the third battlefield, ordinary soldiers didn't know about it at all. Only the top brass of the third battlefield knew the news. They were also very confused as to which of the two was the real great god Haotian. Just judging from the skills they use, it seems like they are both. Forget it, whatever, as long as it helps. Because Yi Xiao Tian joined the second battlefield, all war zones became more relaxed. Then the aliens sadly discovered that even if they used negative tactics on the third battlefield, the same scene would inevitably occur on the second battlefield. 
Is it necessary to use negative tactics in the second battlefield? What if a similar person appears on the first battlefield in the future? The three major frontal battlefields all use this passive tactic, so what is the point of this war? Because of this incident, another quarrel started at the alien base camp. The voices of the foreign leaders were getting louder and louder, and the roaring sound almost overturned the handsome tent. But the aliens didn't care at all. This is the normal state. If the irritable foreign race stops being irritable someday, that would be abnormal. Yi Xiaotian has already gone crazy on the second battlefield. In every battle, the alien side would lose hundreds of thousands of troops. Even foreigners can't bear such a loss. The number of their clansmen is large, and the army sent over is indeed very strong in cannon fodder attributes. However, if all these armies are given to one person from the enemy, then it will be too serious for the enemy. It's normal for cannon fodder to face cannon fodder. So for several days, the senior officials of the foreign race base camp were meeting, and the matters discussed were all about Yi Xiaotian. The first day is why Tu Yi Xiaotian appeared. What exactly is going on? Is the one from the third battlefield fake? Or is the one on the second battlefield fake? But the facts tell them that neither side is false. Because the human boys on both sides have used their clone skills. So they issued an order to the heretical organization and asked them to find out the identities of the Tu Yi Xiaotian within a time limit. And this meeting has just ended, and there is still no news from the heretical organization. Something happened again on the second battlefield, which made them even more angry. It seems that since Yi Xiaotian appeared on the alien battlefield, they have never heard a piece of good news. In fact, even the supreme power failed to take action. Not only did he not kill Yi Xiaotian, he even asked Supreme Tiger Jiu to pay for an SS level talent stone. As for what type of talent stone it is, Hu Jiu did not say. But just hearing this level made them tremble with fear. They couldn't imagine what they would do if Tiger Dove Supreme used this reason to punish them. This is the supreme power. It is the existence they need to look up to. It was their idea that caused the opponent to lose an SS level talent stone. In fact, the talent stone is nothing here, losing face is the most important thing. They asked Supreme Tiger Dove to be a thief, and then he was caught by the supreme strongman of the human race. Even if they encountered such a thing, they would be able to awkwardly dig out a three-story villa from the ground. Not to mention the supremely powerful one. It is estimated that the supreme Tiger Jiu hates them now. Now it's better, Hu Jiu Supreme lost a lot of face, the matter was not completed, and now it is even more serious. What the hell is this? How about we go out as a group and kill Yi Xiaotian? A senior executive said. Do you think the top leaders of the human race are all fools? What's more, now Yi Xiaotian is protected by a supreme powerhouse, can you succeed? Another senior executive immediately responded. The supreme power cannot attack them, but it does not mean that they cannot protect their own descendants. So this strategy is obviously not feasible. Moreover, the high-level people in the human base camp are not vegetarians. This is not okay, that is not okay, so what do you say? Are we going to let that damn guy slaughter our army like this? Don't blame me for not reminding you that the other party can get attribute points by killing our awakened ones. This high-level person made a final warning. Yes, Yi Xiaotian is already powerful enough now. Slaughtering the alien army like him, the attribute points are still rising. Although the probability of obtaining attribute points by high-level awakened people killing low-level enemies will be greatly reduced. This can't stand the large base number. Hundreds of thousands in a battle, no less than a million in a day. If they continue to kill like this. Either their army will be killed, or Yi Xiaotian will be sent directly to the realm of SS level awakened. Now Yi Xiaotian can only be suppressed by the supreme powers. When he is promoted to SS level awakener, he can really run rampant. This alien battlefield is still decided by others. At that time, this war can be stopped directly. Otherwise, just like the third battlefield, withdraw the army and adopt a passive tactic, and then think of a way to deal with Haokian. Everyone's face was very ugly, but the problem had to be solved. I don't agree. 
Instead of this, it's better to withdraw the army directly. Chapter, 398 The passive tactics were the last resort of the aliens. It would be fine if they used it in the third battlefield, but if they also used it in the second battlefield, the aliens would lose face completely. Instead of doing that, it would be better to withdraw the troops directly. This is more straightforward and will not make people laugh. Their original plan was completely destroyed by Yi Xiaotian. Now dozens of war zones in the third front battlefield have withdrawn their troops and adopted passive tactics. The second front battlefield is being ravaged by an unknown person, making the commanders of the major war zones in the second battlefield miserable. They dare not send out a large army anymore. How long can they last if the losses continue like this? Yi Xiaotian is not in a hurry. Anyway, the scene on the second battlefield is bigger and there are more war zones. There are less than 40 war zones on the third battlefield, but there are more than 60 war zones here. If each war zone harvests 200 00 alien heads, he can harvest more than 10 million heads. As for how many attribute points these more than 10 million alien heads can drop, life essence and talent, except for talent which is unpredictable, the former two can actually have an approximate number. I won't say much about life essence. According to the principle that aliens of different levels must drop, so many aliens, conservatively estimated to have several hundred million life essence. As for attribute points, although the drop rate fluctuates according to the grade of the alien awakener, among these more than 10 million aliens, at least 3 or 4 million are mid-level awakeners. So many alien mid-level awakeners can easily drop millions of surrounding attribute points. So Yi Xiaotian is not in a hurry at all, and he will go directly to the next battlefield after killing them. If the second battlefield doesn't work, then go to the first battlefield. Anyway, no matter what, this time, he must be promoted to SS level awakener. So he was not polite at all, killing a lot. The second Yuanshan in the third battlefield would also take action once or twice from time to time to prove to everyone that he, Yi Xiaotian, is still in the third battlefield. The pressure on the heretic organization is very great, and the review on the alien battlefield is very strict. It is very difficult for their people to blend in. Of course, now the number of human awakeners participating in the alien battlefield has exceeded 10 million, so it is feasible for the heretic organization to blend in some people. However, it is even more difficult for their people to get on the top. What's more, this mission is likely to expose their undercover personnel. Can't bear it. But the aliens have given a death order, and they have no choice. They can only let people notify the pagans on the alien battlefield and let them investigate the secret of the identities of the two Yi Xiaotians. It's just that Yi Xiaotian has a second soul. In addition to his comrades in the team, only Afar knows. Even the headquarters, the major battlefields, and the top leaders of each war zone are not clear. The top leaders of the third battlefield only know that Yi Xiaotian and his team are still there, and they don't know what the situation is with the one in the second battlefield. The headquarters is even less clear. Not to mention the first battlefield, Yi Xiaotian, the senior leader of the second battlefield, did not come to report, and no one knew about it. So the people of the heretic organization asked around about this matter, and soon aroused suspicion. Maybe no one would care if they asked casually, but they talked about this aspect when they caught people. Do they really think that the security personnel of the major legions are just eating dry food? In just a few days, a lot of heretics were caught. The heretic organization suffered a lot of losses, but there was no gain at all. The headquarters of the heretic organization was almost unable to bear it. The losses were too great, and their intelligence personnel in the alien battlefield were almost arrested. If this goes on, everyone will be arrested and they really can't get any information from the alien battlefield. At that time, the aliens will probably look down on them even more. Originally, becoming a heretic is a matter of being blocked from both ends. If it weren't for the help of the aliens, their strength could be quickly improved, and they would not be able to fool more people into joining the heretic organization. Before, it could be said that the aliens were strong and the human race would be finished sooner or later. But now the situation seems to be a bit reversed. If this continues, the heretic organization will be finished. At the headquarters of the heretic organization, 
the chief pavilion master Amster pulled his golden hair hard. The next decision may determine the future of the heretic organization. Expose all the undercovers in the alien battlefield. This will completely cut off their control over the alien battlefield. If the secret can be found out, it will be fine, and they can get a lot of rewards from the aliens. But if the mission fails, not only will they lose their strength in the alien battlefield, but they will also face punishment from the aliens. Whether they can bear this result is what he has to consider. Because of the actions of the pagans in the alien battlefield, the inspections of the entrances and exits to the alien battlefield have been increased. It is too difficult to send people in at this time. Even if their people can get in, they can only be low-level personnel. There is no benefit to their overall interests. Now the biggest conflict point between the human race and the aliens is the alien battlefield. If the heretic organization knows nothing about it, then they will completely lose the trust of the aliens. Will there be any good results at that time? So Amster is considering this issue. And he can't let anyone come to discuss this issue. Some of the highest level undercovers were known only to him. The more people knew about them, the more dangerous it would be. He knew very well that there were also human undercovers among the top leaders of their heretic organization. But he didn't know who they were. So before this undercover was found out, the top undercover he sent out must not be exposed. So he had to make the decision on this matter. If he gave up this mission now, he would be scolded at most. After all, he still had people on the alien battlefield, and they were still useful to the aliens. But if he fought hard, he would not only not get any benefits, but might even be abandoned by the aliens. The two choices were not that difficult. Armster closed his eyes and wanted to choose to preserve his strength. Only by preserving their strength could they continue to be valued by the aliens. After making a decision, he immediately sent a message to the alien battlefield, saying that it was over and no more exposure was needed. At the same time, he also sent a message to the aliens that they had tried their best in this matter. The alien leaders who heard the news were furious again, and some of them even threatened to abandon the heretic organization. Because their ability was too disappointing. So many resources were thrown at them every year, is this how they repay their master? Now we can only put pressure on the sea tribe and make them work harder. If they continue to work without putting in any effort, we will unite with the human race to fight them. The Commander-in-Chief of the Alien Base Camp roared. Chapter, 399 The aliens put pressure on the sea tribe to speed up their actions, and even threatened that if they didn't act quickly, they would join forces with the human race to destroy the Blue Star Sea Tribe first. When the contact person of the Sea Tribe heard this, he quickly sent the news back. When the senior officials of the Blue Star Sea Tribe heard this, they were immediately angry. You are a foreign race, you didn't say this when you came to ask us to join forces. Now you can't bear it anymore, and you blame us. After a discussion, all the senior officials of the Sea Tribe went directly to the sword god Zhuang Bufan who was in the depths of the sea and told him. We will withdraw all the troops on the shore and maintain friendly exchanges with the human race on land from now on. And they also said that whether it is the human race or the Sea Tribe, they are all creatures of the Blue Star, which is different from the aliens. We have the responsibility to protect our home planet together and completely suppress the aliens. If it weren't for the previous experience, Zhuang Bufan almost believed it. Although he knew that the senior officials of the Sea Tribe were talking nonsense. However, it is absolutely a great joy for the human race that the Sea Clan is willing to withdraw its troops at this time. So Zhuang Bufan immediately stated that as long as the Sea Clan withdraws its troops, the human race and the Sea Clan will still be good neighbors. As long as the Sea Clan does not provoke conflicts first, the human race will never invade the Sea Clan in the slightest. Now is the time to strike the alien race with all our strength. As long as the Sea Clan does not come out to make trouble, any conditions can be agreed to first. As for whether it can be done in the future, we will talk about it later. The high-level officials of the Sea Clan were very satisfied with the statement of the sword god Zhuang Bufan, and immediately withdrew the Sea Clan army on land in an orderly manner. At the same time, Zhuang Bufan also informed the countries of the world through the Awakener Association. Suddenly, 
the human countries all over the world were boiling. Most countries are about to fail. Some small countries have already declared their demise under the attack of the Sea Clan. Now it's good, the Sea Clan has finally retreated. In the alien battlefield, the high level officials of the alien base camp are waiting for news from the Sea Clan. They believe that the Sea Tribe will definitely recognize the reality and stand on their side. As long as the Blue Star is captured by the Sea Tribe, the human army on the alien battlefield will be withdrawn in large numbers back to the Blue Star. After all, the Blue Star is the real base camp of the human race. At that time, that damn Yi Shaotian will definitely go back. But what makes them furious is that they didn't wait for good news, but waited for bad news. The Sea Tribe actually withdrew its troops. These damn guys have no credibility at all, shameless, and are simply a shame for our beast race. An alien general roared angrily, shaking the sky. The alien awakeners outside the general's tent heard the roar, and immediately shook their heads and started again. Since Yi Xiaotian appeared, the roars in this general's tent have become more and more. Now it's almost natural. Okay, what's the use of anger? Let's think about what to do next. The general of the alien base camp scolded in a deep voice. The commander-in-chief spoke, and the other high-ranking aliens who wanted to complain also sat down obediently. This is the situation now. We can't rely on the sea tribe anymore. We can only rely on ourselves. Let's talk about our opinions. The commander-in-chief was the first to speak, and then let everyone speak freely. Although these martial-level figures present have all transformed into human forms, some of them are still very large. Their height alone is three or four meters. For those with burly bodies, two chairs can't fit them. So these aliens simply sit on the ground. However, the alien signs on their bodies are getting weaker and weaker. If you don't look carefully, you can't tell them at all. For example, you can't tell which tribe this commander-in-chief is from from his appearance. However, among the aliens, there has always been a saying of the top three tribes. Lions, tigers, and leopards are the top three tribes among the aliens. However, among these three tribes, there can be a lot of races. In fact, every major tribe of the alien race will extend to countless mixed races. So among the alien races, there is also the title of 10,000 races. And the general in front of him, with a majestic look, is very likely from the top three tribes of the alien race. The highest probability is from the lion and tiger tribes. General, how about we ask for help from our tribe? A general of the alien race suggested. As soon as this proposal came out, everyone's eyes lit up, and this proposal was indeed very reliable. Although the alien race had already gained the upper hand in the alien battlefield before, to be honest, the troops sent by the alien race here were less than one-tenth of the total force. This is the disadvantage of 10,000 races. All major races need to leave enough troops to protect themselves. How could they all be sent here? And everyone is thinking of consuming the troops of other races first and making their own race the only one, so how could they really send a large force here? Seeing that everyone said that this proposal was reliable. The general rubbed his forehead, and he also had a headache. He had considered this issue, but finally put it aside. Sending troops to the tribe at this time would undoubtedly provoke everyone's nerves. Everyone would ask, what is your plan for sending troops at this time? Even if it is really to defeat the human race, it is obvious that it is not an easy task to convince all races to send troops. Tens of thousands of races, to persuade them to send troops for support, this is a huge project. When thinking about this, the general commander had a headache. By the time they finished their work, it would be too late. The best way is to persuade the big races in the alien race to send troops. For example, his own race has many soldiers and strong strength. But he is not sure about his own race, let alone other races. So he waved his hand and said, this method doesn't work, let's change it. The people below all showed disappointment. But after thinking about it carefully, the general commander was right, this method is indeed good. But it is not suitable for use here. What they have to consider now is how to deal with Yi Xiaotian. Then there is only one way, we all go out and kill Yi Xiaotian with lightning speed. 
At this time, a general of the alien race spoke. White fluff can be seen on the ears of this general of the alien race. This is a general of the fox race. Hu Shui, are you sure this method will work? Yes, Hu Shui, you have to know what the consequences will be if we all go out together and fail. If the base camp is taken away by someone, they don't have to go back, just kill themselves. The fox chief said in a deep voice, in addition to asking for help from the tribe, this is the only way to curb Yi Xiaotian's wanton killing. And you have to make plans early, one day later, Yi Xiaotian's strength will surge.